It is a dragon-like mythical beast that has been abandoned by the whole world. However, I have spent all my fortune to buy it. Passers-by on the street mock me as a fool. But only I know that this is the most powerful ancestral divine beast in the history of the Blue Star. Originally, today was the annual job transfer ceremony. 700 years ago, the will of the heavens suddenly revived. And overnight, all creatures in the world turned into terrifying monsters with formidable powers. At the same time, various secret realms and extraterrestrial demons descended, causing instant catastrophes that ravaged the world. In such an era, job transferers emerged. In order to resist the demonic calamity, everyone who reaches the age of 18 and reaches level 10 must participate in the job transfer ceremony to choose their first profession. Some people are born with exceptional talents and become professional cleaners. Others are chosen and become top-level combat professionals like mages, archers, or warriors. As I step onto the stage for my job transition ceremony, all eyes are on me. As the top student at Dongling, almost everyone believes that I will be able to transition into a hidden profession. Sure, here is the translation, sure enough. The next moment after changing jobs to the high platform, a terrifying anomaly suddenly appeared, accompanied by a loud roar. Countless ancient behemoth shadows manifested in the sky above the magic array. Only the towering figures of dragons, mammoths, phoenixes, and chelans could be seen. Seeing the crowd below this scene, they were instantly petrified. At this moment, the principal looked up in extreme shock at the phenomenon of countless beasts bowing down. Could such a terrifying phenomenon really indicate the emergence of a hidden profession? However, when my new profession was announced, a series of bloating eyes immediately fell upon me, simply because I awakened as a giant beast tamer. And, because of its enormous size, it is even inferior to an ordinary beast tamer. It is well known that being a beast tamer is an extremely expensive profession, and the price of any giant beast can bankrupt even a prestigious family. As someone from a commoner background, it is almost impossible for me to form a contract with any giant beast. Therefore, for everyone, the only option in front of Xiao Chen is to bow their heads and serve the great families like dogs. However, at this moment, I am excited and trembling with excitement because I have awakened three powerful divine talents while changing professions. The first divine talent is Beast's Affection, which enhances the effectiveness of beast-related professional skills by 100%. The second divine talent is Beast Fusion which allows me to combine three identical race beast companions into their ultimate form without any restrictions. In other words, if I currently have three cater pie beast companions, I can fuse them together to advance into the ultimate form of the beast companion. It's worth noting that even the most ordinary cater pie beast companion can ultimately transform into a colossal beast form. Therefore, with this talent, I no longer have to worry about not having a powerful beast pet. In addition, there is also a divine level skill called bloodline identification technique which not only allows me to investigate the detailed information of the beast pet, but also enables me to detect its final form. With this detection skill, I can choose to purchase beast pets with the highest evolution potential. However, I did not let excitement cloud my judgment, and I only stated that my awakened talent is at B-level. Over the years, countless dark forces have been targeting elite job changers around the world. If one's own talent information is exposed too early, it is easy to cause security issues. Afterwards, I plan to go to the trading market in Dongling to see if there are any suitable animal companions. But at this moment, a very attractive girl walked over. Xiao Chen, is your talent really B-level? I nodded, but my eyes wandered around, seemingly trying to find an opportunity to escape. Miss, I'm not a big tiger, so why are you in such a hurry to escape? Seeing me with a look of wanting to run away, the girl's rosy lips couldn't help but curl up. Hearing this, I couldn't help but show a helpless expression. The girl in front of me is the school's beauty queen, Sit to you, who has always been in second place. Now she has become a professional wind archer. This profession not only has high burst damage, but also extremely high agility, making it one of the popular professions for soloing dungeons. If nothing unexpected happens, Sit to you will be among the top three in the upcoming exam in a month's time in Dongling City. The reason I want to avoid her is that ever since I surpassed Sit to you and became the second best student, she has been constantly finding excuses to challenge me and always wants to have meals together. This undoubtedly made me the enemy of the male students in school. Speak up, what do you need from me? I said calmly, looking at the girl in front of me with a smile on her face. I have one more month until the big exam, so I need to hurry up and go level up in the wilderness. That's why I want to team up with you to level up in the wilderness, and make the most of this month to improve myself as much as possible. I'd better not, don't you already know my profession? Without a powerful beast companion. My profession is inferior to that of an ordinary beast tamer. I would only slow down the team during outdoor leveling. No, it's settled then. Meet at the Dawn Glory Guild Hall at 8 o'clock in the morning. Three days from now, 
After saying that, Situyu turned around and happily walked away. Seeing this, I could only agree. Afterwards, I hurried to the trading market in Dongling City. Here, there is a wide variety of equipment, props, elixirs, and beast pets, and the market is more inclined towards the common people, but it is destined that the items being sold are not of high level. At this moment, the trading market is very lively, bustling with voices. However, I wandered around the stall and found that there were no beast pets even at the Shin beast level. The ranking of beast pets goes from low to high, mortal beast, demon beast, Shen beast, spirit beast, source beast, divine beast, holy beast, ancestral divine beast. Every beast is divided into nine ranks, from low to high, when it comes to the source beast, when it comes to divine beasts, there are no ranks, but a different classification, transcendent, legendary, epic, overlord, king, and cosmic. Therefore, I went directly to the busiest area of the market, but the price of each source beast pet here is over 3 million. If I want to meet the conditions for unlocking the fusion talent of a beast pet, I need to buy at least 3. So, the main goal of coming here today is still focused on the mystical beast level of beast pets. As for higher levels, I'll have to wait until I reach the second transformation before considering them. After a successful job change, the beast master will receive an empty pet slot. With each subsequent job change, one more slot is added. This means that after successfully advancing to the second job change, I must once again find a giant beast as my battle companion. From the first to the ninth job change, I will need to contract with nine giant beasts. These giant beasts are not ordinary pets, each one possesses formidable strength. It is said that when they reach their full potential, they can rival the power of gods. The number of giants that have appeared in the blue star is extremely limited, making their offspring even more precious and highly sought after. It is because of this that the giant beast master is considered the most expensive profession in the history of blue star. At this moment, I looked at the prices of the shop's beast pets and my scalp immediately went numb. The golden scale python, a beast pet of the source beast level, is priced at 3 million gold coins, while the diamond demon ape, also a source beast level beast pet, is priced at 310,000 gold coins. Seeing the situation, I can only go to the mysterious beast area to search. After using the detection skill, I found only two beast pets that have potential and are reasonably priced. One of them is the mysterious beast Shadow Panther, which ultimately evolves into the extraordinary level divine beast Shadow Leopard. The other one is the mysterious beast Unicorn Rhino, which ultimately evolves into the extraordinary level divine beast Moonwatching Rhino. To know, the value of a divine beast level beast pet can reach up to billions of gold coins, and they are even rare in the entire Dragon Kingdom. Just as I was considering choosing between the Unicorn Rhinoceros and the Shadow Leopard, a young voice suddenly caught my attention. I turned my head and discovered three adorable frost lizards. Seeing this scene, even though I am a straight guy, I am somewhat melted at this moment. The little ones look quite delicate. Let me see where your limits lie. So I released the bloodline identification technique towards the three frost lizards. Originally, I didn't have much hope, but the feedback I received made my body tremble, and even my breathing became rapid involuntarily. Originally, this is the Xian Beast Frost Lizard, and its ultimate evolved form is the Ancestral Divine Beast, the Primordial Frost Dragon, Ancestral Divine Beast, it is unbelievably extraordinary, considering that such a terrifying creature has never appeared in the Blue Star before. The existing classification of Beast Pets ranks is based on the information discovered by adventurers in the Secret Realm Ruins, however, since this information was made public, the highest ranked Beast Pet that has appeared in the Blue Star is the Five Colored Giant Dragon of the Holy Beast level. It was once the battle companion of the strongest adventurer in the Dragon Kingdom's history and is said to possess power comparable to that of a deity. After the five-colored giant dragon, the blue star has never seen a sacred beast level beast pet. Many experts even believe that the sacred beast is the pinnacle of the beast pet hierarchy, and the so-called ancestral divine beast only exists in fantasy. I never expected that today I might actually obtain the first ancestral divine beast in the history of the blue star. If this news gets out, I'm afraid the whole world will go crazy. Later. I forcefully suppressed the excitement in my heart and immediately expressed my intention to purchase the frost lizard to the shop owner next to me. Seeing this scene, the shop owner was dumbfounded. I didn't want to buy a powerful battle beast pet, but instead wanted to buy three useless face pets. However, the shop owner didn't say much and quickly completed the necessary procedures. I hurriedly ran home with three frost lizards and couldn't wait to activate the fusion of my divine level talent and beast companion. I saw the three frost lizards gradually merging under a ball of light, and suddenly, Heavy snow started falling in the entire Dongling city. The piercing sound of red alarms began to ring, and the defensive formation that had not been activated for decades instantly enveloped the entire Dongling city. However, the feelings of despair and fear still spread among the crowd.
The red danger level corresponds to disasters that are capable of destroying the city. Once such a disaster strikes, the defensive forces of Dongling City will likely be wiped off the map in an instant. Just when people thought that the dragon was about to destroy the city of Dongling, the dragon roared and disappeared into the clouds. The guardians of Dongling and the controllers of the guilds and financial conglomerates were all left sitting on the ground, trembling with fear. Everyone issued the same command, find out the cause of everything that happened today. However, all of this terrifying commotion was caused solely because I unknowingly merged with those three ordinary ice lizards. At this moment, I am looking at the strange creature in front of me. Its entire body is covered in scales that are a deep blue color, shining like crystals in the light. At this moment, I am looking around with curiosity and confusion. Is this the ultimate form of the ice lizard? The ancient ruler? The frost dragon? It looks very powerful. However, with the appearance of the frost dragon, the temperature in the entire room drops drastically, and visible frost forms on the floor where the frost dragon is. Even my body, just after a job change, is struggling to withstand the current temperature. Next, it's time for the most important step, signing a contract with this little guy, taking advantage of the frost not expanding further. I decisively reached out my hand and used the beast taming technique on the frost dragon. With the blessing of the divine technique, beast taming technique's effectiveness increased a hundredfold. Soon, two contract runes respectively entered my own forehead and the frost dragons. When I opened my eyes again, the contract had already been completed, and the frost dragon was licking my palm with its small tongue. Seeing this, I couldn't help but hold it in my arms and check its attribute panel. The frost dragon, an ancient overlord, is the manifestation of the ice attribute's fundamental law in this world. It is the only ancestral divine beast of the ice attribute, with unlimited potential and the ability to switch between battle and normal states at any time. Moreover, every time the frost dragon advances, it will inevitably awaken a 3s level innate skill. As is well known, beast pets go through six stages of growth from birth to their ultimate limit, infancy, adolescence, youth, adulthood, prime, and finally the ultimate form. This represents that upon reaching the final stage, the frost dragon will possess 10 3s level innate skills. However, every growth cycle of a beast pet requires a massive amount of resources. The extreme cold dragon, which has reached the rank of ancestral god beast, will definitely be even more terrifying. Therefore, the only path that lies ahead of me in the future is to crazily make money. As if sensing my worries, the ice dragon let out a soft, milky voice and gently rubbed against my hand. Seeing this, I gently rubbed the head of the extremely cold dragon. Little one, from now on we are battle companions who will live and die together. What kind of mighty and domineering name should I give you? At this moment, the mayor of Dongling City, along with the leaders of major guilds and top executives of financial conglomerates, held a meeting. What are your thoughts on the recent red danger alert? The mayor's eyes were filled with seriousness as he looked at the people attending the meeting. Upon hearing the mayor's words, a hint of deep fear appeared in their eyes. The terrifying giant creature that appeared in the sky over Dongling City before was like a huge stone pressing on their hearts, changing the city's atmosphere. Once this terrifying power descends upon Dongling City, all the wealth and power they possess will become worthless. Thinking of this, everyone looked at the city mayor on the stage with worried expressions on their faces. City Lord, we dare not speak lightly of this matter. It would be better to first hear the opinion of Lord Situ, the Guardian. Seeing everyone's gaze on him, Situ Kongjin's tone was unexpectedly relaxed. I think some of you are overly worried. Based on the professional equipment detection of the Guardians and discussions with me and several experts, we unanimously believe that this weather anomaly is likely caused by a genetically mutated beast pet. In the midst of speaking, Situ Kongjin waved his hand and projected a terrifying figure on the projection wall of the conference room. It was hundreds of meters long, covered in deep blue scales, with fierce wings and enormous dragon claws. I think what we should be discussing now is how to find it. After all, it's a dragon, and a rare ice type one at that. At the very least, it's an epic mythical creature. Upon hearing these words, everyone's eyes immediately lit up. Even though everyone present was extremely wealthy, with powers reaching at least the third transformation, they still looked up to the existence of an epic level divine beast. Once they established a good relationship with the owner of this epic level divine beast, or even brought it under their command, their respective forces would directly soar to new heights. After all, throughout history, any professional who possessed an epic level divine beast achieved accomplishments surpassing the seventh transformation, making them significant figures in the entire dragon kingdom. Be sure to find him and befriend him at all costs. At this moment, everyone present shouted wildly in their hearts. And at this moment, I was still naming the extremely cold dragon. As a cute girl, you probably wouldn't like names such as Storm Dragon King or Ultimate Destroyer. As the saying goes, pure as ice and snow. Your own ice attribute makes you called Bingqing. Upon hearing this, 
The frost dragon immediately let out a few excited roars. However, at this moment, my parents returned home with pale faces and wet stains on their bodies. What happened? Witnessing this scene, I suddenly felt a wave of panic in my heart. And I also learned about what happened in Dongling City from my parents. Xiao Chen, did your job transfer ceremony go smoothly today? It was alright. I transferred to the profession of beast tamer, and I have already taken care of my beast companion. There will definitely be no problem with the college entrance examination in a month. After thinking about it, Wang Xuan did not reveal that he was a giant beast master profession in order to avoid his parents from worrying. After all, they were all imperial beast masters, and the others couldn't tell if he didn't. Hearing his son's words, the king's father and mother could not help but be overjoyed even if they had not yet recovered from their previous experience. Good good good. Worthy of being my Wang Jiangwo son, first turn imperial beast master, and counting your previous performance in school, brat you can at least get a book back. Wang's father raised his eyebrows and smiled, patting his chest with an old-fashioned look of comfort. The queen mother didn't say anything on the side, but the surprise in her heart could be seen even from the smile between her eyebrows. Since the Dragon Kingdom set up the higher education examination for professionals, it has categorized the nation's professional universities into a total of four classes, which are, for top universities, 21st universities, 82nd universities and 3 third universities numbering over 200. Universities have vastly different teaching strengths and resources depending on the level they are in. It was no exaggeration to say that the amount of resources that differed between each level was at least around 10 times. In the simple cognition of Wang's father and mother, a university is already the limit of their expectation of Wang Chuan, and every year, the number of people who can pass the exam in Dongling City is less than a handful, for Wang does to be able to hopefully get into a book, this was already a great honor for them to shine, but, in response to his father's high expectations, Wang Dust just smiled without saying anything, a college, if it had been him before, he would still be excited about it, but now, having obtained three top tier talents and skills, and contracted the ancestral divine beast, swift overlord extreme cold dragon. Wang Dust's eyes had been set higher. His goal had long since become those four top universities located in the dragon kingdom. The only way to maximize his talent and gain access to more resources is to get into a top university. To know, the resource gap between the first, second and third class is tenfold, and the four top universities at the top. They have a variety of resources that add up to all the other universities combined. Every year, the outstanding graduates from the top universities had reached at least four revolutions or more in strength, and when placed in a third-rate city like Dongling City, they would be able to directly obtain the position of guardian, equal to the head of the city. He controls the life and death of millions of people. Of course, this goal Wang Chen did not intend to talk to his parents at this time. It was better to wait for all the dust to settle and then let the two of them be surprised. Brat, are you holding back some bad ideas there again? Seeing that his son was smiling there without saying anything. Wang Jiangwo reached out and patted Wang Duan's shoulder. However, he did not ask more questions. His own son himself knows best. Since childhood, Wang Dust is extremely opinionated. Everything can be done in an organized manner. There is no need for him to bother more. Here, to celebrate your success in your first turn of combat profession, I've prepared a gift for you, Pops. As he spoke, Wang Father pushed the box, which he had been grasping in his hand since his return, in front of Wang Duan. And gifts? Upon hearing this, Wang Chen was a bit surprised. No wonder mom and dad and the others came home so late today, so they were off preparing the surprise. That's for sure. Open it up and see. Wang Jiangwo said slightly smugly. Wang Dust didn't hesitate and directly opened the box from the goodness of his heart. And after seeing what was inside, he pursed his lips. Sharp long sword. Boots of agility. Necklace of courage. Tough cloth armor. In the box, four pieces of equipment were neatly arranged. Under the illumination of the light, it reflected a glistening black iron luster, causing Wang Chen's eyes to become a little moist. These four pieces of equipment are the famous high school graduation outfit, also known as the newbie four-piece set, although the name is mediocre. It can provide no small amount of assistance to a professional who has just switched. Dad. Mom. Wang Dust moved to look at his parents, his voice a little hoarse. In today's Blue Star, anything that can have an effect on a professional is expensive. The same goes for this newbie four-piece set, which adds up to 100. 000 gold coins. Wang Chen knew that his parents were afraid that they had taken out all their savings over the years in order to buy this equipment. Brat, you're about to graduate senior year. Why are you still acting like a little kid? The queen mother took her son's shoulders and said with a smile on her face, Our family lives in poverty, but you can't be short of what others have. Take it back to your room and try it on. Don't let the outfit not fit. On the side, although Father Wang didn't say anything, 
He was also looking at Wang Duan with a face full of relief. Aha! Hearing his mother's words, Wang Chen nodded heavily and tightly grasped the four pieces of equipment in his hands. The thoughts in his heart growing stronger. His parents had worked hard for him for most of his life, and from now on, it was time for him to honor them. Back to the room. Wang Dust fed the ice crystal grass to Bing Cheng before checking out the novice four-piece set. Equipment, sharp long sword. Type, melee weapon. Grade, black iron. Level limit, 10. Attribute, strength plus 5. Equipment, boots of agility. Type, defense. Grade, black iron. Level limit, 10. Attribute, agility plus 5. Equipment, necklace of courage. Type, the jewelry. Grade, black iron. Level limit, 10. Attribute, wisdom plus 5. Equipment, tough cloth armor. Type, defense. Grade, black iron. Level limit, 10. Attribute, physical fitness plus 5. All four pieces of equipment were just the most basic black iron equipment, with only attribute point boosts and no attached attributes. Moreover, the total number of attribute points added was only 20, and the boost it brought was only equivalent to the free attribute points gained when a professional was raised two levels. With this kind of garbage attribute, Four pieces of equipment could be sold for a high price of 100, 000 gold coins, so it could be seen how exorbitant the price of higher level equipment would be. In today's Blue Star, the types of equipment are divided into three main categories, weapons, defenses, and accessories, and the ranks, from low to high, are, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, star, daybreak, and divine weapon. Each step up in equipment level brings a significant increase in attribute increase, and starting from bronze level equipment, the equipment would come with various enchantment effects, which would enhance the professional even more. Of course, compared to the increase effect, the price of these higher level equipment also went up. A few years ago, in the Dongling City Trading House, there appeared a superb gold level equipment with three enchanted attributes, and the final auction price was as high as 6 million gold coins. This price had shocked Wang Dust for several months. 6 million gold coins. That was already a figure that an ordinary person, or even an ordinary professional, wouldn't be able to earn in several lifetimes. This trip to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, I can try to explore deeper. The higher the level of the wild monster, the higher the burst rate. When the time comes, not only will you be able to upgrade quickly, but you will also most likely be able to get drop items. Just getting a few pieces of bronze equipment can make a huge difference in your parents' lives. After putting his equipment on, Wang Dust lay on his bed and thought about his plan of action a few days later. Three days later, Morningside Union Hall. The time had just come to 8 o'clock, and the hall was already crowded. Seeking a level 30 or higher healing profession to team up for a quest, a contract can be signed and an additional one. 000 gold coins will be given as a reward regardless of whether the quest is successful or not. Take a look and see. My humble self 38 level warrior. Full body graduation suit able to resist and fight strong body, has many times to enter the 10,000 beasts mountain range experience, which young master and young lady is interested in please contact with me, mountain peak adventure troop recruiting new, welcome all professionals enthusiastically enroll, not limited to novice veterans, as long as you have the potential to have the strength of my mountain peak adventure troop to all, join the same day on the signing of a formal contract, food and housing with five insurance, the professionals who came and went were talking, either enthusiastically selling themselves or looking for teammates to complete the quest together, making the atmosphere in the Union Hall as noisy as a food market. But, the crowds coming and going, however, were used to this kind of situation, and many of them, even after walking into the hall, had heartfelt joy on their faces. Ever since the revival of the Will of the Heavens 700 years ago, when the Blue Star expanded thousands of times in size and a secret copy and field map appeared, it began. The Hall of the Adventure Trade Union was as lively as today for hundreds of years. To this day, the Adventurers Union has become a large force spanning the entire Blue Planet, and has become an important hub connecting countries and folk. Countless professionals walk into this place, register as adventurers, take on quests to earn gold, and explore wild maps with dreams of getting rich. The wilderness map near Dongling City was called the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range, and it was said that all sorts of wild monsters existed within it. The deeper one went, the more the strength and number of wild monsters would increase, and even in the deepest part, there were terrifying existences whose strength was comparable to that of a fourth or even fifth turn, of course this was referring to the depths, in the outer fringe areas of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, after the adventurers had swept through year after year, the danger had become quite small, many ordinary people who hadn't been transferred would also come to the adventure union to take on some gathering quests that they could afford to subsidize their families, for example, 
Wang Duan before he was converted. He then used to secretly hide it from his parents and the school, registering as an adventurer in the Adventure Union and taking on some herb-gathering quests to help ease his parents' burden. Sure enough, once the transfer ceremony was over, the number of people coming and going from the Adventure Union at least doubled. Arriving outside the Morning Glory Labor Union, Wang Dust looked at the flow of people coming and going, and a smile appeared on his face. It was said that every year, after the transfer ceremony, the wild monsters in the outer regions of the 10,000 Beast Mountain Range would become hot, and there would be a situation where it would be hard to find a single monster. I don't know, that little girl said to you, did she make any preparations to go deeper into the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range? Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen stepped into the Morning Glory Guild Hall. Wang Chuan the bastard, how dare you be late after promising to team up with me, it just pisses me off. At the front desk of the Morning Glory Labor Union Hall, a youthful and beautiful young girl looked at the bustling crowd around her, the expression on her face growing colder and colder. The young girl was about 1 meter 75, with long legs and a wasp waist, wearing fine leather armor and carrying a blue-colored longbow on her back. Her delicate features matched with a slightly heroic single ponytail, looking beautiful and valiant. Standing in the crowd, it was like a crane standing above the chickens, attracting many gazes to peer at it. It was reasonable to say that such a beautiful young girl appearing in the hall of the adventure union would immediately become the center of attention in the crowd, attracting numerous hitches. Not to mention, the leather armor and longbow on the young girl's body highlighted her status as a long-range professional archer. But at this time, if you look carefully, you can find that although there are a lot of gazes around, these lines of sight, after landing on the token on the girl's waist, all panicked and moved to the side. The token engraved with the word Sito made all the adventurers in the hall lose their courage to accost them. The head of the city and the Sito share the rule of the city of Dongling. This sentence had been circulating in Dongling City for decades, and anyone who dared to question it would have grave grass several feet high. The young girl was none other than Sito Yu. But, while ordinary adventurers scorned and feared Sito Yu's identity, some of the children who were also born into powerful families and plutocrats would not be so. They will, instead, gravitate to it. Students said to you, I didn't expect to run into you in the adventure union. This is quite a coincidence. A greasy-headed, tart youth with a fake smile on his face pushed his way out from among the crowd. In the middle of Dongling City, Situyu is truly the proud daughter of heaven. She has a distinguished family background, beautiful appearance, and has successfully changed to the special profession of wind shooter at the transfer ceremony, so her future is unlimited. The sons and daughters of the powerful families and plutocrats in the entire Dongling city all worshipped Situyu as a goddess and launched a frantic pursuit. The greasy-haired youth named Chen Hao was the only son of the current generation of the plutocratic Chen family, and although he looked a bit tawdry, his talent was still good. At the transfer ceremony three days ago, he had successfully turned the combat profession Cold Ice Mage in one turn, and among all the transfer students this year, he was considered to be outstanding. Moreover, in the past days in Dongling First Middle School, he was said to use crazy suitor. Student said to you, are you planning to take up a quest to head to the field map? By the looks of you you don't have any companions yet, so why don't you join me? Eyes on fire as he looked at Sit to you. Chen Hao walked closer at this moment with a smile on his face that he considered himself a gentleman. But, Sit to you, who turned around upon hearing the voice, couldn't help but see a flash of disgust in her eyes after seeing him. Get out. With a cold snort, Sit to you did not intend to pay any attention to this annoying fellow at all. With her status and talent, he doesn't need to put his peers in Dongling City on his mind at all, except, some guy who made her hate her guts, hearing Situ use one word truth. Chen Hao's expression froze, but he wasn't annoyed. Situ Yu was recognized as an iceberg goddess in Dongling No. 1. She didn't show any color to anyone, and to be able to say a single word to him today, it was already considered groundbreaking. Student Situ Yu, I'm sure you're well aware of the dangers of traveling to the field map alone so there's really no need for you to turn people away. Licking his smiling face, Chen Hao continued to come up and said, I'm a first turn cold mage. I've already formed a team with a few classmates before coming here. The team is fully configured. You'll definitely be very safe if you team up with us, and the upgrades will definitely be very fast as well. As he spoke, as if to enhance his persuasive power, Chen Hao waved his hand, and three arrogant youths walked out of the crowd. Indeed, as Chen Hao had said, the occupations of these people were very reasonably matched. Warrior, assassin, priest, and with the addition of him as a mage, it was exactly the usual four-member squad among adventurers. Moreover, if one looked closely, one could find that the equipment on these three people were all good, fadely carrying a hint of green light, which should be well-matched bronze-level equipment. A team like this could almost be considered a top-tier configuration when placed amongst the munchkins. 
After the words fell, Chen Hao looked at Situ Yu with an expectant expression, he had a feeling that the other man would probably agree to his proposal. However, Situ Yu glanced at it faintly, without the slightest expression on her cold as ice face, not interested. When she finished speaking, she craned her head toward the crowd around her, perpetually in the top of the first middle school in Dongling. Situ Yu naturally has its own pride. Third rate goods like Chen Hao, who had switched to a good profession by luck, were not even in her sights. She came to the adventure union today and had her own business to attend to, so how could she possibly let this kind of eyesore delay her business? But, looking at the crowd surging around him, Situ Yu's eyes grew more and more unkind. Wang Chen, this son of a bitch, wouldn't be trying to stand this girl up today, right? With an exasperated thought in her heart, Situ Yu stomped her foot. Aside, seeing this scene, even if Chen Hao was stupid, he could tell that his goddess was waiting for someone. For a while, his mood was a little irritated and a little resentful. After successfully turning a cold mage, he was considered a first-rate genius amongst the dongling first middle school. Who else would be more qualified than him to team up with Situ Yu and dare to make the goddess wait here? A flash of bloom flashed in his eyes as Chen Hao took a few more steps forward. Student Situ Yu, it seems that you already have a candidate for your team. I wonder which genius from our dongling city. Asking with a smile on his face, Chen Hao's heart laughed coldly. He wanted to see who dared to compete with himself. At those words, Situ Yu did not pay any attention at all. At this moment, she suddenly had a feeling. Her eyesight looked towards the entrance of the Union Hall, and a flash of color flashed in her eyes. A handsome-looking young man was walking in through the door, and although he was dressed in ordinary clothes, there was an unspeakable dusty aura about him. The moment he appeared, he attracted the attention of many adventurers. The youth was none other than Wang Chen. Seeing Wang Duan appeared, Situ Yu's feet moved and she was ready to welcome him, but then when she thought that this asshole dared to be late, whomph, with a cold snort, Situ Yu boarded up her face. This lady also wants to save face. Walk into the Morningside Union Hall. At the first glance, Wang Chuan saw the young girl who was so clear and elegant in the middle of the crowd. Although there were many adventurers coming and going in the Union Hall, the unique aura of Situ Yu's body directly overshadowed the others. Sorry, there was a bit of traffic. Walking straight towards Situ Yu, Wang Chen said with a smile. Humph. Hearing this Situ Yu snorted coldly, but a flash of stealing joy flashed across her pretendedly cool face. This asshole. He even knows to give this lady an explanation? Thinking of how Wang Chen had never looked like he was in love before, the little bit of unpleasantness in Situ Yu's heart dissipated. For being so understanding, my lady will forgive you today. Snow White Chen slightly raised. A smile appeared on Situ Yu's face. All right. Let's hurry up and go to the front desk to receive our quests. The outer regions of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range have been overcrowded lately, so we won't be able to take up a good spot if we go late. Situ Yu said with a smile, then turned around and bounced towards the front desk of the labor union. Seeing this scene, Wine Dust rolled his eyes. Nice guy, I'm a minute late. Why does it sound like you're guilty? Shaking his head helplessly, he whirled around and took a step to follow. However, Wang Chen had just taken two steps when suddenly a man came striding over and stopped in front of him. Wang Duan? It's really you? You're a giant beast sentinel profession who doesn't even have a beast pet. And you dare to come to the adventure union hall to take a quest? Do you not know how to spell death? Chen Hao looked at Wang Dust with an exaggerated expression. And when he said the words giant imperial beast master, it was even louder. The words fell. The adventurers in the hall who were admiring the handsome men and beautiful women were all in an uproar. Giant imperial beasts? It can't be. Someone would really be unlucky enough to switch to this profession? I've heard that this is known as the most money-consuming profession in history. Not to mention the powerful plutocrats. Even a country can't carry it with all its national strength. For a while, the many adventurers looked at Wang Chen with a touch of sympathy in their eyes. It's a shame to look so handsome and switch to the garbage profession of giant imperial beastmaster. Morningside Union Hall. Wang Dust couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he felt the sights projected around him. With displeased eyes. He looked across at the tawdry youth. This young man had an ordinary appearance. His face was pale, and he looked like he had overindulged, but he was wearing valuable equipment on his body. After just a few glances, Wang Chen's heart was clear. This should be the trouble brought about by Situ Yu, the great lady, thinking that he was being victimized. Wang Dust couldn't help but frown. Who are you? You. Chen Hao seemed to be not expecting Wang Chen to recognize himself at all, and his face instantly became incomparably ugly. Good you want dust, you're no longer the high and mighty school bully in the school, a garbage giant imperial beast master, and you dare to be so unselfish? Ha, huh? so what? At those words, Wang Chen sneered. I'm telling you, you're a trashy career to recognize who you are and you're thinking of climbing the ladder, 
Chen Hao looked angrily at Wang Chen and said in a proud tone, I advise you to draw a line with fellow students sit to you, or you won't even know how you'll die. Oh, ha, hearing Chen Hao's words, Wang Duan shook his head disdainfully and looked at Chen Hao with amusement. At this moment, he was even more sure that Sit Yu was a troublemaker by nature. It was clearly Sit Yu who had inexplicably approached him, but in the eyes of others, it turned out to be him trying to climb up the ladder and being assumed to be a love interest by others. It's really ridiculous. For a retard like Chen Hao, Wang Duan felt that saying a few words to him would be an insult to himself. Shaking his head dismissively, he took a step about to walk towards the front desk. What do you mean? Seeing Wang Chen's indifferent look, Chen Hao became even more enraged. After saying that, he reached out his hand to stop Wang Duan. Snap. However, just as his hand reached out, it was knocked back with a tremendous force that directly brought Chen Hao to a stumble. Retracting his hand, Wang Chen took out a piece of paper and wiped it, then looked at Chen Hao with indifferent eyes and coldly said, Don't bother. Don't you stomp your nose. Opposite. Chen Hao's face changed drastically. Wang Chen's action of taking out the paper to wipe his hands made him feel a great humiliation, and his face directly turned red. Since he was a child, when has he ever been humiliated like this? Wherever he goes, he is not being star-studded, and no one has ever dared to touch a finger of him. King Dust. Chen Hao wrung out a laugh, his eyes becoming incomparably fierce. Dare to hit me. Do you not know how to write the word death? Ha! At those words Wang Chen sneered, his eyes indifferent. I'm sorry, that's something I really know. If you don't, I can teach you. As the words fell, Wang Chen took a step forward and looked at Chen Hao condescendingly. You. Feeling the indifference in Wang Chen's eyes, a flash of panic flashed through Chen Hao's heart, but immediately afterward, he became arrogant again. Do you know who I am? Looking at Wang Dust, Chen Hao screamed madly, My father is a top 5 plutocrat in Dongling City, with wealth you can't even imagine in your lifetime. I'm the only only son of the Chen family. My status is a world away from a mudblood like you. Chen Hao finished looking at Wang Chen with vicious eyes. You still want to teach me? Don't even look at your shabby appearance? Many adventurers in the hall had originally kept their attention on this side. After all, watching this kind of scene of youngsters fighting over jealousy was considered a rare pleasure for them in their weekdays. However, after the crowd heard the words that came out of Chen Hao's mouth, the atmosphere instantly became warm. The Chen family's young master? No wonder this youth looks so familiar to me. Crap. Daring to compete with the Chen family's youngest master, this young man called Wang Duan is really courageous. But, you guys... Look at young master Chen's expression that wants to eat people, and then look at that Wang Dust's bland look. The highs and lows of this fight will be decided immediately. This Chen Daoxiao is also really arrogant, saying this in public, not afraid of discrediting his Chen family. Seeing that there was something lively to watch, the adventurers in the hall gathered around, each with a playful look in their eyes as they looked between the fields, and there were quite a few people whose sights had been firmly placed on Wang Chen's body. Handsome teenagers like Wang Chen were also rare in today's era of transmigrators and many female adventurers, among their gazes, carried a strange color, a good handsome boy, who had changed his job to become a giant imperial beast master, and now he was being targeted by the Chun family's youngest, it was really a decline to the extreme, these female adventurers with good looks were all planning to go up to Wang Duan and accost him when this matter was over, and comfort this little brother properly, but, the minds of these infatuated women are doomed to fail, interfield, hearing Chen Hao's words, Wang Chen's gaze did not waver in the slightest as he locked eyes with him, even showing a touch of mockery on his face. So what? You talk yourself up so much, and your goddess still doesn't give a shit about you? Wang Dust smiled disdainfully, not putting what Chen Hao had said in his eyes at all. This kind of uninformed dilettante is just owed in his opinion. After saying that, he turned around and headed towards the front desk. You, Chen Hao, who had been hit by a sword in his chest, looked at Wang Chen's back with eyes that were about to burst into flames. Bastard. How dare you humiliate me like that? With a furious roar from his mouth, Chen Hao quickly walked towards Wang Chen and was about to stop him. Right at this moment, a silhouette suddenly crossed between the two. Chen Hao, I'll say it again you get the hell away from me. Wang Chen is my chosen teammate. You dare to question him here. Do you want to get beaten up? Si Tiyu looked at Chen Hao with icy cold eyes, anger surging in his eyes. Si to you, you. Chen Hao looked at Si to you with disbelief, his expression incomparably humiliated. Are you out of your mind? Teaming up with Wang Dust, a garbage profession giant beast master? Look at his poor appearance. And he's still wearing a novice's suit, speaking loudly under his breath. Chen Hao's expression was somewhat hysterical. He had never expected that his goddess, no matter what, would defend Wang Chin, a mud blood. One is a big lady from a powerful family, and the other is a trashy professional who can only afford to wear a novice's suit. 
The difference in status between the two sides is completely different, and what is even more humiliating for Chen Hao is, he, a plutocratic young man, was unexpectedly no match for Wang Duan in Siti Yu's eyes. So what? Siti Yu looked at Chen Hao with disgust in her eyes, looking indifferent. Wang Duan he's still a thousand times stronger than you trash even if he hasn't transferred. As the words fell, Situ Yu turned her head to Wang Duan and said, Ignore this trash, let's hurry up and finish registering as adventurers and take the quest to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Saying that, she directly stepped forward and pulled Wang Chen's arm, tugging him towards the front stage. Where was the condescending look she had when facing Chen Hao just now? This scene caused the watching adventurers to directly fall through their glasses, and also caused Chen Hao to be struck by lightning. A rich young lady falling for a commoner's boy? In the hall of the morning glory labor union, the crowd was in an uproar after Situ Yu appeared. Crazy, ha? Huh? This kind of scene that appears in novels can actually happen in reality? And, the people in the audience could clearly see that after being grabbed by Situ Yu's arm, that commoner kid, even had a reluctant face? Oh, my god, could it be that someone had unleashed an illusion skill of more than four turns in the union hall? Everyone, at this moment, began to doubt life. Lobby front desk, as the crowd could see, Wang Duan was indeed very reluctant right now, feeling the warmth coming from his arm, and the fresh scent if any. Wang Dust frowned slightly. In the past in the school even so, now in public, sit to you you so screw, my Wang Chuan's one life of innocence is going to be ruined by you, a man and a woman are not related. Muttering under his breath, Wang Chen slapped sit to you's hand away with a look of disgust, the hand was slapped away, sit to you stared at the eyes that were as beautiful as jewels and her face showed a full smile, and then, it directly lunged toward Wang Chen, pity, missed the punt, early on, when he saw the smile on Siti Yu's face, Wang Chen guessed that this girl was going to be sick, sure enough, shaking his head, Wang Chen reached out to stop the open mouthed Siti Yu, are you finished, hurry up and take the quest, there won't even be a hair left if you're late, he said helplessly, however, upon hearing his words, Siti Yu didn't even move, instead, Wang Dust, who kept scanning up and down, had a pair of bright eyes. Sure enough, your talent is definitely not B-rank. Looking at Wang Chen, Situ Yu had a face of certainty. Hmm, at those words, a flash of amazement flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. How did this girl find out? But he wasn't about to admit it, and with a shake of his head he was ready to deny it. Hey, Wang Dust are you planning to find an excuse to stall me? Then you'll have to think of a good excuse. When Situ Yu saw Wang Chen's appearance, her rosy little mouth curved into a graceful arc. I'm a first turn blast archer. I have an advantage in the speed attribute myself, and I didn't leave the slightest bit of residual power in that lunge just now. A normal imperial beast master would never be able to dodge it. Situ said with a smile. The words fell. A curtain of light suddenly appeared in front of Wang Chen. Name, Sito Yu. Profession, blaster archer. Level, 10. Talent, stigmata of the wind, S. Skills, wind walk, A. Phantom arrow, A. Lianju arrow, B. Battle renewal, B. Power, 20 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 15 plus 25 points. Physique, 15 plus 35 points. Agility, 20 plus 40 points. Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 0. This was clearly, Situ Yu had set her attribute panel, to Wang Dust, in a display state. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen smiled helplessly. Nice guy, this girl is really sick. In today's blue star, where professionals are on the rise, Attribute information is a professional's biggest secret, and many professionals won't even tell their relatives. After all, knowing a professional's attribute information, it was entirely possible to make a targeted plan, and once it was leaked, the professional's life would be seriously threatened. Wang Duan felt pressurized when Situ Yu messed up like this. However, as he was helpless, he looked at Situ Yu's attribute information and was secretly surprised in his heart. I had heard about the special profession of Blast Archer, which not only had high burst damage, but also extremely high agility. I saw it today. Just after the transfer, the strength attribute and agility attribute had reached 20 points each, which was twice as much as when Wang Chen had not contracted a beast pet. The total attributes, moreover, were as high as 70 points, a full 30 points more than the giant imperial beast master profession. And even more so, with an S rank talent, it was no wonder that the leadership of Dongling No, one middle school was so excited after this guy's transfer. Of course, if it was just that, Wang Chen wouldn't be too surprised at all. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 10. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. 
Contract Summoning, B. Power, 70 plus 5 points. Wisdom, 70 plus 5 points. Physique, 70 plus 5 points. Agility, 70 plus 5 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 0. Having contracted the Swift Overlord Extreme Cold Dragon this one, Wang Chen's 4-dimensional attributes now directly threw Situyu off a block. What really surprised him was the increased attribute points provided by those equipments on Situyu's attribute panel. With a total of 140 attribute points of enchantment. Was this girl wearing a silver set or not? Damn. This little rich girl is so hateful. Just know how to show off in front of him. A laborer. HM. Let's see me find a pretext to fool you. For a while, Wang Chen silently pondered. There's nothing to say. Is there? Hurry up and be honest with this girl. Seeing Wang Chen's silence, Situyu said with a smile. I'd rather not. I'm afraid you'll be skeptical when you find out. After thinking about it, Wang Chen gently shook his head and turned toward the front desk. You are simply abominable. Situyu's expression stiffened at his words, and he chased after Wang Chen with his teeth and claws open. He himself had displayed something as secretive as attribute information, and this damnable guy was still hiding it. It's simply unconscionable. You abomination. Show me your attribute panel. Hurry up, please. Situyu jumped up and down to catch up with Wang Chen with an unforgiving look. Unfortunately, in the face of warm words and soft words, Wang Chen was not moved at all. Joke. I'm a decent man. How could I give in to this temptation? In the hall, many adventurers were dumbfounded at the sight of Wang Chen and Situyu flirting with each other. Situyu was the Situ family's eldest young lady, Dongling City's premier daughter of heaven. No one in the crowd expected that they would be in the hall of the adventure union and see this great lady, stalking a commoner boy. This, simply enviable. How come I don't have such ravishing luck? Everyone thought sourly in their minds. And Chen Hao, who had witnessed this scene, had suffered 10, 000 points of damage in his heart. A face went from red to purple to iron blue, vividly performing a face change in front of a large audience. Humiliation, resignation, resentment. At this moment a burning rage arose in his heart, and his entire face twisted with jealousy. In what way am I not as good as Wang Dust? This mudblood? Lowering his head and gritting his teeth, Chen Hao's fists were clenched to death. The interaction between Wang Chen and Situyu was like a sledgehammer, smashing what little pry he had hard. Front desk of the Union Hall. Getting rid of the pestering Situyu, Wang Duan took the registration form handed over by the receptionist. However, he only glanced at it and directly turned his hand and called out in front of Situyu. What do you mean? Situyu's head emerged from behind the registration form with a puzzled look on his face. I don't need to register. I was already an officially registered adventurer a few years ago. Casually explaining, Wang Dust asked the receptionist for a list of today's tasks. In the adventure union, besides those fixed quests of collecting magical materials and strangling wild monsters, it also takes commissions from individuals or groups and releases them in the form of bounty quests to the general adventurers. Compared to fixed missions, these bounty missions offer more substantial rewards, but at the same time the difficulty of completing them is correspondingly higher. In the past, because of his lack of strength, Wang Dust had done some fixed quests, but now that he had officially changed jobs, he could look at the bounty quests that he had been longing for. Good. Wang Dust, how dare you enter the 10,000 Beasts mountain range before you transferred? No wonder I haven't been able to catch up with you. So you're secretly working so hard? Situ Yu's expression was somewhat indignant, and her eyes, which were like jewels, stared at Wang Chen. Being stared at by this pair of beautiful eyes, Wang Chen inexplicably felt that something was wrong. Nice guy. I make money after school to supplement my family. Why is that weird coming from you? Hurry up and fill it in. We don't have much time. Helplessly rolling his eyes, Wang Dust pushed Situyu over to the table to fill out the registration form, and then began to check out the list of today's tasks. Quest 1, seek to purchase the tiger treasure of the twin-winged demon tiger. Task difficulty, level A. Quest reward, 2 million gold coins plus 1 level 50 arbitrary skill book for the warrior profession. Task 2, pick the magic star grass. Task difficulty, level B. Quest reward, 1 million gold coins plus a set of magic recovery potions. Quest 3, 30 sharp claws of blasted demon wolves. Task difficulty, C rank. Quest reward, 500. 000 gold coins plus a copy of the inflammatory explosion skill book. The list of quests was full of quests, and the rewards of each quest made Wang Dust look at them with a little bit of heart. All of these quests that were ranked in the front of the line, as long as one of them was completed, they could pretty much clothe and feed an ordinary person for the rest of his life. However, these quests could only be looked at for Wang Dust, and there was no way to pick them up at all if you wanted to. Adventure unions everywhere would divide quests into different levels based on their difficulty from the lowest level of F, 
all the way up to the highest level of S. Of course, this task leveling is not uniform. Dongling City was only a third-rate city, and an S-ranked quest from the Adventure Union here would most likely only be rated as A or B-ranked by the time it reached a larger city. This was because the difficulty of the quests was divided and also measured by the strength of the adventurers in the region where the Adventure Union was located, and for each level of quests, there would be a threshold set for taking them. To prevent some adventurers from being so self-indulgent as to take on quests that they simply couldn't finish. For example, the first quest in the quest list was a level A quest, seeking to purchase the tiger treasure of the twin-winged demon tiger. The twin-winged demon tiger was a wild monster that had reached level 70 and was distributed in the central region of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. And the only people who wanted to deal with it were those second turn adventurer squads or solo warriors who possessed the strength of a third turn. So under the requirements for taking this quest, it was clearly written that a minimum of a four-man squad with all members at level 60 would be able to take it. After taking a greedy look, Wine Dust silently scratched the list of quests to the end, picking up those quests that were suitable for newbies like him. Soon, Wang Chen found a task he was more satisfied with among the list of tasks. The difficulty of these quests was amongst the D and E levels. As for the lowest ranked F ranked quests, Wang Chen did not pay attention to them. F ranked quests were usually in the outermost fringe areas of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Collecting some magic rich herbs, he had been able to do it easily before when he hadn't transferred. And now taking on this kind of quest was simply not cost effective at all. The list of quests that his finger slid, Wang Dust looked at the quest introduction with a somewhat hesitant expression. Task 326, seek to purchase 30 golden snake grasses. Task difficulty, D level. Mission reward, 100, 000 gold coins. Task 327, 10 golden scaled python snake gallbladders. Task difficulty, D level. Quest reward, 100, 000 gold coins or a skill book of equal value. Quest 3, 28, 40 eyeballs of the demonized goblin. Task difficulty, level E. Mission reward, 60, 000 gold coins. These three quests were the most cost effective among the D rank and E rank quests, especially the first two, mission 326 and mission 327, which can even be done together. Golden snake grass, a magical plant that only grows in areas where the golden scaled python is active. The golden scaled python was a rank 35 wild monster that lived in groups and had a huge size. Its snake bile was a good magic material, able to enhance the range of vision of low level professions and quite useful for archer-type professions. Snake meat can also fetch a good price in the trading market. But, Wang Dust's hesitation at this moment was not because the golden-scaled python was too high-ranked. Perhaps other budding professionals who had just switched over would be terrified of the golden-scaled python. But now that Wang Chuan had contracted the ancestral divine beast, the ancient overlord extreme cold dragon, even though his own level was a shortcoming, as long as he let the ice cleansing out, he would be able to fight when he bumped into a level 40 wild monster. He was mainly worried about whether or not this guy Sitiyu was any good, and it would be troublesome if he dragged his feet at that time. Wang Dust you haven't picked one yet? While Wang Chen was pondering in his mind, the task list in his hand was snatched by someone. What's the hesitation in taking quests? Let's just look for the ones with high rewards. Sitiyu said with a bewildering confidence on his face and a smile on his face. But, once she placed her eyes on the task list, the expression on her face froze directly. D. D level? With a cry of shock. Situyu hurriedly covered her small mouth and looked at Wang Chen with a face full of disbelief. How dare you, a budding newbie who just turned a new job, challenging a deranked mission. Isn't this looking for death? What, scared? Seeing Situyu's expression, Wang Chen said indifferently, If you're scared, you can team up with someone else. Cut. At those words, Situyu glanced at her mouth. Good grief, you're loaded again. Silently thinking in his heart, Situyu put a confident smile on his face again. What am I afraid of if you're not? I'm just worried about you dragging your feet when the time comes. Let me see which mission we choose is better. Forcing her heart to be weak, Situyu's flourishing jade finger scratched the task list. However, looking at it, she couldn't help but blush with a pretty face. A golden scaled python? The snake guts of this thing are very useful to budding shooters. Wang Dust chose this mission. Could it be? Hey, are you good or not? At the front desk of the Adventure Union, Wang Dust looked at Situyu whose pretty face was red, and asked with some confusion. Ha! Huh? Upon hearing this, Situyu responded sheepishly, handing over the task list with his hands in a frenzy. You choose as you see fit. This girl is all for it, she said with some mid-air. Weird. Receiving the list of tasks, Wang Dust muttered. However, he didn't pay too much attention to it. Anyway, Situyu wanted to be a shirker, so he decided on his own. Hello. Placing the list of tasks in front of the front desk lady. Wang Dust gave a polite greeting and then said, I'm going to take the two missions, 
326 and 327. It's an adventure card for both of us. As he spoke, Wang Chen handed over his and Situ Yu's adventure cards as well. Yes, just a moment sir. Upon hearing this, the receptionist lady returned a smile, then lowered her head and got busy. But, just transferred? When she swiped out the information on Wang Duan and Situ Yu's adventure cards, she couldn't help but let out a gasp of surprise from her mouth. Would you like to reconsider? Sir, golden scaled python, but a level 35 wild monster. The front desk lady looked at Wang Chen and Situ Yu with a look of a monster. Two budding newbies who had just switched over to take on a deranked quest. This was no different from looking for death in her opinion. Are young people nowadays so reckless? Thanks for the reminder. We've given it some thought. For the front desk lady's kindness, Wang Dust was grateful, but at the same time shook his head without hesitation. He entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range in order to quickly increase his strength and get money in the process, but he didn't intend to join the other newcomers to compete for the pathetically weak wild monsters. This, hearing his words, the receptionist lady was a bit hesitant. She really couldn't bear to see this big handsome guy go to the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range to die. However, seeing Wang Chen's insistence, she still nodded silently. Okay, one moment, please. In the hall, the adventurers who saw that there was no hustle and bustle were busy with their own things. However, after hearing the front desk lady's exclamation of surprise, everyone's eyes had coincidentally landed on Wang Chen and said to you, Crap, did I hear it right just now? Golden scaled python. These two little guys, do they intend to directly challenge a deranked mission? Crazy, crazy, they've only just transferred and are only level 10. Is this an attempt to refill the golden scaled python's meal? Are all young people so reckless nowadays? I remember the first quest I took on when I first switched, or dealing with a level 10 red-eyed rat, there was a lot of chatter among the crowd, and everyone felt as if they were hearing hallucinations. A newcomer challenges the golden scale python, which can have a level difference of 25 levels. This is not the way to find death. For a while, the eyes of many adventurers looked sympathetically at Wang Chen and said to you, great guys, two such good-looking people who turned out to have major brain problems, and in the crowd, Chen Hao who was incomparably indignant in his heart, was likewise attracted by these murmurs. Ha! Wang dust. A Wang dust. A mud leg is really a mud leg. There's no pussy in his heart at all. Chen Hao had a sneer on his face as he looked at Wang Chen with incomparable contempt. He and his classmates formed a standard four-man squad, and each of them had bronze equipment on them at the very least. Such a lineup was already a luxurious configuration amongst the budding newcomers. But even so, Chen Hao didn't dare to challenge the golden-scaled python. He really couldn't figure out whether Wang Chen had eaten his heart out or lost his mind, daring to take on a mission of this difficulty. But, Chen Hao, whose face was full of cold smiles, had his expression twisted again after seeing Si Tiyu sign the mission receipt without hesitation. He felt, at that moment, that his heart had been viciously stabbed. Nima, King Dust is crazy, the goddess even accompanied him in his madness? What's wrong with the world? Damn you Wang Dust, what kind of soup did you give Si Tiyu? Silently thinking in his heart. Chen Hao's face was as fierce as an evil spirit. The mission duration of a level D mission is one month, and if the mission items are not submitted for more than one month, the mission will automatically be judged as a failure. Entering the information into the system, the front desk lady handed the adventure card to Wang Duan while instructing him. Thanks, hard work, resulting in the card. Wang Duan politely nodded his thanks before turning his head to look at Si Tiyu. Well, now it's time for us to get going. The light rail to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range runs on the half hour. And we're rushing to the station now, just in time to catch the next one. Speaking under his breath, Wang Chen took Si Yu and directly left the Adventure Union Hall. As for the Obling sites and comments, he didn't give it a second thought. Just because other people couldn't do something, didn't mean he couldn't. After the two of them left, the gathered adventurers shook their heads and stopped paying attention to this little episode. And there was only one person who looked at Wang Chen and Si Tiyu's backs with resentment in his eyes and did not retract it until they disappeared into thin air. Ho, oh, what do we do now? A teenager with a pockmarked face tapped Chen Hao on the shoulder, drawing his attention back. What to do? Chen Hao said in a resentful tone. Since they took on the task of hunting the golden scaled python, we'll take it too. I just don't believe it. The two of them? How strong can they be stronger than the four of us? This, hearing Chen Hao's words, the expressions of the three teenagers who had gathered around all became somewhat hesitant. In their opinion, Wang Chen and Sitiyu dared to take on the Golden Scaled Python's mission, and that was because there was Sitiyu, the eldest young lady. The Situ family, as the top most powerful family in Dongling City, had no idea how many life-preserving equipment props they would prepare for Sitiyu, the eldest young lady. Perhaps, there were also third-turn experts protecting them in secret. 
Vam, although in Dongling City is also considered the upper class family, but in Sitiu difference is not a half a star, with what to compare with others. What? Seeing the hesitation on the faces of his three companions, Chen Hao frowned, his tone somewhat unpleasant. Is it that my words don't work? He looked at his three companions and said, No, no. Forced by Chen Hao's eyes, the three teenagers hurriedly shook their heads in denial. The gap between them and Situyu was a world of difference, and between them and Chen Hao, the gap was also quite large. So at this moment, they didn't dare to refute Chen Hao at all, and could only curse Wang Duan to death in their hearts. Damn you Wang Dust, what are you a mudblood doing acting in front of Situyu? Don't let us run into you alone in the future, or you won't get away with it. With indignation in their hearts, the three of them wore expressions of dead parents as they walked to the front desk and began to register. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the blue planet has expanded 10 million times in size. From one city to another, the distance has expanded a million times. These extra areas are covered by mountains, lakes, swamps, and wastelands filled with wild monsters. Nowadays, if you wanted to travel from one city to another, the distance was even farther than when Wang Chen left the country in his previous life. The 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range was precisely a large gathering place of wild monsters located 300 miles away from Dongling City. The wild monsters inside had a very large span of levels, from the lowest level 10 red-eyed rats and crippled skeleton soldiers, all the way up to the level 100 mountain forest giants and two-headed demon wolves that were equivalent to a human third-turned professional. For the professionals in Dongling City, the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range was their paradise for upgrading and acquiring resources. Do 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 do. 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range Station has arrived. Please disembark in an orderly manner. The sound of the light rail arriving at the station rang out, and Wang Chen and Sitiu, as well as a large number of professionals who had just picked up quests at the Adventure Union, swarmed down from the light rail. Just as he stood on the ground of the station, Wang Dust felt an air of desolation come over him. Coming from Dongling City to the 10,000 Beasts Mountain Range was like traveling through time and space from a technological world to a primitive world. Here there are no skyscrapers everywhere as well as a variety of objects full of technological flavor. There are only endless wilderness and forests, as well as a huge mountain range in the distance that looks like a giant dragon lying prostrate on the ground in general. Roar! From time to time, the roar of the wild monsters could be heard, as well as, the panic cries of the budding professionals, as they were chased by the wild monsters. Is this the 10,000 Beasts mountain range? Why does it feel a little different than what you see on TV? Situ looked around with a somewhat puzzled expression. To be precise, this is not quite the 10,000 beasts mountain range. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen opened his mouth to explain. This is just the outermost edge. Usually only ordinary people who haven't been transferred. And newbies like us who have just been transferred will be here. The monsters that appear here are usually little critters like demonized rabbits that don't have much offensive power. What you see on TV about the 10,000 beasts mountain range. That's all about what you can only see when you go into the depths. Oh, sit to you nodded. Then blinked and twisted her head to look over curiously. Asking, Wang Chuan, I heard that bounty hunters are rampant amongst the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and quite a few of the professionals who entered it, instead of being killed by the wild monsters, died in the hands of these bounty hunters. Have you ever seen a bounty hunter before? Hearing her words, Wang Chen touched his nose unnaturally. Where there is light, there is darkness, the will of the heavens was revived, and the professionals were born, in an age where greatness comes into its own, and where great power allows humanity to preserve its current home while, at the same time, activating the darkness within some, bounty hunters, for one, they are a bunch of human scum who will do anything for money, normally hidden amongst the professionals, enjoying the peace that others desperately earn, once they enter the wilderness, they transform into vicious wolves, specializing in those professionals who have fallen on their own, robbing property and murdering lives is a no-nonsense offense, with this in mind, Wang Chen blankly glanced at the curious sit to you, big sister, can't you think of me in a good way? He said somewhat breathlessly, I didn't transfer before and run into a bounty hunter, do you think I could have survived until now? At this moment, Wang Chen was even more sure that this girl was seriously ill, or else how could she ask such a retarded question? However, Sitiu did not hear the dislike in Wang Chen's tone, instead, at this time, she had an indignant expression on her face, it's best if I didn't run into them, I've long heard that these guys have no evil to do, if they dare to find trouble with me, I'll shoot them into hedgehogs one arrow at a time. Clenching her pink fists, Situyu had a vicious look on her face. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust did not hold back from rolling his eyes, looking at Situyu in a way that was more like looking at a retard. Bounty hunters are badass, but they're not idiots. In the boundaries of Dongling City, looking for trouble with the Situ family's eldest miss, 
Isn't that the old man hanging himself and suspecting his life is long? Unless, these guys didn't want to hang out in the 10,000 beast mountain range anymore. With this thought in his mind, Wang Tang glanced at the decorative object that seemed like a token at Sit to use waste. With this thing in place, in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, except for those wild monsters that didn't have eyes, it was estimated that no one would dare to actively mess with it. Hey, what do you mean, is it that you don't believe what my lady said? Seeing Wang Chan's lack of interest, Sit you wrinkled her cute agaric nose and said with some dissatisfaction, No no, how could what you, Miss Situ, said be wrong? Hurry up and go. We still have to stay in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range for some time next. We still need to prepare some things. Wang Dust shrugged his shoulders, didn't argue with Situ, and fled as if leaving the station. Entering a wild monster gathering place like the 10,000 beasts mountain range wasn't like going out to summer camp. There were many things that needed to be prepared. Food, water, tents and other necessities need not be mentioned. And Wang Chen had prepared them in the big bag he was carrying but some of the medicinal powders that repelled mosquitoes and insects and masked one's breath, things that were seldom used on weekdays, could only be purchased by coming here to the outskirts of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Leaving the station, Wang Chen directly brought Sityu and headed to the flea market on the outskirts of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Here, it was a trading market spontaneously formed by the professionals entering and exiting the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, and it was small but complete. There are all kinds of items such as equipment, props, elixirs, skill books and so on. Moreover, because this place was close to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the prices of many items were a bit cheaper than buying them at the trading market within Dongling City. But, and because it's cheap, it's even more important to keep your eyes peeled when buying things here. If you buy defective and fake products, you are basically out of luck. There's no such thing as after sales here. So I guess you can't even find the same seller who sold you your stuff once you turn your head. When Wang Dust brought Situ you to the flea market, he found that the atmosphere here was incomparably warm and lively. Tearful sale. Degrade spirit medicine silver moon grass 80 plants. Sufficient medicinal effect. Good quality. Don't 998. Don't 888. As long as 668 you can take away 80 plants of silver moon grass. Don't miss it when you walk by. Freshly baked bronze grade staff. Double attributes plus 10. Comes with special effects to increase magic damage. No matter if it's to kill monsters or use it as a gift. It's the first choice. A price of 300. 000 gold coins. Look, look, look. The South Border Adventure Group has disbanded. The leader of the group ate, drank, hoard and gambled, and ran away with his sister-in-law, and the equipment whose original prices were all over 300, 000, 400, 000, and 500, 000 are now only 100, 000 gold coins through and through. I didn't expect that there would be such a bustling market on the outskirts of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. After arriving at the flea market, Siti looked at the noisy scene around her with the face of a curious baby. In particular, here, the adventurer who sells equipment, extremely rhythmic, said, the adventure group disbanded. The boss ran away with his sister-in-law. This stupid guy had a sympathetic look on his face. Wang Duan, this uncle is so pitiful, abandoned by his companions. Should I buy all the equipment on his stall? Only 200, 000 dollars for one piece. It's really cheap. Looking at Wang Duan, Situ Yu hesitantly asked, Talent? In an instant, Wang Chen's eyes turned nonchalant as he looked at Situ Yu. Nice guy, how come $200,000 feels like $20 when it comes out of your mouth? Big sister, collect your money power. And, what gives you the feeling that this guy is pathetic? After slowly gathering his emotions, Wang Chen looked at Situ Yu speechlessly. Half a million dollars worth of equipment for only 200 000? What in heaven's name? What this guy was selling was either a defective product that was about to be scrapped, or else it was a fake product that was made using a camouflage scroll. However, seeing Situ look like she really wanted to purchase it, Wang Dust's eyes rolled and he didn't tell her this cruel fact directly. After all, some things are only remembered longest after you've experienced them for yourself, and it was still unknown whether that adventurer dared to sell something to Situ Yu. Sure, we're here to prepare things, buy as much as you can carry, but I don't think you'll be able to make this deal for sure. Nodding indifferently, Wang Dust hid the laughter under his eyes. Hoomph, no way. Also, I brought the biggest space kit in the house with me when I came. It's a thousand cubits, so I can fit more stuff. Hearing this city you beamed in defiance and leapt towards the vendor. Back, Wang Dust touched his nose unnaturally. Holy shit, space equipment with an area of a thousand cubits? In today's Blue Star, spatial equipment, something that was incomparably magical in Wang Chuan's previous life had also appeared with the revival of the will of the heavens. However, 
It's not something that ordinary people can play with. A most ordinary space equipment, the kind with an area of three cubic meters, sold for as much as one and a half million gold coins, a thousand cubits? Wang Dust felt that it was worth at least no less than a small goal? Foolish teenage girl, have to admit, did get faked out by you. Hello beautiful lady, pick whatever you like. Each piece is only 200, 000 gold coins. The adventurer boss who was yelling hard, his eyes lit up when he saw Situyu walking towards him, and he hurriedly greeted him with a smile on his face. I'm just looking. Situyu also grew a mindful eye at this time, not saying straight out what he came for, and picked up the equipment that was laid out on the road to check it out. The attributes of this equipment are very good. Is it really only $200,000? After seeing that the equipment, which was just picked up casually, were all fine pieces of bronze level equipment, Situyu's expression was somewhat surprised. Although she usually didn't care much about low level equipment of the bronze level, she still had the least common sense. Fine bronze level equipment, at worst, is over 300, 000 dollars. Of course, beautiful lady, all of these equipments I'm laying out only cost 200, 000 gold coins apiece. There's no way to sell it like this. The adventure group disbanded, and that damned leader of ours, owed a lot of foreign debt, and now in order to pay off the debt we can only sell the equipment cheaply. Hearing Situyu's words, a glint of surprise flashed in the eyes of the stall's owner, but his face still pretended to be sad. For this kind of budding newcomer who looked to be fresh out of school, the boss knew very well that his sad persona should never crumble. Then this is such a great deal. Pack up all your equipment here. I want it all. Upon hearing this, Situyu Chinyu waved her hand and took out a platinum card piece with great bravado. At this moment, Situyu's heart was overwhelmed with joy, and she felt that she had taken a great advantage. If these equipments were to be sold in the city, the price would at least go up by 30 to 40 percent, and she would be able to earn a lot by then. Hey, I'll be able to impress Pops this time. Silently thinking in his heart, Situyu handed the platinum card to the vendor owner. Swipe. Upon hearing this, the vendor owner, who was beautifully prepared to receive the card, fixed his eyes on it and was directly startled. Crap, a platinum card? He looked up at the beautiful young girl in front of him with shock in his eyes. In today's Blue Star, a platinum card is not something that anyone is qualified to hold. This has to be a certain amount of assets to get from the bank. If the vendor owner remembered correctly, in the entire Dongling city, the number of people who possessed this card would add up to less than a handful. How could the vendor owner not have thought that this silly looking young girl in front of him actually possessed such a precious platinum card? This is definitely someone who can't afford to offend himself. With a silent thought in his mind, the vendor owner carefully sized up the young girl in front of him. This look instantly made his expression even more shocked, while his entire body unconsciously bent over. Stu, that was the Situ family's identity token, which only the most immediate clan members could hold. The young maiden did not need to be said. It was bound to be the Situ family's most outstanding genius of this generation. Situ you. So it's Miss Situ. I'm sorry, I have something temporary to do today, so I won't be selling these equipments for now. Effortlessly averting his eyes from the platinum card, the vendor owner said carefully. Selling these fake goods to the Situ family's missy. He wouldn't dare even if he had a hundred guts. What? Are you regretting it? I can raise your price slightly more. Seeing that the owner of the vendor was not going to sell, Situyu assumed that it was because the other party felt that the selling price was too low. But after she offered to increase the price, the vendor owner still shook his head firmly. What a joke. I wouldn't even dare to sell it at the original price, but had a higher price? I haven't lived long enough. For a while. The vendor boss couldn't even be bothered to explain to sit to you. After all, he didn't have much to explain. Directly using the fabric spread on the floor, rolled up the equipment above and packed it, then ran away with the bag in a puff of smoke. Ran. Looking at the vendor boss who fled, sit to you was directly dumbfounded. What's going on here? I'm just haggling. Why did I scare the boss away? On the side, Wang Duan, who was standing at the back watching the entire program, tried his best to hold back his urge to laugh. Ha. Now you know I'm not wrong. You're definitely not going to make this deal. In the flea market, Situyu's entire body was messed up. How could she not expect that she was just bargaining for a price and directly scared the human boss into running away with her bag? Wang Duan, is this your doing? Deflating her mouth, Situyu's eyes looked at Wang Chen with an aggrieved expression. If not, she simply couldn't figure out why Wang Chen would know in advance that she wouldn't be able to make this deal. That has nothing to do with me. It's you. At those words, Wang Chen hastily shook his head to deny it. This matter had nothing to do with him. It was clearly that vendor boss who ran away for fear of selling fake goods to Situyu and being retaliated against by the Situ family. Then explain to me why you knew in advance? 
Situyu was dissatisfied with this answer and looked at Wang Chen with an exasperated look, her head directly coming over and exhaling. You, the sudden attack caught Wang Duan off guard. Looking at the pretty face close in front of him, he took a step back in some disgust. Nice guy, my innocence is almost at stake here. After thinking about it, Wang Chen looked at the unforgiving Situyu and still decided to explain. Otherwise, he felt like he would be annoyed by this guy next. It's not because, he's afraid of retaliation for selling fake goods. Dragging Situyu aside, Wang Duan whispered into her ear. No way, the attributes of his equipment don't seem to be a problem? After listening to Wang Chen's explanation, Situyu's expression became even more puzzled. Just now she had gotten it in her hand to check the information of the equipment, and it didn't look like a fake in any way. Haven't you ever heard of a camouflage scroll? Wang Dust asked a rhetorical question at this time. He was somewhat skeptical that the young girl in front of him was afraid that her good grades in school were not bought by virtue of her ability to pay money. How did she ask such a common sense question? Disguise scrolls? At those words, a dawning realization appeared on Situ Yu's face. It was a magic scroll sealed with a disguise spell that could disguise the information of an item for a certain time limit. After figuring out the situation, the young girl skimmed her mouth at the moment, the aggression on her face turning into irritation as she huffed. Damnable fellow, to use such underhanded tactics to deceive people. As she spoke, a flash of cunning flashed through Situ's gem-like eyes. Then, she took the identity token hanging from her waist and received it among her spatial equipment. After doing this, she winked at Wang Chen and said smugly, These guys are so hateful, this girl is going to catch them in the act and put them in jail. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen helplessly rolled his eyes. Normally, I don't even see it, but this girl is full of sense of justice. Let's go. There aren't that many crooks here for you to catch. After buying something, we'll enter the 10,000 beasts mountain range. Shaking his head, Wang Dust was the first to head towards the interior of the flea market. Behind her, Situyu followed with righteousness, and at this time, the way she looked at those vendors around her, she looked at everyone like a liar. In the meantime, at the moment Situyu took off his identity token, not far away from the stall, a middle-aged man with a handsome appearance, saw a flash of helplessness in his eyes. Little Jade, this girl, why did she put away the identity token? This is great. I'm afraid my hard-earned vacation is going to become unsettled. And that damnable brat, knowing full well the function of this identity token, he didn't even stop it? The handsome middle-aged man shook his head and casually threw the item in his hand onto the stall. In response, that vendor owner didn't dare to have the slightest objection, and instead accompanied a smiling face full of respect. Because on the sleeves of this handsome middle-aged man, there were three dragon-shaped inscriptions embroidered in gold thread. This was clearly a powerful third-turn powerhouse. After purchasing some wilderness survival items, Wang Duan and Situyu then officially started off. The area where the golden-scaled python is active is located at the junction of the outer and central regions of the 10,000 Beast Mountain Range. Between our current location and this area, there are quite a few powerful wild monsters inhabiting the area. Walking through the forest, Situyu was holding an electronic map and pointing excitedly rather like pointing out the mountains. The electronic map, which was distributed free of charge by the Adventure Labor Union to every registered adventurer, briefly introduced the location of the wild monsters' habitats in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. The purpose was to prevent some weak adventurers from accidentally entering the area of some powerful wild monsters and losing their lives on the spot. Among these wild monsters, the most threatening to the two of us are the Goblin Horde, the Blizzard Wolves, and the Minotaur Camp. When the time comes, we can bypass these three gatherings of wild monsters. What do you think? Wang Dust? Situyu handed the electronic map to Wang Chen and asked for his opinion. Seeing this, Wang Chen looked at the excited young girl and subconsciously touched his nose. Big sister, do you realize that the way you're going, it's going to take us at least twice as long? Don't bother. He reached for the electronic map, then drew a straight line right across it. A straight line between two points is the shortest. It's a waste of time to go around or anything. Speaking indifferently, Wang Chen returned the electronic map to Situyu. Words. Situyu's expression was a bit stunned as he hesitantly asked. Rushing like this? Isn't the risk too great? Her concern was not without reason. The goblins and blizzard wolves. Although they were only wild monsters of challenge level 20, they lived in packs and appeared in numbers of at least a hundred at a time. And the danger was great for some veteran adventurers as well. However, hearing her words, Wang Chen firmly shook his head. Isn't that better? We can come to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range not only to complete the mission, but also to level up and meet the big exam in a month. Wild monsters are strong and provide more experience value, which is best for us. As he spoke, Wang Chen glanced at the young girl with a slightly deeper meaning. Say, you're not scared, are you? He asked. I, I'm not. It's just that you guys, 
you don't even have a beast pet, so don't drag your feet for me when the time comes. Situyu waved her small fists in defiance, and as she said that, she suddenly covered her mouth in embarrassment and looked at Wang Chen with a hint of apology in her eyes. I'm sorry, I'm not, she explained in a bit of a panic. At those words, Wang Chen waved his hand indifferently. The situation of the giant imperial beast master was known to everyone, and what Situyu said was merely representative of the public's perception. And, who told you I don't have a beast pet? Wang Dust looked at Situyu and asked with a smile. It goes without saying? Hearing Wang Chen's words, Situyu's face became even more embarrassed and she lowered her head. Giant beasts are so rare. You can't find one in the entire Dongling city or even the entire southern border province. I went back and asked my father. And he said that there are less than five registered giant beasts in the Dragon Kingdom today. Combined. And they're all in the hands of those seventh turn powerhouses. The forest. Situyu's voice became smaller and smaller as she spoke and in the end it was like a mosquito's voice. She felt that she was afraid that what she said at this moment had hurt Wang Chen's heart. Worried, she quietly looked up at Wang Chen and realized that after her words fell, the expression on the teenager's face did not fluctuate in the slightest. Wang Chen, you won't be angry with me, right? Lowering her head, Situ Yu asked with some embarrassment. No, Wang Dust shook his head indifferently. Why should I be mad at you when you're telling the truth? Besides, I do have beast pets. As he spoke, he directly summoned little Ice Ching, who had been impatiently staying in the Imperial Beast space. Out. Swish. The light flickered. The creature, which was blue in color and resembled a fine work of art, appeared on Wang Chen's shoulder. Whoa. As soon as it appeared, Bing Ching gave a disgruntled yelp, and her icy little claws messed up Wang Chen's hair. This little guy, in the middle of the Imperial Beast space, was about to go crazy. Okay. Okay. Stop it. Gently rubbing Bing Ching's head to calm this little guy down. Wang Chen turned his head to look at Situ Yu. First time meeting, let me introduce you. This is my beast pet, Bing Cheng. Wu. After Wang Chuan's words fell, little Bing Ching looked at Situ Yu with a face full of curiosity and stretched out his tiny dragon claw in a polite manner. Hello. Situ Yu subconsciously stretched out her hand, her entire body confused. Wasn't Wang Dust's profession a giant beast royalist? Where did he find the behemoth? Or is it? The cold sensation in her hand allowed Situ Yu to recover her mind. She looked at Wang Chen and then Bing Cheng, her face full of doubts. Wang, Wang Dust, is this your beast pet? Is she a giant beast? After freezing for a moment, Situ Yu asked with some disbelief. Of course, Wang Dust nodded directly. For the rest of the journey, he would definitely summon Bing Ching to strike, so there was no need to hide it from Situ Yu. Bing Ching is not only a giant beast, but also a dragon. Of course, Wang Chuan still had some reservations. After all, the name of the ancestral divine beast swift overlord extreme cold dragon was still a bit too shocking, and it would not be good to scare the little ones. Stop it, Sit to you, who didn't really believe it in the first place, became even more disbelieving after hearing Wang Chen's words. Dragon? What a joke. How could this kind of creature, which was at the very least the rank of a divine beast level, possibly appear in Dongling City? Moreover, which dragon is not mighty and dominant, hideous and strong? The little Bingqing in front of him was as pretty as if it was the finest work of art, and looked adorable. How could it be a dragon? You must have used a contract scroll to trick me with an ordinary beast pet. But little Bingqing is so cute looking. Where did you buy it? I want to buy one too. Situyu gave Wang Duan a skeptical look, then directly snatched Bingqing and held it in her arms with a face full of love. In today's Blue Star, beast pets are not exclusive to beast masters. Other professions can also use contract scrolls to contract beast pets to enhance their combat power. The only difference was that other professionals weren't able to get the attribute feedback from their beast pets like the beast masters. Therefore, Situ Yu's words were not without reason, and she was completely treating Bing Cheng, at this point, as an ordinary beast pet that Wang Chen had bought. Oh, the poor pride of a teenager. Situ Yu gave Wang Duan a smug look. It's like I've seen it all, so don't try to talk your way out of it. Opposite. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust rolled his eyes breathlessly. I'm so sincere and you don't believe me? What a stupid woman. You're right about everything. Let's get going. Shaking his head, he didn't bother explaining to this girl who didn't know what had been brainstormed. Facts that will teach this girl a good lesson. Having heard what was said, Situyu was full of smugness as he hugged Bing Cheng. However, at this moment, she did not act, but instead smiled and took out an equipment from her spatial ring and handed it to Wang Chen. It was a long sword with streams of flashing light. Bing Cheng is so cute. It's simply too cruel to let her fight. This is my equipment that I eliminated from use so I'll lend it to you for now. See this. Wang Dust rubbed his nose and looked at Situyu with some strange eyes. Something doesn't seem right about this. This girl, 
knowing that he was a giant beast master and the chances of contracting a beast pet were very slim, still dared to send out an invitation to form a team. And now she was borrowing equipment. What does she want? Is it trying to help the poor? Noticing Wang Chen's burning gaze, Siti you couldn't help but feel a blush on her face. Don't get me wrong. The young girl squirmed a little. I was worried that you were dragging your feet and affecting the speed of my upgrades. I'll believe the hell out of you. Spitting in his heart, Wang just carefully sized up the young girl in front of him. Her appearance was delicate and elegant, and her large, jewel-like eyes still had a little bit of panic in them. There was a complete lack of the iceberg schoolgirl look that she had in front of the other students during the weekdays. It looks extremely tempting. The only downside is that the family is too rich, but with a little bit of ups and downs. Ugh. With a sigh, Wang Dust retrieved his disorganized thoughts. What do you mean you're sighing? On the opposite side, Situ you looked over with a suspicious face. Were you just thinking about something really rude? Nothing, just a sad thought. Shaking his head, Wang Dust received the equipment with somewhat averted eyes. Nice guy, am I acting that obvious? Muttering in his heart, he checked the information on this equipment. Equipment, blasted wind long sword. Type, melee weapon. Grade, silver. Level limit, 10. Attributes, strength plus 30. Agility plus 20. Attachment effect, 1, each time an attack hits the target. Its own attack speed increases by 2% for 10 seconds. Stacking up to 5 times. 2, increase the power of all your own skills by 5%. 3. Double attack. When attacking, there is a 20% chance that a sword chi equal to the damage of this attack will be summoned to attack the enemy. Silver level equipment? And with 3 enchantment effects? Seeing the attribute information of this piece of equipment, a flash of astonishment flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. This is definitely extreme silver equipment. The attributes and value, compared to the novice longsword in his hand, was a heaven and a hell. There was no need to ask. Just based on this attribute information, Wang Chuan dared to conclude that the price of this Blast Wind Longsword was at least above 4 million gold coins. In an instant, he held the Blast Wind Longsword and only felt a heavy weight in his hands. Well, aren't the attributes great? This was specially selected by me. Sit to you, who was on the side, saw Wang Chen's appearance and came over with a smile. At those words, Wang Chen, who had returned to his senses, looked at the coquettishly smiling young girl in front of him with a somewhat tangled expression. Oops, is this what kills rich women? It feels like I'm going to be on the wrong side of the fence. The forest. Wah. A crisp chirping sound rang out. And the extreme cold dragon Bing Ching restlessly rubbed against Situ Yu's embrace. It's too big. Cute eyes looking curiously at its owner. She was a little puzzled as to how her master, with his expression, had suddenly become so strange. The slightly dull atmosphere in the arena was broken after Bing Ching's shout rang out. Wine Dust rubbed his nose in embarrassment and looked solemnly at Situ Yu. Thanks. I'll return the equipment to you after leaving the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Aha. Uh -huh. At those words, the young girl nodded imperceptibly and averted her eyes somewhat. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust didn't say much. Saying too much would instead become even more awkward later on. Next, he replaced the novice longsword on his body with the Blast Wind longsword. And his own four-dimensional attributes. Saw an increase. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 10. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS, Beast Pet Fusion, God, Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S, Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B, Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God, Contract Summoning, B, Power, 70 plus 30 points, Wisdom, 70 plus 5 points, Physique, 70 plus 5 points, Agility, 70 plus 5 plus 20 points, Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points, Unassigned Skill Points, 0, Counting the Equipment's Enchantment, now the highest strength and agility attributes among his four-dimensional attributes had reached 195 points respectively. This attribute value was already comparable to that of a level 20 first turn professional. This shows how much good equipment can improve a professional. Of course, this was also because the attribute feedback that Wang Chuan had obtained from the extreme cold dragon, Bing Chang, was strong enough. If it was an ordinary budding professional, even if they wore a full set of gold equipment, their attributes would not be able to reach the level of Wang Dust. Let's get going next. Let's go to the first wild gathering spot on the map. Level up. And familiarize ourselves with the coordination. After looking at his attribute panel, Wang Dust twisted his head and proposed. Yes. Situ Yu nodded at his words. The two of them then began to hurry. Shortly after the duo left, four hurried figures appeared in the forest. These four people were neatly equipped and polished. With a slightly tender face. Obviously they were all budding professionals who had just recently switched jobs. Chen Xiao. The two of them went east. One of them watched the ground for a moment, then said to his companion beside him, 
The one who was addressed as Chen Xiao was a pale-faced youth. If Wang Chen and Situ Yu were to do it again, they would definitely realize that he was none other than Chen Hao. Ha! Go after them, and when they encounter a wild monster, you guys make your move and waste Wang Duan. Chen Hao sneered at this moment, his eyes sweeping over his three followers. Remember, don't hurt Situ Yu, or don't blame me for being impolite to you. Understood, Chen Xiao. The three people beside him all nodded their heads in response. Seeing this, Chen Hao nodded in satisfaction, his eyes somewhat excited. As long as he eradicated Wang Duan, the mud blood, and popped out to save the beauty himself, he would surely be able to win the heart of the goddess. Go! With anticipation in his heart, he waved his arm and took his followers in stride to chase after Wang Chen and Situ Yu in the direction they had left. Here it is. Up ahead is the area where the sinking devil is active. An hour later, Wang Chen and Situ Yu, the two of them, appeared in the middle of the first wild monster habitat area labeled on the electronic map. This is a valley in the primeval forest, with an overall pocket shape, roughly the size of a soccer field. The moment, Wang Chen and Situ Yu, were standing behind a large tree, observing the situation in the distant valley. Green-skinned dwarves, numbering in the hundreds, could be seen in the valley, gathered in twos and threes, either fighting or cooking something in huge clay pots, if you ignored their ugly appearance. This place looked like some kind of primitive tribe. These green-skinned dwarfs were none other than the challenge level 15 wild monsters, the sinking devils. Don't look at them with the word devil in their name, but the status of the sinking devil in the wild monster circle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range was actually not even as good as the goblins that were about the same size as them. These guys were timid by nature, and a budding professional who had just turned a new job could take one on one. However, sinking devils never act alone, and when they encounter enemies they tend to swarm them. So for budding professionals who have just switched, these guys are still quite dangerous. Moreover, some mutated individuals would sometimes appear amongst the sinking devils, awakening some special skills. For example, the sinking demon sorcerer, strong sinking demon warrior, these mutated individuals with a challenge level of 20. At this moment, the sinking demon gathering discovered by Wang Chuan and Situ Yu possessed this kind of mutated individual, and there was more than one in number. Monster, sinking demon warrior, level, 15. Fighting style, melee, skills, bite, charge, type, general, monster, sinking demon wizard, level, 20, battle style, remote output, auxiliary, skills, elementary healing, poison ray, type, mutation, monster, strong sinking demon warrior, level, 20, fighting style, melee, skills, skin hardening, tearing, charging, type, mutation, after the trees, Wang Dust released a scrying spell towards the sunken demons in the valley. Seeing the information returned from the scrying technique, a flash of color flashed under his eyes. Two mutated sinking devils, and one of them was a rare sinking devil wizard. This luck of his and Situ Yu's was no one's. What now? On the side, Situ Yu, who had also viewed the attributes of this group of sinking devils, had a grave expression and turned his head to Wang Chen to ask. The strength of the sinking demon sorcerer and the strong sinking demon warrior was only five levels higher than that of an ordinary sinking demon. But the significance was completely different. These guys, once they show up, are the backbone for the timid and cowardly sinking demons. With them present, the combat power that hundreds of sinking devils could exert was at least 30 to 40 percent stronger than without them. Even though Situyu was one of the top geniuses in the first middle school of Dongling City, and was wearing a full set of silver armor, he was a little scared when he ran into the number of hundreds of commanding sinking devils. But, of course it's cool, seeing the gravity on Situyu's face, Wang Chen spread his hands indifferently with a very relaxed expression on his face, since he had already stumbled upon it, it was naturally impossible for him to give up this large wave of wild monsters, the blast wind long sword had just arrived, and he still wanted to try the sword to see if it was sharp or not, so we use luring tactics, lure the sinking devils out one by one and kill them, between the trees, Situ Yu asked after thinking for a moment, for a long range profession like her, the kite stream was a good choice, however, no, Wang Chen directly shook his head at his words, Without the presence of these two mutated individuals, the luring tactic would have worked well. But now, these guys won't fall for it so easily. So what do you mean? Situyu looked at Wang Chen with some confusion. Of course it's a straight kill. Wang Chuan silently held the blizzard longsword in his hand, speaking as if he was talking about a trivial matter. Are you out of your mind? At those words, Situyu couldn't help but let out a low cry. The expression on her face filled with shock. There were hundreds of sinking devils in the middle of the valley and there were also two mutated individuals commanding them, and their combined strength could at least match that of an elite adventuring team with an average level of 15. Although Situyu was confident in her own strength, she didn't think that, 
Together, she and Wang Duan could go head to head with these sinking devils. Seeing the young girl's look of disbelief, the expression on Wang Chen's face did not fluctuate in the slightest as he explained. Actually, the danger is not as great as you think. Sinking devils are timid by nature. As long as we surprise and quickly kill the two mutated individuals, then the remaining sinking devils will rout on their own without a command. By that time, these green-skinned dwarves won't be a threat to us at all, except for their high numbers. No way. Situyu shook her head and refused outright. She still felt it was too risky. Those two mutated individuals are in the very center of the valley. If you want to run into them, you'll at least have to take care of the dozens of sinking demons that are blocking the way first. If we execute the decapitation plan in this situation, I'm afraid that we'll be slowed down by those ordinary sinking demons before we even make contact with the target. And, as he spoke, Situyu looked at Wang Chen with a fixed expression of hesitation, as if it was somewhat difficult to speak. But after a pause, she continued, and with my profession, I'm not suited for this kind of decapitation operation. Once I'm deep in a heavy siege, my advantages won't be utilized at all. At those words, Wang Chen gave Situyu a breathless look. Big sister, I always feel a little offended by your ideas. You don't think that, by proposing this decapitation plan, I intend for you to carry it out. Do you? This is too much to look down on me. Mr. Wang, don't worry. Your strengths are high burst damage and high agility. How could I possibly let you go into melee combat with the sinking demon? In a moment, your task is to stand at the back and release cold arrows. Ding Qing will protect you from the side. Shaking his head, Wang Dust said indifferently, Are you crazy? You don't even have a beast pet. So what are you going to use to execute decapitation tactics? Hearing his words, Situyu was anxious. A giant imperial beast master without a beast pet is not much stronger than those living professions. In Situyu's opinion, Wang Chen was only able to bully ordinary sinking devils now that he was equipped with the blizzard longsword. Trying to kill sunken wizards and strong sunken warriors is no good at all. And just this, is still she tried to estimate as high as possible because of Wang Dust's excellent performance in actual combat. Originally, Situyu did not want to say these words for fear of hurting Wang Chen's self-esteem, but seeing this hateful guy in front of her with a determined look, she could not care less about this. Wang Dust smiled helplessly at his words. Nice guy, hoping that you didn't believe a word of what I just said about myself contracting a beast pet. Big sister, are you really treating little Bingqing as a beautiful ornamental beast pet? This was also the reason why Bingqing felt that these sinking devils were too weak and didn't bother to make a move at all. Otherwise, these sinking devils packed together wouldn't be enough for her to swallow in one bite. The matter is settled. I'm not as delicate as you think. Shaking his head, Wang Chen decided not to give Situyu another chance to speak. With a movement of his feet, his body seemed like a cannonball as he jumped directly into the middle of the valley. Hello, Wang Duan? Seeing this scene, Situyu stomped her foot in exasperation. Little Bing Ching, this master of yours is simply too detestable. How could he be so reckless? It's safe here. So stay here and don't move. And my sister will come back for you later. Waving his hand and taking out a longbow with flickering streams of light. Situyu placed Bing Cheng on the ground and barked some instructions before rushing after him. Woohoo! In the back, little Bing Cheng saw the scene and a puzzled expression appeared on her cute face. How did the soft cushion get away? Whoa! What strange humans! It's obviously safest to be around me. Why are you running around? It's better to go after them. You can't disobey your master's orders. Thinking suspiciously, Bing Cheng swung her small wings and followed behind Situyu. And on the other side, thud! Wang Dust's upright body fell into the middle of the valley as if it were a cannonball, instantly attracting the attention of the surrounding sunken devils. These green-skinned dwarfs, upon seeing the humans that appeared in the valley, all had puzzled expressions on their ugly faces. What's the situation? Is human service so good these days that they've started delivering to your door? Roar! Soon, however, the nearest dozen or so sinking devils let out an incomparably excited roar. It was the first time they had ever seen a human who had come to their door of their own accord. Karaku, roar, Karaku, a single sinking demon looked at Wang Chuan with fierce and cruel eyes, and disgusting mucus dripped from its hideous mouth, the human scent drove them straight to madness, finally, a sinking demon that couldn't hold back its ferocious nature excitedly rushed towards Wang Dust, it was extremely fast, like a striking cheetah, and its ugly face was filled with a desire for fresh flesh and blood, it couldn't wait to see the image of the human in front of it being torn to pieces by itself, and couldn't wait to savor the human's delicious flesh and blood, with this movement, the surrounding sinking devils that reacted instantly followed suit. In just a blink of an eye, Wang Dust was in a predicament where he was surrounded by dozens of sinking devils. Ha ha ha, this mudblood is really looking for death. As Wang Dust fell into the surroundings of the sinking devil, a suppressed laughter resounded from behind a large tree outside the valley. 
Chen Hao's face carried a sense of pleasure as his eyes looked ahead with disdain. How could he not have thought that Wang Chen, a waste of a man who had been converted to a giant beast master, would dare to mess with hundreds of level 15 wild monster sinking devils? And, still, when you mess with it, you mess with a large group. He he, you still think you're the genius you once were? This group of sinking devils should be treated solemnly even if it's a squad of 15th level professionals. Looks like it saves me from having to make a move. Just wait until you're torn to pieces. With disdain in his heart, a flash of cruelty flashed across Chen Hao's eyes. He couldn't wait to see the scene where Wang Chen was torn into pieces. The valley, facing the surrounding sinking devils rushing up. Wang Chuan's face did not show the slightest bit of fear. Instead, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Ha! Seek your own death. He let out a cold snort under his breath. And the blast wind longsword swept out horizontally. Swish! Between the flashes of cold light, the sinking demon that lunged towards Wang Chuan first was directly slit in the throat. One strike and you're dead. After resolving the first sinking demon, Wang Chuan didn't hesitate for a second. His feet moved continuously. His body was like a sharp sword, directly chiseling into the surrounding sinking demons. In this moment, he seemed like a butterfly wearing flowers, fluttering around dozens of sinking devils. And every time he swung his wings, he would inevitably bring up a handful of blood flowers, accompanied by a sinking devil falling to the ground. There were no surprises. All the sinking devils that faced Wang Chuan could not support more than a single move under his sword at all. Generally speaking, a freshly transformed professional, even a warrior among the melee professions, holding a silver level longsword at level 10, would not be able to kill a level 15 sinking demon in a single blow. But Wang Chuan was different. The attributes that the extreme cold dragon ice chain had fed back to him had made his four-dimensional attributes today comparable to a level 20 professional in a bare state. Coupled with his excellent combat instincts and a degree of body control that could be called bug level, every attack he made was bound to hit the deadly parts of the sinking demon. All of this added up, causing Wang Chen to explode with terrifying killing power at this moment. The 15-level full-state sinking demon fell as if it had been mowed down. In less than 30 seconds, 20 of the sinking devils that rushed up died under his long sword. This, outside the valley, Chen Hao, who had an evil and impetuous expression on his face, laughed with a stagnation like a duck that had been strangled. He looked at the figure in the valley as if he was strolling idly, and the expression on his face was extremely shocked. King Dust, instead of being torn to pieces by the sinking demon in the first place, he even counter-killed it? This tea is a freshly converted munchkin. The three followers next to Chun Hao also had expressions of incomparable shock on their faces. The heart was even beating a retreat at the same time. Wang Dust could easily kill the sinking demon. Surely he could easily kill them, who had just been transformed not long ago. As good as what Chen Hao promised was, they had to have the life to take it. Young Chen, why don't we just forget about it? For a moment, the three little followers hesitated for a moment, and one of them asked apprehensively, forget it? Chen Hao heard the trepidation in his followers' words and waved his hand as he threw a pocket over. No way, this guy is going to die here today no matter what. If you dare disobey orders, I'll go back and kill you. Speaking viciously under his breath, Chen Hao twisted his head to look at the stern figure in the valley. Wine dust. What makes you so strong for a trash profession? He thought spitefully, and a crazy killing intent appeared on his face. And after a moment he said icily, When those two mutated wild monsters strike, you three move in and use your binding skills to control him for me. Let him die at the hands of a mutated wild monster. As the words fell, under his fierce gaze, the three followers reluctantly moved their feet toward the valley. After the death of the sinking devils, a dull ball of light floated over their corpses. These clusters of light quickly split into two halves half of them disappearing into Wang Chen's body and half of them flying towards Bing Cheng. These were the life energy gained from killing the sinking demon, which was also jokingly called experience value by the professionals. For Wang Dust, the experience value provided by a dead sinking demon could increase his experience slot to level 11 by one tenth. 20 sinking devils were just enough to fill up his experience slot leading to level 11. The last mass of light was absorbed, and Wang Chuan felt a warm power surge up among his body. Upgraded, with joy in his heart. He sidestepped a sinking demon's attack and took the time to glance at his and Bing Ching's attribute panels. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, Nickname, Bing Chung, Sex, Female, Age, Under a Month, Infancy, Level, 2, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 550, Wisdom 550, Physique 550, Agility 550, No Buffs, Equipment, or Props Added. Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Spit, SSS. Cold Hell, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, None. 
Introduction 1. The Dragon of Extreme Cold The Ancient Overlord Is the manifestation of the law of ice origin in the present world? The only ancestral divine beast of the ice attribute, with unlimited potential, and can switch between the combat state and the normal state at any time. 2. The Dragon of Extreme Cold will inevitably awaken SSS ranked talent skills every time it advances. Name, Wine Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 11. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Power, 75 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 75 plus 5 points. Physique, 75 plus 5 points. Agility, 75 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 10 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 10. Hiss. Worthy of being an Ancestral Divine Beast, every time he rose one level, all his attributes increased by 50 points. It was simply perverse. Seeing Bing Ching's new attribute information, Wang Chen thought with some shock in his heart. Unlike him, now that he had turned one, he could only gain 10 free attribute points after each level, as well as 10 free skill points. Bing Ching rose up one level, equaling 20 times his completely out of this world. It seems like I have to hug Bing Ching's thigh tightly from now on, with an amused thought in his heart. Wang Chen distributed the 10 free attribute points evenly among the 4 attributes, with the attributes fed back by the Dragon of Extreme Cold. He didn't even need to prioritize his 4 attributes like other professionals, and could completely develop in a comprehensive and balanced manner. As for the free skill points, he kept them. All of the skills he currently possessed were Imperial Beast Master related vocational skills. With SSS level talent 10,000 beasts attachment in all of his professional skills, the effect is to enhance 100,000. Temporarily do not need to spend skill points in these skills above to enhance the effect. These skill points, he planned to save them for later when he learned generalized attack skills. Phew. After solving this nest of sinking demons, I'll almost reach level 15. After upgrading, Wang Dust was full of power and waved his longsword to battle with the surrounding sinking devils once again. However, at that moment, he suddenly realized that after he had made his move, Sid to you, the long-range output, had not moved at all. Swish, slitting the throat of a sinking demon that was trying to sneak up from the left, Wang Dust took the time to look behind him. Missy, are you planning on being a cheerleader for me? Can you stop posing? If you don't do it, I'm going to kill all the sinking devils. This, seeing Wang Duan swimming comfortably in the surroundings of the sinking demon, Sid to you's entire body went numb, bending her bow and arrow in preparation for an attack. She completely forgot what she was supposed to do in this moment. Her mind and eyes moved closely to the figure that rolled and pranced in the surroundings of the sinking demon. This guy, so strong? Situyu muttered, wondering if he was seeing hallucinations. If it was in the past, someone had told her that a freshly transformed budding professional was able to rampage through hundreds of level 15 wild monsters, and even slaughter them in turn. Situyu would definitely think that this person was sick. But now... She looked at the figure that was writing easily in the surroundings of the sinking demon, and the only thing in her heart was shock and disbelief. When? A giant imperial beast master without a beast pet with such terrifying strength? She invited Wine Dust to form a team to come to the 10,000 beasts mountain range to practice. And the purpose was to bring this guy. But, now she suddenly realized that she seemed to have become the one being taken. Little Bing Ching, your master he, is a monster, right? Turning his head to look at the little ice ching flying aside. Situyu muttered, in the past, when he was in school and everyone hadn't switched, Wang Dust's grades and strength hung over everyone, and his number one position never wavered. After the transfer, Situyu had thought that he had successfully assumed the special profession wind shooter and would be able to catch up with or even surpass Wang Chen, the giant beast master. Results. Now, looking at it this way, the gap between the two has not only not shrunk, but has become even bigger. What the hell? Are you in a special profession or am I in a special profession? Situyu was confused. Woohoo! Upon hearing her words, little Ice Ching, who felt all warm and fuzzy after the upgrade, poked Situyu's face with her little dragon claw in dissatisfaction. Stupid human woman! You stand here posing for half a day and you have the nerve to talk bad about my master? I poked and prodded. Situyu was a little tickled by Bing Ching's little paw poke, waved his hand and was about to slap it away. Just then, he suddenly heard Wang Chen's voice. Ah! Uh, turning her head to meet Wang Chen's somewhat teasing gaze. Situyu's pretty face reddened and a flash of panic flashed through her eyes, but immediately after, when she thought of Wang Chen saying that she was posing, she was a bit unconvinced, I'm sure it's still so annoying, this lady is not going to be a cheerleader for you, Humph. with a cold snort, Situyu bent his bow and arrow, whoosh, with an ear-piercing wind-breaking sound, 
an arrow heavily hit a sinking demon that was trying to sneak up on Wang Dust. Bang! The arrow, which directly penetrated the heart of the sunken demon, fixed it on the ground. Seconds, after doing this, Situ gave Wang Chen a smug look. It's like this lady is not going to lose to you. But, Wang Dust didn't even pay attention to her at this point, and just nodded as he looked at the dead sinking demon on the ground. As expected of a little rich girl with the ability to pay money and a transfer to the special profession Blizzard Archer. This damage was quite substantial. It's not like you have to worry about dragging your feet when you take this guy to fight monsters. Silently pondering in his heart, Wang Chuan once again fought with the surrounding sinking devils. Behind, when Sityu saw Wang Chen's bashful look, her rosy little mouth couldn't help but pout. Stinky guy, how dare you pretend to be calm in front of my lady. Humph, I'm going to take all your monsters. With a disgruntled cold snort, Sityu bent his bow, and an arrow shot out like a series of cannonballs. With Sityu's addition, the number of sinking devils in the valley began to decrease at a rate visible to the naked eye. Soon, hundreds of sinking devils were killed by half of them by Wang Chan and Sityu. And at that moment, Wang Chuan also held the blood-dripping longsword and came close to the two mutated sinking devils. The size of the sinking demon wizard is not different from the ordinary sinking demon, and even looks a little thin. Skin and bones look like a walking dead. Strong sunken demon warriors, on the other hand, were nothing like their own scrawny counterparts. It was nearly 1 meter 6 in height, covered in rippling muscles, almost as big as two ordinary sinking devils, and in its hand it was carrying a hideous bone rod. Roar! Damn human! How dare you slaughter my people? The strong sinking demon warrior's scarlet glowing eye stared at the human in front of him in death. In the middle of his eyes, there was an undisguised killing intent and tyranny. Wild monsters were not unintelligent, especially the humanoid wild monsters like the sinking devil. The common ones had the intelligence of a human 7 or 8 year old child, and a mutated individual like the strong sinking demon warrior can even reach the level of a normal human. So when he heard this angry hoarse voice, Wang Dust did not have any surprises. It was a situation that he had read about long ago in the library materials, and he knew more than that. After the revival of the will of the heavens, the terrifying monsters that invaded Blue Star not only possessed intelligence comparable to that of humans, but also had a civilization that existed. Among these monsters, only the weak ones like the sinking demon would be reduced to wild monsters and be captive in disguise by humans, serving as whetstones and sustenance for budding professionals. Those that were powerful gathered in the middle of the horrifying otherworldly battlefield, attacking human defenses, always thinking of subverting humanity and exterminating it. Compared to them, the sinking devil and even the wild monsters amongst the entire 10,000 beasts mountain range were just a younger brother. Otherwise, how could the dragon kingdom have let? A wild monster gathering area like the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, appear outside of the city. It was also for the purpose of practicing and to keep the new generation of budding professionals in their place. Otherwise, such places would have long been wiped out by the state power. Facing the angry strong sinking demon warrior, Wang Dust waved his hand to shake off the blood on his long sword and smiled disdainfully. Don't be so angry. Soon you'll be down there with them. His tone was calm, as if he were talking about a trivial matter of no consequence. But it was this calmness that made the strong sunken demon warrior extremely angry. All the humans that they had encountered before were afraid of it. But this human in front of them, he even looked as if he didn't care about it. This caused the anger in the heart of the strong sinking demon warrior to frantically begin to boil. It decided that it would shred the human in front of it, cutting it into pieces little by little. Only then could its anger be calmed. And could it stand up to those of its kind who had died? Roar! Damn human! I'm going to tear you to pieces! With a frantic roar. The strong sinking demon warrior swung his bone club and took a step to launch a charge towards Wang Dust. Seeing this, a hint of disdain flashed in Wang Chan's eyes, and he met him with his sword. But just then, whoosh, a violent wind-breaking sound rang out, and a black shadow flew in at an extremely fast speed. In an instant, a strong sense of crisis surfaced in Wang Chan's heart. Whoosh, a violent wind-breaking sound rang out. Wang Chuan, who was preparing to launch an attack, suddenly had a flash of warning emerge in his heart. Through his afterglow, he saw a black shadow flying extremely fast on his left. Someone sneaking up on us? A flash of clarity surfaced in his heart. Wang Chen's forward charging figure at this moment instantly stopped, and in a flash of lightning, he fell backward toward the rear. Whoosh! A sharp arrow that flashed with a cold aura flew past his nose and landed heavily on the ground. Steadying his stance, Wang Chen turned his head toward the direction from which the arrow flew. Only three figures stood quietly on the rocky wall of the valley. One of them had just lowered his bow and arrow. They, seeing these people, a flash of doubt flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. The other party gave him a sense of familiarity, as if he had met them somewhere. But, at this moment, he couldn't think in time, because with this delay, 
The strong sinking demon warrior had already rushed up with his bone club. Roar, damn humans. It roared angrily and wielded the bone rod in its hand to slam down fiercely towards Wang Chen. At this moment, the strong sunken demon warrior couldn't wait to see the image of the human in front of him, smashed into minced meat by himself. Saw the scene. There was no fear on Wang Dust's face, only an indifference. Phew. He took a deep breath. The muscles of his legs suddenly tensed, and his body rushed out as if he were a cannonball. The ground, were stepped out two deep pits by the powerful force he had erupted at this moment. Bang! The blizzard longsword and the huge bone rod collided together with a dull sound. Next, a scene that shocked the wild monster and everyone else present appeared, only to see that Wang Dust intercepted the bone club in the hands of the strong sinking demon warrior just by virtue of the light blast longsword in his hands. Wang Dust little. Joking right? Everything happened in a flash of lightning. Sityu was about to remind Wang Chen to be careful of sneak attacks when he saw this unbelievable scene. The level 20 wild monster strong sinking demon warrior, which itself favored the strength attribute mutation. After launching his charge, the power of that huge bone club swung out could at the very least blast a boulder into pieces. Even a level 20 warrior with the main strength attribute was afraid that he wouldn't be able to receive this strike. How could Sityu not expect that this Wang Chen fellow would go hard and directly blast against the strong sinking demon warrior? Since when could a freshly transformed giant imperial beast master tussle with a level 20 power wild monster? Wouldn't this mean that Wang Dust's strength attribute was at least on par with that of a strong sinking demon warrior? While Situ Yu was in disbelief, the strong sinking demon warrior facing Wang Dust was even more shocked and angry. At this moment, it even used all its strength, but the result was not only did not suppress this abominable human in front of it, but instead, the bone stick in its hand was still being lifted up a little bit. Didn't you eat? Holding his sword in one hand to stop the bone rod, Wang Dust looked at the strong sinking demon warrior across from him with a somewhat mocking expression on his face. Through this collision, he basically had a rough judgment of his power. Not counting the attribute boost from the blizzard longsword, his strength attribute could already compete with a level 20 warrior. And counting the attribute boost, a level 20 warrior would have to be willing to take the fall when he came. Ho 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 ho! Damn human! How dare you mock me! The strong sinking demon warrior on the opposite side had a mixture of shock and anger in his heart, and his eyes were incomparably furious as he looked at Wang Dust, it summoned the strength of its entire body, wanting to crush the hateful human in front of it, but, its efforts were to no avail, instead, as Wang Chuan lashed out, the bone rod in the strong sinking demon's hand directly flew out of his hand, since this is the only level you have, then go die obediently, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth as Wang Chuan quickly stabbed forward with his sword, brush, between the flashes of cold light, the blizzard longsword shot out, instantly piercing the strong sinking demon's throat completely, and at that moment, the silver weapon's enchantment special effect was activated, brush, the two sword shadows that did not reduce their attack power in the slightest also landed on the chest of the strong sinking demon warrior at the same time, in just the blink of an eye, the life of this level 20 wild monster was harvested, ah, uh, blood spattered out, the strong sinking demon warrior's face wore an incredulous expression, and his short and stout body shook a few times before he stumbled helplessly to the ground. The rich smell of blood spread in all directions, and the eyes of the sinking devil who saw the scene were incomparably terrified. They didn't even listen to the command of the sinking demon wizard anymore, and all of them quickly fled backward in fear. Directly beside Wang Chen, an open space within a ten-foot radius was formed. The moment. Wang Dust didn't give a damn about the fear of these wild monsters around him, and after beheading the strong sinking demon warrior, he gazed indifferently at the rock wall on his left. I'm curious, who gave you the guts to sneak up on me? Is this tease still human? On the rock wall, three of Chen Hao's followers stared dazedly downward, their faces filled with incredulity. How could they not have expected that Wang Dust would be able to dodge the cold arrows coming from the shadows while fighting the strong sinking demon warrior, especially the Hele who made a sneak attack? It felt like his three views were going to shatter. The profession he had switched to was an archer, and although it was only an ordinary profession, not as good as Situ Yu's Blast Archer. The speed of the arrows he shot with his skills was comparable to bullets. If a second turn professional had dodged it, he would have nothing to say. But Wang Duan was only a first turn munchkin, or a chicken rib profession giant beast master. Wang Dust, what makes him able to dodge? Immediately afterward, upon seeing Wang Dust easily kill the strong sunken demon warrior, what to do? This guy is too scary. Why don't we retreat? Follower B Mage and Follower C Warrior were even shivering and couldn't speak well. Hearing their words, the healer A's face showed intent. If possible, he did not want to make an enemy of the terrifying Wang Chen. But just as he was about to agree to his companion's proposal, I'm curious, who gave you the guts to sneak up on me? The icy voice echoed in the valley, 
and the three of them simultaneously stiffened their bodies and turned their heads to see Wang Chen's cold and unfeeling gaze. Damn it! He's found us! The three followers panicked in their hearts. Just now when they made their move, they thought that Wang Chuan would surely die, so they didn't hide themselves at all. Now, damn, retreat is out of the question. If Wang Chen doesn't die, once he stirs up today's incident to the adventure union, we'll be dead. He must be killed. Heal A, who was holding the bow and arrow, swallowed his smear with difficulty, his eyes sweeping over the two men beside him. Good. Under his gaze, the two men looked at each other then nodded heavily. Spell it out. They didn't believe that their three archers, mages, and warriors, plus the wild monsters in the valley, still couldn't get rid of Wang Duan alone. With that in mind, the three of them began to head towards the valley. This girl said to you, her ability to cause trouble really can't be underestimated. Looking at the three people coming down from the rock wall of the valley, Wang Chen thought icily in his heart. Upon closer inspection, he had remembered who the three guys were. 250 those three followers of Chen Hao. Since they appeared here, that Chen Hao fellow must be there too. Where is he hiding? Pondering in his mind, Wang Chuan's gaze scanned the rock wall. But in the end, he found nothing. Wang Chen, who are they? Just then, Situ Yu brought Bing Ching over with a nervous face. Probably, your suitor? Hearing this Wang Chen said indifferently, he didn't put Chen Hao's four people in his heart at all, so his tone was very bland at this moment. What? Situ Yu screamed, her eyes blank. What do you mean my suitors? He looked at the trio on the rock wall with a skeptical look on his face. After half a dozen looks, I don't recognize any of them. Hey, they're bounty hunters, right? Don't you shake me. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen rolled his eyes breathlessly. Do you have some kind of misunderstanding about bounty hunters? A guy this week, a dog won't even hitch a ride. With that in mind, he said with a lack of interest, it's Chen Hao's three followers. That guy doesn't know where he's hiding now. Hmm. Situ Yu's eyes stared and his face instantly became very ugly. This guy Chen Hao dared to take a shot at himself. Their Chen family was living out of patience, seeing Situ Yu's appearance. Wang Chen casually said, Don't think too much, their target is probably me. Humph, that won't work either. Go back and I'll have my old man exterminate their Chen family. Situ Yu sniffed and became even more angry. While Wang Chen and Situ Yu were talking, the sinking devils in the valley, seeing one of the two leaders die, had their morale directly halved. There were already quite a few sinking devils whose ferocious light in their eyes dissipated, and they began to think about where to escape from, and a scowl came over the withered face of the sunken wizard who was in the protection of his minions. All of you, whoever dares to escape, I'll kill it first. It waved its short staff to drive away the minions around it, causing them to attack Wang Chen and sit to you. Terrorized by the sunken witch's intimidation, the immensely fearful sunken devils launched their charge in disarray. However, at this time, they were like a regular army and a miscellaneous army compared to before, and their fighting strength and morale had fallen to the lowest point. Bunch of trash. Startled by the sound, Wang Dust skimmed over the sinking demon that rushed up. You keep an eye on those guys. I'll take care of the wildlife. Giving a word to sit to you, he swung his long sword to meet the sinking demon. While killing ordinary sinking devils, his line of sight kept sweeping over the surroundings, looking for traces of sinking devil wizards. But this guy is crafty, keeping his body hidden among those minions and constantly shifting his position, worthy of being an intelligent wild monster. It's completely different from that short, frustrated and thick one just now, silently thinking in his heart. A cold smile flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. Since the sinking demon wizard was planning to play hide and seek with him, he would kill all the surrounding sinking demons so that they would have nowhere to hide. With a decision in his mind, Wang Dust began to speed up the rate of slaughtering the surrounding sinking devils. Brush it off. A cold light flashed and the sinking devils that rushed up fell as if they were cut down like wheat. In less than a minute, their disorganized ranks became somewhat emptier. And at this point, behind the many sinking devils, the sinking devil sorcerer carefully hid his body and looked at Wang Dust with eyes that were incomparably resentful. At the same time, the twisted short staff in his hand swung in small increments, dark green energy coalescing at the tip of the staff. Soon after this dark green energy condensed into a substantial sphere at the top of the short staff, a sinister smile appeared on the face of the sinking demon wizard. In the next moment, the short staff in his hand pointed toward Wang Chen, and the dark green sphere of energy suddenly shot out as a ray. Whoosh! The flying speed of this dark green ray was in no way inferior to the arrow shot by Situ Yu. In just the blink of an eye, he had arrived around Wang Chen. Seeing this scene, smugness and anticipation flashed across the sinking demon wizard's bark-like face. This dark green ray was none other than its long-range attack skill. Poison Ray! It couldn't wait to see the human who had caused the damage to the camp turn into a puddle of blood. In the meantime, when the trio of followers who had carefully entered the valley saw the scene, 
A flash of joy flashed across their eyes. It's now! Follower A yelled, and the drawn bowstring in his hand simply let go. The mage on the side also used a fireball spell at this time. In an instant, three attacks echoed back and forth, flying toward Wang Chen with a powerful aura. Rear, Si to you, who was holding a bow and arrow to suppress the warriors in the following trio, couldn't help but exclaim in shock when she saw the three attacks that flew towards Wang Chen. Wang Chen, be careful, those three attacks were extremely fast, and by the time she opened her mouth to warn her, they were already less than two meters away from Wang Chen. But, finally running out of patience, Wang Dust, who was strangling the sinking demon with his longsword in hand, felt the strong wind and a fishy odor coming from his side, but the expression on his face was not the slightest bit surprised. A level 20 wild monster with long-range attack skills and three unsuspecting guys lurking around. How could he not be on guard? Don't look at the fact that he seemed to be killing the sinking devil at this moment. But in fact, his mind had been tightly tensed just to guard against a sneak attack. Now that you're out, prepare to join your companions on the road. Turning to face the flying poisonous rays directly, Wang Dust's line of sight directly locked onto the sinking demon wizard who was hiding in the back. Opposite, the lockdown sinking demon wizard's heart chilled, and his body subconsciously shrank back. But then, the fear on its face dissipated, and instead, it looked at Wang Chen with some disdain in its eyes. At this time, the distance between the poisonous ray and Wang Chen was less than a meter. With the flight speed of the poison ray, it would take less than 0.1 second to cross this distance, and there were two other attacks right behind it. Unless this human was a god, it would be absolutely impossible to escape. The sunken demon sorcerer was looking forward to seeing what happened next when the human was eroded by the poison and wailed miserably as he turned into blood. Available at. At this moment, it didn't see any fear on that human's face, and even the other party, showed it a smile that looked bright but was full of icy killing intent, playing god. Seeing this, the sinking demon wizard snorted coldly, not at all feeling that this human could escape the certain death at such a close distance. However, in the next second, the expression on the sinking demon wizard's face directly stiffened. The valley. When the three attacks were about to hit his body, Wang Chen's body suddenly twisted against the norm. At this moment, it was as if the bones in his body didn't exist, and his entire body shifted 10 centimeters hard across to the left, and especially his feet, at this moment made a series of dazzling movements, his body so bizarre that it seemed unreal. This all happened in the middle of a very short period of time, just when the sinking demon wizard thought he was blinking. It was horrified to see that the poison ray flew past Wang Duan at some point and landed heavily on a sinking demon behind it. Bang! The poisonous rays went straight through the body of this sinking demon, pinning it heavily to the ground. And just in the blink of an eye, this sinking demon's corpse was left with no bones left, turning into blood and water that reeked of a fishy odor. The other two attacks did the same, not harming the human at all. How is that possible? How did this damn human dodge my attack at such a close distance? Upon seeing this scene, the sinking demon wizard's scalp exploded and his eyes almost glared out. What he saw in front of him was simply incomprehensible to his intelligence. And in the surroundings, Situyu and that trio of followers saw the scene, and their eyes almost glazed over. Is this, combat super sense and butterfly steps? No, and perfect level body manipulation. The four murmured in unison, looking at Wang Chen as if they had seen a ghost, especially Si Tiyu, as the top student in Dongling No, one middle school second only to Wang Duan. His knowledge base was naturally very complete. The various reactions Wang Chuan made under the three attacks were all seen by her in some way, and she also found the techniques that corresponded to them. However, it was just a matter of seeing. Situyu simply couldn't comprehend how Wang Chen had practiced these three combat techniques to such a high degree, and was able to use them together at the same time. Naya, everyone is a genius, why is the gap so wide? Luckily this guy's occupation is a giant beast royalist, if he casually switched to an ordinary occupation, I'm afraid that my old lady will be crushed underneath him for the rest of her life. At this moment, Situyu, who had always displayed an iceberg image to the outside world, couldn't help but burst out in foul language and at the entrance of the valley, a silently sneaking figure came over, and after seeing this scene, it even directly hid at the side of a sinking demon corpse. Crap, is Wang Chen still human? This can even be dodged? Chen Hao was staring into the distance with wide eyes at this moment, wailing in his heart. How could he not expect that he was prepared to come in to see how Wang Chen would die, only to see such a shocking scene? At this moment, Chen Hao was a bit skeptical. Could he really reach his goal? In the meantime, phew, at the center of everyone's sight, Wang Chen let out a long breath, silently experiencing the soreness of his body. Three high-level combat techniques were used in a row, especially since among them was the butterfly step, a technique that was extremely taxing on the body and mind. 
With his body that was comparable to that of a level 20 professional at this time, he also felt a bit disengaged. However, although his body was a bit tired, Wang Chan's spirit was very uplifted. Just now, in that flash of lightning, he felt that his experience of the butterfly steps had become even more profound. Moreover, the power displayed by the butterfly steps made him very satisfied. Butterfly steps, a combat technique that was usually only covered by professionals above the third turn. In order to perform, not only do you need a strong body, but you also need to have fine control like a machine. Even amongst the third turn professionals, less than 1% were able to successfully practice. Previously, when he was in school, after Wang Chuan had learned the combat skills taught by his teacher, he secretly found a full set of butterfly steps training tutorials in the library. Today, it was the first time he tested the real world power of the butterfly steps. It's not in vain that I've been practicing hard for months. This kind of higher combat technique is really a huge boost to strength. Thinking silently in his heart, Wang Chuan instantly became more interested in several other combat techniques that were on par with the butterfly steps. Now, though, is not the time to think about that. Moving his body a bit, his eyes looked playfully at the dumbfounded sunken demon wizard across the room. This guy, he hadn't recovered from the shock of his own poison ray missing. No way. What the hell was that weird situation just now? That abominable human's body just seemed to have disappeared from the middle of this space in an instant. Why is this happening? With incredulity in his heart, the sinking demon wizard felt that the human across from him was a monster. It was clearly not a high rank, about the same as those human professionals that it had beaten the crap out of before. But in real strength, it was incredibly strong. For a time, the sinking demon wizard's heart had risen in retreat. When encountering this kind of perverted monster, if you can't beat it, you run away, and you don't lose the face of the sinking demon at all. Roar, all of you, tear this damn human to pieces. Grumpily driving his remaining minions to surround Wang Dust, the sinking demon wizard didn't move and began to retreat. It could feel an eye with malice locking onto it the whole time, but it didn't even dare to turn its head to look. You can't change who you are. The timid nature of these sinking devils can't be changed even if they've mutated. Looking at the sinking demon wizard who was preparing to escape, a cold smile appeared on Wang Dust's face. However, he was in no hurry, and while taking care of those remaining ordinary sinking devils, he approached the sinking devil wizard without slowing down. This valley has an overall pocket shape, with rock walls on three sides that are not too high, but easy to get down but tough to get up. The sunken demon wizard tried to escape, and it didn't look like there was any other way to live but the exit of the valley. However, it was now retreating towards the interior of the valley, which aroused Wang Chen's interest. This situation meant that there were definitely passages inside the valley that led to other places. Now that he was keeping the sinking demon wizard for a while longer, Wang Dust felt that he might have some unexpected gains. After all, for these mutated wild monsters with intelligence, besides being ferocious and tyrannical, each of them had a bit of a fetish for collecting treasures. Under Wang Dust's superior efficiency, the remaining dozens of ordinary sinking devils were quickly decimated. By now, the floor of the valley was littered with mangled corpses of sinking devils, and the strong odor of blood smoked people to the point of vomiting. Wang Chuan glanced at the figure not far away that was quietly moving toward the interior of the valley before he looked with an icy gaze toward the three figures that were dumbfounded under the rock wall. Now, it's time to settle the score between us. Now, it's time to settle the score between us. Wang Dust walked forward with his sword, his eyes looking at the three people under the rock wall with a smile or not. At this moment, the dumbfounded trio of followers were awakened by the icy voice, and all of them couldn't help but tremble physically, especially when they felt the killing intent in Wang Chen's gaze they were all about to despair. Before they came, they had thought that it would be incredibly easy to tackle a giant imperial beastmaster, and that they could use it to hug Chen Hao's thigh, but I didn't expect that the three of them, even with the assistance of the wild monsters, didn't have the slightest impact on Wang Chen. This peer is so strong it's almost like a monster. Wang, Dust, we have no choice but to do so. Can you spare us? Yes, yes, yes. This was all forced on us by Chen Hao. None of us wanted it. Please, for the sake of our three years as classmates, let us go. Knowing that they and the others were by no means Wang Chen's opponents, the trio of followers did not hesitate to beg for mercy at this point. Even the follower a shamelessly raised the laborious three-year classmate relationship. Ha! Hearing their words, Wang Duan was amused. Classmate love? He doesn't even know what these three guys' names are. So he has a shitload of feelings. Besides, if we're talking about feelings now, what were we doing before? Cut the crap with me. Where's Chen Hao? Speak up numbly, and I can give you a hard time. Eyes indifferent as he looked at the three, Wang Chen was not moved at all. Hearing his words, the trio's faces turned pale, and Hele said with some undying concern, Wang Dust, 
If you spare us we will tell you. Swish. With a flash of cold light, Hile's head was directly cut off. Who are you to bargain with me? I don't know what the hell is going on. Waving his hand to shake off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chen's tone was filled with mockery. On the side, the followers B and C were drenched in blood all over their heads, and directly paralyzed on the ground shivering. Chen Hao was outside the valley. The two of them were as soft as mud and only knew how to shout frantically under their breath. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen switched two swords to understand them and twisted his head to run out of the valley with Si Yu. But, there were indeed signs of activity outside the valley. But it was empty and there was no sign of Chen Hao. This son of a bitch won't be able to run away. This girl will definitely dismantle him. Returning to the original spot, Situ Yu kicked the stones with a furious look. Wine Dust, who was in the process of picking up his equipment, looked at the young girl strangely at the words. It wasn't that he doubted the veracity of what Situ Yu had said. After all, in Dongling City, there really wasn't a guy who had offended the Situ family and was still alive and kicking. He was just a little surprised. This girl's heart is really big. Before killing wild monsters when not soft. Now killing. What are you looking at? Siti Yu noticed Wang Chen's line of sight and glared over with a puff of air. Nothing. Spreading his hands, Wang Dust got up with the stripped equipment. Let's go. Go after the sinking demon wizard. If you're late, the duck in your mouth will fly. Greeting Siti Yu. Wang Chen directly stepped toward the interior of the valley. As for the surrounding sinking demon corpses, neither he nor Siti Yu were interested in scavenging them. A wild monster of the type of sinking demon had no useful materials on it at all. Even the meat was poisoned, and it was only the experience value that was more lucrative. It was because of this that the duo didn't even realize that there was a guy who had been stunned hiding in the middle of a few sunken demon corpses. Phew! Running beside an overgrown bush deep in the valley, the sunken wizard looked back. It let out a long breath when it didn't realize that the two dastardly humans weren't catching up. Damn humans! Sooner or later I will seek revenge on you, with a low curse under its breath. It plucked the grass in front of it with its short staff and stepped inside. Behind the overgrown bushes was a dark and eerie hole about two meters in diameter, from which a chilling aura spread outward. It made the ground at the edge of the cave entrance, frozen hard. Here, a secret passageway that the sunken demon wizard had stumbled upon, through which he could leave the valley directly. Because of the seclusion of this place, the sinking demon wizard also placed his lair in the passageway. I'll be back, taking a lingering glance at his surroundings. The sunken wizard stepped into the cave entrance while covering it up again with weeds. Hopefully, those two damn humans won't find this place. With a silent thought in its mind, it walked towards the depths of the cave. But, the sinking demon wizard's thoughts were doomed to failure. Shortly after it entered the cave, footsteps appeared around it. Wine dust. How did you find out that it still has a secret base? Seeing the hole that emanated cold air, City you poked Wang Duan, her face filled with excitement. With my head. Of course. At those words, Wang Duan peeled Situyu's hands that were poking around on his body to the side. This valley is in the shape of a pocket, with only one exit, and the sinking demon wizard chose to run inside when he escaped, so there must be other secret passages. Explaining casually, he walked over to the entrance of the cave and used his longsword to push aside the weeds that covered it. Up close, one could see that the edges and surface of the hole were so smooth that it didn't look like it had been dug out at all, but more like a hole made by some kind of creature. Be careful in a while. There's no chance there'll be a terrifyingly powerful one in here. Reminding a word to sit to you, who was full of curiosity. Wang Chen walked into the cave entrance with his sword in hand. About 20 meters down, the slope disappeared and the passage became gentle. Rip. As the illumination spell scroll tore open, a soft glow illuminated the surrounding area of 10 meters. Looking at those smooth rock walls of the passageway, Wang Dust was more certain about his previous guess. It really wasn't an excavated passage, the rock walls were smooth and occasionally some sort of imprint could be seen, like scales pressed into them, about two meters in diameter with a scaly body that can travel quickly underground. Looking around, Wang Dust combined the guesses he thought of one by one. This should be the cave left by the dark worms. Soon, he had his answer. Dark worms? On the side, Situyu heard Wang Chen's whisper and his neck shrank, as if he had thought of some horrifying image. Dark worm, a wild monster that lives underground. Technically, it's not that powerful among the wild monsters. Although it had a length of more than 5 meters and a body with a diameter of more than 2 meters, its level was only around 35 to 40. It wasn't considered a big trouble for the elite professionals who were active in the 10,000 beasts mountain range. However, its hideous appearance and the huge mouth that opened up to a diameter of more than 3 meters made many female professionals stay away from it. What? Scared? Seeing Situ Yu's appearance, Wang Duan smiled and asked, Not at all. Sito Yu is a little out of breath. A 5 meter bug is scary to think about. Don't worry. In the cave, 
Wang Du smiled when he saw Situ Yu's face turn a little white. This should be the cave where the dark worms used to be, now that they've left, or else that nest of sinking devils out there wouldn't still be alive today. Oh, Situ Yu said, quietly relieved to hear that it was okay. Come on, let's hurry up and find the collection of the sunken demon wizard you were talking about. If we get there late it'll be gone. To prove that she wasn't afraid, she strides ahead, carrying her bow and arrow. Back, when Wang Du saw the scene, he smiled and shook his head. This girl, who doesn't change her face when she sees dead people, is afraid of bugs. Well, if we really run into the dark worms, will this chick, sit to you, be so scared that she'll cry? Thinking with some anticipation in his heart, Wang Dust quickly chased after him. Five minutes later, as the duo went deeper into the cavern, they had gradually sensed the aura of the sunken demon wizard. Meanwhile, clanked, the sound of objects colliding also reached the ears. No need to guess. The sinking witch must be packing up his belongings and getting ready to run away. Luminous stones dimly glowed. A thin, dry figure laboriously placed an item on the spread out animal skin. From time to time, these items clashed together, making a clanking sound. Sooner or later, I'll form a bigger tribe of sinking demons and skin those two damned humans. The sinking demon wizard kept cursing under his breath as he quickly loaded up those items he thought would be useful. As for some of the other bottles and jars, it was left with the heartbreaking choice of giving them up. In this way, the resentment in its heart towards those two hateful humans became even more intense. Once things were pretty much packed away, the sunken wizard was ready to roll up his animal skins. But just then, he suddenly realized that the light in the middle of this secret base of his had all of a sudden become incredibly bright, and the glow in the dark stones in his hands had all dimmed. Damn humans, how did you two know about this place? Craning his head toward the source of the light, the sunken wizard froze, followed by a cry of grief and alarm. You're the one who brought us here. Wang Dust spread his hands and brought a smile on his face. In the light of the illumination spell, he saw quite a few goodies from the sunken wizard's collection, several valuable magical herbs, ores that emit an eerie glow, and seven or eight irregularly shaped holy crystals. This sinking demon wizard is going to be even richer than I thought. Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Dust looked at the sinking demon wizard as if he was looking at walking gold coins. You guys, damnable humans, I'll fight you. The sinking demon wizard was chilled by Wang Dust's eyes and waved his small short staff in a shrill cry. Before the words left his mouth, the tip of the short staff in his hand surged with dark green magical power. A pungent odor began to fill the cavern. But, whoosh, the sinking demon sorcerer's skill was just about to be ready when a sharp arrow, like lightning, hit its body. Bang! The tremendous power carried on the arrow directly nailed the sunken demon wizard to the rock wall. Ah! The intense pain made the sunken wizard scream. But immediately after, a cold light slashed across its neck and the screams came to an abrupt end. Seeing as you've contributed so much, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. No thanks. Waving his hand to shake off the beads of blood on the blizzard longsword, Wang Chen put his sword back into its sheath. In the meantime, the sinking demon wizard's body fell to the ground powerlessly, and three dim light masses emerged on its surface before they respectively disappeared into Wang Chen, Si Tu Yu, and Bing Qing's bodies, as Wang Chuan had predicted earlier. After killing the last sinking demon wizard, he had leveled up to level 15, and Bing Qing had also leveled up to level 5. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, Nickname, Bing Chung, Sex, Female, Age, Under a Month, Infancy, Level, 5, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4 Dimensional Attributes, Strength 700, Wisdom 700, Physique 700, Agility 700, Without Any Buffs, Equipment, Props, Skills, Frost Body, SSS, Extreme Cold Spit, SSS, Cold Hell, SSS, Dragon Might, SSS, Loyalty, 100, Equipment, None, Introduction, Slightly, Name, Wang Dust, Occupation, Giant Beast Master, Level, 15, Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS, Beast Pet Fusion, God, Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S, Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B, Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God, Contract Summoning, B. Power, 1025 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 1055 plus 5 points. Physique, 1025 plus 5 points. Agility, 1025 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 50. Levels reached 15. Attribute Points were still evenly distributed. And all 4 dimensional attributes broke through the 100 point mark in the naked state. Looking at his attribute panel, Wang Dust nodded in satisfaction. Worthy of being an ancestral beast, Ice Clear is just powerful. Nowadays, even if he didn't have any attack skills in his hands, 
he could still arm wrestle with a level 30 melee profession just with his four-dimensional attribute enhanced body. As for professionals less than level 20, he could crush them with one hand. However, this thought was slightly curtailed after Wang Chen saw Sit to you on the side. This kind of professional with the ability to banknote probably has to use two hands. What are you looking at? Do you want to practice with my lady? Noticing Wang Chen's line of sight, Sit to you blared, her eyes a bit impish. The blaster archer, unlike the giant imperial beast master, needs to split the experience equally with the beast pet. Therefore, Sit to you's level was even two levels higher than Wang Duan's, reaching level 17. Having surpassed Wang Chen in rank for the first time, Sit to you was full of confidence at this moment probably resembling a peacock with its screen open, or not. Seeing the young girl's provocative expression, Wang Chen shook his head breathlessly. I'm afraid I'll make you cry, mentally muttering. He didn't say anything. Sit to you. This girl herself was competitive. If this was known to her, the gap between the two not only didn't narrow but also widened. Wang Dust felt that he would be annoyed to death by Sit to you in the future. Hey, scared, aren't you? From now on, the name of this 10,000-year-old will be yours. With a smile on her pretty face, Situyu proudly waved her pink fist. Since she had known Wang Chen, this was the first time she had surpassed the other party. The mood now is simply soothing. Woohoo! At this moment, little Ice Ching, who flew to the side as an atmosphere group, looked at Situyu with eyes full of sympathy. What a stupid human being! With a flick of her wings, she flew to Situyu's shoulder and patted Situyu's head with her small wings. It's pathetic, flat and brainless. He he, Situyu who had no idea what little Bingqing was thinking at this moment. The smugness on his face became even more intense. Did you see that, Wang Duan? Little Bingqing all thinks I'm right. Ah, uh, upon hearing this, Wang Chen's expression turned strange. With the Imperial Beast contract in place, how could he not know what little Bingqing was thinking? Nice guy, you think she's complimenting you? She is pitying you maiden. Forcing back the urge to laugh, Wang Dust walked over to the beast skins on the ground and checked the harvest. As for Stuart Jade, let her sink in a world of falsehood. With the light of the illumination scroll, Wang Dust checked out the sinking demon wizard's collection. Six moonwort plants, twelve pieces of secret silver ore, twenty-three unknown scales. It had to be said that the collection of the sinking demon wizard was still very rich, and these several derank magical materials could at least be sold for thousands of gold coins when taken out for sale. However, these things, Wang Dust just took a look at them and put them aside. Then, his eyes excitedly looked at the two items that were separated out individually. Eight holy crystal stones worth 80, 000 gold coins, and a grayish, seemingly book-like item. I can't believe that this guy, the sinking demon wizard, has a skill book in his collection? Picking up this grayish book, Wang Dust thought with some excitement. Without hesitation, he directly took out the appraisal scroll and appraised the skill book. Swish, with a flash of light, the information of the skill book appeared in front of his eyes. Instant Sword, D General Purpose Skill, Active Attack Skill, instantly surging forward a distance after use and delivering a powerful decapitation to the enemy, remarks, I, Instant Sword surges forward to a distance of 10 meters and can be upgraded, 2, cooldown time for each use is 10 seconds, well, bursting forward 10 meters, as long as it's applied properly, this can be used as an instantaneous movement skill entirely, thinking silently in his heart, Wan Dust felt very satisfied with this skill book, at this point, Quickly show me, what level skill book is it? Situyu poked her head over and looked curiously into Wang Chen's hand. But, just a D-rank general skill book? When she saw that the instant sword was only a D-rank skill book, she showed some lack of interest. Skill books are graded with a maximum of S rank and a minimum of F rank. A D-rank skill book was already quite good for an ordinary professional. Putting it in the trading market, it could be sold for at least 100, 000 gold coins. But for Situyu, she couldn't even look at this kind of low-level skill book. After the transfer was over, the B-rank skill books that the family had prepared for him all made her pick her eyes out. Aside, Wang Chen heard Situ use words and rolled his eyes breathlessly. There has always been a widely circulated saying amongst professionals that there are no trash skills, only trash professionals. He didn't look down on the instant sword just because it was only a D-rank skill. Wang Dust, this skill book, you'd better keep it and sell it in the trade market. Seeing that Wang Duan was a bit unimpressed, Situyu came over and said with a smile, In the skill books my dad prepared for me, there are two B-rank skills that don't match me. If you call out to me as a sister, I can sell them to you for two gold coins oh. Saying that, Situyu winked with a look like you've earned it. To this, Wang Dust directly shook his head. Two gold coins for two B-rank skill books. To be honest, he did have some heart. After all, a B-rank skill book was worth at least a million on the market. But looking at the cunning hidden in the young girl's eyes, 
He knew that this girl was definitely harboring bad intentions and had great intentions. Selling himself for two skill books was not something he would do. Moreover, the power he exerted using D-rank skills nowadays didn't have to be weaker than those first-term professionals who possessed B-rank skills. Since you don't want it, it's mine. As he spoke, Wang Chen distributed all of the holy crystal stones on the ground to sit to you, and then directly chose to use the skill book. With a flash of light, he then directly learned the instant sword skill. Next, the 50 skill points that he had been saving, all of them were put on the instant sword to strengthen its power. As a D-rank skill, the instant sword had a level cap of 5, and was raised 1 level for every 10 skill points. 50 skill points were invested to raise the instant sword skill from level 1 to level 5. The power was increased by 50%, and the surging distance was increased by 5 meters to 15 meters. In the meantime, after raising the skill level to full, a new change appeared on the instant sword's information. Instant sword, D general purpose skill, active attack skill, instantly surges forward a distance after use and delivers a powerful chopping blow to the enemy, remarks, I, rank X, surging distance 15 meters, B, full level of the skill unlocks two step strikes, within two seconds after using the instant sword, it can be used again, but it will accumulate cooldown time, looking at the instant sword's new information, Wang Chen nodded in satisfaction, this new special effect 2 strike was just another reason why he chose to instantly this D rank skill. As we all know, any skill that is raised to full level through skill points will have a full level effect. However, for high level skills, the level cap and the skill points consumed when strengthening and raising them are much higher than for low level skills. 50 skill points could raise a D rank skill to full level, but if you invested in a B rank skill, it would be good to raise it by one level. Every time a first turn professional upgraded, the skill points they gained were only 10 which was a complete drop in the bucket for high-level skills. In this case, for Wang Dust, it was most cost-effective to raise the low-level skills to full level. As for gaining high-level skills later and not having enough skill points in hand, he wasn't worried. Skill points can be obtained by challenging secret sidekicks in addition to each upgrade of the professional. Of course, this way of obtaining it was a bit of a distance for the current Wang Dust. The secret realm copies were basically held in the hands of the University of the Dragon Kingdom and the Major Powers. What he could do at the moment was to raise his strength as much as possible, and then get the knockout bricks to snap open these secret realm copies after the college entrance exam competition. Aside, Situyu stomped her foot in exasperation when she saw that Wang Chen had directly learned the instant sword skill. Stinky guy, is it so hard to get you to bow down and give in? With indignation in her heart, she gathered up the items on the floor, turned and ran out. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust scratched his head somewhat puzzled. However, he still hurriedly chased after him then directly dragged Situyu, towards the depths of the cave. The cave went straight ahead, straight out the exit, just saving them a detour. And in the meantime, phew, in the pile of corpses in the valley, the waking Chen Hao crawled up on his hands and knees, saved, without seeing Wang Duan's figure around. Chen Hao was almost in tears at this moment. The strength that Wang Chuan had shown earlier, and the aura of killing without mercy was simply too frightening. The palpitating Chen Hao completely forgot about his goal at this point. He climbed up and was about to move away from the place that made him have a mental shadow. But just then, knock knock, footsteps sounded outside the valley. Chen Hao subconsciously ducked back into the corpse and looked outside with a frightened heart. Soon, four uninvited guests came to the valley in a mess. These four people had different looks and ages, and different attire, but all of them carried a ferocious aura. After entering the valley, they pulled away from each other for a short distance, warily surveying their surroundings. The valley where the sinking devil is. More than a hundred corpses of sinking devils fell across the ground, and a strong smell of blood filled the entire valley. For cautious figures, two meters apart from each other, carefully walked in the middle of the valley. Boss, what's going on? The one walking in front was a sharp-tongued man with a pair of triangular eyes looking at the fallen bodies of the sinking devils around him, with a hint of fear hidden in the bottom of his eyes. As a 35 level 1 turn professional, the Hanyu was not afraid of the sinking demon. He alone, as usual, could have decimated these numbers of sinking devils. But, on the floor of the valley, more than half of those fallen sinking demon corpses were killed by a single blow without any extra injuries. This kind of tactic was something he couldn't catch up with even if he beat his horse. Boss, could this be the work of a third turn powerhouse? When the Hanyu walked to the center of the valley and saw the strong sinking demon warrior who had also had his throat closed with a single blow, he finally couldn't help but stop and turn around to look back. How can that be? Third turn powerhouses aren't that idle. Behind him, the middle-aged man as strong as a polar bear frowned unhappily. It should be a second-turn swordsman. Check your surroundings and don't scare yourselves. The strong middle-aged man waved his hand, signaling the squad of people to spread out and search. Boss, look. Not long afterward, 
the triangular-eyed man exclaimed and walked over, holding a large bundle. They're all special arrows laced with magical metals, and each one recovers at least a hundred gold coins. Which archer is such a loser? Use it once and then don't want it anymore? He said with a shocked look on his face as he placed the item on the ground. Upon hearing this, the strong middle-aged man looked at it and had a somewhat surprised expression on his face. Ordinary archers, using arrows that were made from synthetic metals, each costing basically 10 gold coins or more. And these in front of him, each one was made of a special alloy with certain magical metals mixed in. The price, it was estimated, was over a few hundred gold coins each. Even with the strong middle-aged man's insight, he couldn't help but be shaken in his heart at this moment. How rich does one have to be to use special arrows as disposables? Boss, I'm afraid we've stumbled upon a big fat sheep this time. The triangular eyed man counted the arrows one by one, the greed on his face growing more and more intense. Don't jump to conclusions so early. Whether it's a sheep or a wolf is yet to be seen. Keep searching and see if you can find any other clues. At those words, the strong middle-aged man snorted coldly and put away all the arrows on the ground. Oh, hearing his words, the triangular eyed man reluctantly nodded and turned to continue to go searching. Soon, the four made another discovery. Boss, found a live one over here. A munchkin. A man with a broomstick head carried Chen Hao, who was covered in blood. Over. At this moment, Chen Hao's body was as soft as mud, and his eyes were filled with despair. How could he not expect that Wang Chen, the killing star, had just left on the front foot, and that he would run into the infamous hyena squad on the back foot? Hyena squad. In the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the infamous bounty hunter squad acted cruelly and never left any survivors alive when they struck. There were a total of four people in the squad, and the middle-aged man, who was as strong as a polar bear, was the squad's leader, a second turn level 50 warrior. The remaining three, the second and third were turn 1 level 40 assassins and druids, and the fourth was a turn 1 level 40 shield warrior. With the strength of one second turn and three advanced first turns, the hyena squad ranked 36th on the wanted list of the Dongling City Adventure Union, with a bounty as high as 4 million gold coins. Bang! Chen Hao was thrown in front of the hyena boss, and in fear, he couldn't care about the pain on his body and hissed for mercy, don't kill me, I'm the youngest master of the Chun family, I have plenty of money, I'll do whatever you guys want me to do, three days later, the outskirts of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, the dark jungle was shaded by a canopy of tall trees that blocked out the light from the sky, it was so quiet in the jungle that the sound of the wind ruffling the leaves could be heard clearly, Sasha Sasha, Wang Chen walked deep and shallow in the jungle, beside him was Situyu who was holding little Bing Ching. Wang Chen, I regret it, Situyu continuously used the longbow in her hand to pluck away the thorns that blocked her path, with a somewhat sultry expression on her face. What? Hearing her words, Wang Dust, who was repeating the same action beside her, turned his head and asked, Wang Duan, this path you've chosen simply sucks. Pushing aside the thorns and weeds that blocked the way, Situyu grumbled. Originally, after seeing Bing Ching's strong strength, she thought that the next trip to the golden-scaled python's activity area would be a straight path. With God blocking gods blocking the devils 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 blocking, and crushing all the wild monsters. Results. Just three days after setting out, Situyu was saddened to realize that things were not at all like she thought they would be. What was imagined to be a beautiful journey has turned into a wilderness survival now. The number of wild monsters encountered was indeed considerable. But more time was spent, all on the open road. These damn thorns and weeds had rendered all the pretty clothes she'd spent so much effort preparing useless and now she was alive and well as a savage. On the side, Wang Chen touched his nose somewhat awkwardly when he heard Situ's words. It is indeed his pot. The route was drawn with the idea of saving time, and as a result, he forgot that the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was a completely primitive area, and the consequence of deviating from the route on the adventure map was that there wasn't even a road. Surviving alone in pristine terrain is also a necessary skill for professionals. I'm just letting you get a feel for it ahead of time now, so don't complain. The road will be easier through this area ahead. Swinging his long sword to cut the thorns that blocked his path, Wang Dust justified his mistake. Hearing his words, Situyu beamed. Oh, I yuck. Men's mouths, lying ghosts. That's what you said yesterday. And you haven't gotten out of the middle of this area today. With this thought in his mind, Situyu's eyes became more nuclear in nature as he looked at Wang Chen. But, it was just as she was about to tell this abomination that she wasn't so gullible. A black shadow abruptly sprang out from among the weeds and thorns and ferociously pounced on Wang Chen. The speed of this black shadow was extremely fast, and it slammed headfirst directly into Wang Chen's arms. Bang! In the next second, Wang Chen's body flew backwards directly toward the back, and in the same spot where he stood, a leopard two meters long, half a man tall, 
with fur as black as ink appeared. Level 30 Wild Monster. Shadow Leopard. Wang Duan. Seeing this scene, Siti let out a cry of alarm and hurriedly bent her bow to attack the Shadow Leopard, trying to attract its attention. But, the Shadow Leopard that suddenly appeared, easily dodged the arrows and didn't care about Sitiyu at all. Instead, he used all four of his feet to chase after Wang Chen, who had been knocked away. Between the jungles, the Shadow Leopard was extremely fast, like lightning, and caught up with Wang Chen almost in an instant. Swish, in the ear-piercing sound of breaking wind, its two sharp claws flashed with an awe-inspiring cold light, pointing straight at Wang Chen's throat. Man in mid-air, Wang Dust looked at the oncoming Shadow Leopard. His eyes were ancient and calm, without the slightest bit of fear, only to see that he took a long breath at this moment, and violently turned his body around, with the blast wind longsword in his hand across his body, stopping the two sharp claws of the Shadow Leopard. Bang! With the sound of the collision, he used the force of the recoil to send his body flying diagonally out towards the other side, incidentally dodging the subsequent strike from the Shadow Leopard. Knock knock! After landing, Wang Chen moved his feet and quickly retreated to City Yu's side and on the opposite side, the Shadow Leopard made a beautiful pirouette in the air, and his body landed firmly on the ground. Are you okay? Sitiyu's pretty face turned white as she looked at Wang Chen's chest with some concern. It's okay. This guy's head isn't hard enough. Shaking his head, Wang Dust stared vigilantly at the Shadow Leopard and returned Sitiyu's sentence. He reacted the moment the Shadow Leopard appeared just now, and although his opponent was caught off guard, he consciously unloaded his force backwards when he was hit. Half of the body being knocked away was due to the impact of the Shadow Leopard, and half was also due to Wang Chen's active choice. This cunning fellow is so devious? Seeing that Wang Chen was fine, Sitiyu breathed a sigh of relief and turned his head to look viciously at the Shadow Leopard. Bending his bow, an arrow shot out like a cannonball, aiming straight at the Shadow Leopard's head. The unexpected situation just now had startled her. The young girl with a small heart decided to get back at her with a vengeance. But, in the face of this arrow, a flash of humanized disdain flashed across the Shadow Leopard's scarlet eyes. When the arrows that shot out were about to come to its body, it moved all four of its feet, and its body flashed rapidly between the lightning and fire, as if it was a twisted shadow, directly dodging Situyu's attack. Saw the scene. Situyu was a bit dumbfounded. How could he not expect that the Shadow Leopard would still be able to dodge the attack at such a close distance? Besides, is this guy that intelligent? Noticing the disdain that the Shadow Leopard exuded, Situyu thought indignantly in his heart. However, on the side, after Wang Dust saw the Shadow Leopard flashing through the arrows like a ghost, a flash of realization flashed in his eyes. Under such a violent movement, the Shadow Leopard didn't make a single sound between its actions. No wonder he didn't realize it before it made its move. I'm afraid, it's another mutated wild monster. Silently thinking in his heart, a flash of light flashed in Wang Chen's eyes as the detection technique was unleashed. Monster, Mutant Shadow Leopard. Level, 30. Fighting style, melee. Skills, clawing, biting, shadow walking. Type, mutation. Sure enough, seeing the attributes of the shadow leopard, Wang Chen nodded silently. As he had guessed, this shadow leopard was indeed a mutated wild monster. It made no sound between its actions before. Even its breath was hidden. It should be the credit of that shadow walk skill. Thinking in his heart, Wang Chen was a little afraid that if the target of the shadow leopard's attack just now was not himself, but sit to you the consequences would be unimaginable. But, this shadow leopard had some trouble if it had been lurking in the shadows waiting for an opportunity to move. But now that it had appeared in front of the eyes, this shadow walking skill of its was considered null and void. Use long range skills to limit its movements and don't let it retreat into the jungle. Giving a command to sit to you, Wang Chen quickly rushed towards the shadow leopard with his sword. Instant sword, the body pulled out a trail of residual shadows in the air. And in the next second, Wang Chen had already arrived in front of the Shadow Leopard, and the Blast Wind Longsword in his hand chopped down heavily. At this moment, his sudden burst of speed caused the Shadow Leopard to freeze, but immediately afterward a tyrannical look surged in his scarlet eyes. How dare the damn prey take the initiative? It's so uninformed. Roar! With a cruel snarl, it swung its sharp claws to meet it without fear. Bang! The Blizzard Longsword and the sharp claws clashed together with a loud boom. Right at this moment, the Shadow Leopard's scarlet eyes suddenly widened only to feel a surge of great force coming from its sharp claws. This damn prey, not only was it fast, but it was surprisingly extremely powerful as well. Without the slightest surprise, the instant sword's powerful chop directly sent the shadow leopard flying. Roar! However, the shadow leopard was worthy of being a mutated wild monster, and its ferocity was simply not comparable to ordinary wild monsters. As its body flew backwards on its way, it roared angrily, 
and the tail behind its buttocks was like a long whip as it ferociously lashed at Wang Chen. Wang Chen be careful, not far away, Sit to you, who was bending his bow and holding an arrow to aim, let out a nervous cry and loosened the bowstring in his hand. Whoosh, the arrow shot out, hitting the shadow leopard's tail heavily. Bang, a cloud of blood exploded, and the shadow leopard that landed on the ground had a section of its tail missing directly behind its buttocks. Roar, the pain caused the shadow leopard to let out a mournful growl at this moment, and its scarlet eyes gave sit to you a deadly look, in which there was a biting killing intent surging. That look was as if to say I remember you. After doing so, the shadow leopard's body quickly retreated towards the back. It was going to hide in the darkness again and wait for the right time to properly hug this arrow. But, it had good intentions, but Wang Chen didn't want to give it a chance. Just then, Wang Chen, whose body was falling downward due to inertia, slammed one foot in midair. With this kick, it was as if he was stepping on solid ground, and his body rushed out as if he were a phantom. Instant sword, second strike. This was exactly the special effect that appeared when you tapped the instant sword to full level through skill points. Next, Wang Chuan's body appeared in front of the shadow leopard like an instantaneous movement. The shadow leopard, who was preparing to withdraw backward, saw a flash of shock in his eyes at the scene. It seemed to be how it had never occurred to him that this prey could still burst out with such terrifying speed, but it couldn't even think about it at this time. The ear-piercing sound of breaking wind was whistling in its ears. The blast wind longsword chopped down heavily. Roar! With a roar! The shadow leopard swung its sharp claws to meet it. Bang! A violent crash sounded. The shadow leopard, who was in a passive position, was directly crushed to the ground by the powerful force carried on this sword. Roar! Covered in dirt, the shadow panther felt immensely humiliated and opened his hideous mouth to bite at the human in front of him. It was going to take this abominable prey and tear it to pieces. However, at this moment, lying on the ground, its threatening nature had dropped to an extremely low level in Wang Chen's eyes. The hideously huge mouth that opened was more of a joke than anything else. With a movement of his feet, Wang Chen's body flashed past the shadow leopard's attack as if it was a ghost. Then, when the shadow leopard's head was about to brush against his own, the blast wind longsword in his hand suddenly stabbed out. Put, the sharp longsword pierced into the middle of the shadow leopard's bloody mouth, stabbing out directly from the back of his head. Swish, as Wang Chen withdrew his longsword, the shadow leopard's body shook helplessly for a few moments and collapsed heavily on the ground. This level 30 mutated wild monster was so miserably turned into a corpse. Wang Chen, did I shoot that arrow just now at just the right time? The battle ended, and Si Tiyu came up with a smile on his face. Words. Wang Dust shook off the blood on his long sword and glared at her without any good reason. The task he had given to Si Tiyu just now was for her to restrict the shadow leopard's movements with her long range attacks to prevent this fellow from escaping. As a result, Si Tiyu was good and didn't listen to the command and directly broke the shadow leopard's tail with an arrow. A shadow leopard fur in perfect condition on the market could be sold for 20, 000 gold coins. Without the tail, the price would at least shrink by half. However, Wang Dust also knew that this little girl was worried about herself to be like this. Yeah, 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 you're the best. Wang Dust said with some words. Hearing his words, Situ Yu's eyes curved into a crescent moon, and a silly smile appeared on her face. This scene made Wang Dust roll his eyes. In the meantime, while the two of them were talking, Three dim masses of light surfaced from the corpse of the shadow leopard before they respectively disappeared into the bodies of the two of them and little ice Ching. The accumulation of these three days coupled with the experience value gain now caused the light of upgrading to appear on the bodies of the two people and one beast pet at the same time. When Wang Chuan's mind moved, information about little ice Ching and his brand new attributes surfaced. Beast pet, the dragon of extreme cold, the ancient overlord, nickname, Bing Chung, sex, female, age, under a month, infancy. Level, 11. Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast. Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS. Four Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1000, Wisdom 1000, Physique 1000, Agility 1000. No Buffs, Equipment, or Props to Add. Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Breath, SSS. Ice Inferno, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, None. Introduction, Omitted. Name, Wine Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 21. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Power, 1475 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 1475 plus 5 points. Physique, 1475 plus 5 points. Agility, 1475 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. 
Unassigned skill points, 60. It's the same old story. Attribute points are evenly distributed and skill points are reserved first. Now, not counting any increase in equipment, Wang Chen's four dimensional attributes had already approached the 150 point mark. This attribute was basically twice the main attribute of a professional of the same rank. As for Little Ice Ching, 1000 points of single attributes was too super specified, and a level 60 warrior would probably be slapped over by Little Ice Ching. Satisfied with his attributes, Wang Chen twisted his head to look at Si Yu. This girl's two eyes were vacant, with a silly grin on her face, obviously distributing her free attribute points, speaking up, because Wang Chen was going to split the experience value evenly with Bing Chang. Si Yu's current level, which was a full four levels higher than his, had reached level 25. According to this upgrading speed, Wang Chuan felt that before the journey to the 10,000 beasts mountain range was over, Si Yu, the girl, would be able to reach the full level of the first turn, and would have to carry out the second turn. Hey, are you envious of me now, Wang Dust? As long as you give me little Ice Ching, the experience value of any wild monsters you encounter afterward will be yours. By that time, you'll be able to catch up with me in rank. After assigning the attributes, Siti Yu noticed Wang Chen's line of sight and a bad smile appeared on his face. In her three years of high school, she was left behind by Wang Duan in the school's exams on various subjects. Now that the level had risen to 25, it was far behind Wang Duan by a long shot, allowing Si to use vanity to be greatly satisfied. Oh, hearing her words, Wang Chen sneered, a mere experience value, and you want to trade little ice clear away in my hands? Foolish woman, do you have some misunderstanding about the ancestral beasts? Besides, what's the point of just having a high rank? Wang Chen silently gazed at Si Yu for a few seconds, and brewed in his heart for a moment before slowly saying, you can't beat me. The sincerity in his words was overflowing, simply making it impossible for Situyu to find any possibility of refutation. Humph, exasperatedly kicking her feet, Situyu hugged little Bingqing, turned around and moved on. So angry, Stuart Jade is self-absorbed. Behind him, Wang Dust looked at the young girl's exasperated figure walking away and touched his nose and laughed. What are you walking so fast for? Was what I just said wrong? If you think I'm wrong, you can contradict me and I'll apologize to you. Get out. Before Wang Duan finished speaking, Si Tuyu picked up a branch and threw it over, her chest rising and falling rapidly in anger. Fuck off. This girl never wants to talk to you again. After giving Wang Dust a vicious look, the young girl turned around and advanced with great strides. Son of a bitch. This girl is really angry. The kind that can't be coaxed in any way. Woohoo. At this moment, little Bingqing poked his head out and rested on Si Tuyu's shoulder. She looked at Si Tuyu and then at her master. Woo. Humans are such a pain in the ass. Russell, the jungle, after the fighting subsided, was soon filled with another group of uninvited guests. Bang, kid, are you swindling us? It's been three days, why haven't you caught up with your two classmates? The hyena boss casually threw Chen Hao to the ground, his tone extremely impatient. Big brother, I, really don't know. The thorns dug into his flesh and it hurt so much that Chen Hao shivered, but he didn't dare to cry out in pain at all, and his eyes were filled with fear as he looked at the hyena boss. At this time he, Miserable beyond measure, his body and body equipment was stripped bare, only wearing a blood-stained thin coat, completely lost the rich young man's godly spirit. Humph. Upon hearing this, the hyena boss snorted coldly, it's going to be dark, we'll rest next, and then we'll make our way early in the morning. If we don't find it by tomorrow, you'll be useless. As he spoke, he stepped forward to lift Chen Hao up, ready to bring the other party to talk about a several hundred million dollar deal. But just then, boss, we got something. The oldest hyena with triangular eyes exclaimed and ran over with an arrow. It's an arrow from earlier. And the blood on the ground from the battle hasn't dried yet. The dark jungle. What? Hearing Lao San's words, the hyena boss dropped Chen Hao in his hands and snatched the arrow over. Yes, the same arrow as before. Those two brats, they just left not long ago? After observing for a moment, a look of excitement appeared on the hyena boss's face. At those words, the three people around them also had hideous smiles on their faces. Treating arrows worth hundreds of gold coins as disposable items. This kind of fat sheep. Their hyena squad was excited just thinking about it. Seeing this scene, Chan Hao, who was lying on the ground humiliated and covering his buttocks, silently let out a sigh of relief. That's great. Daisies don't have to be destroyed. Silently thinking in his heart, he looked at the cruel expressions on the faces of several people from the hyena squad, and his heart was slightly excited. King Dust, you wait for me. You're so handsome. The hyena boss will like you very much. Just then, thinking of the treatment that Wang Chen would suffer afterward, Chen Hao, who was excited in his heart, 
suddenly realized that a shadow had enveloped him. Boss, hurry up and catch them, they have a lot of valuable things on them. Looking up and seeing that it was Boss Hyena, Chen Hao said excitedly, Don't worry. Hearing his words, the hyena boss smiled wryly, I'll have the two of them with you soon. As the words fell, his fist, which seemed to be the size of a sandbag, suddenly swung out. Bang! Before Chen Hao could ponder the meaning of the words, he was directly blasted through the heart. You, promised me you'd leave me alone. You, not a man of your word. Life drained away little by little as Chen Hao looked at the hyena boss with disbelief in his eyes. Ha! Hearing his words, the hyena boss casually tossed him aside like a piece of trash. Spare you, credit? The rule of our hyena squad is to never leave anyone alive in every strike. Leaving behind a cold sentence, the hyena boss licked the blood on his fist, his eyes excitedly looking deeper into the jungle. Let's go. Go after those two fat goats. With a wave of his arm, he took his three companions and stride to chase after Wang Chen and sit to you in the direction they had left. Dusk, sunset, the entire 10,000 beasts mountain range fell into silence. The darkening light of the sky could no longer break through the layers of canopy that blocked it spilling its rays onto the ground. At this moment, the interior of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was so dimly lit that it could almost be said that one couldn't see a finger, not to mention the professionals who entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range to seek their fortune. Even those wild monsters native to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range would honestly stay in their own lairs at dusk and would not move around easily. Russell, the silence was broken by the sound of a slight rattle and the light of a flashlight casting a column of light through the dim jungle. Wang dust and sit to you, walking deep in the jungle. Wang Chen. I can't walk anymore. Under the flashlight's illumination, Sityu's face was a bit white and her breathing was a bit ragged. As a blizzard archer, her attribute additions favored strength and agility, and her physical strength was completely incapable of being compared to this pervert. Wang Dust. Got it. Through this forest we'll look for a place to camp. Wang Dust, who was leading the way in front, said at this time without looking back, without the need for Sityu to say anything, he was planning to find a location to camp as soon as possible. After all, the night in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range was too dangerous, and the professionals who had been mixing in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range for a long period of time would silently follow an iron law. That is, after entering the darkness of the night, one should never act in the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Because at night, although the wild monsters in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range basically don't come out, there are always those exceptional guys, these wild monsters that dared to move around at night. Without exception, each one of them was a strong and terrifying hunter. Among their respective regions, they were all deservedly dominant. Therefore, the veteran birds who entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, even if they didn't find a suitable camping spot, they would only spend the night nearby, and would definitely not get up until dawn. Russell, exploring forward with the light of the flashlight, Wang Dust silently searched for a suitable camping spot. Soon, his eyes lit up. Not far ahead, he saw a large, extremely thick tree. The tree was at least as thick as a three-person embrace. So as long as it was handled properly, digging out a treehouse to accommodate two people would not be a problem. Well, seeing Wang Chuan stop, Situyu directly leaned over and rested her chin on Wang Chuan's shoulder with a breathless look. Hold on just a little longer. We'll camp up ahead. Wang Dust didn't have the good sense to push the young girl who was taking advantage of him away, and reached out to point at the large tree in front of him. Great. Hearing his words, Situyu let out a cry of joy, instantly losing the shriveled look she had just had. Then what are you waiting for? Let's get over there. As she spoke, she directly ran towards the big tree with little Bingqing in her arms. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust rolled his eyes breathlessly. Nice guy. So you were pretending before? He shook his head helplessly and took a step to follow. Bang, bang, bang. With a muffled sound, Wang Chuan used his blast longsword to dig a large hole in the trunk next to the thick tree branch. After getting it done, Situ you couldn't wait to squeeze in. Hey, Wang Dust, do you want to come in and rest for a while? In the hollowed out hole of the large tree, Situyu moved her butt and made a place in the small space. Forget it, the place is too small and cramped. Outside the tree hole, Wang Dust glanced at the small space inside the tree hole and shook his head. A place that big is big enough for one person. And for two, one person's share of the place isn't as big as his ass. I'd better lie here, just so I can still keep an eye out. You should get some rest, you still have to travel tomorrow. Tying up the hammock, Wang Duan said. Oh, then, good night. Hearing his words, Situyu responded, her emotions seeming to have some small loss. Saying goodnight to Wang Dust, she tightened the blanket around her body and prepared to rest. Just then, though, she caught a sudden flash of light in her afterglow. Wang Chen, there seems to be someone over there? Situyu was instantly alert in her heart as she pointed in the direction where she saw the bright light and whispered, Anyone? 
Hearing Situ use words, Wang Chen could not help but stare. No way, this road is so difficult, and there are other professionals coming? With this thought in his mind, Wang Chen looked in the direction of Situ Yu's finger. This look instantly made his eyes grow heavy. Nice guy, there's really someone else who walks the shitty road like we do? Underestimating under their breath, Wang Chen and Situ Yu looked at each other. What now? Surely they'll spot us if they get any closer? Situ Yu asked in a small voice. Hearing her words, Wang Dust rubbed his nose and felt some toothache. This, indeed, is a problem. What to do? Looking at the gradually approaching bright light in the distance, Wang Chen touched his nose and silently pondered in his heart. At this point in time, it's definitely not practical to change your campsite spot. It was going to be completely dark soon, and wandering around in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range at this time of the day was tantamount to dancing on the tip of a knife. But if we don't change the place, the guys in the distance will come over and there's a good chance there'll be trouble again. After all, in the middle of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the most trustworthy thing for all the professionals was only their own weapons, and the rest of anyone, including their companions, had to be wary. Silently pondering in his mind, Wang Dust gradually came to a decision. Let's wait and see what happens first. If it's just ordinary professionals venturing into the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, we'll leave them alone. If not, then prepare to fight. He turned his head and looked at Situyu and said. At that, the young girl tensed a bit. That's not good, is it? Situyu said hesitantly. Although there are no laws in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, we can't just kill people at will, right? Wang Dust looked at Situyu with strange eyes and a very nonchalant expression. I'm just talking about fighting. You're talking to me about killing people? Sheesh, a young girl. That's a really open pattern you've got there. I, Wang Duan, would like to call you wolf destruction. What's wrong? Being watched by Wang Chen's gaze, Situ Yu was a bit puzzled. Nothing. Seeing that the young girl didn't find the words inappropriate in the slightest, Wang Dust shook his head and turned to look into the distance not wanting to say anything. This bitch is so ruthless. We must offend less in the future. Russell, the hyena squad, a group of four, walked drearily through the jungle. Boss, there's someone in the tree up ahead. Just then, the oldest of the squad suddenly stopped in his tracks. He only saw him close his eyes and perceive for a moment, then said with some excitement, there are two in total. It should be those two fat sheep. Hearing his words, the other two both simultaneously set their eyes on the hyena boss. They had no doubts at all about Lao San's words. After all, as a level 40 druid, Lao San could already communicate a little bit simply with the plants in the forest. Boss what do we do now? Kill them directly? Assassin profession elder licked his lips and asked with some excitement. No. At that, the hyena boss shook his head. A flash of cunning on his face. These two brats were able to tackle so many sinking demons before. They must have powerful equipment in their hands. And definitely no shortage of magic skill scrolls. Let's lean over to meet them and try to take them out by surprise. Lao San. You go straight into a sneaking state and wait for my order to do it. Looking around at his three teammates. The hyena boss commanded. Good, boss is wise. The three people around them nodded, and the second one of them even disappeared without saying a word. His body directly shook and disappeared. A closer look reveals an additional faint outline among the shadows on the ground. Action. Seeing this scene, the hyena boss did not hesitate and directly stepped forward in the direction of his target. Soon, the three of them then arrived under the large tree where Wang Chan and Siti Yu were. When they reached this point, the hyena boss stopped several people with a wave of his hand. Tree friend, it's getting dark. Mind if we hitch a ride around? He looked at the shadows on the big tree and raised his voice to shout. Tree. A flash of dissimilarity flashed in Wang Chen's eyes as he sniffed. When did these guys find out about themselves and sit to you? With that in mind, he cautiously emerged from the tree and looked at the three below. Sorry about that. It's not very convenient. You'd better go somewhere else. Hearing his words, a flash of anger surged on the faces of the hyena's oldest three and four, and they were about to open their mouths to retort. At that moment, however, a large hand clapped on their shoulders, none other than the hyena boss. Understandable. In a place like the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, a little more vigilance could probably lead to more lives. As he spoke, his line of sight continuously swirled around Wang Chen's handsome face, and a rich greed surged under his eyes. Masculine. Handsome. It's the old man's type. The hyena boss stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. At the same time, he wiggled his fingers quietly and gave his dick an order. Opposite. Being stared at by this line of sight, Wang Chen felt a chill go straight from his tailbone to his head. Nice guy, you're not right. Since you understand that's great, slow down. However, after all, Wang Chen was not a person who was addicted to killing, and he silently gripped his longsword at this moment and gave the order to expel the guests. However, right at that moment, just after the words were said, 
A strong sense of threat suddenly rose in his heart. Whoosh! In the next second, the violent sound of breaking wind rang in his ears. When the hyena boss gave the order to make a move, a black shadow suddenly emerged from the root of the tree, and he seemed to be like a snake moving forward on the tree, silently and lightning fast rushing to Wang Chen's side. This little brat is so good looking. Looks like I'll have to leave his body intact or else the boss will teach me a lesson again. This black shadow was none other than the second in the hyena squad. He held a dagger in his hand with a touch of pity amongst his icy eyes. The skill he used at this moment was the exclusive skill of a first turn assassin. Shadow Assault. It allows him to approach his target silently through the shadows and then strike a fatal blow against him. In just a few breaths of time, the hyena penis approached Wang Chen. When he saw that Wang Chen opened his mouth to speak and his attention was all on the boss's side, a cold light flashed in his icy eyes. Good chance. Without hesitation, he suddenly leapt out from among the shadows, and the dagger in his hand stabbed at Wang Chen's chest like a viper. After launching the attack, the hyena dick had a somewhat excited expression on his face. He couldn't wait to feel the wonderful touch of the dagger as it pierced the body. However, just as the dagger in his hand was about to hit its target, his pupils suddenly shrunk. Whoosh! The sound of violent wind was ringing in his ears. Wang Chuan was shocked in his heart, and at this moment, he could not even think about it, and subconsciously chopped out with a sword. In order to increase the power, he even used his skills directly. Instant sword. Za! Violent wind sounds echoed and the long sword in Wang Chen's hand chopped out as if it was instantaneous. Immediately, the hyena's second, who thought he was going to get it, his pupils shrunk. A long sword that fell at extreme speed appeared in his field of vision. Next, Madaka, violent sounds of gold and iron clashing rang out, and dazzling sparks arose from the collision of the two weapons. With the help of this suddenly bright light, Wang Chen saw the appearance of the sneak attacker clearly. For a moment, a flash of color flashed in his eyes, and on the opposite side, damn it! How can this guy be so fast? Just as surprise had time to surface in his heart, Hyena Lao San felt a strong force coming from the falling longsword. Being in mid-air, he had nowhere to unload his force, and his entire body was directly split out. Bang! It wasn't until he fell to the ground that Hyena Elder stopped his body from flying backwards. Phew! Splitting the sneak attacker with one blow, Wang Chen moved to somewhat numb arm and let out a long breath. With that sword just now, he had used all of his strength, and projecting from the recoil force, that sneak attacker was at least 20 levels higher than him. Looks like I've run into the elite of the first turn professionals. With a grave thought in his heart, Wang Chen patted Situyu, who was somewhat lost in thought beside him. Well, are you okay? Ha! Huh? Situyu woke up like a dream at this moment and froze a little. She still hadn't figured out how she suddenly got into a fight when she had just been talking so well. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust rolled his eyes breathlessly. Without good humor, he dragged Situyu behind him as he looked downward with wary eyes. Hyena squad? Snap, kid, you're outstanding in your resilience and observation skills. What, any interest in joining our hyena squad? Under the tree, the hyena boss, who was as strong as a polar bear, clapped his hands and looked at Wang Dust with a face of admiration. Masculine, handsome, with a decent talent for strength. It's also excellent to absorb into the team as new blood. The hyena boss stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. Opposite, Wang Dust was finally clear about where the chill he inexplicably felt came from. But at this moment, the way he looked at the hyena bosses and the others was not much different from each other. The eyes burned, and it was as if there were gold coins glittering in them. Seeing the hyena elder's appearance under the sparks of the collision just now allowed him to learn the identity of the other party. Hyena squad. Hey, this was a wanted criminal who ranked 36 on the Dongling City Adventure Guild's most wanted list, and the four heads combined were worth 4 million gold coins. Once he thought that in front of him was a walking 4 million gold coins, Wang Dust felt that the disgusting gaze wasn't intolerable. I do have an interest in your hyena squad, but, it's for your heads. Looking at the hyena squad's boss, Wang Duan had a sunny smile on his face. I don't know what to do. Hearing his words, before the hyena squad boss could say anything, the second one, who had just been cleaved away, popped out. At this moment, he moved his numb arm and looked at Wang Chen with an incomparably cold gaze. At this point, he had long since seen that the other party was just a level 15 munchkin. The thought that, he was actually slashed by the sword of a newbie who had just turned a short while ago, made Hyena Elder's heart furious. But despite this, he did not act rashly, but slowly surrounded the tree with his companions. The Hyena Second was well aware that the boss hated it when people messed with him when he was having a talk. The last Hyena Dick was dealt with for rashly striking out. At this moment, the three members of the Hyena Squad surrounded the large tree where Wang Chen and Sityu were from the left and right rear. The Hyena Boss, on the other hand, was holding a long knife and blocking the forefront with a sardonic smile on his face. Kid, 
you refused my good intentions, so I'll have to play by the rules. Don't worry, I'll cherish your corpse, tree, Wang Duan, I'll run away quickly. Seeing the four men of the ferocious hyena squad approaching, Situyu's voice took on a hint of trembling amongst her voice, and one of her hands tightly grasped the corner of Wang Chen's coat. Apparently she recognized the infamous bounty hunter squad as well. Run? Hearing Situyu's words, Wang Chen patted her somewhat trembling little hand. Don't worry, nothing will happen, it's them who should be running away now. Speaking in a light tone, Wang Dust glanced at little Ice Ching, who was eager to try. This little guy, upon seeing the four members of the hyena squad appear, began to get excited. The talent for fighting hidden in her bloodline caused a burning desire to fight to rise in her jewel-like eyes. But, hearing Wang Chen's words, Situ Yu became even more nervous. There's a second turn powerhouse inside them. We can't beat them at all. Seeing this nervous expression on her face, Wang Chen couldn't help but look at her a few more times. Usually in school, this girl is staggering and looks like she's not afraid of anything. I didn't realize that there was such a little girl gesture. If this was filmed, I'm afraid it would become Sit to use black history for the rest of her life. However, this idea Wang Dust just thought about it in his heart. This girl was scared. Adding oil to the fire is a bit unorthodox. Don't worry. Haven't you forgotten that I'm a giant beast royalty? Just because the two of us can't beat them doesn't mean Little Ice Ching can't. In a while, you'll be watching Little Ice Ching show off her power. Patting Sit to use hand. Wang Chen smiled. Little Bing Ching? Hearing his words, Situyu had a puzzled look on her face and looked down at the little one in her arms. Woohoo! Little Bingqing chirped at this moment, his cute little face full of complacency. A look like I'm awesome. No! Wang Chen you're letting little Bingqing go to her death. However, Situyu's brainwaves didn't match up with little Ice Ching at all. We'll die together if we have to. You can't be so cruel. She'll be eaten. Looking at the adorable little guy, Situyu's eyes revealed impatience, and he deadlocked little Bingqing in his arms. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen breathlessly touched his nose. Nice guy, you really didn't take what I said before seriously. One time, Wang Dust had some expectations. What kind of expression would Situ Yu have in a moment when Little Ice Ching showed her fighting stance? The four of the hyena squad completely blocked off the space in front of and behind the big tree. As they looked at Wang Chen and Situ Yu who were talking quietly, a hideous smile appeared on each of their faces. Ha ha ha, you two have a deep bond. What, did you discuss who to leave behind to break the back? I can give you a chance for one of you to run for a minute first. The hyena boss teased. As he spoke, he quietly gestured toward the second in line. The corners of his mouth quirked up slightly after seeing the older two's bodies twisting unnoticeably. The main reason why the hyena boss led his men to slowly surround up and did not directly launch an attack was because he was worried about Wang Duan and Situyu indiscriminately throwing high power skill scrolls. Now, however, the hyena boss wasn't worried. First turn assassins have an exclusive skill named Shadow Split. Shadow Split, see Assassin's exclusive skill, active skill, after using it, you can split a Shadow Split, and within a range of 10 meters, you can swap positions between the main body and the Shadow Split at any time. Remarks, the Shadow Doppelganger does not have any attack or defense, and has a duration of existence of 60 seconds. Just now, he had already told Lao Air to use his skills, and when he did, it would be hard for these two fat sheep to escape with their wings. Getting ready, the hyena boss silently looked at the two fat goats in front of him. At the sight of Situ Yu, a flash of disgust flashed across his eyes, but when his eyes landed on Wang Chen's body, a flash of fire welled up under his eyes. Since you don't want to join in, you'll just have to do it while it's hot for a while. With excitement in his heart, the hyena boss licked his lips unnaturally. The big tree. Hearing the hyena boss's words, Situ Yu's expression shifted uncertainly, and after giving Wang Chen a reluctant glance, she gritted her teeth and was about to move forward. However, just as she lifted her foot, Wang Duan reached out and yanked the silly girl to a halt. Do you appear to be seriously ill? The words of a bounty hunter can blossom in an iron tree if they can be trusted. Without any good humor, he dragged Sit to you behind him, and Wang Duan mockingly looked at the hyena boss, trying to sway us with words? What a poor trick. And, as he spoke, he skimmed his mouth dismissively. Using the shadow split skill under the nose of an honor student who can get a perfect score in a magic fluctuation perception course? Do you take me for blind? As soon as the words fell, the long sword in Wang Chen's hand turned, directly stabbing down heavily towards his left hand. Puffing, the long sword instantly missed the trunk of the tree by a foot, and the shadow that was stabbed violently twisted, then dissipated into a wisp of green smoke in the next second. The shadow doppelganger that didn't have the slightest attack or defense was directly crushed. This, seeing this scene, the hyena elder, who had used his shadow split skill and was preparing to sneak attack from behind, had a shocked expression on his face. 
How could he have thought that a level 15 budding professional would be able to discover the shadow doppelganger's trail? This T, sure you're not kidding? After his skill was used, even the hyena boss, who had reached level 50, couldn't accurately find where the shadow divergent was. What a keen insight. The hyena boss was equally filled with shock at this time, and his eyes were even more colorful when he looked at Wang Chen. You have this talent. It's a shame to die here. Think about it. As long as you kill that woman, I'll let you join our hyena squad. When the time comes, I can fulfill whatever you want, including me. As he spoke, the hyena boss's body, which was as strong as a polar bear, trembled strangely for a few moments. This scene made Wang Duan and Sitiu shudder as they watched. It was the other three members of the hyena squad around them who also chilled and quietly moved away from their boss. This hobby, it's so tea scary. Wang, Wang Dust, does he, like, you, do you want, to think about it? Hiding her body behind Wang Chen, Situ stammered. Hearing her words, Wang Duan almost stumbled and fell to the ground. Is it wrong to be handsome? The air shakes cold. Damn girl, do you want to die that badly? Originally, while Situ was preparing to give up his life to break his back because of the hyena boss's proposal, Wang Dust's favorability towards this girl almost directly exploded. But now, nope, what do you mean you like it? What do you mean you're into you? If you don't know how to speak, don't say it. Stumbling leads to misunderstandings, glaring fiercely at Situ. Wang Chuan reached out and grabbed her in her arms, then directly threw the impatient little Ice Ching towards the four people of the hyena squad. Little Bing Ching, get them for me. No. Seeing this scene, Situ immediately let out a cry of shock. Wang Chen you're too cruel to let little Bing Ching go to her death? As she spoke, Situ reluctantly glanced at Xiao Bing Ching's back, then gritted her teeth as she grabbed Wang Chen's arm and was about to jump like under a tree. You heartless fellow, hurry up and leave, don't waste the time that little Bing Ching has bought us. However, Wang Dust was like an old tree taking root, looking ahead without a single glance. Situ Yu's little bit of strength made his figure not even sway a bit. Anger. Didn't want to hitch a ride with this guy with a major medical condition. Son of a bitch. Seeing this scene, Situ Yu was so angry that she stomped her feet. Opposite. The four members of the hyena squad's eyes couldn't help but become grave when they saw Wang Chen wave his hand and a blue-colored shadow flew out. Careful. Watch out for skill scrolls. The hyena boss, in particular, gave a loud reminder to his teammates at this moment. However, after the words fell and the azure-colored shadow appeared in front of them, they saw that it wasn't a skill scroll at all. Instead, it was a strange creature covered in azure scales, with small pointed horns on its head, and four claws, too large and too small, that flew in the air with the help of small wings. It looks cute and cuddly and is the type that will be chased like crazy by little girls. This, this is a fucking pet? Seeing this scene, the hyena boss was furious. He had just been scared by a small pet? It's just a strange shame. Catch it for me. I'm going to stew it for me today. With a furious roar, the hyena boss did not put little Ice Ching in his eyes at all. And with a swing of his long sword, he was ready to move forward. And the other three followed suit with their attacks. Woohoo! Little Bing Ching waved her wings, excitedly looking at the four people rushing up, and let out a clear chirp from her mouth. After being out for so long, I finally ran into a couple guys who could barely be used as toys. Without hesitation, Little Ice Ching swung her wings and directly met the four members of the hyena squad. Seeing this scene, the hyena boss holding a long knife had a hideous smile on his face. You're a loyal little thing, so I'm sure it'll be something else to dig out your heart and roast it. Speaking cruelly under his breath, the hyena boss swung his long blade, and was about to decapitate the small creature in front of him. Yet just then, the hyena boss's pupils instantly shrunk to the size of the tip of a needle as if he had seen the most incredible thing in the world. On, the clear chirping from Little Ice Ching's mouth suddenly transformed into a high dragon's roar. Immediately after that, her delicate and small size rapidly expanded, and in the blink of an eye, she transformed into a five-meter-long behemoth. Hoo hoo hoo, the bitterly cold wind blew, the moisture in the air condensed, and the entire dense forest instantly seemed to have entered winter. Meanwhile, the other three people of the hyena squad, before they could figure out what was happening, had a sudden gust of wind in front of them, their bodies, then, were slapped backwards by an irresistible force. Bang, bang, bang. After the three of them tumbled to the ground, they spat out a mouthful of blood almost at the same time. That blow just now had directly caused the three of them to break several of their ribs, but they lived up to their reputation as notorious bounty hunters, and one by one, they forced themselves to get up from their injuries and vigilantly looked for the source of the attack, but immediately after. They were so dumbfounded that their eyes almost fell out. Only in front of them, a creature that seemed to have come out of mythology was hovering in midair. The creature was covered in azure-colored scale armor, 
and the gentle wave of its two wings brought up a piercingly cold wind, hideous claws, and a pair of sharp horns hovering over the massive head. All the features were indicative of the fact that what appeared in front of them was a mythical creature from the legends. Megalosaurus. A dragon. Dragon? The hyena boss felt his soul freeze as he looked at the behemoth in front of him. That unassuming little pet was an incredibly noble dragon? Crazy. This could be at least a divine beast level behemoth. But to be held in someone's arms as a pet before? The hyena boss never imagined that he would one day be able to see a giant dragon among the divine beasts with his own eyes. And also, unfortunately, become the enemy of this giant dragon. How many sins did this tea commit to get this kind of retribution? And on the side, the other three people from the hyena squad were so frightened that they trembled and fell straight to the ground. Nima, why would a horrible creature like a giant dragon appear here? Just now, with just the gusts of wind brought up by those two dragon wings, the three of them had suffered considerable injuries. The moment, the four people of the hyena squad were filled with despair. Tree, this, Situyu looked in front of him, and his entire body directly froze. A massive creature over five meters appeared in front of her in the blink of an eye. The powerful dragon claws, the hideous dragon horns, the huge wings with a wingspan of more than seven meters. None of them reminded her that this was a divine beast that had stepped out of the legends. Megalosaurus. How could Situyu not have thought that Bing Chung, who had previously been treated as his pet, had turned into a giant dragon among the divine beasts? It was, as if the sky was the limit. In the meantime, Anon, a high dragon's roar rang out as the energetic Bing Ching prepared to use the extreme cold spit to give his initial battle a perfect start. One moment, vast frost power converged in Bing Ching's mouth, forming an azure-colored mass of extremely cold energy that emitted a terrifying power fluctuation. Rumble, with the energy built up to the extreme, Bing Ching deflected the dragon's mouth, and the azure-colored ball of energy transformed into a pillar of light, sweeping towards the four members of the hyena squad. Boom! Violent roars rang out, and the violent energy turbulence instantly spread in all directions. In just the blink of an eye, a deep gully appeared where the extreme cold spit hit. Aside from the hyena boss, the other three members of the hyena squad who were in the gully were torn to pieces by the raging force without even having a chance to let out a scream. So strong, seeing the destruction caused by the extreme cold spitting breath, Wang Chen clenched his fists with excitement in his eyes, killing three level 40 first turn professionals in one hit. Little Ice Ching's strength really didn't let him down. And on the side, the hyena boss who had escaped from death saw the tragic death of his three teammates, and his whole body shivered in fear. The power of this strike was too terrifying. He knew very well in his heart that if he hadn't dodged just now, he would have definitely ended up being killed in seconds directly. Is this the strength of a divine beast dragon? It's too overspecified. It was only after a long time that the hyena boss came back to his senses. His eyes still filled with a strong sense of disbelief. It was definitely not something he could deal with as a second turn professional. With fear in his heart, the hyena boss quietly stepped back and tried to escape. However, as soon as he moved, he saw a pair of azure-colored vertical pupils filled with majesty appear in front of him. Flutter. Without the slightest hesitation, the hyena boss directly fell to his knees and cowed out frantically to Bing Ching. I was wrong. It's me who has no eyes. I'm willing to pay any price and beg you to keep my dog's life. The hyena boss cowed out at this point. Dignity? Face? Money? At this moment in the hyena boss's mind, nothing was as important as his own life. At this moment, he only regretted why he had been so blind, treating that youth, who possessed a huge dragon, as a fat sheep. Shit, after escaping today, I definitely want to stay away from Dongling City and the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. With depressed thoughts in his heart, the hyena boss cowed out unceasingly, and his mouth even begged for mercy loudly. It is I who have no eyes and have offended you too. This is all the belongings I have on me, and I am willing to trade them for my dog's life. As he spoke, the hyena boss took out all the valuable things he had on him. His life was at the mercy of that handsome young man across the street. Now, he somewhat realized the feelings of those adventurers who had tragically been poisoned by the hyena squad. Before they died, woohoo! At this moment, Bing Cheng also looked at Wang Chen, with a pair of large jewel-like eyes that carried a hidden aggression. That expression, it was as if he felt like his toy was going to be snatched away from him. The big tree. When Wang Dust saw the scene, a smile appeared on his face. Binching this little guy is quite playful. When the owner, how could he grab a toy from her? Just take your time and don't give it a break like the other three. This guy is worth a lot of money. You'll have to take his head for all your future snacks. Smiling and instructing Bing Ching, Wang Chen turned his head to look at Situ Yu. As for the hyena boss, he didn't care at all about the offer from the other side. Getting paid for your life? Hey! The only good bounty hunter is a dead bounty hunter. Damn kid. I curse you to death. 
Seeing that Wang Chuan didn't pay any attention to himself, Boss Hyena's heart sank into the abyss and he cursed furiously. Cursing angrily, he gripped his long sword and stood up with difficulty. Bastard, you really think you've got me. If you want to kill me, you'll have to pay the price. Knowing that he could not be spared today, the hyena boss was also aroused to ferocity, and he intended to fight for his life. Although this huge dragon in front of him was a mythical creature, it was not as huge as the legends, and was obviously still in its juvenile stage. As luck would have it, the hyena boss felt like he might even get away with it. But, just as this thought had risen in his mind, a black shadow suddenly enveloped above him. Bingqing swung his wings and instantly came next to him. Then the dragon claw, which was like the size of a millstone, swung out, straight to the hyena boss with a big BB pocket. Bang! The hyena boss didn't even react, and his entire body was hit by a strong and overwhelming force. The body spun in circles and flew out. Boom! Under this powerful force, he directly slammed into the rock wall, and then his entire body was embedded. Put! A mouthful of blood sprayed out. After receiving this blow, the hyena boss had broken at least 17 or 18 ribs, and at the place where he stood before, the dragon of extreme cold, Bing Chang, was excitedly moving his dragon claws in a playful manner. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust silently gave boss hyena a second of silence in his heart. A level 50 second turn professional should be able to allow Bing Ching to move his muscles, right? Silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen patted Situyu who was still a bit stunned. Hey, come back to your senses. Now do you believe? What I said before, at this moment, awakened by the sound, Situyu came back to his senses. She twisted her head to look at Wang Chen, her eyes full of unbelief and shock. Wang Dust, this stinky guy, had actually contracted to a giant beast? And among the behemoths, the gargoyles? Situyu thought about how he had held Bing Ching in his arms and rubbed him earlier, feeling as if he had experienced a hallucination. That's a giant dragon, and I was treating it like a normal pet before? Even with her big heart? She was now feeling the backlash. With the size that Bingqing displayed, she could probably sit on her ass. Hey, what's on your mind? Seeing Situyu start to stare again, Wang Chen waved his hand in front of her. At those words, Situyu looked straight over. Wang Chen, tell me the truth. How did you contract Bingqing? There are only a handful of divine beast giant dragons in our Dongling city, or even the entire dragon kingdom. It's probably luck. Wang Dust touched his nose and somewhat ambiguously returned. I just bought a cold ice lizard at the free market, then went home and used the imperial beast technique contract, and the cold ice lizard mutated into an ice clear. Let's just say that good looking boys don't have too much luck. As he spoke, Wang Chen's face deliberately revealed a touch of smugness. He naturally couldn't tell Situyu that he had obtained Bing Ching through the fusion of beast pets, and that Bing Ching wasn't a divine beast, it was a topmost ancestral divine beast. This kind of secret, it's better to rot in your heart for the rest of your life, or else it will lead to countless troubles. Luck? Because you're handsome? Cut. Seeing Wang Dust's smelly look, Situyu subconsciously glanced at her mouth. Immediately afterward, she took a violent step forward, and her pretty face was almost pressed together with Wang Dust. Fortunately, this scene was not seen by Sito Hoyan, or else this fellow would be afraid that he would directly explode in place with anger. Tell me, what beast pet store did you get the ice clear from? Word for word, Situyu's eyes lit up. It's at the beast pet store at the far end of the free market. His beast pets are of good quality. Feeling the young girl's orchid-like spit on his face, Wang Chen unnaturally turned his head away. But in the next second, his head was squared off by two jade hands. Look straight at me. Situyu's eyes were as bright as stars, and her mouth even issued a vicious threat. Don't think about lying to me or I'll go to your house every day and make trouble. It's hard to imagine that. Situyu, who usually had a big grin in front of Wang Chen, was suddenly serious at this time, and her pretty face, which was serious, unexpectedly exuded an aura as if she was a queen, noble and cold and unquestionable, but next, and she broke, can we have some hygiene, you spit in my face, Wang Dust reached out and pushed Situyu's face backward, then wiped his face with his sleeve in disgust, in front of the cave entrance, the atmosphere became intolerable for a moment, Situyu's pretty face was covered in a red haze, and her ears were red, so embarrassing, she covered her face with her hands, feeling like she had no face, and on the opposite side, so, are you okay? Wang Chuan felt that the young girl in front of him was in dire need of Bing Qing's help. Look, it seems like smoke is coming out of her head. I'm fine. Situyu stomped her foot and said loudly, quietly looking at Wang Chen through her fingers, her eyes hiding. Son of a bitch. Woohoo. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen touched his nose. That's weird. I'd rather watch Bing Qing's battle heroics. With that in mind, he turned his head to look down at the tree. Bang, bang, bang. 
At this moment, little Bing Ching's playfulness was high, treating the hyena boss as a leather ball and constantly slapping it around with a pair of dragon claws, to be a second turn level 50 professional and be reduced to the point of being a toy, there was no one else for what happened to the hyena boss, and he's a toy that's not cherished at all. Xiao Bingqing reached a thousand points of power and did not have the slightest bit of restraint in each swing. After just a dozen or so blows, almost all of the bones in the hyena boss's body were broken, and his entire body went limp, more like a ball. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust was a little worried that if he didn't stop it, boss hyena would be beaten alive next. Okay, Bing Chung, stop when you're done playing. Greeting Xiao Bingqing, Wang Chen walked forward with his longsword and cleanly understood the hyena boss. Four million gold coins in hand. Satisfied, he took the head of the hyena boss and wrapped it in a Ziploc bag and packed it into a parcel. Woohoo! On the side, seeing her toy gone, Bing Ching whimpered. A pair of jewel-like eyes looked at Wang Chuan with resignation. Bing Ching be good. When we go back I'll take you to the playground. However, at this time, Wang Dust was in the middle of picking up his equipment, and when he heard the voice he just took the time to comfort him. Woohoo! At those words, Bing Chang let out a disgruntled yelp, feeling that she had been left out in the cold. Phew, with a wave of her wings, she instantly rose into the air and flew towards Situyu at the entrance of the cave. During the flight, Bing Ching's body shrunk rapidly, and in an instant, it returned to its previous small and delicate appearance. Next, Situyu, who was still immersed in the world of embarrassment and was about to snap his toes out of the two rooms, suddenly felt a weight in his arms. This, looking at the cute little guy that suddenly appeared in front of her, Situyu's body subconsciously trembled. She hadn't forgotten Bing Ching's majestic appearance just now when he showed his fighting form. This was not an ordinary pet as previously thought, but a divine beast dragon. If he upset little Bing Ching, would this little guy also hit himself around like a ball? For a while, Situyu felt pressurized. But, woo woo, pouncing into Situyu's arms, Bing Ching's jewel-like eyes blinked and blinked in a way that begged for comfort. Seeing this scene, Situyu felt like her heart had been struck. It's so cute. Wang Chuan, this son of a bitch. What kind of luck did he have to contract such a lovely creature as Bing Ching? No, I'm going to abduct this little guy. Thinking silently in his heart, Situyu took out the treasured snacks from his spatial equipment and handed them to Bing Ching's face. Bing Ching you were fantastic today. These are all rewards for you. From now on, you'll follow me around, and you'll have enough snacks. Situyu said with two glowing eyes. Woohoo! Seeing that the foolish human woman was so understanding, Bing Cheng patted Situyu's shoulder with her wings. Decision made. Ben Long's future snacks will be contracted by you. As for hanging out with you, woo, this beef jerky tastes good. Save one for the host. Little Bing Ching secretly poked a packet of beef jerky and grabbed it in her little paw. The other three members of the hyena squad had their equipment scrapped along with them because they were directly blown to pieces by Ice Clear's extreme cold spit. Wang Dust's counter killing of the hyena squad this time. Aside from the 4 million gold coins bounty on the most wanted list, the rest were the four items he had stripped from the hyena boss. A long knife, a half armor that had been somewhat deformed by Bing Ching's slap, a ring, a necklace. These four items were flickering with a faint magical aura, and were obviously at least bronze ranked equipment or above. Next, it's time to open the blind box. Placing the four items on the ground in turn, Wang Chen took out the appraisal scroll. Jabla. As the appraisal scroll was torn open, a soft glow enveloped the item on the ground. In the next second, the attribute information of these four items appeared before his eyes. Under the big tree, Wang Dust looked at the four items on the ground expectantly. Equipment, green blade. Type, melee weapon. Grade, silver. Level limit, 45. Attributes, strength plus 100. Physique plus 50. Enchanted effects, I, each attack hits the target with a critical hit effect. With a 5% chance of causing a 1 second stun on a target with a strength attribute lower than the wearer of the equipment. 2. Increase the power of all your own skills by 5%. Equipment, steel chain mail armor. Type, Defense. Grade, Bronze. Level limit, 45. Attributes, Strength plus 40. Physique plus 70. Attachment effect, Unyielding. When attacked, reduces damage by 20%. Equipment, Silver Moon Pendant. Type, The Jewelry. Grade, Silver. Level limit, 15. Attributes, Physique plus 30. Spirit plus 20. Enchanted effects, I, Silver Moon Shelter. When fighting under a moonlit night, your own attack speed increases by 10% and your stamina recovery speed increases by 10%. 2. The power of long-range attack skills is increased by 5%. 3. Blessing of the Moon, passive by wearing this equipment. The user will gain the shimmering vision effect. Equipment, Space Ring. Type, Special Item. Grade, Bronze. Level Limit, None. Attributes, None. 
Enchanted special effect, internal self-contained 5x5 cubic storage space. After reading the information of the four items, Wang Dust nodded with satisfaction. Two silver and one bronze, and one was a spatial ring that he was currently in dire need of. This wave is really rewarding. Starting today, I no longer have to carry a big traveling bag on my back to make the journey. With excitement in his heart, Wang Chen put the spatial ring on his hand. As a faint magical wave flashed by, his consciousness established a connection with the spatial ring. With a slight mental perception, he saw a space about the size of a living room, which was empty, not even a hair. However, Wang Dust was not surprised by this. A low-grade spatial ring like this one didn't have any anti-theft means at all, and whoever got it could use it. However, every time a low-grade spatial ring changed owners, the space inside would be regenerated, and everything stored by the previous owner would fall directly into the middle of the alien space. Trying to take out the parcel income a few times, Wang Dust was satisfied and put his entire belongings in. Within these four items, it was this spatial ring that was the most useful to him. Although the green blade and the fine steel lock armor were one silver and one bronze equipment, they were both worn at too high a level. At level 45, it was already at the level of the second turn, and there was still a distance from Wang Dust. Moreover, Wang Chen was confident that when he turned two, he would definitely obtain better equipment than these two pieces. Therefore, the green blade sword and the steel lock armor. He planned to take them to the free market to sell. These two pieces of equipment, selling at 2 million gold coins would not be a problem. As for the silver moon pendant, this silver level equipment, although appropriately leveled, boosted attack speed and long range attacks, and was clearly a better match for Sit to you. It just so happens that the blast wind longsword is very easy to use, so the silver moon pendant will be used to replace it with Sit to you. He he he. The bounty for the hyena squad is 4 million gold coins. And the green blade sword and fine steel lock armor can be sold for 2 million gold coins as well. Not counting these two pieces that are kept for personal use. This wave has directly harvested 6 million gold coins. Sure enough, a wild monster map like the 10,000 beasts mountain range is a gold rush. And you can get rich in one night if you're lucky. Thinking silently in his heart, Wang Chuan collected his things and destroyed the four members of the hyena squad before taking the silver moon pendant and going to look for Situ. At this time in the big tree, the... Situ hugged Bing Chang with one hand and kept taking out snacks to feed her with the other. Little Bing Ching ate with his mouth full of oil, where there was still that formidable appearance just now. A real foodie. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust frowned slightly and climbed up the tree. Eat less. Watch out for indigestion. As he said that, he poked Bing Ching's rounded stomach. Woohoo! The little guy gave a disgruntled chirp, gave his master a grudging look, and turned his head away to continue his feeding frenzy. He he. Are we still following the established route next? Seeing this, a smile appeared on Sityu's face as he casually asked while throwing food. At this time, her tone was relaxed, unlike the nervousness she felt when Wang Chen had drawn that straight line earlier. Having seen Bing Qing's fighting prowess, the young girl was now bursting with confidence, and was no longer worried at all, about those dangers she would encounter along this route. Exactly. Wang Dust nodded. This straight line journey is the closest. The time to catch the road plus playing monsters and upgrading to do the task. Round trip down. Will be will be a month's time? Will not delay a month after the college entrance examination competition. By the way, this is for you. As he spoke, Wang Chen took out that silver moon pendant. Me, when Sityu saw this, her eyes went wide and a blush appeared on her face. The silver moon pendant sells extremely well, especially because it belongs to the silver equipment, and the surface has a faint hazy glow, which is highly aesthetic. This piece of equipment, even if its own attributes were inferior, would probably be sought after by a large number of girls. Are you, this too expensive for me to steal? Sityu pinched the corner of her coat tightly, her expression a little twisted. It's too sudden. She's not ready. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen smiled helplessly. Dude, what the hell did you make up in your head? This is considered a trophy. And when we return to Dondling City, you'll get a share of the other things after they're disposed of. Waving the silver moon pendant in front of Situ Yu, Wang Chen said with a bit of a headache. He felt that if he didn't explain his explanation, this girl was going to misunderstand. Ha! Huh? Hearing that she had gotten sidetracked, Situ Yu's pretty face instantly turned red, and a faint loss surfaced in her heart. I'd rather not. I wasn't much help in the fight. She bowed her head. A little mumbled. Words. Wang Dust rolled his eyes. Little girl. She's quite self-aware. But aren't you forgetting that we're teammates? You don't want it. I'm embarrassed to have it all in my pocket. Muttering in his heart, Wang Chen raised the silver moon pendant to Sita Yu's eyes, grinding like a pussy. Do you still want me to put it on you? Hmm, may I? Sita Yu's head snapped up at the words. Her voice rose an octave higher. An anticipation appeared on her pretty face. 
You're thinking about fart eating. Seeing this, putting down the silver moon pendant, Wang Dust didn't have the good sense to go drum up his hammock. Behind her, putting away the pendant, Sit to you, with a smile on her face, hopped over to help like a rabbit. Bang, bang, bang. Violent collision sounds rang out in the forest of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. A behemoth of more than 5 meters quickly flashed amongst the mountains and forests, each stop causing the air to be struck with waves of air visible to the naked eye. These air waves spread out, causing those 20 meter tall trees to tremble uncontrollably. Anon, a high dragon roar rang out as the azure colored dragon swung its claws, directly striking a golden python into two pieces. Situyu looked at the constantly flickering figure in the broken trees, and a flash of shock flashed through his eyes. The image in front of her, no matter how many times she saw it, still gave her a thrill, especially when he saw Bing Ching's dragon claw, which easily snapped a 20-odd meter tall tree. Situyu couldn't help but shiver. The little guy, who was often held in her arms, probably didn't even need to exert himself. His little paws could slap her into a little pie. While beside Situyu, Wang Chen looked at the azure-colored figure in the forest, while his heart was somewhat helpless. Bing Chang, the little guy, got high, completely forgetting that he, the master, gave the order for a quick battle. All right Bing Ching stop playing around and hurry up and finish them off. We don't have much time. He didn't have the good sense to yell out towards Bing Ching. Woo. The little one who was playing was giving his master a somewhat aggravated look. However, Wang Chen was not moved at all. Today was already the 15th day since he entered the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, and he was now in the area of the Golden Scaled Python. He had already finished collecting the Golden Snake Grass, and was just about to settle these Golden Scaled Pythons. Now that there was less than half a month before the Great Examination Competition, he and Situyu must return as soon as possible. Otherwise, he wouldn't have a place to cry if he missed the higher education competition. Wu, seeing that his master was unmoved, Bing Ching snorted in exasperation and twisted his head to look viciously at the surrounding golden scaled pythons, the big toys. Looks like it's time to say goodbye to you guys for good. With aggravated thoughts in her heart, Bing Ching's thick hind feet stomped heavily on the ground, an invisible fluctuation spread, and then her hideous dragon's mouth suddenly opened. Buzz off! Terrifying energy fluctuations began to converge at the dragon's mouth swarming with magical energy that even rendered the surroundings a layer of blue at this moment, and on the opposite side, roar, the thick bodies of the remaining few golden scaled pythons suddenly tensed up, and a low growl came out of their mouths, they felt an indescribable sense of crisis from the binching at this moment, roar, with a dull roar, the scarlet eyes of the golden scaled python locked onto binching in death, while it began to retreat towards the back, but, when ice ching, who was preparing his extreme cold spit skill, saw this scene, a flash of disdain flashed across his gem-like dragon eyes. Then, the cohesively formed azure-colored energy mass was suddenly spat out by her. Boom! The energy mass exploded and turned into a half-meter thick column of energy light, sweeping towards the golden-scaled python with an unstoppable momentum. Seeing this scene, a flash of fear flashed across the scarlet eyes of the golden-scaled pythons. Getting hit by this thing will absolutely kill you. Without hesitation, their thick bodies flung themselves about to dodge to the side. Just then, however, they suddenly realized that they couldn't move their bodies. A layer of azure-colored ice crystals covered their bellies, freezing them firmly to the ground. And in the surroundings, a layer of azure-colored ice crystals floated on the ground at all times. This, a flash of doubt flashed through the scarlet eyes of the golden-scaled python. They didn't even notice when the azure-colored ice crystals appeared and when they froze their bodies. Unfortunately, at this point, the golden-scaled python no longer had time to ponder over its doubts. In the instant they paused, the column of light turned into extreme cold spit hit their bodies. Boom! An indescribable chill filled the air amongst the violent collision sounds. In an instant, the bodies of the golden-scaled pythons were frozen into ice crystals, and then turned into pieces under the impact carried by the extremely cold spit. These powerful mutated wild monsters were nothing but dregs when they died. Woo! On the opposite side, when Bing Ching saw the scene, a flash of smugness flashed among her jewel-like eyes. Just now, before moving to use extreme cold spit, she had quietly used the control skill Cold Ice Inferno. It was simply impossible for the golden scaled pythons to run away. Great job. Not far away. Wang Dust loudly praised the little guy before adding. Don't bulge there. We need to quickly leave this area. Woo. Hearing his master's words, the smugness on little Ice Ching's face instantly turned into aggression. HM. Ben Long is the one who didn't bulge here. Spitting out a disgruntled breath, the little one waved his wings and was ready to fly back to his master. However, just at this moment, her afterglow suddenly saw a bright sheen in the pile of crumbs from the golden-scaled pythons. What is it? A flash of doubt surfaced in Bing Ching's mind, and after thinking about it, she didn't leave immediately. 
but instead incited her wings to come next to the ice slag. Leaning down, she picked at it with both dragon claws, and from it she fished out a small box with a silvery white sheen. The small box was enveloped by a silvery white bubble that emitted a soft glow. What's this? Can I eat it? Seeing this thing, the little guy was even more puzzled in his mind. Not far away, Wine Dust, who was preparing to withdraw, saw that little Ice Ching didn't move and couldn't help but frown, so he was ready to greet him again. However, just as he turned his head, his eyes were caught by something held up in the claws of the ice clearing dragon, a silver treasure chest? When he saw the item in Bing Ching's hand, he let out a gasp of surprise and instantly became excited. I can't believe they shipped it? Just the first moment he saw this treasure chest, he confirmed its identity. Silver treasure chests capable of opening guaranteed silver level equipment, items, or materials and skill books of equal value. What a lucky day. How could he have never imagined that a silver treasure chest would burst out from this group of mutant golden scaled pythons? Little one, you've gotten a lot of credit this time. Wan Dust looked at Little Ice Ching, who had returned to his normal state and flew back with a silver treasure chest in his mouth, and laughed his ass off. This little guy, what a blessing. With a silent thought in his mind, he took the silver treasure chest into his hands. Is this the silver treasure chest? It doesn't look anything special. At this time, Sitiu also came closer and looked curiously at the silver treasure chest. What to say about this thing? It was a little different than what she had pictured in her mind. That's a hell of a haul today. Let's find a safe spot and open the box later. Waving his hand off the hand that was reaching for the treasure chest, Wang Dust looked at the stupid Sitiu and said without a trace of anger. Cut. Seeing that the sneak attack was unsuccessful, Sitiu glanced at his mouth. Soon after, in a cave, Wang Chen pushed a boulder to block the entrance of the cave, isolating the light from the outside world. Buzz. The illumination spell turned into a ball of light that dispelled the darkness in the cave. Wang Dust, Little Ice Ching, and Sitiu, the three of them, a dragon, surrounded under the ball of light from the illumination spell and looked at the silver treasure chest in the center with an expectant face. I wonder, what goodies will be opened in this silver treasure chest? Situyu and Wang Duan both thought of this in their hearts, while little Bing Chang, who was on the side, was secretly sucking in her saliva, hoping that delicious food would be opened in the silver treasure chest. I'm going to open it. After glancing at Bing Ching and Situyu, Wang Chen placed his hand on the silver treasure chest and said with a sense of ceremony. But, right at this moment, Situyu suddenly thought of something and reached out and pressed her hand on Wang Chen's hand with a very solemn expression. Say, Wang Dust, do you have a good hand? Although silver treasure chests are guaranteed to open silver level items or equivalent materials, the value and quantity fluctuate very greatly. If you have a black hand, beware of opening a piece of junk silver equipment with the lowest rating. Looking at Wang Chen, Situyu said solemnly. At those words, Wang Chen's expression stagnated. He remembered certain unpleasant memories from before. $10,000 of ocean down. A SSR did not draw the pain. Who can understand? This is the first silver treasure chest in life. If it really opens a piece of junk then barbecue. Wang Dust thought silently in his heart and withdrew his hand to look at Sitiyu. Are you good with your hands? Of course. A smug smile appeared on Sitiyu's face. The lucky draw is bound to produce SR. Do you know about the summon master card game that's been particularly hot lately? I'm now full of beast pets. And, not a single gold coin has been charged oh. The moment. The young girl held her chin high and radiated a glow that was impossible to look at. Hiss. Wang Chen subconsciously moved his eyes away feeling like he was going to be blinded. That card game called Summon Master was not something he had ever played, but a lot of his classmates around him were playing it. Through them, Wang Dust learned that this game was extremely pitiful, and the only way to contract a powerful beast pet was to open a box. Players can receive 10 normal chests per day, and if they want more, they can only buy them by charging gold coins. As far as Wang Dust knows, the game shipping probability is extremely touching. And many tycoons have smashed in tens of millions of gold coins and have not collected all the beast pets. Situyu was able to reach the achievement of a full beast pet without spending a single gold coin. This handiwork was indeed convincing. Then you do it. Silently retreating to the side, Wang Dust gave up the treasure chest. He he. Seeing that Wang Duan knew what to do, the smile on Situyu's face became even more there. Dang 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 dang. Next is the time to witness the miracle. The young girl placed her hand on the treasure chest mouthed a silent prayer, and forcefully crushed the silver-colored film of light outside the treasure chest. Next, this silver treasure chest was directly opened, and several dazzling silver rays of light erupted from it. One, two, three, seeing this scene, Wang Chen's lips trembled a little as he looked at Situyu with incomparably shocked eyes. The chances of opening three items from a silver treasure chest were lower than winning first prize in a lottery. This little ninny, she did it so easily? 
What kind of hand is this? Kneeling for the Euromancer. Seeing the shocked look on Wang Chen's face, the smile on Situ Yu's face became even more complacent. It's so hard. The day has finally come for my lady to make this asshole's jaw drop. With a silent thought in her mind, she reached into the silver treasure chest and took out all three sets of items inside. In an instant, the entire cave was illuminated with some pearlescent light by the light emanating from these three items. The three items were two pieces of equipment and a skill book. The equipment is a pair of silver white boots as well as a small magic staff. As Situ Yu tore open the appraisal scroll, the attributes of the two pieces of equipment appeared in front of her and Wang Duan. Equipment, boots of speed. Type, defense. Grade, silver. Level limit, 20. Attributes, strength plus 20. Agility plus 30. Enchanted effects, 1, increases one's movement speed by 10%. 2, reduces the impact of a fall from a height by 50%. 3. Stepping on air, requires active activation by the user of the equipment. For the next 3 seconds after activation, the user can step on air to move forward, once per day. Equipment, Shadow Staff. Type, Magic Staff. Grade, Silver. Level Limit, 20. Attribute, Wisdom plus 50. Enchanted Effects, I, the power of one's own magic skill is increased by 10%. 2. 5% increase in the release speed of one's magic skills. 3. Shadow Orb, the staff comes with a skill that attacks the enemy by consuming magic power to shoot out a magic ball formed by shadow energy. All three effects? Seeing the attributes of these two pieces of equipment, Wang Dust fell silent. This is also, too much. Even if you open three items, the quality is so good. The boots of speed and the shadow staff were also definitely among the finest of the finest among the silver level equipment, and would not be inferior to the blasted wind longsword in his hand. Take it out and sell it. It's easy to sell a million gold coins. No, the boots of speed are yours, and I'll keep this shadow staff for my use. Throwing the boots of speed to sit to you, Wang Chen played with the compact shadow staff. The little bit of agility added by the boots of speed wasn't how he looked at it with his current attributes. 30 points, one more level up and you're almost there. There was also the equipment stepping effect, which had a considerable effect on sit to you, a blistering wind archer, and it was most appropriate to give it to her. Instead, the shadow staff in his hand was a much bigger boost for Wang Dust comes with the shadow spell skill, which gives him an extra attack skill. Then I'm welcome. Catching the boots of speed, Situyu did not push back and directly equip them. Next, after both of them tested out their new equipment, they both set their eyes on the last skill book. Under the light released by the appraisal scroll, the blurred words on the surface of the skill book gradually became clear. Wind blade technique, see active skill. Magic attack skill, consumes energy to summon a giant wind blade to attack the enemy. Seeing the skill book, Wang Dust's eyes lit up again. Nice guy. A C-rank attack skill book. Sityuo Huang's name was solid. You can't learn this skill book. So I'll be polite. Without hesitation. Wang Chen looked at Sityu with a smile and directly took the skill book into his hands. Two magic attack skills. I'll be the noble pharaoh from now on. With that in mind, he directly slapped the skill book on his body. Swish. With a flash of light, Wang Chuan immersed himself in his comprehension of the skill. Seeing this scene, Sityu who was on the side, skimmed his lips, a touch of envy appearing in his eyes. The cave, with the help of the light emanating from the illumination technique, Sityu leaned against the rock wall and quietly looked at Wang Chen's side face. Immersed in comprehending the skill, Wang Chen's current expression was quite serene, as if he was a flamboyant young man stepping out of a painting. This guy, looking like this is kinda nice. Sityu thought somewhat out of breath at this moment, and a smirk appeared on his face, but soon the smile was replaced by a wisp of sadness. This wooden lump has really contracted a giant beast, and it's also the absolutely powerful giant dragon clan among the giant beasts. It will definitely soar in the middle of the college entrance examination competition. Won't this girl be left behind hard by him in the future? Situ Yu's thoughts gradually drifted away. The special profession she had switched to, Blistering Wind Archer. Although it was the first class amongst all the students in Dongling City, when looking at the whole of the Dragon Kingdom, it appeared to be somewhat inadequate. Beforehand, Sityu had already made a guess about his performance in this great higher education competition. A book no problem, but a long way from the top. Originally, she had felt very satisfied with her future high school grades. A book, in the entire city of Dongling is already quite a high achievement. Every year can be on the examination of only a few. Even if you put it in the entire Far River province where Dongling City is located, a score of one book on the exam would be enough to be ranked in the top 100 among all the fresh candidates. But now, Situyu was very dissatisfied with this future result. The giant beast master that Wang Dust had transferred to, before he contracted the giant beast, could be said to be the most trashy of all the combat professions, only a little stronger than the living profession. 
I guess it would be good to touch the third grade line in the middle of a big high school competition. Originally, according to Situ's previous plan, after the start of the great higher education competition, she had brought Wang Duan to form a team to participate. This would pull up Wang Duan's grades, and the two of them could basically go to a similar book. But Wang Dust had now contracted a giant beast, and it was also the most powerful of the giant beasts, the giant dragon clan. He, a giant imperial beast master, then thoroughly displayed the luster he deserved in his own right. Sito you didn't even need to think about it to know that Wang Chuan's target for the college entrance exam competition was definitely one of the four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom. So annoying. This son of a bitch ran away to a top university. So if I go to a book, won't I be pulled farther and farther away from it in the future? I can't catch up anymore? Why don't I team up with this asshole at the big high school competition? A solution came to mind. Sito Yu's eyes lit up. But immediately afterward, they became dim again. No, that would pull down his grade in the big high school competition. The four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom had a rather strict limit on the number of newly enrolled students each year. Among the previous college entrance exams, only the top five of all candidates from each province can get the admission credentials to enter the top universities. And the top five aren't even the ones with the best odds. There are times when the four top universities compress their enrollment. And only the top three have a solid grasp to stand out among the millions of peers in the province, to be in the top five or even the top three. Every bit of grading in the college entrance exam competition is crucial. Sityu felt that she would feel guilty for the rest of her life if she had dragged her feet in the middle of the college entrance examination competition, causing Wang Chan to lose out on the top universities. Ah ha, so annoying. Silently pondering in his heart, Sityu was a bit frantic at this moment. And at this point, a hand suddenly reached out to her and shook it. What are you doing? Sick again? When she lifted her head, she saw Wang Chen's odd look. Ha, huh, I didn't. Situ blushed a little and hurriedly turned her head to the rock wall. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen felt a bit puzzled as he rubbed his nose. If you're sick, just bear with it, there can be no medicine in the 10,000 beasts mountain range either. Muttering, Wang Chen sat back down on the stone and silently checked the situation of the wind blade art. At this moment, this Sirank skill had been completely mastered by him and appeared in the middle of the skill panel. Although he said that the skill looked a bit eye-catching when placed amongst the several S-rank skills, there was no dissatisfaction in his eyes. Most of the exclusive skills of the giant beast master were of the support type, and they only worked on beast pets. Each additionally gained attack skill was worth treating as precious to him. With this wind blade technique, plus the instant sword and the shadow spell that comes with the staff, I now have the equivalent of three attack skills, which is enough for now. When we return to Dongling City and dispose of the harvest on our bodies, we can go to the trading house to see if there are any other suitable skills. Silently pondering in his mind, Wang Chuan looked at the wind blade art that had already appeared on the skill bar and silently added the free skill points that he had accumulated. Now that he had entered the 10,000 beasts mountain range for 15 days, his level had risen to level 30, and he had accumulated a total of 150 free skill points. A C rank skill requires twice as many free skill points as a D rank skill each time it is leveled up, consuming 100 free skill points. The level of the wind blade technique was raised to the fifth level grade. In an instant, the introduction of the wind blade technique was changed from the previous one. Wind blade technique, see active skill. Magic attack skill, consumes energy to summon a giant wind blade to attack the enemy. Turned, wind blade technique, see active skill. Magic attack skill, consumes energy to summon two giant wind blades to attack the enemy. 55. The wind blade art that had been upgraded to the fifth level. The number of wind blades emitted from each attack had changed from 1 to 2, and its power could be said to have doubled. Seeing this, Wang Dust had some feelings and expectations in his heart. It was still a long time until he left the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and he was confident that he would soon save up enough of his remaining skill points. At that time, the wind blade technique, which had been boosted to full level to gain a special effect, would definitely become even stronger. Woo, that's enough for today. Sit to you, it's better for me to keep watch first. You rest first, resisting the idea of wanting to test the power of the wind blade technique in his heart. Wang Chen turned his head to look at Situ Yu. However, the young girl at this time did not pay any attention to him. Son of a bitch, you're the one who's sick. You're the one who should be on medication. Facing the rock wall, Situ Yu used a branch he picked up casually to ruthlessly poke at the shadow Wang Dust had cast on the ground. Curse you, you son of a bitch won't get into a top university for sure. Even if you get in, the admissions teacher will kick you out because of your foul mouth. Sito Yu spoke viciously under his breath, repeating the movements one by one. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but roll his eyes. Nice guy, and you say you're not sick? Who, in their right mind, would have nothing better to do than play with shadows? Muttering, 
he leaned against the rock behind him, quietly watching the somewhat childish Situyu. Achu! In the cave, Situyu sneezed, then sleepily opened his eyes. She always felt that someone was talking about her behind her back. This bastard Wang Chen, he wouldn't be badmouthing me behind my back, would he? Silently thinking in his heart, Situyu turned his head to look for Wang Duan. However, in the cave, she found nothing, and even little ice clear was nowhere to be found. Where did this asshole run off to? With a shock in her heart, the young girl sat up in a hurry. That's when she suddenly realized that she was still covered with a blanket. This guy, turns out he still cares about people? Looking at this blanket that didn't belong to her and still smelled like soap, Situ Yu's eyes flickered a little. Sasha. Just then, a subtle movement rang out from outside the cave. You're awake? Wang Dust walked in carrying a rabbit and began to clean up after himself. Why are you up so early? Looking at the busy Wang Dust, Situ Yu casually asked. Morning, big sister. I've been up all night. You slept like a dead pig last night. You couldn't even wake up. Wang Dust, who was preparing to roast a rabbit, sniffed and gave the young girl a speechless look. The two agreed to keep watch separately, but as a result, sit to you, the girl, fell asleep against the rock wall. Still sleeping soundly, that is, not snoring, or Wang Dust had to throw her out. Ha, huh? sit to you lowered her head in some shame. I'm sorry, it's my turn tonight. Ha, huh? you can pull that off. Wang Dust scoffed unmercifully. As far as you sleep like that, I'm afraid of being carried away by some wild monster at night. With that, he nimbly lit a fire and began his own barbecue spree. Hey, hey, that's not good, is it? Scratching his head, Situyu was a bit embarrassed and completely ignored Wang Chen's mockery. Ha! Huh? Wang Dust rolled his eyes and lazily ignored this mouthy fellow. Anyway, now that his body was strengthened by attribute points, he could be refreshed as long as he found the time to squint for a while. The next step was to leave the 10,000 beasts mountain range soon, and he didn't want his eyes to close and open, and this lifetime would be over. Hurry up and pack for dinner, we've got a lot of walking to do today. After roasting the rabbit, Wang Dust saw Situyu still there holding the blanket in a daze and shouted without any good reason. He felt afraid that he would be reduced to babysitting for the rest of the day. Time passes. This day, at the entrance of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, two young men and women stepped out, drawing frequent glances from many people. These two were both excellent looking, with slightly youthful faces that carried a hint of sternness that didn't match their age. It was none other than Wang Duan. And Si Tu Yu. Phew. Wang Dust stood at the entrance of the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, looking at the professionals coming and going not far away, and exhaled a long breath. It's finally out. Nearly a month's journey to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range made him feel a bit like a lifetime ago. Great. Wang Chen you can finally take a bath. Si Tu Yu also let out a sigh of relief at this time and even deliberately moved aside with a disgusted look on his face as he spoke. Seeing this, Wang Dust revealed a cold smile on his face, speaking as if you're not, a month of wind and shelter, and neither man was now better than the other. This journey had almost almost caused them to become savages, and if it wasn't for the motivation given to them by their rapidly rising levels, they who were used to staying in the modern world wouldn't have been able to hold out for such a long period of time. Nowadays, compared to before entering the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, Wang Chen and Little Ice Ching could be said to have undergone a drastic change. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, Nickname, Bing Chung, Sex, Female, Age, Under a Month, Infancy, Level, 25, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4 Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1700, Wisdom 1700, Physique 1700, Agility 1700, Without Any Buffs, Equipment, Props to Enhance, Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Breath, SSS. Ice Inferno, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, None. Introduction, Omitted. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 35. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Technique, C. Power, 2525 plus 30 points. Wisdom, 2525 plus 10 points. Physique, 2525 plus 20 points. Agility, 2525 plus 5 plus 20 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 100. Little Ice Ching's level was raised to level 25 and her four-dimensional attributes alone even reached 1,700 points. Even if a professional who had just turned three touched it, he would have to drink his hatred under the dragon claws of this little guy. As for Wang Dust, 
who had been promoted to level 35, he had similarly undergone a transformative change, and his strength had increased drastically. The average addition of the four dimensional attributes made all his items very balanced, although not as exaggerated as Little Ice Ching, but if he ran into the previous hyena boss again at this time, he would be able to win in battle without the need for Little Ice Ching to make a move. As for Situyu on the side, because she didn't have to share her experience equally with her beast pet, this girl's level was still the highest between them, reaching the first turn limit of level 40. It was estimated that she would have to go back and prepare for the transfer ceremony, and it was unlikely that the girl would have become a second turn professional by the time the high school competition began. In addition to the harvest of levels, equipment materials these Wang Duan and Situyu also had a lot of harvest. However, the exact value of these will have to wait until they are sold at the trading house to have an exact figure. Wang Chen, there are still three days before the college entrance examination competition starts. What are your plans for the next few days? Walking on the way to the light rail platform, Situyu poked Wang Duan's arm. Intended? Turn in your quests, get rid of all your harvests, and then stay home with your parents while you wait for the big high school competition to begin. After thinking about it, Wang Chen said in a flat tone. Oh, Situyu seemed to be a little lost at his words. Soon, though, she was back to her usual big grin. Then when you go to sell something, wine dust, don't covet my share. I'm waiting to sit at home and count my gold coins after the big high school competition. Situyu said with a smile. Don't worry, I'll send you the stuff once it's sold. Hearing her words, Wang Chen rolled his eyes. I'm a giant beast master, and I'm going to covet you? Che, it's better to wait for the end of the senior high school competition. You definitely won't be able to find me if you go these days. Situyu suddenly stopped in his tracks as he spoke. At this moment, if Wang Chen was aware of something, he turned his head to see a magic hover car flying over. Bye. Looking at the distant magical hover car, Wang Dust touched his nose. Situyu, this evil little rich girl, actually didn't give him a chance to hitchhike at all. Looks like Bingqing and the two of us will have to take the light rail back after all. Noticing that little Bingqing was looking at the feeding officer with a fond look on her face as she walked away, Wang Duan poked her little head. Woohoo! The little guy chirped in displeasure as he shielded his head with his wings. At the end of the day, she poked her head out darkly, a little puzzled as to how her master hadn't continued with his poison. Woohoo! Well, let's hurry back after turning in the mission as well. When the distant magical hover car completely disappeared from view, Wang Chen hugged Bing Cheng and rode the light rail to the adventure union. In the meantime, the figures in the backseat of the magical hover car also withdrew their gazes at the same time. Uncle Junior, do you think the gap between people is really that big? Situyu leaned back in her seat, a little out of breath. Hearing her words, a somewhat cynical looking youth sitting next to her had a somewhat stunned expression. What, girl you've had quite an experience in the 10,000 beasts mountain range and you're all having life lessons? Does it have something to do with that kid just now? Situyu's younger uncle, Situ Haoran, had a gossipy expression on his face. At the same time, he surveyed his niece, whom he had not seen for nearly a month. Whom, although it was said that it looked a little bit wretched, the aura of his body had changed drastically. The youthfulness has faded and has taken on the appearance of a powerful professional. It was at this point that the expression on her face was still a little bit distressed, with a little bit of a little girl gesture. Hearing her little uncle's words, Situyu sullenly skimmed her lips. Seeing this scene, Situ Haoran's heart was clear. I told you a long time ago that there was too big a gap between you and that kid, and you just wouldn't listen. Does it feel like all the goodness of the old days is gone this time when I helped you hide it from your family and let you go out with him to practice? It's okay, this is just a small setback in your life. You have a long road ahead of you. You too, you are not destined for the same world. Seeing his niece in a low mood, Situ Haoran said persuasively, Aha, uh -huh, we're really not on the same level anymore. Situ you nodded, a very complicated expression on his face. Him, you'll leave me far behind in the future, won't you? Silently thinking in his heart. Situyu twisted his head to look out the window at the scenery that flew by. At this moment, she thought of the thrilling image of Bing Qing unfolding his dragon body to crush the wild monsters in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, and of that teenager's endless layers of superior combat skills. Aside, Sito Haoran looked at his niece with an expression of old wistfulness on his face. Finally enlightened. It's not going to work out for you too. It's not in vain for me, little uncle. To risk being smoked by my oldest brother by arranging for the two of you to enter the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. Just as he walked into the Morning Sun Adventure Union Hall, Wang Dust felt a lively atmosphere come over him. Professionals coming and going gathered together, either discussing the gains of their last mission or calling on friends to get ready to go get drunk. Seeing this scene, a touch of sentimentality flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. People, indeed, are still group beings, even if they are strong, they can't change. 
With a silent thought in his mind, he took a step toward the front desk. Ha, huh, isn't this the little handsome guy who took on two D-rank quests that day? He actually came back alive? Just then, a female professional saw Wang Dust who walked in and couldn't help but let out a cry of surprise. Although it was common amongst adventure unions to see freshly converted munchkins, Wang Chen's outstanding appearance was still fresh in many people's minds even after a month had passed. It's really him? This kid has a big life. He just transferred and took a D-rank quest and still managed to come back unharmed. Not necessarily. Look at him now. It's possible that he failed the mission and came to the adventure union to get rid of it. Say, how come he's alone? I remember there was a pretty little girl with him that day. It can't be that little girl died in the 10,000 beasts mountain range and he ran back alone, right? Most likely. The golden scaled python is an almost unbeatable foe for these munchkins. And for this kid to come back in one piece, he most likely abandoned his teammates. Discussions continued in the middle of the hall, with many professionals pointing at Wang Duan. For a newcomer like Wang Chen who didn't know the sky and the earth, all the professionals disdained him in their hearts and simply didn't think that he would complete the difficult D-rank quests, especially when a certain professional made a guess. Many people's eyes took on contempt. Although deaths and injuries are inevitable in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range, abandoning one's teammates is definitely one of the most disgraceful. Originally, Wang Chen was simply too lazy to pay attention to the surrounding comments. However, after hearing this speculation from them, they could not help but step on their feet and look over with icy eyes. Guys, don't talk nonsense without proof, or I won't mind suing you for libel. Wang Dust looked around, his eyes like knives sweeping over the few guys who were making wild guesses, swept by his line of sight. The few professionals subconsciously took a step back. From the eyes, they felt an extremely cold killing intent. However, in the next second, these few professionals' faces flushed red as they stared angrily at Wang Dust. Grass, they have been in the adventure union for many years. And now that they are scared by a little one with no hair, how can they still mix in the future? However, before they could open their mouths to retrieve their offense, they saw the kid, placing a bloody head on the front desktop. Then, a flat voice rang out in the middle of the hall. Please help me settle the mission. And by the way, I want to collect the bounty on the hyena squad. Hyena squad? These four words seem to have some sort of magic spell, instantly attracting the attention of all the professionals in the hall. This, is the head of the hyena boss? This young man, he killed the hyena boss? Crazy, that's a second turn level 50 fierce disciple. How can he, a newbie? In an instant, the atmosphere in the middle of the entire hall directly exploded, and everyone's faces wore expressions of extreme incredulity. The hyena squad had been hanging on the wanted list for a full five years, and it was the official hunting team from Dongling City that had failed to take it down. But today, their leader's head was used by a newbie who had just turned a new job to collect the reward? At this moment, the faces of those few professionals who wanted to find trouble changed drastically, and with their tails between their legs they hurriedly left the hall, not daring to stay for a moment longer. And on the side, those surrounding professionals with unflinching faces didn't dare to look at Wang Chen with such an unbridled look, bringing with them a hint of awe. This young man, not to be messed with, the interlude of the adventure union ended, and Wang Dust took a direct taxi home with the huge sum of 5 million gold coins in his arms. Dad. Mom. I'm home opened the door and shouted out of habit as usual. It was still early in the day and he wasn't expecting to get a response from his parents. But, Dusty you're back? Just after entering the door, Wang Chen saw his parents sitting in the living room, looking at him with a surprised face. Aha! Mission done. Mom and Dad why aren't you guys at work today? Changing his shoes and walking to the living room, Wang Dust asked with some confusion. We took a leave of absence. It's not that there are still three days left before the big high school competition starts. We want to accompany you in these few days. The queen mother was quick to snatch the little ice clearing and said while teasing the little one and pretending not to care. No need. The high school entrance examination is a big competition sprinkled with water. It's not necessary for you two to treat it so solemnly. Wang Dust gave his mother a puzzled look, feeling as if something was wrong with the situation. How can that be? It's a big deal for the future of your life. Wang's father slapped the table at this time with a hateful expression. I have a plan. I won't do poorly in the college entrance exam competition. What are we going to eat tonight? I'll go cook. You need to relax your body for the next two days and fully prepare for the big high school competition. Sit on the couch and rest. Let me do it. Wang Dust was pressed on the sofa with a dumbfounded look on his face, watching his father run to the kitchen to get busy. It's not right. Mom, my dad what the hell are you two up to? Is the son beating down on this one by volunteering to go into the kitchen? Wang Dust knew Pops very well. Pops had always been respectful of cooking, and ever since he had made a salt fried eggplant, the kitchen had become forbidden. How now? Mother Wang touched little Bingqing's head and smiled. Don't talk nonsense. 
Your father he recently learned a new dish and wants you to try it. Right. As she spoke, the queen mother asked in a pretense of carelessness. Dusty, I heard that you switched to a giant beast royalist? Wang Dust sniffed with a helpless face. Nice guy, so you two are here waiting for me? That's right, but don't worry mom and dad. I've already contracted a beast pet. Wang Dust saw his old man listening with his ears in the kitchen and explained helplessly. At the same time, he muttered in his heart. Which bitch is chewing his ear off? No need to be sophomoric. We all know. From what your Aunt Lou's kid said, you can only contract giant beasts. There aren't many of these in the whole of the blue planet. Where are you going to get them? Don't you tell me that little Bingqing she's a giant beast. Look at her cute and cuddly. She doesn't have any fighting ability at all. The queen mother rolled her eyes with a look that said you shouldn't be fooling me. As she spoke, she hugged little Bingqing and ravaged her a few more times. This little guy is ice cold and saves on air conditioning now that it's summer. That's right. Which one of the Imperial Beast Master's beast pets doesn't look majestic? Wang father, who was busy in the kitchen, couldn't help but echo the words. Your kid can't be allowed to take her to the college entrance exam competition. What if she gets hurt? She's a dragon. Seeing his parents' appearance, Wang Dust felt a bit tired and directly showed his cards. Stop it. The queen mother sniffed and gave her son a blank look. This little guy is fleshy. How can he be a dragon? Saying that, she poked Bingqing's little belly with her finger, causing the little one to struggle and not hide his teeth to bite the finger. But as a result, instead of being afraid, the queen mother also poked Bingqing's little teeth. Mom you have a big heart. Put your hand in the dragon's mouth and your son would like to call you the strongest. Leaning on the sofa, Wang Duan looked at Mother Superior's look of I've seen it all, and only felt very tired. I'm too hard. There's nothing to say, is there? Across the room, the Queen Mother saw her son's appearance and patted Bing Ching's head placing her on her lap. I know you brats grew up high and mighty and didn't want to worry us when this happened, but there's no need for you to lie to us, even if it's a giant imperial beast master. Isn't it still better than your dad and us two ordinary people who haven't been transferred? Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just play normally in the big high school competition. No. As she spoke, the Queen Mother took out a box from behind her and pushed it in front of Wang Duan. A little present for you. What's this? With a puzzled face, Wang Dust took out the box and opened it. And when he saw what was inside, his eyes became a little moist. A ring with a shimmering bronze sheen lay quietly in the center of the box. The luster of the surface and the fluctuation of magic power indicated that it was a bronze level equipment. Mom, this. Wang Dust moved to look at his old mom. His tone a little choked. The novice four-piece set not too long ago had nearly emptied their family's savings, and he just couldn't imagine how much his parents had paid to buy this bronze equipment worth hundreds of thousands of gold coins, all grown up and still acting like a little kid. The queen mother gave him a look of disgust. Then she laughed to herself. Do you think your father and I were stupid enough not to know before that our house could hold down so much money? Wang Chen sniffed and felt the light box in his hand for a moment as if it weighed more than an tape. Tai, pressuring him to breathe a little. Mom. Why did you guys mortgage the house when I said I didn't need to? This card contains the money I earned from this mission into the 10,000 beasts mountain range. So you guys hurry up and redeem the house. Bastard. You still want to teach me how to do things? Upon hearing this, Mother Wang blankly glanced at her son and took the card with a smile. How much money is in it? Keep it for you to get a daughter-in-law later. 5 million gold coins. Wang Dust snapped the box shut and pretended not to care. What? Mother Wang was dumbfounded at the words and Father Wang in the kitchen even exclaimed, Brat, where did you get so much money? We can't do anything illegal or criminal. No, this is what I earned from doing quests. Wang Chen scratched his head. He had guessed that this would be the case. What kind of mission makes that much money? Wang Father didn't cook at this time, and sat on the sofa with Wang Mother, staring at Wang Duan with an expression of interrogating a criminal. It's just, a normal quest to go into the 10,000 Beasts mountain range to fight monsters and pick up some magic materials. Touching his nose, Wang Chen extremely simplified the process of his journey to the 10,000 Beasts mountain range. He didn't want his exciting experience to scare his parents. Stop it. Your father I'm not a professional. But it's not like I don't know the ropes. Wang's father slapped his hand on the table and stared at his son with fierce eyes. Less than a month, earning 5 million gold coins, you think you're one of those third turn powerhouses? Give me an honest explanation. Woohoo. The little Bingqing sitting on the sofa was startled by the movement. But when he saw his master's helpless expression, a gloating smile appeared on his cute little face. Noticing the little one's emotions, Wang Dust blankly glanced at her without any good reason, while pondering how he should cope with the situation. But at that point, mom helped him out. Old Wang, it seems that my son went out with that classmate of his this time, right? Dragging Wang father aside, Wang mother spoke quietly while eyeballing Wang Dust strangely. Whom? The one from Stuart's family? No. 
How could Dusty do such a thing? Wang Father's voice raised an octave and looked at Wang Dust with a face of hatred. Sitting on the sofa, Wang Duan felt very innocent. It's none of my business what you guys think. Mom, you guys are returning this ring tomorrow. As he spoke he put the lid on the box, got up and headed for the room. Eh? Dusty, bronze equipment can boost your performance in the high school competition. Seeing this scene, the queen mother hurriedly said, having heard what was said, walking back to his room, Wang Duan probed at his parents. Dad. Mom. Son I ah. Even if you wear all black iron, you can still beat the high school big game. Three days later, the sun dispels the last rays of darkness and sheds light on the earth. Dongling City, a small third-rate city in the Dragon Kingdom, became noisy after the rising sun. Not yet 8 o'clock, the main road in the middle and outside of Dongling, was blocked by pedestrians and vehicles coming and going. Everyone gathered around the school, each one looking at the sky with an expectant face. There, a huge projection screen hung high in the sky, and in the middle of the screen was the image of thousands of young boys and girls with childish looks standing solemnly. The crowd of onlookers had different identities. They were either journalists from major news media, or recruiters sent by major guilds and mansions, or parents looking forward to their children. And on the screen, thousands of young boys and girls all share the same identity. This year's Dragon Country High School Examination Competition. Dongling City students who should take the exam. The moment. Dongling no. One middle school's playground, a bronze gate emitting a mysterious luster stood quietly. Thousands of students should be examined. Expectant and apprehensive eyes all gathered on it. This bronze gate is the entrance to the Dragon Kingdom's mega-sized secret copy of the college entrance exam, in which all the students taking the exam will enter next, wrestling wild monsters to break through and fight for their future. Three years of effort. It's a dragon or a bug. Whether it's a flight of fancy or a fall from grace, it's all in the present day. At the same time, the Great Higher Education Competition is not only an event for these test takers, but also an opportunity for countless families to see if they can cross the class line. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the greatness of the professionals has been attributed to themselves, creating a situation where the strong get stronger and the weak get weaker. In some small countries of the Blue Star, powerful professionals even dominated everything and gathered all the resources in their hands. Although the Dragon Kingdom, as the top power of the world, has a strong national strength, and with great perseverance and determination, it has implemented compulsory education for professionals throughout the country. But with pressure from all sides and the threat of an army of monsters, it's only as fair as possible to give everyone a way up. The great high school competition. The only way to continue to gain resources for upward mobility is to get into a good university through the big college entrance exam competition. Buzz off. The bronze light door trembled and the cool light reflected on the faces of the thousands of students who were applying for the exam. In everyone's expectant eyes, the principal of Dongling No, one middle school and a middle-aged man whose breath surged like the sea appeared one after the other in front of the eyes of all the students who were applying for the exam. The great examination competition is about to begin, so please prepare all the students who should take the exam. Mighty voice resounded all over the playground, instantly ignited the fighting spirit of the students present at the examination. Everyone looked at the tall figure beside the principal with awe and anticipation in their eyes. What they were in awe of was the guardian lord's strength of four turns and 120 levels. What they were looking forward to was that they could become such strong people in the future. And in the crowd, Wang Chen was rendered by the emotions around him, and a raging battle intent rose in his eyes. The rock rises with the wind in one day and rises 90, 000, 000 miles. Thinking of a verse that he had once been extremely fond of, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. Under the bronze gate, Situ Hanan looked at the battle-hardened examinees and nodded with satisfaction, then proceeded to say in a loud voice, The great high school competition will officially begin in 10 minutes. Now, please check your equipment and find your teammates. After the words fell, the light emanating from the bronze door became more and more raging, and a message surfaced in the minds of all the students who were taking the exam. A copy of the Secret Realm of the Gauntlet, Lava Cave, Secret Realm Copy Grade, Bronze, Minimum Level of Access to the Secret World, None. Secret difficulty, easy, normal, hard, hell. Number of persons admitted to the secret world, minimum one person, maximum three persons. Introduction to the secret realm, lava caves inhabited by dark and evil orcs. Heroic challengers, facing them requires not only strength and wisdom. Please measure your strength. Do not let your blood into the orc's mouth delicious drink. Bronze level secret copy? After checking the information in his mind, a glint flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. Although this was the first time he had seen a copy of the Secret Realm, he had long since learned a lot of information about it from his textbooks. The division of the secret copy is similar to the equipment level. Starting from the lowest black iron level, the higher the level, means the more harvest can be obtained in the secret copy. 
The rewards of a bronze level secret copy were at least more than double that of a black iron level. Moreover, starting from bronze level, you can choose the difficulty when entering the secret replica, with easy representing the minimum reward and hell representing the maximum reward. The difference in rewards represented therein are to be calculated in multiples. It could be said that which difficulty one chooses when entering a secret copy has basically determined the candidate's final score. Passing the average difficulty will get you an access paper to a third university. Pass the hard difficulty to get an access role to a second college. Passing hell difficulty gives you an access role to a college. As for the top universities, it was the only ones that had a perfect pass among the hell difficulty and ranked among the top of all the candidates in the province who chose the hell difficulty. Wine Dust had no choice but hell difficulty if he wanted to enter the four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom. Therefore, after learning the information about the secret copy of the entrance exam, his gaze looked around. At this moment when the information about the secret copy of the college entrance exam came out, the atmosphere in the playground instantly became clamorous. Numerous applicants gathered in twos and threes, discussing how to cope after entering the replica. These people, all of them, were planning to team up to enter the replica. By working together as a team, you can challenge higher levels of difficulty and earn higher ratings to get into the college of your choice. However, among the crowd, there were also some examinees who stood still. These people were all confident in their own strength and intended to single-handedly brush the secret realm copy so as to get even better grades. Wang Dust's gaze scanned through these people and soon found his target. A girl with a height of 1 meter 7, an aura of 2 meters 8, and a pretty posture like a crane. As if compelled by the girl's powerful aura, a large area was vacated around her. The girl, was none other than Situ Yu. Hey, you've been missing for the past two days. You're not going for a transfer, are you? Walking over to Situ Yu's side, Wang Chen looked at the young girl with a curious expression and asked. At this time, the breath on this girl's body, and from the 10,000 beasts mountain range just came out very different. If not Wang Chuan perception is far beyond the ordinary, simply cannot find the young girl in the body of the extremely introverted power. Humph. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Situ Yu snorted coldly, with a cool and arrogant lovey-dovey look. However, the slightly curved corners of her mouth revealed her smugness at that moment. Of course, this girl is now in her second turn, very different from before. Sit to you, who had endured very hard, finally broke under little Bingqing's adorable flutter. Don't mess with me. Be careful I'll beat you up before the big high school competition starts. Holding little Bingqing in her arms, the young girl proudly waved her fist. Seeing this scene, Wine Dust rolled his eyes. Nice guy. But it's just the second turn. You want to go to heaven? Believe it or not. I'll knock you down with one hand. Muttering in his heart, he didn't poke it to use cowhide and instead asked with a smile. Since you're so strong, team up? A two for one kind of thing? Dongling first middle school playground. Situ looked at Wang Chen with a face full of disbelief. How could she not have expected that this guy would take the initiative to extend an invitation to form a team to herself? Isn't your goal a top university? The group will pull down your final rating. With some joy in her heart, Situ Yu squirmed and asked. It doesn't matter. That review score doesn't matter at all. Think about it. It's a great opportunity for you to hug your thighs. Hearing this Wang Dust spread his hands indifferently. With his strength nowadays, leveling a hell difficulty Gao Gao secret realm copy was effortless. And bringing an individual was not a problem at all. Anyway, after entering the secret copy of the high school entrance exam, in order to pursue the ultimate efficiency of clearing the level, whoever you bring is just watching the show from the sidelines. Che, this young lady doesn't care. I'm a second turn. I don't need to hold a big leg at all. Situ bared her little tiger teeth and said with a defiant face. At this moment, although her heart was filled with joy, she still rejected Wang Chen without hesitation. On the one hand, she didn't want to pull down Wang Duan's rating in the great examination competition because of herself. And on the other hand, she was confident in her current strength. And at the same time, she wanted to prove herself. The strength of the second turn was also outstanding among all the examinees in the entire Far River province. She was going to use her strength to get into the same university as this Wang Chen guy, and then annoy the hell out of this guy. Seeing the determination in the young girl's eyes, Wang Chen touched his nose. This girl, her competitive spirit is really strong. Okay, I'll look forward to your performance then. Top colleges wait for you. Shaking his head, Wang Dust didn't say any more. And on the sidelines. When the surrounding applicants saw that Wang Duan had been rejected, each of their faces showed a disdainful expression. Nice guy, you are shameless. How dare a trashy giant imperial beast master come near our goddess? You still think you're the genius who stood tall before? Now you're still not kicked away by the goddess. Garbage. It should stay in the garbage. Many of the exam applicants thought maliciously in their hearts, and were ready to open their mouths to mock a few sentences. However, 
soon they didn't have the heart to focus on that. Silence in the house. This year's high school competition officially begins. Please enter the secret replica for all students who should take the exam. Situ Haunan's rough voice resounded throughout the room, instantly suppressing all the clamor. Buzz off. As soon as the words fell, the bronze giant door shone brightly. In an instant, all the figures of the students on the playground all disappeared. As all the students who should take the exam disappeared in the playground, the giant live broadcast screen in the sky flickered with light, and the images of the students entering the secret realm copy appeared on the big screen in turn. Finally, it's so exciting. The big time of the year is here. I don't know how many candidates can come out of our dongling city who will enter the top 100 at the provincial level this time. Son, son I see you. You have to cheer up in the secret copy. Outside. The crowd watching the live broadcast of the college entrance exam competition through the big screen was abuzz with discussion, and many people couldn't help but wave their fists and shout in excitement when they saw the familiar figure appearing on the screen, and at this moment, within dongling no, one middle school, a light screen similarly surfaced on the bronze giant door, displaying the situation of the students who were applying for the exams in the secret replica of the realm, however, while the live broadcast big screen outside could only see random battle scenes of the students who were applying for the exam, the light screen on the bronze giant door at this moment was divided into thousands of small grids, displaying the situation of every student who was applying for the exam. On the opposite side of the light screen, Situ Haunan and the principal of Dongling First High School, who had announced the start of the high school competition, walked to their seats in the crowd and sat down. Sitting here at this time, there are also the leaders of the Dongling City Head and the Education Department, as well as the teachers of Dongling First Middle School. Fellow leaders, for this year's Gao Gao to buy, we, Dongling 1, have 11 people choosing hell difficulty copies, 160 people choosing difficult difficulty copies, and most of the remaining groups choosing normal difficulty. A staff member, after Sita Hanan and the two of them had taken their seats, began to report on the situation of the great higher education competition. 11. It seems that our students in Dongling City are very confident this year. The head of Dongling City sniffed with a smile on his face and couldn't help but open his mouth to praise. The more students who excel in the college entrance examination competition, the better his performance as the head of the city will look. That's right, 11 people. This has already broken our Dongling City's record. I'm afraid that when this college entrance examination competition is over, our Dongling City will be able to take off its hat as a third-rate small city. And I've heard that Situ has now turned too. I'm afraid that this college entrance exam competition will be able to make an impact on the top 10 at the provincial level. When the surrounding Dongling City leaders saw their boss open his mouth, they all followed and chimed in with a few words. However, at that moment, the crowd suddenly realized that the face of the principal of Dongling No. One middle school was somewhat difficult. What's wrong? With so many talents choosing hell difficulty, why are you a little less than happy? Principal Lee? Seeing this, the city had asked curiously. Lord City Chief. Upon hearing this, Principal Lee hesitated for a moment and opened his mouth. The total number of students in the first grade who can challenge the hell level difficulty this year is 10. This extra one, Principal Lee didn't finish his words, but everyone present understood what he meant. Reckless, he's playing with fire by not listening to the school. The city head grunted coldly, his expression somewhat serious. Before the start of the big high school competition, schools caution their students to choose a level of difficulty that matches their strengths. This is partly because the school is experienced and can roughly estimate the grades based on the strength of the students, and partly to protect these students. After all, Although the great competition of the college entrance examination was conducted in the middle of the secret realm replica, and every student was given a scroll to return to the city, it was not as if there hadn't been any deaths. By choosing a difficulty that far exceeds your strength, it is very likely that you won't even have time to use the scroll to return to the city before you are killed by the monsters in the secret replica. Look around. I'd like to see which scholar disobeyed his teacher's teachings and saw death on such an important occasion as the great higher education competition. At this moment, the guardian on the side. Situ Haunan, also had a chilly expression, wanting to see who this bold fellow really was. Soon, the crowd then found the bold guy in one of the small screens. Wang, Wang Dust? How dare he? A giant imperial beast master without a beast pet? Looking at the slender figure in the live broadcast screen, Principal Lee couldn't help but exclaim in shock. How could he not have thought that the one who dared to be a deadbeat and choose the hell difficulty was actually Wang Chen? On the side, Guardian Situ Haunan raised an eyebrow at the words and his face immediately darkened. Not only did he dare, but he also wore a black iron outfit to go down to the Hell Difficulty Secret Realm copy. After entering the replica, the equipment on the examinee's body will release different colors according to different levels. Hearing his words, the corners of the mouths of the people present twitched when they took a closer look. 
The dim black light on Wang Chuan's body was conspicuous among all the students taking the exam. Nice guy, we're a newbie four piece to hell burn. This is not purely looking for death. Warm reminder, candidate Wang Dust, you have successfully entered the bronze level secret world copy of Lava Cave. The currently selected difficulty level is, hell. The current number of people challenging the secret copy, one person. Return scrolls have been automatically issued. If you encounter life-threatening situations, please use the candidate's caution. I wish you excellent results. Time and space shifted. And when Wang Chuan once again set his feet on the ground, a blazing heat wave came over him, as if he was in the middle of a furnace. Looking around, he realized that the location he was in at the moment was an underground cave that was 5 meters high and had a wide space. All around them were brown rocks formed by the cooling of the lava, emitting a faint reddish light that illuminated the entire cavern. On the ground, there was even some still uncooled magma slowly flowing, emitting a steaming heat. Woohoo! Just after observing his surroundings, Wang Chuan's ears rang with Bing Ching's disgruntled shout. This little guy waved his wings, fanning out the cold wind to dispel the heat around him. As an isotribute creature, the little guy instinctively felt aversion to this blazing environment. Bear with me, I'll take you for ice cream after this copy. Seeing this scene, a smile flashed in Wang Chen's eyes as he patted the little guy's head. Woohoo! Upon hearing this, little Ice Ching gave a low chirp of excitement, ready to discuss with his master about where to get good ice cream. However, at that moment, she suddenly turned her head, her blue-colored vertical pupils locking onto the depths of the cave. Knock knock knock. Heavy footsteps sounded, and twenty hideous black shadows stepped out from the depths. It was a group of green-faced and fanged orcs, stout in size and over three meters tall, each carrying a strong fluctuation on their bodies. Monster, orc warrior. Level, forty. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bestial roar. Power burst, charge. Type, general. Monster, orc shaman. Level, 40. Battle style, remote output. Auxiliary. Skills, elementary healing. Lava ray, boiling blood. Type, mutation. In all, there were 19 orc warriors and one orc shaman. The little monster that comes out is level 40? It really deserves to be on a hellish difficulty. Seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, a glint flashed in Wang Chen's eyes, if he remembered correctly, the Gao Gao secret realm copy was divided into four levels, choosing the easy difficulty, and the monsters that appeared had challenge levels ranging from level 20 to level 30, held difficulty starts at level 40, and I'm afraid that by the fourth level of the secret copy, the level of the monsters encountered will be level 50, no wonder before entering the secret copy, the school strictly instructed to choose the difficulty that matches your strength. The strength levels of the monsters between different difficulties span indeed. Wang Dust shook his head and waved his hand to take out his novice longsword to stand by. At this time, using the novice equipment was not that he was being generous, but he wanted to get a higher clearance rating. Because the secret copy of the college entrance examination Dobby is different from other secret copies, the ultimate mission of the copy is to select talents, so the final ranking of the results of the students who should take the examination is based on a combination of factors. After all, if the clearance speed is determined only by the speed of clearance, there will easily be a crash among the millions of students who should take the exam in Far River Province. In order to prevent this from happening, the secret copy of the college entrance examination competition will take into account the equipment worn by the students who are applying for the examination when the final settlement is made. The higher the rating of the equipment, the lower the corresponding rating at settlement. Many applicants who aspire to hit higher rankings will control their scores through the equipment on their bodies when they enter the secret copy of the great examination competition. However, for someone like Wang Dust to wear a novice suit like this was unique in hundreds of years of history. Ho ho ho! On the opposite side, seeing the humans appear, the orcs who had long been unable to hold back the ferocity in their hearts let out a brutal roar that shook the entire lava cavern with a buzzing sound. Knock knock knock! Then, the 19 orc warriors did not hesitate to move their feet waving the weapons in their hands and launching a charge in an ominous manner. At the same time, the orc shaman who stood at the end waved the magic staff in his hand, spilling a bloody light onto the bodies of these orc warriors. Boiling blood, enhanced by this blood light, the charging 19 orc warriors increased their strength by nearly 10%, exuding an even more furious aura. Bing Ching, it's going up. However, upon seeing this scene, Wang Chen did not have the slightest bit of fear in his eyes. Instead, a raging battle intent rose up in his body. He greeted the little guy, then gripped his novice longsword and rushed out with his body in a hurry, directly slamming into the charging orc warrior head on. It's hopeless. What audacity. A giant beast master without a beast pet dares to challenge a hell difficulty copy? This is not the way to find death. Behind the huge curtain of bronze light doors unfolding, Principal Lee of Dongling No. 1 Middle School, 
couldn't wait to immediately grab Wang Chen out and whip him. With so many leaders watching, this year's merit rating is definitely hopeless. And, this kid who doesn't know the sky and the earth, I hope he quickly uses the city return scroll to get out of the secret realm copy and doesn't really die in there. Praying silently under his breath, Principal Li viciously gouged out class 7 class teacher Lai Xia. The death of a student in the middle of a college entrance exam competition is a major dereliction of duty on his part as principal. I'm afraid your prayers will be in vain. Principal Li, the guardian on the side, Situ Haonan, shook his head and sneered when he heard Principal Li's prayer. As he spoke, he pointed at the upright figure in the giant light screen that was charging towards the orcs with a sword. This kid, having chosen the hell difficulty, I'm afraid he has no intention of coming out alive. Upon hearing this, Principal Li and the others deflected their eyes to look, and the expressions on each of their faces became even more speechless. Good lord, in the face of 19 level 40 orc warriors charging, a giant imperial beast master who didn't even have a beast pet still dared to collide head on? This is really the old man hanging himself, living beyond his means. This student, if he can still entangle with the orc warriors for a few minutes with the help of the terrain. Now, I'm afraid that he doesn't even have a chance to use the city return scroll, and he's going to be directly torn into pieces by the orc warriors. Seeing this scene, the head of Dongling City opened his mouth indifferently, directly sentencing Wang Chen to death in his words. Hearing his words, the surrounding crowd shook their heads in disbelief, and no one refuted them. The activation of the city return scroll also required time, and although it was only a few seconds, Wang Duan, who was actively seeking death, obviously did not have this opportunity to use it. For a moment, the crowd deflected their eyes, not bothering to look at the gory images that followed. At that moment, however, a firm gaze remained locked onto the upright figure on the small screen. Wang Chen, you can definitely create a miracle. Lai Xia, the teacher of the seventh class, fought silently in his heart. On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia gazed expectantly at Wang Duan who had taken the initiative to charge the orcs in the secret copy. That was the student she was once most proud of and most satisfied with. She believed that Wang Chen's choice of a hell difficulty secret realm copy was by no means arrogant, but rather a choice based on his own strength. Moreover, Wang Chen, who possessed a SSS rank talent, had the capital to be arrogant. Brat, the teacher is waiting for you to create a miracle for me, don't you drop the ball. However, although Li Xia was convinced in her heart that Wang Duan would not fall here, her heart lifted as she looked at the figure that was launching a charge at the orcs. The secret copy, Wang Dust's body rushed out like a cheetah, instantly closing the distance between him and the orc warrior. Roar, the orc warrior who rushed at the front, looking at the human who ran to the front, let out a cruel growl from his mouth. The weapon in his hand swung out with a biting wind, and was about to smash the human in front of him into pieces. Yet at this point, facing the orc warrior's attack, Wang Chuan's face was fearless and on his way to run he lashed out with his feet and directly jumped into the orc warrior's arms. Knees, only a clear bone cracking sound could be heard, and the orc warrior's chest was directly dented by his impact, and then his body, which was up to three meters tall, flew backwards as if it was a sack. Then, still in mid-air, Wang Chen's body rotated and the novice longsword in his hand swept out. Brush, a cold light flashed as the blade slid through the necks of the two orc warriors without any hesitation. In a spray of blood? The bodies of the two orc warriors who had tried to combine their attacks fell limply to the ground. Seconds, in an instant, 19 orc warriors were cleanly disposed of by Wang Dust with three of them. Ho 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 ho. At that moment, however, the orc warriors from behind arrived right behind them. The death of their own kind didn't make them cower. Instead, fueled by the smell of blood, these guys let out a frantic roar and scrambled to attack Wang Dust first. In the blink of an eye, four orc warriors rushed up, swinging their weapons and attacking. Hu hu hu. The four weapons carried violent wind sounds and attacked at extreme speed towards Wang Chen, who was still in mid-air. However, upon seeing this scene, Wang Dust, who had not yet landed on the ground, directly stretched out a hand to meet it. Wind Blade Jutsu, with a violent surge of magical power, two pale green wind blades shot out, ruthlessly slamming into the four weapons of the orc warriors. This wind blade directly cut off the four weapons, and then crashed into the orc warrior's body with more than just residual force. Rip. A tearing sound rang out, and the tall body of the orc warrior was directly cut off from it by the wind blade. Blood and guts spilled onto the floor, instantly filling the cave with a sickening smell of blood. At this moment, as these four orc warriors fell, a gap appeared in the densely charging group, exposing the orc shaman to Wang Dust's line of sight. Good chance. Seeing this scene, a cold light flashed in Wang Dust's eyes, and after landing, his foot pointed on the ground, and his body rushed out as if it was a cannonball. Instant sword. In the next second, 
he rushed directly in front of the orc shaman, and the novice longsword in his hand chopped out without hesitation. On the opposite side, the orc shaman only felt a dark shadow flash before his eyes, and then he saw a cold light chopping towards him. Roar! Seeing this, the orc shaman let out an angry growl from his mouth and swung the magic staff in his hand to meet the long sword. Bang! In an instant, the two weapons clashed together with a violent clang. However, before the orc shaman could rejoice that it had blocked the attack, it saw the human across the street turn and charge towards the orc warrior. Roar! Seeing this scene, the orc shaman's eyes were filled with rage, and with the words in his mouth, he was about to use the lava rays to teach this human who didn't know the heights of heaven a lesson, but just as it waved its hand, it realized that the magical staff in its hand snapped in two, and then the world as far as the eyes could see was cut apart. Snap! In the next second, the orc shaman's body split into two halves, one on the left and one on the right, and fell to the ground. On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia, who had been paying attention to Wang Chen, had frozen. Swift, powerful, and every blow a knockout. Wang Chen's efficient and unrelenting movements caused a shiver to rise in Ri Xia's heart. Great job! She couldn't help but wave her pink fists in high praise, her eyes filled with pride rising from her student's excellent performance. M.S. Ri Xia, watch your emotions. On the side, a flash of displeasure flashed across the face of Principal Li, who heard the exclamation of surprise. This Mr. Li Xia, who was shouting in front of the city chief and the guardian and so many leaders, simply knew too little about propriety. As he spoke, he followed Ri Xia's line of sight, wanting to see which student's excellent performance made Ri Xia lose her temper at this moment. However, crap, this is Wang Duan? Principal Li couldn't help but let out a gasp of surprise, his face filled with incredulity. Only on the screen, an upright figure wandered amongst the orc warriors like a god of death. In less than 20 seconds, the remaining 14 orc warriors in the first level of the secret realm replica all fell under the figure's sword. How? How is that possible? Wang Chen he's so strong? Seeing this scene, Principal Li murmured with a face full of disbelief. How could he not have expected that Wang Chen, who had already been sentenced to death in his heart, would display such a terrifying strength? Is this, really a chicken and egg profession giant imperial beast master? Efficient kills, a perfect battle sense and body control. There's something about this kid. On the side, the guardian Sito Haonan, who was attracted by the exclamations of surprise, couldn't help but exclaim in admiration under his breath as he watched the images of Wang Chen's battle. Hearing his words, the eyes of the surrounding crowd shook a little. Guardian Stewart, is it hard to believe that this kid really has the strength to clear a hell difficulty copy? The head of Dongling City looked at the upright figure in the picture and asked towards Sito Haonan. It's possible. If he continues in his current form, he might actually pass. At those words, Situ Haonan nodded. Although Wang Dust's profession is a giant imperial beast master, without a giant beast there is an innate gap between him and other professions. However, looking at the qualities that Wang Chuan had shown during his clean fight just now, Situ Haonan felt that this kid might really be able to make it to the end. The difference with the others is just that much more time to pass. Really? Hearing Situ Haonan's words, a flash of joy flashed across the eyes of the head of Dongling City. One more candidate who can enter the first book, but it can make his political performance look better. However, the joy of the head of Dongling City didn't last long before it was directly interrupted. Seek death. Situ Haonan suddenly snorted coldly, his face becoming very unpleasant. The secret copy. Phew. 20 seconds. Just in time. Wang Dust stood in the middle of a field of corpses, his eyes unperturbed as he looked at the bloody ground around him, with his strength raised to level 35, and with the attributes fed back by Ice Clear. Nowadays, he simply had no trouble at all against level 40 monsters. 20 seconds to kill 20 level 40 beastmen. Such an efficient kill, perfectly displaying his strength after returning from the 10,000 beasts mountain range. At this moment, after the death of the 20 orcs, a blood-colored magic formation emerged on the floor of the cave, which was the entrance to the next level. Shaking off the blood from his novice longsword, Wang Chen took a step towards the magic formation. The speed of 20 seconds to pass the first level could be considered a ride amongst all the candidates, but Wang Chen did not feel complacent about it. If it wasn't for the environment amongst the first level, which wasn't suitable for the Battle of Ice Qing who was displaying a fighting state, he would have been able to resolve it even faster. I hope the next level environment won't be as cramped as it is now. With thoughts in his mind, Wang Chen and Little Ice Qing's figures disappeared in a burst of bloodlight. What stupidity! To rush into the next level instead of recovering your strength first after a fierce battle is looking for death. Looking at the figure in the screen that disappeared into the magic formation, Situ Haonan frowned. In his opinion, although the battle just now was short, Wang Chen must have consumed a great deal of physical strength.
Facing the more powerful monsters of the second level in this state was simply insanity. So much for him. With a cold snort under his breath, Situ Hanan turned his head to look at the other candidates on the light screen. At this moment, the candidates who chose Hell Difficulty had basically solved the monsters in the first level, and each stood in front of the blood-colored magic array, taking out recovery potions to replenish their strength. Even Situ Yu, who was most favored by Situ Hanan, silently toned down for a moment before stepping into the middle of the magic formation. There wasn't a single person that went straight to the next level without stopping like Wang Chen did. When the surrounding crowd heard Situ Haonan's words, one by one, they also shook their heads and stopped paying attention. Situ Haonan, as the strongest person in the entire Dongling city, what he said could almost be seen as capping Wang Chen's coffin. Only Ri Xia, her gaze remained unwavering. Buzz off, between the rotation of the sky and the earth, Wang Chen entered the second level of the secret copy. This was an unusually wide lava cavern, comparable in size to a large soccer field, and not as short in height as it was in the first level with the top being 20 to 30 meters above the ground, on the lava rock walls all around, there were torches sticking out, and the flames leapt up high, illuminating the whole cave as bright as day, the moment he entered this place, Wang Dust saw the opponents of the second level, 20 orcs, however, compared to the first level, these 20 orcs were even more lanky, with green faced fangs up to 5 meters tall, standing there as if they were a small mountain, monster, orc berserker, rank, 43, fighting style, melee, Skills, Berserk, Power Burst, Charge, Battle Cry, Type, General, Monster, High Orc Shaman, Rank, 43, Battle Style, Remote Output, Auxiliary, Skills, Advanced Healing, Lava Ray, Boiling Blood, Type, Mutation. Not only were the power levels of these orcs stronger, but the number of orc shamans with long-range attack abilities among them had also increased to 5. While Wang Chuan was using his scrying technique to check the strength of these beastmen, the beastmen in the cave also discovered him, the intruding uninvited guest, at the same time, ho 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 ho, amidst the ear-shattering roars, a pair of scarlet eyesight instantly locked onto Wang Chen, the five orc shamans even swung their magic staffs at the same time, lava rays, between the surge of magic power, five rays emitting a scorching aura instantly shot out towards Wang Chen, ho 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 ho, and at the same time, fifteen orc berserkers roared out, carrying their battle axes and launching a charge with heavy steps, on the way to charging, the muscles of each of these orc berserkers surged and their body size became even taller, apparently opening the berserking skill. So impatient to rush up and die? Seeing this scene, a cold smile flashed across the corners of Wang Chen's mouth, and then he took a step back. Little Bing Ching, it's your turn to perform. The words just fell. The little ice ching on his shoulder waved his wings and flew out, his body expanding rapidly in midair. Next, Anon, a high dragon's roar sounded in the middle of the cavern and the entire cavern rumbled like a shocking wave of sound waves. A five-meter-long, terrifying creature covered in azure scales straddled the front of the orc berserker's charge. The five lava rays that shot out and landed on that azure-colored scale armor didn't even leave a white mark, and directly turned into magic fragments and disappeared. When the charging orc berserkers saw the scene, one of them couldn't help but stop in their tracks. The aura from the top of the food chain caused panic to surface in their eyes at this moment. What's that? On the viewing platform behind the bronze light gate, Ri Xia, whose eyes were glued to the screen, suddenly exclaimed with wide eyes and an unbelievable expression on her face. M.S. Ri Xia, watch your emotions. To the side, a flash of impatience flashed across the face of Principal Li, who heard the exclamation. Is this Mr. Lai Ha finished? Losing his temper in front of the Guardian Sama and the city head over and over again was simply too embarrassing for the school. No, no, Principal look at Wang Duan. Ri Xia stammered a bit and reached out to point at the giant light screen. What's there to see? Did that brat know better and use the city return scroll? At those words, Principal Lee frowned unhappily, his eyes skimming toward the light screen. Crap! What's that? In the next second, he directly jumped up from his chair, his face filled with a strong look of incredulity. When the surrounding crowd saw the scene, they couldn't help but curiously deflect their eyes. Then, all dumbstruck, only to see that in everyone's eyes. The little creature that had been lying on Wang Chen's shoulder after entering the secret copy changed its image in an instant. From less than the size of a palm, it became a behemoth with a body size of over 5 meters. Her entire body was streamlined and covered in azure-colored, fine scales, with two forked, pointed horns pointing diagonally at the sky. Even if they only saw the image, everyone present could feel the honorable and vast aura emanating from the creature. The streamlined body, the huge wings that spread out, the hideous giant claws are all indicating her identity to the crowd. It's a divine beast out of legend. A giant dragon. This is, 
A giant dragon? On the viewing platform, Principal Lee's eyes almost stared out, his expression extremely disbelieving. How could he not expect that he had seen a living dragon appear? On the side, Guardian Sito Hanan's expression was no better. Even if he was a fourth turn powerhouse, he felt insignificant after seeing that terrifying creature in the picture. Megalosaurus. It wasn't even an ordinary attribute giant dragon like the five elements giant dragon, but a rare ice attribute. Just based on what he saw now, Sito Hanan could be certain that this was definitely an overlord level or higher divine beast. As long as he grew up, he would be able to at least reach the strength of the seventh turn. Nima. The vision that appeared in Dongling City a month ago was definitely made by this kid. To have contracted a giant dragon and still keep such a low profile, what on earth is this kid thinking? With a thousand thoughts in his mind, with Situ Haunan's composure, he couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth at this moment. And among the crowd, the head of Dongling City even stood up with his face swollen in red, his breathing becoming rapid. A dragon? A giant rogue who's contracted a dragon? The head of Dongling City suspected that he had blurred his eyes, and for this reason he rubbed his eyes and repeated his confirmation no less than three times with his gaze fixed dead center on the screen. That's right, it really is a gargoyle. The shape is identical to the pattern in the documentation. After seeing it clearly, the Dongling City Chief stumbled on his feet and almost fell to the ground if not for the quick eyes and hands of one of the people beside him who held him up. Only after a long time did the head of Dongling City come back to his senses and couldn't help but laugh openly. Ha 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 ha, it's a giant dragon. My Dongling City has produced a giant imperial beast master who has contracted a giant dragon. The head of Dongling City was so excited that he could not wait to light a bunch of fireworks to celebrate. No one knew better than him what a giant imperial beast master who had contracted a giant dragon represented. I'm afraid that after the college entrance examination competition, Dongling City can immediately take off the hat of the third-rate city, directly into the ranks of first-class cities, and even the capital of Far River Province and the same name is not unlikely. Ha ha ha! Thinking of the bright prospects that would emerge in the future, the head of Dongling City couldn't help but heave a giggle. However, at this moment, no one noticed his scandalous behavior, and everyone's eyes were dead set on the light screen, staring at the being whose breath was honorable and vast, only to see, the azure-colored dragon moved, her speed wasn't really fast, but because of her huge power-filled body, just a seemingly slow step, but in an instant, she crossed a distance of tens of meters, instantly arriving in front of the orc berserker, these monsters with strengths as high as 43 levels, and other candidates who chose the hell difficulty would need to struggle to deal with one, appeared small and gurgling in front of the giant dragon. The giant dragon merely swung out with its two dragon wings, instantly sending seven or eight orc berserkers flying out. Seconds, the crowd on the viewing platform could clearly see that the chests of these orc berserkers that were slapped away instantly caved in, blood gushing out of their mouths, and they directly died. Next, the azure-colored dragon madly surged forward, just like a tiger entering a flock of sheep waving its claws and wings to easily cut down the remaining orc berserkers. Even the five high-level orc shamans that stood at the end were easily slapped to death by one of her claws. And at that moment, when the magic array leading to the next level lit up, just ten seconds had passed before Wang Chen entered the second level. Two, strong. Seeing this scene, everyone's hearts couldn't help but be shocked, their eyes filled with horror. Ten seconds to get through the more difficult second level? Is this the terrifying strength of a giant dragon? It's simply too strong. Where did Wang Chen contract a divine beast like a giant dragon from? With this terrifying dragon around, there's no surprise at all that he'll pass the hell difficulty copy. Too strong, not to mention the pass copy. I'm afraid that this year's Far River Province scholar will not be Wang Duan. A murmur mixed with shock rang out, and everyone on the viewing platform couldn't help but physically tremble. At this moment, no one doubted Wang Chen's strength anymore. Wearing a novice suit to Hellborn was a death wish for other people, but for Wang Dust, who possessed a gargoyle, it was a vacation. Quickly, I want all of Wang Duan's information. Bring it to me immediately. Upon seeing Wang Chan and the giant dragon's figures disappear into the magic formation, the head of Dongling City slapped the table in excitement. A scholar, a giant imperial beast master with a promising future. He had to keep the other party's account in the middle of Dongling City at any cost, while everyone in the outside world was shaken by the appearance of the giant dragon. Wang Chan brought Little Ice Ching and appeared in the middle of the third level. The environment here was no different from before except that the cavern space had become larger and there was more magma flowing on the ground. Anon, just as soon as he entered, little Bing Ching, who hadn't yet had all the fun, couldn't wait to let out a high dragon's roar. The twenty orc warriors huddled together at the center of the cave were instantly attracted to the idea. The size of each of these guys was similar to that of an orc berserker, but they were wearing fiery red iron armor and exuded a much stronger aura. 46th level, orc guard. As for specific properties, 
Wang Dust skimmed his eyes and owed it to himself to even release a scrying spell. The attribute information didn't matter anymore. In front of Bing Cheng, who had turned on the combat state, these orc guards would only end up being crushed. Ho 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 ho. The twenty orc guards looked at the uninvited guests that appeared in the middle of the cave, and each of them let out a growl of extreme anger. Knock knock knock. They picked up their battle axes and swarmed up to break the two unwelcome guests into pieces. However, they are well thought of, but the reality is harsh. Anon, the high dragon's roar rang out like thunder, shaking the entire cavern with a buzzing sound. Immediately after that, Bing Ching opened his hideous mouth, and the extremely cold spit shot out as a pillar of light, and the shockwave that swept away caused a white wave of air to appear in the cave that was visible to the naked eye. Rumble, the orc guard's densely charged formation was directly torn apart from it by dragon's breath. There were enough ten orc guards that didn't even have time to let out a scream before they turned into tiny ice crystal dust under the pillar of azure-colored light. And those orc guards who were on either side of the azure-colored light pillars weren't doing well either. The violent shockwave directly shook them away. Bang! 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 The orc guards didn't stop until they hit the rock wall of the cave. However, before they could regain their senses from their fear, hideous dragon claws and sharp swords glittering with cold light appeared in front of their eyes. Ho 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 ho! With a mournful roar. The remaining ten orc guards were mercilessly harvested of their lives. Phew! Shaking off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chen looked at the messy cave and let out a long breath. It's too strong. Even though he had long seen Little Ice Ching strike many times in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, he couldn't help but feel emotion in his heart at this moment. Ten seconds. Another ten seconds. The orc guards that were stronger than the second level of orc berserkers were once again decimated by Ice Ching. None of these guys were a single enemy of Bing Ching and they were directly crushed to death by destruction. Up until now, the total time it took him to nail the third level was only 40 seconds. At this time, the other candidates who had chosen the hell difficulty were still playing hide and seek with the orc berserker on the second level. Woohoo! Just as Wang Chen was feeling emotional in his heart, Ding Qin's head, which was bigger than his entire body, rubbed heavily on him a few times. Woohoo! Blue-colored eyes staring at him expectantly. The little ice clearer with one massive dragon claw pointed to the magic formation that had appeared in the cavern. Fine, fine, we'll move on to the next level. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust cried and laughed a little. This guy, totally hit high. The orc guards from earlier hadn't been enjoying themselves at all. Really, you're a little beauty, how can you be so belligerent? As he spoke, Wang Chen placed one hand against Bing Qing's dragon head to prevent himself from being sent flying out with a headbutt. However, while he defended his head at this point, he forgot that the little guy's entire body was a weapon. Wah! Hearing his words, Ding Cheng hissed in dissatisfaction, and with a flick of his thick dragon's tail, he directly threw Wang Chen onto his back before scattering to run towards the magic formation leading to the next level. Slow down, slow down. Holding Bing Cheng's neck in a death grip, Wang Chen felt as if he was sitting on a speeding train at the moment. 10 seconds. 2046 leveled orc guards, supported in front of a giant dragon for only 10 seconds? This is simply too unimaginable. Wang Chen and this giant dragon, they won't maintain such a speed to directly fight through the secret realm copy, right? Looking at the giant dragon running wildly in the center of the light screen, as well as the figure that was slightly in a sorry state, all the people on the viewing platform had their mouths wide open. It's too strong. The 46th level orc guards were as easy to tear apart in front of the dragon as if they were made of paper. Everyone felt that they were afraid to witness the birth of a new record today. Wang Chuan this time, I'm afraid that he's going to create the fastest and highest clearance score since our Dragon Country's college entrance exam competition. Situ Haunan muttered, his eyes incomparably shocked. At this moment, where was the condescension of a fourth turn powerhouse still on his face? The terrifying battle power displayed by the giant dragon made his entire body crack. The others were watching the hilarity. But as the strongest among the crowd, Situ Haunan saw something more essential behind it through the giant dragon crushing the orc guards. This azure colored dragon, which was now just a hatchling had a strength comparable to that of a third-turn professional. This discovery simply made Sito Hanan's three senses explode. It's outrageous. Even if it was an overlord-level divine beast, it was impossible for its juvenile strength to be so strong. Could it be that this giant dragon's rank is that of a monarch level, or even a universe-level divine beast? Sito Hanan thought silently in his heart, and the expression on his face grew more and more shocked. As for the holy beasts, the will of the heavens had only appeared once in the 700 years since the revival of the will of the heavens, and he didn't even dare to think about it at the moment. While Sito Haunan was shocked because of his own guesses, the others on the viewing platform did not have anything else on their minds at all at this point. They looked at the huge dragon that was rampaging among the light curtains, killing the 46 level orc guards like chickens, and had only one thought in their minds. Strong. It's too strong. 
strong and invincible. Meanwhile, the crowd gathered outside of the East Tomb One was buzzing with excitement. This candidate has good strength, cleanly solving a second level monster, definitely has the strength of a book. This one can also be, these three candidates work well together and have definitely put in hard work. The second grade is assured. This one doesn't work. I can't believe I haven't passed the first level of average difficulty, struggling to get into a good school. Everyone, looking at the giant screen in the middle of the sky that randomly broadcasted the candidate's situation in the secret realm copies, did not blink. Every time a new candidate appeared, a fervor of discussion surged among the crowd. Look, it's said to you. She's so strong that none of the monsters could even get close to her. Worthy of being the top genius of our dongling city. I'm afraid that this year's city scholar is not her. At this moment, only a beautiful figure with delicate appearance, wearing silver battle armor and holding a longbow, appeared among the giant screen. She was like a butterfly, wandering amongst the orc berserkers in the second level, arrows in her hands shooting out like phantoms, and every three arrows would inevitably take away the life of an orc berserker. Such a beautiful and austere image drew a lot of discussion among the crowd. However, the crowd hadn't seen enough when the image on the giant screen turned. A ponderous figure covered in azure-colored scale armor, running wildly through the third level of the secret realm replica, appeared in front of everyone's eyes. What's that? What a terrifying creature. Just looking at it makes me feel a little distracted. Oh dear, a dragon's head? Dragon claws? Dragon wings? This, can't be a giant dragon? Seeing this scene, the crowd of onlookers were all stunned. Not only were they shocked that a candidate had rushed to the third level at this moment, they were even more shocked at the creature they saw in front of them that exuded a dignified and vast aura. Megalosaurus. Gee whiz, who is this? Someone among the candidates even has a giant dragon? Crazy. Solving the third level so quickly. This candidate is a monster, right? Who will wake me up? It must be a hallucination that I'm seeing a living gargoyle in my lifetime. Don't switch the screen. I want to see a giant dragon. What's so great about watching this garbage break in? After a short period of shock, it was as if a deep water bomb had been dropped in the crowd, and a clamor of thunderous comments rang out. Everyone had an extremely unbelievable expression on their faces. A giant dragon, just like that, appeared alive in front of their eyes and was taking part in the great higher education competition. This, literally, shattered their worldview. However, on the giant screen, the image lingered briefly for a moment before it was replaced by images of other candidates, causing the crowd of onlookers to clamor with discontent. And in the midst of the clamoring crowd, a couple stared at each other with extremely incredulous expressions on their faces, the azure-colored dragon in the image just now, as well as the wretched figure on the dragon's back, caused an incomparably familiar feeling to rise in their hearts. Old Wang, did you see it just now? That seems to be Bing Ching and our son, Wang Duan. In the middle of the secret copy, Wang Chuan was not aware that his parents were filled with confusion by the shocking appearance of himself and Xiao Bing Ching on the giant screen in the outside world. He combed his blown out hair at this moment, and somewhat unhappily patted Little Ice Clear's dragon horn. Just now, this guy Bing Ching ran wildly and brought up a fierce wind that almost blew him away. Bing Ching, you're a lady, behave gracefully. Woohoo! In the face of his master's teachings, little Bing Ching shook his head, not listening at all. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust slapped his head breathlessly. Nice guy. It always feels like Bing Ching is going to grow crooked in the future, but it was really exciting. Despite the cold wind that had just blown me around, silently thinking in his heart, Wang Chen looked around. At this moment, he and Bing Ching had already arrived at the fourth and final level of the secret replica of the great examination competition. The total time taken so far totaled 40 seconds. Definitely an unprecedented achievement since the start of the Dragon Country Higher Education Competition. The space of the fourth level was larger than the previous three levels combined, more than a hundred feet in circumference, comparable to ten soccer fields. Huge candle fires were lit on the rock walls, and it was unknown what kind of fuel they were. The firelight was extremely dazzling, illuminating the huge space as bright as day. In this huge space, twenty giant orcs roamed the ground. Each of these beastmen was over eight meters in size, taller than Bing Chang. Their bodies were surrounded by unknown beast skins, and their exposed muscles seemed to be sharpened by knives and axes. And at a glance, they were known to contain extreme strength. Monster, giant orc. Level, 50. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bestial roar. Trample. Mega throw. Type, general. Finally some slightly more challenging opponents. Looking at the information returned by the scrying technique in front of him, Wang Chen became slightly excited. For the other candidates, these 20 giant orcs were definitely in existence that they could only deal with if they put their best foot forward. However, to Wang Chen, it only slightly squared him up. The moment. 
The twenty giant orcs spotted the uninvited guests that appeared in the cave and locked onto Wang Chen and Bing Ching with their huge scarlet eyes the size of facepans. Looking at these two uninvited guests, the giant orcs twitched their noses and rose up in excitement, taking steps to surround Wang Chen and Bing Ching. Knock knock knock. Their huge bodies walked on the ground, making a sound like a beating drum. Ho 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 ho. The smell of fresh blood and meat caused each of these giant orcs to let out an extremely brutal roar. Finally, a giant orc couldn't help but throw the bone club in its hand and attack. Hoo hoo hoo. With a violent whistling sound, the bone rod shot out like a cannonball. Huge throws. Its movement caused a chain reaction, and the other giant orcs standing aside followed suit. Next. Hoo hoo hoo. Terrifying whistling sounds filled the entire space as 20 bone rods flew at great speed towards where Bing Cheng and Wang Chen were. And you know how to make the first move? However, upon seeing this scene, Wang Chen did not have the slightest bit of fear on his face. Bing Cheng, let's compare who killed the most giant orcs. Smiling, he patted the little guy's dragon horn. And before the words fell, Wang Chen's body had already flown out like lightning. Instant sword. In the blink of an eye, he rushed to a giant orc. The novice long sword in his hand swung out sharply viciously chopping at the giant orc's knee. The giant orc's body was just too massive, and that was where he was most comfortable attacking. Jabla, a toothsome tearing sound rang out, and a shower of blood exploded from the giant orc's knee. However, after Wang Dust, who had built up his success with one strike, shook off the blood on his sword, the expression on his face was somewhat speechless. The giant orc was too big and had thick skin. His sword only tore through the flesh on his knee and didn't even cut through the bone. Roar, feeling the pain on his body. The giant orc growled and bent down to slap towards Wang Chen. Wang Chen moved his feet and dodged this attack by a hair's breadth. After standing firmly, he looked at the giant orc whose size was nearly five times bigger than his own, and was somewhat helpless in his heart. It's simply too difficult for a big guy like this to make a fatal wound with a normal attack. The long sword in his hand was no different from a toothpick to a giant orc, and it was estimated that even if it was inserted into the giant orc's chest, it wouldn't necessarily be able to pierce through the other party's heart. But thankfully, he's not fighting alone. Bang! The giant orc that was about to launch another attack suddenly had its body knocked out by an azure-colored figure. Whoa! In place, Little Ice Ching looked at her master and let out a disgruntled chirp from her mouth. It's an abomination. A race was agreed upon and the owner jumped the gun. Noticing the little guy's emotions, Wang Dust touched his nose awkwardly. Okay, okay, I concede. These giant orcs, all of them are your prey. Raising his hands in a gesture of surrender. Wang Dust went along with it and handed over all of the giant orcs to Bing Chang. Anyway, he didn't have a quick solution to the giant orc right now, so it was better to stand aside and play assist for Bing Chang. Wah! Hearing his words, the little guy nodded in satisfaction. With an air of master you know what you're doing. Anon! Then, Bing Chang twisted his head to look at the giant orcs that surrounded them and opened his mouth to let out a high dragon's roar. Before the dragon's roar fell, terrifying frost magic power rose up on Bing Chang's body. Cold hell! In an instant, a piercingly cold wind blew in the middle of the cavern, and the blue-colored ice attribute magic power transformed into a piece of palm-sized snowflakes, drifting and enveloping all the giant orcs. Click, click, click. These snowflakes fell to the ground and landed on the giant orcs, instantly freezing the area they touched. In just the blink of an eye, the area tens of meters in circumference around Bing Ching turned into a land of ice and snow. The ground and the bodies of those giant orcs were wrapped in azure-colored cold ice little by little. At first, the giant orcs were still able to move, but after this cold ice completely covered their bodies, they completely turned into ice sculptures and froze in place. Woohoo! After doing this, little ice Ching chirped in triumph, his body quickly rushed out, and with one claw, he broke these ice sculptures into pieces. However, at this moment, Wang Chen did not move, and after all those giant orcs were turned into ice sculptures, the beep of the secret copy machinery sounded in his ears. Ding! Congratulations to candidate Wang Dust! for clearing the secret copy of Lava Cave Pants. Settlement in progress? Please wait. When he heard the voice, he froze straight away. The giant orc hadn't even been killed yet, so how did it suddenly pass? Looking around at the dozen or so giant orcs that were still frozen into ice sculptures, as well as the little ice chain that was wreaking havoc, Wang Dust's eyes were a little confused. Ice Clear opened a skill and just straight up spiked the giant orcs? Passed? Oh my god, it's only just a minute now. This is too outrageous. One minute to pass the Hell Difficulty Gao Gao Secret Realm copy. The Dragon Kingdom hasn't had such a horrible result ever. On the viewing platform, everyone looked at the image on the light screen that had been fixed, with extremely unbelievable expressions on their faces. They were waiting to see more battle footage of the giant dragon. But as a result, a snowflake drifted by and all of the giant orcs were killed in seconds. 
Is this an instant death type skill? Dropping 20 level 50 monsters in a single strike. This dragon's strength is simply beyond imagination. While the crowd around him was shocked, Situ Haunan's mood was also extremely unsettled. As the saying goes, outsiders look at what's going on, but insiders look at what's going on. As a fourth turn level 120 professional, he could tell with a single glance that when those cold eyes covered the giant orcs, the monsters' lives were ended. Ha 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 ha. One minute to clear the secret copy of the Hell difficulty. The top scholar of Far River Province has been pocketed by Wang Duan. Right at this moment, a slightly maniacal laughter suddenly rang out from the viewing platform. Class 7 teacher Lisha laughed unimaginatively, her gaze sweeping over the crowd on the viewing platform, her eyes filled with disdain and contempt. On the day of their transfer, these guys loved and even belittled Wang Chuan because he had transferred to a giant beast royalist. At that time, who among them could have imagined that Wang Chen, who was looked down upon by them, had created a miracle by clearing the hell difficulty copy in one minute? The best pass among the previous high school big game was 10 minutes. Wang Dust had now directly pulled this achievement up tenfold. Absolutely unprecedented. At this moment, Ri Xia's heart was incomparably superior. See? That's how good an old lady's eye is. Noticing Ri Xia's gaze, many people on the viewing platform lowered their heads, ashamed of the short-sightedness they once had. However, in this case, it did not include the principle of dongling no. One middle school, Mr. Lee, and the head of Dongling City. These two guys, who are over 100 years old, are smiling like a daisy. The head of Dongling City looked at the upright young man in the picture, his body trembling with excitement. Provincial top student? How could the head of Dongling City not expect that this kind of heavenly fortune could fall on his head? A third-rate small city out of a provincial scholar. He is not far from the high rise. This kind of luck is no longer a smoke coming out of the ancestral tomb. It can simply be said that the ancestral tomb has blown up the corpse. As for Principal Lee, who was at the side? His mouth was even cracking to the back of his head. He didn't care about the disdain in Mr. Ri Xia's eyes, compared to a provincial scholar. These were nothing. At this moment, if Wang Chen agreed, Principal Lee was even willing to immediately kneel down and kowtow to recognize a father. Dragon Country Successive High School Provincial Scholar. As long as not a lot of years die young, the final strength is not a lower than six turns. He's earned his keep, not to mention being a son, even as a grandson. In the copy, Wang Dust, who had heard the clearance prompt, still had a confused look on his face. He hadn't yet figured out how the secret copy had suddenly been pierced. However, when he saw little Ice Ching, who had knocked an ice sculpture into pieces, a glint flashed in his eyes. It suddenly occurred to him that Ice Clear's Cold Ice Hell skill had another special effect. Ice Inferno, SSS Active Attack Skill, Summoning Endless Frost, Freezing all enemies within a certain range, remarks, any enemy with intelligence attribute lower than that of the Dragon of Extreme Cold will trigger an instant death effect when in the range of the ice territory. These giant orcs, at first glance, were wild monsters with strength specialties, and their intelligence attributes were simply no match for ice clear, and they were directly seconded by the special effects of the cold ice hell. He he he, this control skill, ice clear, seems like it can also be used as a wide range monster clearing skill. Silently thinking, Wine Dust suddenly became excited. Bing Ching's various attributes developed on average, and in terms of the intelligence attribute alone, I'm afraid that monsters that were 30 or 40 levels higher in rank would not be able to compare. In the future, when this skill is used well, that experience value won't rub off on you. For a moment, thinking of the future where he would bring Bing Ching with him for a second, Wang Chen could not help but look forward to it in his heart. Right at that moment, the beep from the secret copy sounded again. Ding! Settlement complete! Congratulations to candidate Wang Dust, for perfectly clearing the secret realm copy of Lava Cave. Current secret copy difficulty, hell level. Passing time, 1 minute. Overall rating, SSS, highest. The results have been uploaded to the high school data center, and the pass reward will be issued next. The beeping in his ears ended, and Wang Dust nodded silently without the slightest surprise on his face. This achievement had long been in his expectations. After all, if he brought the ancestral god beast and still couldn't get the highest rating, he could just dig a hole and bury himself. Bing Ching stopped playing around and hurry over to open the reward. At this moment, he greeted the little guy before looking expectantly at the colorful treasure chest that appeared in front of him. The treasure chests rewarded for clearing the secret copies are all one color, unlike the divisions in the field drops. But what can be opened inside will fluctuate depending on the performance of the passer and the level of the secret copy. Don't worry at all about opening crap because of a bad hand, like when you drop treasure chests in the wild. Wah! The great meritocracy Bing Ching curiously came over and stretched out his dragon claws to directly poke open the colorful treasure chest. Colorful light flickered as an item floated in the air. 
As the scrying technique swept through, information about these things appeared in front of Wang Chen's eyes. 5 million experience points, 100 points of free attributes, 100 free skill points, gold set, lava roar, elite title, orc hunter, grade B generic skill, bloodthirsty frenzy, grade B magic material, orc's bloodline essence. Looking at this large pile of things in front of him, a burst of color bubbled up in Wang Dust's eyes. I have to say, it's worthy of being a secret copy produced, it's simply too rich. The harvest from this passage was at least several times what he had gained from fighting for a month in the 10,000 beasts mountain range. The first is 5 million experience points, free attribute points and skill points. With Wang Chen's thought, the experience value disappeared into his and Bing Qing's bodies respectively. In an instant, his and Bing Qing's levels directly increased by 5 levels. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, Nickname, Bing Chung, Sex, Female, Age, 1 Month, Young, Level, 30, Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast, Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS, 4 Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1950, Wisdom 1950, Physique 1950, Agility 1950, No Buffs, Equipment or Props to Enhance, Skills, Frost Body, SSS, Extreme Cold Breath, SSS, Ice Inferno, SSS, Dragon Might, SSS, Loyalty, 100, Equipment, None, Introduction, Omitted, The Higher the Risk, The Greater the Reward, Seeing Little Ice Ching's level increase to level 30, Wang Dust nodded with satisfaction, now the experience needed for Bing Ching to level up 5 would require him to struggle for at least half a month in the 10,000 beasts mountain range, after checking Ice Clear's attributes, Wang Chuan set his eyes on the other items that were opened, first up is the gold level set, Lava Roar, Equipment, Lava Armor, Type, Defense, Grade, Gold, Level Limit, 40, Attributes, Strength plus 100, Physique plus 100, Enchanted Effects, I, Every Time You Take an Attack, Rebound 10% of the Damage, 2, Increase the Power of All Your Own Skills by 5%, Equipment, Lava Belt, Type, Defense, Grade, Gold, Level Limit, 40, Attributes, Strength plus 50, Physique plus 50, Agility plus 50, Enchanted effects, I, comes with a weapon storage compartment for quick switching of main battle weapons, 02. Equipment, lava gauntlets. Type, defense. Grade, gold. Level limit, 40. Attributes, strength plus 80. Agility plus 100. Enchanted effects, 1, increase movement speed by 10%. At the same time, the three pieces of equipment were gathered together, and a set attribute surfaced. When waiting to collect the lava roar three piece set, Increase defense by an additional 10% and reduce fire attribute attack damage by 10%. Not bad. Not bad. Gold set. This is definitely a good thing with a price in Dongling City. If we take it out and sell it, I'm afraid it will sell for at least 10 million gold coins. After reading the introduction of Lava Roar, Wang Dust directly put it on his body beautifully, while incidentally learning the B-rank skill Bloodthirsty Frenzy as well. Bloodthirsty Berserking, the active skill. After turning on the skill, one will enter the state of bloodthirsty berserking, reducing pain by 20% and increasing attack by 20%. In an instant, Wang Chen felt the power in his body become even stronger. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 40, First Turn Limit. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Technique, C. Bloodthirsty Berserking, B. Power, 315 plus 260 points. Wisdom, 315 plus 10 points. Physique, 315 plus 150 points. Agility, 315 plus 5 plus 170 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 150. After the average distribution of attribute points, coupled with Bing Ching's feedback, Wang Chuan's four dimensional attributes had already exceeded 300 points in the naked state. If he counted the attribute boost from his equipment, his highest strength attribute was even closer to the 600 point mark. With such an exaggerated four dimensional attribute, it wasn't even comparable to an ordinary second turn professional of level 60 or 70. As for the free skill points, Wang Dust did not intend to use them for the time being. B rank skills needed to consume 50 skill points per upgrade, and the cost effectiveness was too low for him at the moment. Moreover, his level had now risen to level 40, the limit of the first turn. If you want to upgrade again, you have to go and complete the transfer quests in order to continue upgrading. Keep the skill points just in case you need them. After successfully transferring, you can obtain a new contract bit. Hey, soon I'll be able to contract a second beast pet. With a beautiful thought in his heart, 
Wang Dust set his eyes on the remaining two rewards, Elite Title, Orc Hunter, after using it, when fighting against monsters of the Orc race, increase your attack power by an additional 10%. The rank of the title is divided into four classes, General, Elite, Epic, and Legendary. The Elite rank title was already quite good for a fledgling professional like Wang Dust. Without hesitation, he simply chose to use it. Next up was the last item, a B-grade magic material, the Orc's Bloodline Essence. This item was equally valuable and was the main ingredient for refining berserking potions and bloodline potions. Putting it in a trading house, it would be easy to sell it for more than 2 million gold coins. However, this thing was of little use to Wang Dust, who himself had the bloodthirsty berserking skill, and didn't want to change his human bloodline into something ugly like an orc. So this material, along with those other unwanted ones, he planned to throw them into the trading house and sell them. Alright Bing Ching, we should head back. Receiving everything into his space ring, Wang Chen clapped his hands together to hold little Bing Ching in his arms. Then, with a thought, he directly activated the city return scroll on his body. Buzz off. After three seconds passed, his figure completely disappeared in the middle of the secret copy. Hurry, hurry, Wang Duan is coming out. On the viewing platform, when the crowd saw the framed image turn into nothingness, there was a burst of chicken and dog. This meant that Wang Chen had completed the settlement in the secret copy and was about to disengage. The head of Dongling City howled at this time, and without any image at all, he directly scurried out from the viewing platform, and behind him, the others woke up as if in a dream and rushed to the playground in a hurry to follow. At this time, the other candidates were simply too lazy to pay any attention to their performance in the secret realm replica, only wanting to dip into the immortal chi of Wang Chen, the provincial scholar, at the first opportunity. Buzz off! The space in front of the bronze light gate fluctuated a few times, and immediately afterward, an upright figure appeared on the playground. It was none other than Wang Duan. After his feet hit the ground, Wang Dust had just dispelled the vertigo from the teleportation, and before he had time to observe his surroundings, he felt a blur before his eyes. In the next second, he was directly surrounded by a pack of hungry wolves, the usually high and mighty leaders of Dongling City, as well as those mature and steady teachers of the first middle school, surrounded him. The two smiling chrysanthemum faces of the head of Dongling City and Principal Li were even closer to sticking to his body. Seeing this scene, a flash of consternation flashed across Wang Chen's eyes, but his expression returned to calm immediately afterward. Such a big battle must have been caused by his performance in the secret realm of the entrance exam. Mr. Wang Duan, you are the pride of our Dongling City. The city and the school will give you the highest level of rewards afterward. Any other requests you have, you can mention them all now. Feel free to do so. The head of Dongling City and Principal Li stared at Wang Chuan dead in the face, and their tone of voice trembled as they spoke. A nail-biting provincial scholar, or a giant imperialist who has contracted a giant dragon. It's worth whatever it takes for them to pull it together. However, hearing their words, Wang Chen's face did not fluctuate in the slightest. He knew that the change in attitude of Dongling City head Su Nuwa as well as Principal Li and many others around him was merely because they saw the potential in themselves. If he was still that giant imperial beast master without a beast pet, these people would not hesitate to kick him away. Dongling First Middle School Playground In the face of the Dongling City head in Principal Li's praise, Wang Duan only nodded politely. This falsehood was not worth his pleasure. I'll just do everything the leaders and the principal tell me to do. Saying a sentence of nutrient-less nonsense, Wang Chen's eyes began to move through the crowd. Soon, he sought his mature and stable homeroom teacher at the back of the crowd. Mr. Ri Xia. He snorted, a genuine smile on his face. All along, this teacher had taken care of him, and on the day of the transfer ceremony, among the surrounding crowd, Ri Xia was even the only one who really cared about him, and didn't belittle and disdain him because he had transferred to the giant beast master. Instead, he encouraged him and got him the startup money to buy a beast pet, treating this benefactor. Wang Dust was grateful from the bottom of his heart. You, you really did it. Passing through the crowd, Ri Xia looked at the boy in front of her who seemed to be shining brightly, and her eyes were a little dazed. Since three years in high school, she witnessed Wang Dust start from a grassroots, not spelling father, not spelling family, step by step rely on their own diligence and hard work to get to today. But even though she had always firmly believed that Wang Chen was her proudest and most satisfied student, she had never anticipated that this boy could reach such heights. Provincial scholar, although the list hadn't been released yet, Wang Duan's results were already well deserved. For a moment, thinking that Wang Chen's efforts over the years had finally paid off. Li Xia's heart couldn't help but sour. It's so not easy. Teacher, with my grades, I'll have no problem getting you an honor this year, right? Looking at MS, Li Xia, who was lost in thought, 
Wang Duan asked with a smile. Upon hearing this, Rixia collected her sentimental emotions and softly congratulated. Congratulations Wang Duan, for reaching the goal you have been pursuing. And thanks to you, the teacher's performance was pulled straight through this year. As he spoke, Rixia patted Wang Chen's shoulder with a heartfelt smile on his face. The college entrance exams are over. I'm sure you can't wait to share your results with your parents, so your teacher will treat you to dinner someday. Then it's a deal. Wang Dust nodded. The beautiful homeroom teacher invites you to dinner, and there is a little excitement in your heart. Next, the people around them sensed that Wang Chen was not in high spirits and went up to congratulate him before returning to the viewing platform. However, after the emergence of such a demon like Wang Chen, it had become a bit boring for them to watch the other candidates' performances. Waving goodbye to Mr. Li Xia, Wang Duan was ready to leave the school to find his parents. But just as he took a step, a tall figure stopped in front of him. Wang Chen, congratulations. Situ Haonan spoke with a somewhat serious expression. Thank you, Lord Guardian. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen politely thanked him, then looked at Situ Haonan with some curiosity. For Situ Haonan, he was still very respectful, partly because of the other party's strength of four revolutions and 120 levels, and partly because this was Situ Yu's own great uncle. Across the room, Sito Hanan nodded. He felt very satisfied with Wang Chen's attitude that was very different from when he faced the head of Dongling City and Principal Li. This young man, he knows his stuff. Aha! After a moment of contemplation, Sito Hanan solemnly said, Wang Chuan, you won the honor for our Dongling City in the higher education competition, and on behalf of myself and the Sito family, I have prepared some gifts for you. That's a total of 200 million gold coins, and an A-rank skill book. The gold coins will be credited to your card later. And for the skill books, I'll arrange for someone to send them to you tomorrow. Hearing Sito Haonan's words, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. Nice guy. 200 million gold coins and an A-rank skill book in one shot? The Sito family is worthy of being the number one family in Dongling. So rich. I never thought that I would be able to pull the wool over the Sito family's eyes one day. And I wonder if Sito Yu will freak out when he finds out? With a playful thought in his heart, Wang Chen did not reject Sito Haonan. The current hymn was worthy of such a pull, and it would also put Sito Haonan's mind at ease if he took it. Thank you, Lord Guardian, the boy will be obliged. But for the skill books, you don't need to arrange another person. Just have Sito you bring them over. She knows where my house is. Arching his hand, Wang Chen respectfully thanks Sito Haonan. Aha! Seeing Wang Chen accept, Sito Haonan nodded with satisfaction. Immediately afterward, though, he felt that something was wrong somewhere. You want Sito Yuk to bring it to you? and she knows where your house is? When did you two get so close? Harder, harder fists. Situ Haonan looked at Wang Chen with strange eyes, and the corner of his mouth twitched. Although this kid's talent is superb and his future prospects are unlimited, he seems to have a tendency to arch his own cabbage. Or, it's better to extinguish it. Lord Guardian, I have to go now. See you later. Noticing that the atmosphere was a bit unfavorable, Wang Dust ran straight away in a puff of smoke. If he stayed any longer, he felt like his life was in danger. When Wang Chen walked out of the school, the crowd outside immediately noticed him. There are candidates coming out so soon? My goodness, how long has this been going on? It must have failed to challenge the secret realm copy. This kid has a big heart, and he's laughing so hard after failing. This young man is so handsome. It's okay if he can't get into college. I'm afraid that he's better than us even if he relies on his face to eat. A voice of disbelief rang out, and many people looked at Wang Chen with sympathy in their eyes. When Bing Chang, who was in a fighting state just now, appeared on the giant screen, the crowd didn't even notice him on his back. So at this moment, in their opinion, Wang Chen had obviously failed the challenge by coming out of the secret copy so quickly. However, for the surrounding comments, Wang Dust didn't care. Now that the college entrance examination competition hadn't ended yet, less than the time to release the list, even if he explained, no one would believe him. Instead, it would be better to listen to the official list that will be released tomorrow, which will be more powerful than any words. Dusty, this way. As he walked outward, Wang Dust heard a familiar voice and turned his head to see his mother waving at him. Mom, what are you guys doing here with so many people? Walking forward, before Wang Chen could finish his words, he was set up by his parents on the left and right. Tell me the truth, is Bing Ching really a dragon? Dragging him to a remote corner, the king's father and mother secretly asked. Of course. At those words Wang Dust rolled his eyes. Really? The second old man looked at the little cutie on his son's shoulder and froze straight away. That's a giant dragon. How could they not connect the honorable creature they had seen earlier with the cute and cuddly little Bingqing? The difference. It's just too much. I told you guys a long time ago. You don't believe me. Hurry home. 
I'm starving. Seeing his parents' dumbfounded expressions, Wang Dust had some taste in his heart. What a pro parent. I just came out of the secret copy. You guys don't even ask about the results. You only care about Bing Ching. Shortly after Wang Chen left, the space on the playground of Dongling No, one middle school flickered continuously, and a wretched figure appeared one after another. These, all of them, were the examinees who had teleported out of the secret realm copy. At this moment among these people, there were those who shouted loudly in excitement and shared their joy to the people around them, and there were also those who walked out of the playground with their heads hanging down and their eyes dull. There is a stark contrast between those who succeeded in getting through and those who failed in getting through. Buzz off. Just then, spatial fluctuations reappeared, and in the next second, a pretty figure stood on the playground. That bastard Wang Chen, how dare he run away without waiting for me. After the vertigo of the teleportation ended, Sityu scanned her surroundings and stomped her foot in exasperation when she didn't find that abominable figure. Then, she pulled out her cell phone and was ready to find that darn guy to raise hell. However, before she could get started, a group of people on the viewing platform surrounded her. Jade, what were the grades? Situ Haonan, as Situ Yu's own great uncle, walked straight up and asked, Okay, rating SSS, clearance time 12 minutes. Seeing her eldest uncle, Situ Yu held her neck high and said with a pretense of reserve, Not bad, not bad, you can already enter the top 10 at the provincial level with this score last year, and this year is expected to be not too far off. Looking at the pride in his niece's eyes, Situ Haonan patted her shoulder and said heartily, Ha ha ha, it's really a double blessing. It looks like our Dongling City is going to produce two provincial top 10 this time. On the side of the head of Dongling City and also principally, there was a pleased smile on their faces. The top 10 at the provincial level. This was something they wouldn't even dare to think about in the past. If it wasn't for Wang Dust's pearl in front of them, now they were afraid that they would hate to offer Situyu up as an ancestor. 2. Hearing this, Situyu's expression moved and looked at her eldest uncle. Uncle, how are the grades of Wang Chen? That mixed. Guy? One minute to pass. This kid's provincial scholar is sure to be a sure thing. Situ Hao Nan glanced suspiciously at his niece as he spoke. Xiao Yu seemed to be very familiar with this Wang Dust. No one told her. She even guessed that the other person was Wang Dust as well. For a moment, thinking of the previous conversation between himself and Wang Dust, Situ Hao Nan's heart was alerted. However, Situ Yu didn't even notice her eldest uncle's difference, and was completely immersed in her own world at the moment. Provincial scholar? Although he had known that Wang Chen's grades would be better than his own, when he really heard the news, Situyu still lost some ground in his heart. While the provincial top picks are bound to get into the top universities, the top 10 at the provincial level are fraught with uncertainty. If this girl is ranked low in the top 10, won't she have to go to two colleges with that asshole? Situyu stomped her foot, a little depressed in her heart. What's wrong? Worried about school choice this year? Seeing that his niece was not too happy. Situ Haonan thought that she had been dealt a blow and opened his mouth to console her. Don't worry. For some reason, the four top universities have decided to expand their enrollment, and the top 15 ranked in each province will be able to enroll. Really? Situyu raised her head in surprise, and when she saw her eldest uncle nodding, a smile appeared on her face. That's great news. When the list is released tomorrow, go and show off to that stinky fart Wang Duan. Uncle I have to go beforehand. Situyu waved her hand and bounced straight out of the school. Behind him, Situ Haonan had wanted to ask his niece about Wang Chen, but he could only stop when he saw the scene. The next day, the day of the release, with the official website of Longwei Education posting the rankings of the candidates' results and the entrance exams of each province. King Dust. This ordinary name was like a heavy bomb, directly making the entire Dongling City, and even the entire Far River Province, boil up. Provincial Scholar. Civilian Heavenly Pride. Numerous halos were stacked on Wang Chen's body at once causing countless people to notice him. Giant Sentinel, a powerful ice attribute dragon was contracted. One by one, information about him spread online, causing countless shocks. Many of the media websites that reported information about Wang Dust were even paralyzed due to the excessive influx of traffic. This day, the whole Dongling city was decorated with lights because of him, and many people spontaneously lit fireworks, celebrating like New Year's Eve that Dongling city had a provincial scholar. Numerous local journalists and guild magnates were even sniffing around, wanting to obtain first-hand information or recruit Wang Duan into their ranks. In a short period of time, I don't know how many phone calls have been made, and I don't know how many people have slapped their thighs blue, especially those union magnates who had once visited the transfer ceremony and had abandoned Wang Dust as if he was a ghost. They blocked Wang Dust's neighborhood with large amounts of gold coins and resources. At this time, their ruined intestines were green. They only hated themselves for having eyes without pearls. 
How did they not find such a heavenly pride at that time? Right now, they had no intention of soliciting at all, and only hoped that what they took out could slightly make up for the impression they had in Wang Chen's mind. In addition to Dongling City and Far River Province shaking, the four top universities located in the Dragon Kingdom also sent their manpower to Dongling City due to Wang Chen's achievements, wanting to grab others before recruiting Wang Chen into the school. However, while the outside world was clamoring abnormally, Wang Chen's mood was unusually calm, not affected by any of this at all. After the release of the results, after sharing his results with his parents, he made a good disguise and came to a magnificent building in downtown Dongling. The building was extremely opulent, and the four big words at the entrance of the transmigration shrine exuded a divine aura. Phew, I hope the transfer quest I received will be a bit easier so I can have a second beast pet faster. Wang Dust looked around and realized that no one was paying attention to him and the surroundings, and took a step into the middle of the transmigration temple. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, professionals who wanted to always increase their strength would need to constantly change jobs and expand their upper limits. Transformation quests, randomly issued through the divine stones enshrined in the middle of the temple. How difficult it is all depends on the luck of the professional. Generally speaking, the difficulty of transfer quests fluctuates in a range, but the world is a big place and there are always some guys with particularly odd luck. Some people might be able to successfully turn 2 just by slaughtering a goblin, while others, who want to turn 2 need to kill a level 100 wild monster with their own hands. Walking into the transmigration shrine, Wang Dust found that the place was a bit cold, and apart from the divine stone enshrined in the very center, there were only a few staff members sitting behind their desks and dozing off. However, upon seeing this scene, there was no surprise on Wang Chen's face. Today was the day of the release of the list, and the people of Dongling City were immersed in revelry, so it was normal for the transmutation shrine to be a bit cold. And it was just what he wanted, he wouldn't have snuck out here if he hadn't found it too much of a hassle to stay at home. Sweeping the surroundings, Wang Dust directly walked to the front desk. Hello, I've come to pick up the second turn transformation quest. In the empty transmigration shrine, Wang Dust's voice rang out, instantly attracting the attention of the staff. A sweet-looking staff member at the front desk flashed a flash of surprise on her face when she saw Wang Chen who had wrapped himself up tightly. This was the first time she had seen that the professionals who came to transfer their jobs were being so mysterious. Yes sir, could you please remove your mask and hat? I need to verify your identity. Taking out a registration form, the staff member had a polite smile on his face. Hearing her words, Wang Chen nodded, removing his disguise and handing over his identity credentials. Every transfer in the transfer shrine required real name authentication. On the one hand, because the information of the professional needed to be reported to the central database of the Dragon Kingdom, and on the other hand, it was mainly to prevent those murderous people on the wanted list from fishing in troubled waters. Each of these wanted murderers had committed a major crime, and no transfer shrine in the Dragon Kingdom would be open to them, and would take them down at the first sign of their presence. That's fine sir, I'll take you to the transfer quest now. After checking his identity, the staff member handed back his identification credentials, turned around and headed to the back. Following the staff, Wang Chen arrived at the area behind the hall. It was a wide space with no decorations in sight, and the whole thing was made of silver-white metal. In the center, a three-meter-high irregular stone, suspended on the ground against all reason, emitted a gentle glow throughout. This is the transition stone. Just as he approached the transformation god stone, Wang Chen felt the power in his body boiling up a little bit, as if he was cheering. Sir, by placing your hand on the transfer god stone, you will receive a random transfer quest, after which the god stone will teleport you to the appropriate quest location. Coming over to the transfer god stone, the staff member said with a smile on his face. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen did not hesitate and directly placed his hand on top of the transformation god stone. Buzz, a bright glow lit up on the divine stone, and a mysterious power enveloped Wang Chen's entire body. In the next second, a message surfaced in his mind. Honorable professional, welcome to the transfer task. Testing in progress. The professional's current level, 1 turn 40, meets the criteria for transferring. The second transfer task is in the process of being generated, and the generation is completed. Mission requirements, resolve the flood of Cobalt Horde, General. Confirmed? A normal difficulty transfer quest? After absorbing the information in his mind, a flash of surprise appeared in Wang Chen's eyes. For once, myself, I was lucky. The difficulty of the transfer quest is similar to that of the bronze level or higher secret copies and is divided into four levels as well, based on the experience summarized by many professionals. In normal difficulty, the level of monsters encountered by a professional is equal to the professional's current level at the highest. Hard difficulty, the strength of the monsters has increased dramatically and will be up to 30 levels higher than a professional. 
Hell difficulty is even more perverse. The monsters that appear in the quest, the minimum will be 30 levels higher than the professional. As for the highest, is still unknown. Because since the revival of the will of the heavens, no professional had been able to pass the hellish difficulty transfer quest. And what's even more pitiful is that as of right now, easy, normal, and hard difficulty transfer quests all have the same level of improvement for the professional after completion. Hey, today's hand is good. Looks like little Bingqing will soon have a partner to play with. Patting Bingqing's little head, Wang Chen directly chose to confirm in his mind. Buzz off. With a flash of light, his figure disappeared in front of the transformation god stone, between the rotation of the sky and the earth. When Wang Chen once again set his feet on the ground, he had already arrived outside a lush forest. The transfer mission is officially open. Mission objective. Resolve the goblin horde. 0 100. All the best to the professionals. At the same time, a mechanical beep similar to the one he heard when he entered the secret realm copy surfaced in his mind. A hundred kobolds? What a simple task. It seems like I can easily handle it without even needing little ice clear's hand. Wang Dust thought playfully in his heart. And without hesitation, he took a step into the forest. Nowadays, with his strength, he could completely and easily take down wild monsters whose level was 30 levels higher than his own. And the normal difficulty of the transfer quests would not create any trouble for him at all. Ho 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 ho. Just after stepping into the forest, the sound of crazy hissing rang in his ears, and at the same time, a hideous and evil line of sight was projected on Wang Chen's body from among the shadows of the forest. Brush up. In the next second, a hideously shaped kobold stepped out from the middle of the forest. These kobolds were five shorts in stature around a meter and a half tall, covered in dark green skin, and held the bones of unknown creatures as weapons in their hands. Upon seeing Wang Chen and Bing Chang, a greedy look surged among their scarlet eyes, and disgusting sticky saliva flowed out from the corners of their mouths. Monster, Goblin Warrior. Level, 35. Fighting Style, Melee. Skills, Bite, Charge. Type, General. Monster, Goblin Wizard. Level, 40. Battle Style, Remote Output. Auxiliary. Skills, Corrosion Ray, Frenzy, Type, Mutation, Monster, Strong Goblin Warrior, Level, 40, Fighting Style, Melee, Skills, Skin Hardening, Charge, Intimidation, Type, Mutation, 100 Kobolds have 6 mutated ones, 3 Kobold Wizards and 3 Strong Kobold Warriors, seeing these monsters appear, Wang Chuan patted Bing Ching's head, then silently drew his Blizzard Longsword to move his arms and legs, Woohoo! Little Ice Ching waved her wings and flew aside, letting out a chirp to cheer her master. Roar! Bing Ching's childish voice seemed to afflict some kind of switch, causing the goblins to let out a frantic roar. There was no hesitation. One by one, this group of guys waved the weapons in their hands and rushed towards Wang Chen in a crowed manner. Humph! Seeing this scene, Wang Dust disdainfully skimmed his mouth, and with a movement of his feet his body rushed out at the same high speed. Swish! At the same time, the blast wind longsword in his hand cut out a cold light like a curved moon. In an instant, the blade of the blizzard longsword slashed through the throats of the five kobolds without any hindrance. Ah, uh, only having time to let out a miserable scream. The five goblins that rushed at the front were directly killed in seconds. The smell of blood filled the forest in an instant. Ho 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 ho. Stimulated by the smell of blood, the scarlet glow in the eyes of the remaining kobolds became even more intense. Especially when the three goblin wizards in the back released their frenzy spells. These guys, even more so, stepped on the corpses of their companions and madly rushed towards Wang Chen. Dongling I, the wide conference room is overcrowded. Dongling first middle schools principally and all the teachers are all present, standing respectfully at one side, and across from them were four men and women with strong auras, each with a fluctuation in their aura that was more than a step stronger than East Tomb Guardian Sitahanan. These four people were none other than the enrollment teachers of the four top universities in the Dragon Kingdom. From left to right, they are from Huaqing University, Yanlon University, Yanhua University, and South Shang University. Behind these four, there were also eight young men and women standing, all outstanding students from the four top universities, each with an aura of around three revolutions. Knock, where exactly is Wang Chen now? The enrollment teacher from Hua Qin University was a middle-aged man with a majestic figure. He knocked on the table, his eyes looking at President Li without any ripples, being gazed at by this calm gaze, principally felt as if he was being stared at by a fierce beast, and sweat instantly soaked out of his brain. How could he not have expected that the list of the college entrance examination grand competition had just been released today, and the admission teachers from the four top universities had arrived one after another, which had left him unprepared in the slightest. My lord please remain at ease. Soon, soon, I'm already in contact. Without moving to wipe off the cold sweat, Principal Lee carefully said, as he spoke, 
He frantically winked at Class 7's teacher, Lai Xia, and told him to quickly contact Wang Duan. Noticing the principal's gaze, Ri Xia's expression stiffened a bit. She'd like to get in touch now, but she can't. Wang Dust, this asshole kid, today I don't know what's going on. His phone is turned off, and he called his family, and his parents don't know where he's gone. Laughing bitterly in his heart, Ri Xia's sight quietly skimmed the opposite side at this time. The college entrance examination list had just been released, and the admissions teachers of the four top universities came to snatch people. This treatment of wine dust is also the only one among the top students of the entrance exams of the provinces of the Dragon Kingdom. After making a call and failing to get through, the helpless Ri Xia gave Principal Li a look of love. I tried my best. Principal Li couldn't help but feel some bitterness in his mouth when he saw this. The four admissions teachers across the street are no pushovers, and I'm afraid that if they feel dissatisfied today, all they have to do is complain, and he should be voluntarily removed from his position as principal. Principal Li, the teachers have been waiting for almost 20 minutes. You're a principal. You wouldn't even be able to contact your own students, would you? Right at this moment, a young man standing behind the enrollment teacher of Hua Qing University frowned and said with some displeasure, Can't can't, just a little longer please. Upon hearing this principal Li shook his head back and forth, his head shaking into a rattle. He couldn't afford to offend the admissions teachers of the four universities, and he likewise couldn't afford to offend these students who followed him. For example, this youth who is talking at this time, is last year's Far River Province admitted to Hua Qing University students, named Zhou Zibo. Occupation was special occupation Thorn Knight, entering Hua Qing University for only a year. His strength had already been raised to level 75 in the third turn, placing him in the top of the sophomore class of Hua Qing University. Ha, Principal Li, there's no need to say more if you're using pretexts. What the hell is Wang Dust thinking? All the teachers coming in person has already given him a great deal of face. At a time like this he still dares to be late. Isn't it that he doesn't have us in his sights? Joe Zebo sniffed disdainfully, a flash of anger in his eyes. He followed the enrollment teacher to come to Dongling City this time, partly to earn credits, and partly to see what kind of character this year's top student of Yuanjiang province was, worthy of being personally recruited by the enrollment teachers of the four top universities. Results available. Just got here and got stood up. Normally high-minded and proud. He would have had to hold back the anger in his heart a long time ago. Noticing Joe Zebo's dissatisfaction, Principal Lee let out a bitter smile and was about to open his mouth to appease. But just then, Hoomph, who knew you guys would suddenly come running over here today? In the conference room, a cold muttering voice suddenly rang out. As soon as the words fell, instantly everyone's eyes looked towards a pretty figure standing behind Principal Lee. This was an extremely beautiful looking young girl, with delicate features that looked like they were made in heaven, paired with a slightly heroic single ponytail, giving off a feeling of youthful vigor. It was Sito Yu. She ranked ninth in this year's Far River Province College entrance examination list, and like Wang Duan, she gained admission into a top university. Oh little ancestor, will you stop? Principal Lee helplessly glanced at Sito Yu, only feeling incomparably tired. Play Missy Temper also do not look at the occasion. The opposite is four top university admissions teacher. Any one of them, are he? Our Situ family cannot afford to offend the existence. Being watched by everyone's eyes, Situ spat out her tongue and quietly hid behind her homeroom teacher. These guys have such a scary look in their eyes. Ha! Who did I think it was? It turns out to be the ninth in this year's Far River Province. On the opposite side, after Joe Zebo saw Situ, a flash of amazement flashed in his eyes, but immediately afterward, he said with disdain, if it wasn't for the school's expansion this year, you wouldn't even be qualified to stand here with your grades, and you still dare to speak up? It's really just like that Wang Dust, neither of them knows what it means to have a high heaven. Situ Yu's face instantly revealed anger when she heard this, and she stood out from behind the homeroom teacher with an exasperated huff. Do you know what it means to have a high heaven? After furthering your education for a year at a top university, your strength has only just turned three. What is there to be proud of? Waste of resources. She glared angrily at Joe Zebo her tone nonchalant, it's okay to talk about me, but you dare to talk about Wang Duan, little white boy, this lady remembers you, you, as the words fell, anger appeared on Joe Zebo's face, and it wasn't just him, the expressions of the other seven people standing beside him were likewise a bit ugly, Situ Yu's words struck so broadly that even a few of them were included, for a while, the atmosphere in the conference room became a bit stagnant, and a pin drop could be heard, nonsense, Principal Lee's face changed drastically at this moment, and he turned to angrily look at Situ Yu. These are your future seniors. How can you be so rude? Situ Yu, hurry up and apologize to them. As he spoke, Principal Lee kept winking, 
hoping that this little ancestor would subside a bit. However, it's not like I'm wrong. Situ deflated in defiance, looking down at the ground without moving at all. You, seeing this scene, Principal Lee's entire body went numb, and as soon as he was ruthless, he intended to forcefully pull Situ to apologize. But just then, waste of resources? The little girl is sharp-tongued. Since you look down on them, then why don't you guys have a match? Let's see who's the loser. The enrollment teacher from Hua Qing University knocked on the table and said with some sneer, in the conference room of Dongling No, one middle school, as the words of the admission teacher of Hua Qing University fell, the atmosphere fell into a stagnant state. A graduate who hasn't even entered college yet, competing against the best students from top universities? This is a sure loss no matter how you look at it. The two sides are simply not on the same level. At this moment, not only were the people of Dongling First Middle School stunned, but the other three top university enrollment teachers also frowned. Mr. Zhang, you seem to be out of order, don't you? Mu Weining, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, glanced at teacher Zhang of Huaqing University with some displeasure. Nothing out of order. Upon hearing this, Hua Chang Zhang sneered and said in a playful tone, Young people don't know the sky and the earth, and when they achieve a little bit of success they have no one in their sights, so it's just right to give them a little frustration and let them know that there are people outside of the sky. This, isn't fair at all. A flash of annoyance flashed in Mu Weining's eyes. In her opinion, although Situ Yu's words just now were a bit excessive, they were also out of context, and for Hua Qing's teacher Zhang to act in such a manner was a bit on the nose. There's no such thing as fairness in this world especially for professionals, no matter how it was before. Anyone must learn to be in awe in front of a professional whose strength is stronger than their own. Your Yanlong University is just too soft and weak, and the students it teaches are the ones who lost to our Huaqing in last year's competition. Teacher Zhang of Huaqing University shook his head with a cold smile, not feeling any problem with his decision in the slightest. You, hearing his words, Mu Weining's chest rose and fell rapidly, itching to chop this arrogant guy in front of her with a sword. Shit. Take the number one spot in the country for colleges and universities, and your tail is in the air. In an instant, the duo's argument brought the atmosphere in the entire conference room down to freezing point. But at this point, just compare. A crisp voice rang out, breaking the silence in the conference room. I'd like to see how much better you can be than me after a year of further study at Hua Qing University. Situ took a step forward and stood out, looking at Joe Zebo without fear. At those words, Joe Zebo glanced at teacher Zhang before sneering and taking a step forward. Yeah, then I'm going to tell tell you how to stay in awe in the face of your senior. Swish, with a flash of cold light, a line of blood appeared on the neck of the last goblin wizard, and his body fell softly to the ground. Wang Chen sheathed his sword and looked around with calm eyes. At this moment, the corpses of a hundred kobolds were scattered neatly around him. Total time, 36 seconds, ending the timer. Wang Dust nodded silently. It's okay, this speed barely satisfied him. This time could have been compressed even shorter if he hadn't tried out the defense of his new equipment in the middle. Woohoo! Seeing his master end the battle, little Ice Ching swung his wings and flew over, intimately rubbing his master's face. The little one's eyes lit up. Okay, you little horse's ass. I'll get you something nice when we get back. Noticing the thoughts coming from the middle of the contract, Wang Chen rubbed Bing Ching's little head without any good reason. During the month in the 10,000 Beasts mountain range, the little guy was completely raised by Sityu as a foodie. Woohoo! Hearing his master's promise, the little guy narrowed his eyes happily. At the same time, a mechanical beep sounded in Wang Chen's ears. Congratulations to the professional, who has successfully completed the second turning quest. Career advancement in. Giant Imperial Beast Master, first turn, Giant Imperial Beast Master, second turn. Congratulations on learning the exclusive skill of the Imperial Beast Master, Beast Pet Increase Technique. Congratulations on acquiring a new Beast and Pet Contract Bit. Currently 12. Transfer successful. About to teleport professional away. Please wait. After the beeping tone faded, a bright glow flashed across Wang Chen's body, and immediately afterward, he sensed that some sort of barrier that had been binding him had disappeared. Finally, we can continue to upgrade again. Feeling the changes in his body, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. From now on, his level could continue to rise. With just 10 more levels of advancement, Bing Qing would reach the limit of his current growth stage. And once he entered the next stage, the little guy would be able to speak. By then the little guy will be able to communicate normally with others without having to be a riddle dragon. And what he was excited about lately was the newly added beast pet bit, which meant that he would soon get a second beast pet to add to his attributes. The strength of the self will get stronger and stronger like a snowball. From today onwards, the terror of the profession of giant imperial beast master would begin to completely unfold in his body. This time, we have to pick and choose. 
and find an equally strong companion for Bingqing. Well, the beast pet market in Dongling City is pretty much turned around by me, so I'll go to the big city to pick out my second beast pet. With excitement in his heart, Wang Dust checked up on the newly acquired exclusive skills of the Imperial Beast Master. Beast Pet Increase Technique, be after casting. Increase the power of your beast pet by 10%. This skill, the basic skill of the Imperial Beast Master, would be gained by both the Giant Beast Master and the Ordinary Beast Master after their second turn. However, this skill would become even stronger if it was used in Wang Chen's hands. Under the blessing of the SSS rank talent 10,000 Beasts Fondness, the effects of all his exclusive skills were increased tenfold. If one were to use the Beast Pet Increase technique on Bing Cheng, it would directly allow him to receive a doubling of his strength. Right now, the little guy's strength would be able to fight against a level 70 or so professional who had just entered the third turn. Double it again. I'm afraid that even an 80th level professional would be knocked over by a claw. The strength has increased again. I hope that when those geniuses from the top universities see little Bingqing's terrifying strength, their jaws won't be dropped. Wang Dust thought excitedly in his heart, quietly waiting for himself to be teleported out. Soon, with a flash of light, he reappeared next to the transformation god stone. The staff waiting on the sidelines saw a flash of dismay in Wang Chen's eyes when he came out so quickly. It was less than a minute before and after. This handsome guy was so lucky that he must have randomized to an easy difficulty transfer quest. With that in mind, the staff member had a polite smile on his face. Congratulations on successfully completing your transfer quest. Her tone was much more polite compared to before. In today's Blue Star, first turn professionals were just budding professionals, and it was only after a successful second turn that they were considered to have officially embarked on the path to transcendence. Regarding the staff's transformation, Wang Dust's heart was slightly sunburnt and he was about to make a few polite remarks. Ding ding ding. But just then, the cell phone in his pocket suddenly vibrated sharply. Hey mom, just connected. Not waiting for Wang Dust to finish. The opposite side came from the old mom's words that are like a series of cannonballs. Where the hell have you been? The enrollment teachers of the four top universities are all in the first middle school. So hurry up and get over there. Admissions teachers from four top universities gathered at Dondling First High School? Hanging up the phone, Wang Dust's expression was a bit surprised. He was a little surprised that the admissions teachers of the top universities were so hungry. Obviously today, the college entrance examination had just released the list. However, when he thought of the horrifying results he had created in the higher education competition, Wang Dust was a bit more enlightened. Throughout all the years of college entrance exams, the best passes have not crossed the 10-minute mark, and he's directly increased that score tenfold, and it's a wonder the four top universities aren't going crazy. Hey, I wonder what kind of solicitation offer they will make. I'm afraid my wallet is going to bulge again this time. Thinking of the favorable treatment he would receive if he entered a top university, Wang Dust left the transmigration shrine with some anticipation. The four top universities, all of which follow an elitist path, offer generous rewards for their annual intake. These rewards include gold coins, holy crystal stones, equipment, skill books, and various other items. And these weren't even the most valuable of them. As far as Wang Chen knew, the top universities would also take out precious secret realm copy entry qualifications as rewards. It was important to know that not long ago, when he cleared the lava cave, a secret copy of the college entrance exam, Wang Dust had directly gained 5 million experience points, as well as other rewards that were worth a lot of money. And that's, just a bronze level copy. Among the top universities, there are a good number of silver, gold, and diamond rated secret copies. As long as he cleared these, Wang Dust felt that his strength, I'm afraid, could grow by leaps and bounds like a rocket. Arriving at the school with excitement, Wang Duan had just walked through the door when he met Mr. Li Xia who had received the message. Where have you been? As soon as Ri Xia pulled Wang Duan back, her tone was a bit complaining. The time that this brat played missing was extremely stressful for her mentally. Those four enrollment teachers with terrifying strength just leaked out their breath, all of which made her gasp a little. Hey, I'm going to the transfer shrine to transfer. Touching his nose, Wang Chen said with some embarrassment. Early on, when he saw so many missed calls on his cell phone, he knew that he was not going to be spared a grumble. Second turn? You made it. At those words, Ri Xia gave Wang Chen a somewhat surprised look. It was only at this point that she noticed a slight difference in the aura of her favorite student from before. For a while, Ri Xia's eyes were a bit complicated. How long has it been? This brat that he had watched grow up was on the verge of catching up with his own strength. All right, stop stinking here. Hurry up and follow me. Those adults are waiting impatiently. However, Ri Xia quickly collected her emotions and dragged Wang Duan towards the playground. Hmm, teacher, isn't it in the conference room? Realizing that the direction of advancement was not right, Wang Dust asked suspiciously, Ah, uh, 
Hearing his words, Ri Xia's footsteps lurched, and while walking, he said somewhat helplessly, something happened, in a moment you calm down a bit, and choose your school first. At those words, Wang Dust was confused, but soon, the doubt in his mind was resolved when he walked into the playground. Sweeping his eyes across the playground, he saw Situ Yu's small, ashen face, red eyes, and a trace of blood at the corner of her mouth. And not far away, there stood a high and mighty youth with a tawdry look. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust frowned. What's going on? Walking over to Situ Yu's side and helping her wipe away the dirt on her face, Wang Chen asked in a somewhat unkind tone. They say, as if she had found her backbone, Situ Yu tugged on Wang Duan's coat and talked about the situation. After hearing this, a cold glint flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. A third turn and a second turn match? This is not a clear cut bullying. The other side. Your Wang Duan, it doesn't look any different. Schoolmate Situ Yu wants to feel the strength of the senior. Do you want to try? Zhou Zibo glanced at Wang Chen and realized that he was handsome and had an extraordinary temperament, like an exiled immortal coming out of a painting, so his tone unnaturally took on a hostile tone. There's nothing good about good looking people, so much that I want to punch you in this face. However, what made him a little disappointed was that Wang Chen, who had heard his words and turned his head to look over, did not have any emotional fluctuations in his eyes, just like a deep, bottomless ocean. In a trance, it was as if Joe Zebo saw a towering god gazing indifferently and mercilessly at a fanged ant. And he, unfortunately, was the mole. It looks like you're very unconvinced, Senior Wang Chen? What? Come over here and practice with me, Senior? Joe Zebo stared at Wang Chen with a very gloomy expression. This condescending look made him incredibly angry. Who do you think you are? Yeah. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded indifferently. This guy doesn't say anything and he's going to teach him a lesson. King Dust. Situ tugged on Wang Duan's coat, her expression somewhat worried. Although she hated the opposite Zhou Zibo with a passion at this moment, she had to admit that this fellow's strength was indeed strong. In the competition just now, she was defeated. On the side, Principal Lee and the others were about to open their mouths to persuade. High schoolers versus sophomores from top universities is like eggs on fire. Situ Yu's defeat just now had already proved this very visually. But, before they had a chance to speak, Wang Chen patted Situ Yu's hand before taking a step and walking in front of Zhou Zibo, but at this time his eyes were not even on Zhou Zibo's body, but directly crossed over him and looked behind. From Hua Qing University, Mr. Zheng, this teacher, can I, can I cripple him? A flash of annoyance flashed across Hua Cheng Zhang's face as he sniffed. Yes, but you have to have the strength. Also, we at Hua Cheng University won't take in guys who don't have self-awareness. The corners of Mr. Zhang's mouth curved up his tone somewhat sarcastic. A student who had just finished a big senior high school competition had no respect for him. An admissions teacher from a top university? What a rampage. Did you not think that you could underestimate the pride of a top university just because you contracted a giant dragon? On the side, the other three top university enrollment teachers all had expressions of winding interest on their faces when they saw the scene. Wang Chen came and went up against the people from Hua Qing University, which couldn't have been better in their eyes. The terms of the solicitation hadn't even been taken out yet, and there was one less competitor straight away. On the opposite side, hearing teacher Zhang's words of implied anger, Wang Chen shook his head indifferently, and directly passed the option of watching university in his mind. With his grades, he chose the school rather than the school choosing him, and I don't know where these guys at Hua Chung, where did they get their sense of superiority? Just as well, I have no interest in the kind of school that likes to bully, with his sight refocused on Zhou Zibo's body. Wang Dust disdainfully stretched out his hand and beckoned like he was teasing a dog. Let's begin. If you don't make the first move, I'm afraid you won't have a chance later. Wang Chen's words fell like thunder on the playground. In an instant, everyone's expressions became extremely shocked. Mr. Zhang, the enrollment teacher of Hua Qing University, his face reddened with flesh, and he was so angry that the breath in his body was a little unstable. Bullying? How could he not have expected that Wang Chen would give Hua Qing University such a rating? It's so uninformed. A lucky guy who got lucky and contracted a gargoyle with his tail in the air. With a heart like that, even if you don't die young your future accomplishments will be limited. Hua Chang Zhang was furious, and the three admissions teachers on the other side were about to burst into laughter. At this moment, when Wang Chen said this, regardless of the outcome of his match with Zhou Zibo, Hua Cheng University had already declared that it was out of the game. Young man has character. We need such talents in Yanlong University. Mu Weining, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, even opened her mouth to praise Mr. Zhang without any regard for his ugly face. Hearing her words, Mr. Zhang's face turned even greener. Zhou Zibo, if you don't step on Wang Duan today, 
I'll deduct your credits for this year. Anger rising, he couldn't help but transmit a sentence towards Zhou Zibo. In the playground, Zhou Zibo, who was already enraged by Wang Chen's disdain, had a cruel look on his face when he heard this. Good good good. Previously, he was afraid that he would hit too hard and attract Mr. Zhang's displeasure, but now that he had these words underpinning him, he was able to do so without fear. Bang! Stomping on the ground with one foot, Zhou Zibo lunged at Wang Chen with a violent whistling sound. Let's get you loaded. I'll cripple you today. Hoo hoo hoo. In an instant, Zhou Zibo's fist arrived in front of Wang Chen with a violent whistling sound. In the face of this strike, Wang Chen did not dodge. When the fist was about to touch him, he moved his feet and his body left a phantom in place. When he reappeared, he had already staggered past Zhou Zibo and arrived behind the other party. Then he violently kicked his opponent in the ass. Bang! It was a kick of little power and great insult. Zhou Zibo, who had missed his target, was thrown directly off balance by the kick. Flutter! He landed on the playground floor with the corner of his mouth in a wild dog pounce. This senior, it looks like you didn't have a lot of show in the past, and this move of a wild dog pouncing is as good as it gets. Looking at the wretched Zhou Zibo, Wang Chen smiled faintly and silently withdrew his foot. Ah, damn kid, I'm going to kill you. Climbing up from the ground, Zhou Zibo's face was livid and his eyes were incomparably resentful as he looked at Wang Chen. He had just wanted to use his strong attributes of the third turn to crush Wang Chen with ordinary attacks, but he did not expect to make such a big fool of himself. Buzz off! A violent surge of magic power and an aura of thorns instantly enveloped his body. In the midst of his rage, Zhou Zibo couldn't care about anything else and directly used his professional skills. Aura of Thorns. This was the signature skill of the Knight of Thorns, and at this time, the third turn one used it to be able to increase his strength bonus by 30%, while rebounding 10% of his attacks. Boy, I'm gonna tear that mouth of yours apart a little bit. Then he reached out and a 2 meter long riding lance appeared in his hand, and then immediately after, he launched a charge at Wang Chen. Knock knock knock. For a while, violent footsteps resounded in the playground, and Zhou Zibo's one-man charge brought up an aura as if it were a thousand armies. Seeing this scene, the crowd of onlookers all subconsciously tensed their bodies, that is, Mu Weining and other enrollment teachers, at this moment also stared at the guard up, ready to save people at any time. After all, a third turn Thorn Knight with full firepower was definitely not something a second turn could handle. But, looking at Zhou Zibo who rushed over, Wang Chen did not have the slightest bit of fear on his face. Boom! A flash of blood light surfaced on his body. His heartbeat accelerated. His blood flowed crazily, and the aura on his body instantly became violent. Bloodthirsty Berserk. Reduces pain by 20% and increases attack power by 20%. Instant Sword. In the next second, Wang Dust rushed out at an even faster speed, and the Blast Wind Longsword viciously chopped at the incoming Riding Lance. Bang! The two weapons violently clashed together. Sparks flying everywhere. Zhou Zibo's forward momentum was blocked, while Wang Chen flew directly backwards. Even with Bing Ching's attribute feedback nowadays, Wang Chuan himself still had a certain gap in terms of hard power. As per the third turn professionals, Ha ha, out of your depth. Seeing this, Zhou Zibo let out a wild laugh as Wang Chen's defeat caused a strong excitement to grow in his heart. But, at this time, he did not notice that the color in the eyes of Wang Chen, who flew out backwards, did not change in the slightest, but instead, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Ha! With a cold smile, Wang Chuan landed on one foot and turned his body to remove the force of the recoil, followed by the whole person rushing out again like lightning. Instant sword, second strike. Phew! In the sound of violent wind, Wang Chuan instantly arrived in front of Zhou Zibo, who still had an excited expression on his face, and the blast wind longsword diagonally picked his neck. Zhou Zibo, who simply did not expect Wang Chen to make a comeback, could not dodge in time at this moment and could only place his riding lance across the top of his longsword. Bang! Zhou Zibo could only feel a powerful force slamming into the riding gun, and the whole person desperately exerted himself to keep from dislodging it. His body, however, was brought directly into midair by this force. Brush. Wang Dust gained momentum, and with a quick wave of his other hand, two huge green colored wind blades shot out. Bang bang. Snap. Zhou Zibo, who was still in midair, did not have time to dodge, and the two wind blades hit his body, and after spinning around several times, his entire body sprawled on the playground in a five body position. You. Pust. Zhou Zibo lifted his head in pain, his eyes insanely resentful as he looked at Wang Chen. And just as he was about to say something, a mouthful of blood spewed out. Although the wind blade was blocked by the equipment on his body, the tremendous power it carried made him feel as if he had been run over by a road roller at that moment, and his internal organs were about to shift. Seeing this scene, 
The surrounding crowd all stood up straight, their eyes incomparably shocked as they looked toward Wang Chen, especially the three enrollment teachers other than Mr. Jang, each of them had a glint in their eyes, beautiful, perfect battle sense and mastery of timing, although Zhou Zibo did not show his full strength because he was a bit gullible, but the same was true of Wang Dust, he was a giant imperial beast master, and the more powerful dragon had yet to fight, ah, I'll kill you, Zhou Ziting was trembling, and the eyes of the people around him looking over made his heart feel like a knife, with a furious roar, three auras rose from his body, and the writing lance in his hand blossomed into a dazzling light, and then he frantically rushed towards Wang Chen, but, in the face of such an attack, Wang Chen didn't even move or even assume a defensive stance, because he saw that a figure stopped in front of Zhou Zibo, Hua Qing University's Mr. Zhang grabbed the writing gun and casually swung Zhou Zibo out, next, you, win, he shook his head and looked at Wang Chen with very complicated eyes, the playground of Dongling No, one middle school was silent, everyone, somewhat incredulously, looked at the center of the playground, that young and handsome figure, no one had expected that Wang Chen would actually beat Zhou Zibo in a head-to-head -head battle, although there was a reason why Zhou Zibo was gullible, the results of this battle were enough to be considered legendary, it was important to realize that there could be a whole 35 levels of difference between the two, moreover, the strongest card in Wang Chen's hand, the giant dragon, had yet to make an appearance, is this the strength of this year's top student of the college entrance exam in Far River Province? It's simply too demonic. Do whatever it takes to recruit this creep into the school. Watching this scene, the eyes of the three enrollment teachers clashed viciously together, as if sparks were growing in the air, and in the center of the playground. Teacher Zhang from Huaqing University looked at Wang Chen with an incredibly complicated expression. Before, he felt that Wang Chen was arrogant, but now, he only had shock and regret. One billion gold coins bonus. One diamond grade equipment, two optional A grade skill books, one free entry opportunity per month for each of the gold and silver grade secret copies. This is the condition of my Huaqing University. Wang Duan, hope you consider it. Teacher Zhang's tone was incomparably complex. However, upon hearing his conditions, which were enough to make countless people's eyes red, Wang Chen directly shook his head. Sorry, I'm not interested in Huaqing University. After saying that, he directly stepped towards Si to you. Looking at Wang Chen and then at Zhou Zibo, who was already unconscious on the ground, a flash of strong remorse flashed through teacher Zhang's eyes, a future destined to shine infinitely proud, just like this with Hua Qing University lost. Teacher Zhang pursed his lips and grabbed Zhou Zibo on the ground and flew straight away. Wang Chen, I apologize to you for my previous slight. The only thing left on the playground was his voice echoing with a hint of remorse. Wang Dust took a distant glance at teacher Zhang's distant figure, looked down at the dumbfounded Si to you, and asked, Aren't I great? A bright light flooded Si Yu's eyes. You're not awesome. You're too awesome. The young girl jumped right in, grinning like a dilettante. Ahem. Wang Dust was a bit embarrassed, and his eyes looked around for help. However, next to him, the crowd looked on as if they hadn't seen anything. After giggling for a long time, Si Yu let go of Wang Chen handily, her face as red as a monkey's butt. However, at this time, there was no one to make fun of her. As Mu Weining and the other three enrollment teachers directly squeezed through the crowd and surrounded Wang Chen. Mr. Wang Chuan, I'm the enrollment teacher of South Sage University. I hope you can join us at South Sage University, and for that we are willing to provide. Student Wang Duan, I'm the admissions teacher of Yenhua University. Be sure to come to our school. The school will give you a bonus doubled on top of that of Southern Sacred University. The enrollment teachers of Southern Sage University and Yenhua University grabbed Wang Chen's hand left and right and couldn't wait to offer incomparably eye-popping conditions, especially the enrollment teacher at Yenhua University, who doubled his bonus directly when he opened his mouth. One must know that the Southern Sage University had offered a billion gold coins as prize money, and with his flip, that would be two billion gold coins. This, is the kind of money that ordinary people and even some posh families can't earn in a lifetime. The surrounding teachers and Principal Lee were so shocked that their jaws were about to drop when they heard the conditions offered by these two. However, in response to this, Wang Chen's expression was calm, and he was not at all overwhelmed by this. Instead, at this moment, he looked at the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University with some curiosity. Student Wang Chuan, I'm Mu Weining, the enrollment teacher of Yanlong University, and I'll give you the same conditions as Yanhua University. But, I see that you have already turned two now, so you must have a blank contract position. And Inferno Dragon University is willing to provide you with a giant beast beast pet. Mu Weining smiled at Wang Chen her words very gentle. As soon as the words fell, the enrollment teachers from Southern Sage University and Yenhua University directly fell silent. 
Yanlong University is prepared for this, if it was any other condition, especially in terms of bonuses they could have argued a bit more, but a behemoth? Yanlong University is putting down blood money, and the two of them can't make a decision at all, even if they ask for permission to come down, their sincerity is still a little less compared to Yanlong University. With this in mind, the enrollment teachers from Southern Sage University and Yanhua University silently let go of Wang Chen's arm, very well, it seems neither of you can make a better offer. Seeing this scene, Mu Weining smiled blandly, her eyes fixedly looking at Wang Chen. I'm going with Yanlong University. Wang Dust didn't hesitate either, although he didn't need the school to reward the giant beast, but from this, he could also see that Yanlong University's sincerity was more sufficient than the other two. Good, you made a wise choice. Student Wang Dust, a satisfied smile appeared on Mu Weining's face, and then she cited on Situyu. I'm sure that Situyu student, must want to go to the same university as Wang Duan student. So apart from the giant beast, Situyu student, how about you look at 500 million gold coins, and the other conditions are the same as Wang Duan's? Mu Weining said with some urgency, at those words, Situyu's pretty face flushed red as she gently nodded, seeing that both of them had made their choices. The enrollment teachers from Southern Sage University and Yanhua University exchanged pleasantries with Wang Chen and then directly took their leave. After the two left, Mu Weining asked for Wang Chen and Situyu's bank account numbers. The prize money will be credited to your cards later, and you will need to pick up the rest of the rewards at school. The new students will be enrolled in three days, so you two prepare in the next few days and don't be late then. Mu Weining gently explained some matters before thunderously waving goodbye. When she left, Wang Duan and Situyu exchanged pleasantries with the teachers and also moved to leave the school. The two decided to spend the next few days properly reuniting with their families. Three days later, Wang Dus left a note for his parents and pressed it with a bank card with 100 million gold coins stored in it, then quietly left the house. Doing so was partly because he didn't want to see his parents' reluctance when they parted, and partly to prevent the second old man from pulling the plug with himself. Parents always give but don't want returns, and Wang Dust was forced to do this. After leaving his home, he made his way to the interprovincial transmission station in the center of town. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, the Blue Star's territory had expanded countless times, and the distance between cities had long since ceased to be measured by previous perceptions. For example, Yanlong University is located in Kyoto, the Dragon Kingdom, and Dongling City is one heavenly south and one earthly north. In the past, it was possible to arrive by airplane or high-speed rail, but now, if such a backward way is used, I am afraid that it will not be possible to arrive at all without three or five days. Not only do the distances get longer, but the wild areas nestled in the middle of the city make the journey very dangerous. As a result, the ultra-long distance teleportation array came into being. As long as one is willing to spend money, any city in the Dragon Kingdom can be reached in an instant with a whoosh. Just as he walked into the teleportation station, Sit to you, who had been waiting here, came bouncing over. Wang Duan, the tickets have been bought. Our college life, it's about to begin. Yanlong University, nestled in the mountains north of Kyoto, Rokoku, the continuous complex of buildings with pavilions and high-rise buildings. The perfect combination of classical beauty and modernization gives a dazzling and mysterious beauty. The complex, nestled in the mountains, may be called a university, but its footprint is nothing less than that of a small city. The resident population was two million, of which the number of teachers and students added up to nearly a thousand, and all the rest, all of them, were centered around these proud sons of heaven as well as the powerful. In the very center of the complex, there was a tower that was over 300 meters high, like a sword piercing straight into the sky. This, precisely, was the main teaching building of Yanlong University, the Eternal Tower. It is not only a magnificent building, but a fortress of war of surpassing rank. In the 700 years since the revival of the will of the heavens, the Eternal Tower had appeared countless times in the midst of the battlefields of the heavens crushing countless enemies for the Dragon Kingdom, and for Blue Star. The uncountable patches on its surface and a crisscrossing trail were dazzling metals after a battle. Even if you just stood in front of it and watched it, you could feel the aura of blood and fire from it. The moment. Knock knock knock. A knock sounded on the topmost floor of the Tower of Eternity. Enter. A gentle voice rang out, and first-class lecturer Mu Weining pushed open the door to a wide desk. Lord Provost. She looked at the figure at her desk who was scribbling away and gave a formal hello. Coming, the provost put down the pen in his hand at that and looked up with a warm smile on his face. This was a man in his mid-thirties, with an ordinary appearance and a gentle gaze that looked plain. But at this moment, under this gentle gaze, Mu Weining, no matter how many times she had been here, still felt incomparably nervous, or rather respectful. This lord provost, but the dragon kingdom's pivotal A-turned powerhouse, 
The name of the Bloody Knight resounded through the battlefield of the heavens, a terrifying existence that killed a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Lord Provost, today is the day for new students to report to school. I've come to collect the rewards for the new student Wang Dust. Calming her thoughts, Mu Wenying said respectfully, Wang Duan, behemoth cubs first, tell me about this little guy, I want your best visualization. Upon hearing this, the provost seemed to be interested and leaned back in his chair to mildly look at Mu Wenying. Demon, Mu Wenying mused for a moment, and said with some admiration in her tone, I've never seen any student who, at this age, has mastered combat skills to the extreme, as if they were integrated into their body's instincts. So, where are his dragons? This time, although we have not seen that ice dragon make a move, but from the power displayed by Wang Chuan, Mu Wenying's expression was shocked after a pause then said, I'm afraid that is a divine beast above the monarch level. Monarch level? At those words, a flash of electricity flashed in the provost's eyes, and it was as if there was thunder brewing in its midst. What a brilliant little guy. Here he comes. The smile on the provost's face intensified, and suddenly his eyes looked out of the room, his gaze seeming to pierce through the layers of obstruction to see something that pleased him. Go ahead and give him the behemoth. And by the way, tell him that if he doesn't understand anything, he can come here and ask me. This, hearing the provost's words, Mu Wenying looked shocked with an expression of extreme incredulity. But before she could ask further questions, she was transported out of the room in a magical flash of light. In front of Yanlong University. Is this Yanlong University? It feels bigger than our Dongling City. Situyu muttered, his face wearing an expression as if a bumpkin had entered the city. On the side, Wang Chen's expression was also a bit out of focus. This magnificent complex was so large that the naked eye could not even see the edges. The so-called university towns of the previous life were a dud compared to this. Thinking that this would be where he would be living for the next three years, he couldn't help but feel excitement growing in his heart. Isn't that shocking? Right at this moment, the clear female voice suddenly came from the side, and the enrollment teacher Mu Wenying did not know when she came here. Welcome to Yanlong University. Hello, Mr. Mu. Seeing the visitor, Wang Chen and Situ Yu hurriedly greeted each other politely, then somewhat curiously sized up the other party. The two of them had also crammed some information about Yanlong University in the past few days, so they knew very well that the teacher in front of them with a gentle smile was a first-class lecturer with a strength of five revolutions. She came out to greet her personally, which was downright flattering. I just happened to run into you, so I'll stop by and take you to register your information, lest you too be pitted by unscrupulous seniors. Mu Wenying explained and turned around to lead the duo towards the school grounds. Pitted? Walking in the back, Wang Chen's heart was slightly sunny. Sure enough, no matter where you are, there is no shortage of love and care from older siblings to younger siblings. Hello, Mr. Mu. At this time, Mu Wenying brought the duo to the registration desk inside the school gates, and the three students sitting behind the desk hurriedly stood up and greeted them respectfully. These three people, two men and one woman, were no older than 20 years old, and the aura on their bodies had all reached the third revolution. Mr. Mu, you're being unorthodox, not even letting go of this mosquito leg credit. A sultry expression surfaced on the face of the girl in the trio as Mu Wenying came closer. All right, I'm just in time. It's not like I'm going to steal your credits. Mu Wenying didn't have the good sense to give the girl a look. Upon hearing this, the girl obediently nodded her head and took out the registration form her gaze directly pinned on Wang Chen. Good looking. Looks like the top of the schoolboy list will change again this year. Hello schoolboy, please fill out the basic information. Hello schoolmarm. Wang Dust nodded politely and filled out the registration form and handed it back. Wang Duan, the sophomore sister, who was planning to sneakily write down her contact information, couldn't help but exclaim when she saw the name on the registration form. No wonder Mr. Mu personally took him through the enrollment process. It turned out to be a giant imperial beast master who had contracted a divine beast. Schoolmate, do you have a girlfriend? Looking at Wang Chuan, a halo flowed in the eyes of the sophomore schoolmate. This, however, was a future boarding seventh turn powerhouse. Sister, I filled mine out too. Before Wang Chuan could speak, Situyu unhappily squeezed over and aggressively looked at the opposite side of the nymphomaniac, like a tiger cub that had been encroached upon in its territory. So angry, you think I don't exist? But in response, the sophomore sister did not care. Perfunctorily accepting the registration form, her eyes kept staring at Wang Chen as if they were glued to him. I don't know, do you mind having more than one girlfriend? Seeing this scene, the two sophomore seniors on the side had bitter smiles on their faces and secretly envied them in their hearts. What a shallow woman. As for that, this schoolmate, but just a billion points more handsome than the two of us. After the interlude at the registration office, Mu Wenying led Wang Chen and Situ Yu to the temporary dormitory for new students. 
Walking onto the campus, the sights around you are even more striking than what you see on the outside. The unevenly spaced skyscrapers, as well as pedestrians riding flying beasts and pets or magic props coming and going, make them feel like walking into a wonderful world. What a marvelous place, following behind Mu Wenying, Wang Chen could not help but feel some emotion in his heart. The intertwining of magic and technology presents a thrilling aesthetic. Our Yanlong University was built since the 35th year of the resurrection calendar, more than 600 years ago. Our principal, a ninth turned powerhouse with the honorable title of war god, Mu Wenying walked at the front, explaining a few sentences to Wang Chen and sit to you from time to time. What you entered just now, is the main entrance of the school, besides there, there are many other exits of the school, which you will be exposed to once you officially start your life in the academy. The entire school area, split into living areas, teaching areas, experimental areas, trading areas, mission areas, and so on, the specific locations of which you can view through the wristwatches that were just handed out. It's powerful. Not just your ID credentials. When Wang Chen and Situ Yu heard this, they both curiously fiddled with the newly acquired silver wristwatch on their wrists. It is silver white in color and full of technology. And when you point your finger on it, a holographic screen will appear in front of your eyes. It displays a wide array of information. Integrates modules for trading, navigation, querying, gaming and more. And is incredibly powerful. You have two days after reporting to familiarize yourselves with the school. In two days, the school will open the annual ranking tournament for you. At that time, the awards will be given out through your respective rankings, with appropriate rewards and corresponding ranking treats. And one more thing, you must remember that the strongest currency in the midst of school is credits. With the exception of the trading area that is connected to the outside world, you will need to consume credits whether it is for exchanging resources or for food, clothing, and shelter. Mu Wenying opened her mouth and solemnly reminded, Mr. Mu, we just enrolled in school with no credits, won't it be hard to get around? Hearing the importance of credits, Situ Yu revealed a bitter face. Don't worry, when you enrolled and registered, the school has already issued you the appropriate number of credits based on your scores in the big high school competition, so open your wristwatch and you can check. Mu Wenying waved her hand and explained with a smile, Really hey, I have a thousand credits now. Situ Yu scratched a few times on her wristwatch and a surprise appeared on her face. Then she looked at Wang Chen with curious eyes. Come on show me, how many do you have? Almost. Wang Dust didn't move and put his hands behind his back with a very flat expression. He glanced at it just now, and the number of credits he had was as high as 10, 000, 000 points, which was 10 times that of sit to you. Wealth does not reveal itself. It is better not to say it to hit this girl. Mr. Mu, is there something you want to see me about today? After sending sit to you to the dormitory, Wang Chen couldn't help but ask about the doubts in his heart. Mu Wenying, as a first-class lecturer of Yanlong University and a hallowed fifth-turn powerhouse, would not be so idle. Just happened to run into it, but it was just a pretext. I thought that you would have held back from asking. Mu Wenying smiled and led Wang Chen to the pavilion outside the dormitory area. I'm here, just to give you a special reward from the school. As she spoke, she took out a creature that gave off a mysterious aura and handed it over. The creature was furry and looked like a little puppy that hadn't grown up yet. Ow. Woo. Just after receiving it in its hands, it bared its teeth at Wang Chuan, a low threat emanating from its throat. However, as little Bingqing looked curious, this little guy directly whimpered with his tail between his legs. The body trembled continuously, seemingly fearful to the extreme. This, Mu Wenying, who was clear about the identity of this creature, could not help but be surprised for a moment, and the eyes that looked at Bingqing brought with them shock. This was the cub of a legendary great divine beast, and it was so fearful that it trembled? Opposite. Wang Chen didn't pay attention to Mu Weining's surprised eyes, and after seeing this small creature, he didn't hesitate to use the bloodline appraisal technique. A shimmering light flashed in his eyes as information about the creature surfaced in his mind. Whistling Moon Silver Wolf, Legendary Divine Beast, Final State of Evolution, Devouring Heavenly Demon Wolf, Cosmic Divine Beast. After checking the information, Wang Dust's eyes shook a little. The initial rank of the Whistling Moon Silver Wolf was a legendary divine beast, which was definitely the highest ranked beast pet he had ever seen besides Bing Cheng. But after the vibration, he sighed again in his mind. Although this Whistling Moon Silver Wolf's initial rank was high, its ultimate growth limit was only up to the cosmic rank. Sloppy potential. For others, it was precious beyond words, but for him it was a bit of a chicken scratch. With beast pet fusion, a divine talent, in place, he could completely synthesize beast pets with higher potential. For a while, Wang Dust picked at the Whistling Moon Silver Wolf in his arms, pondering what to do with it. Giving up is not an option. A legendary great divine beast was of incalculable value. 
so he wouldn't be foolish enough to reject it. Ha, huh, mother. Just then, Wang Chan's eyes suddenly twitched. Teacher Mu, does this giant beast belong to me now and I can do with it as I please? After thinking about it, he looked up towards Mu Weining and asked. Aha, Mu Weining frowned and nodded, a somewhat strange expression on her face. Inexplicably, she seemed to sense that Wang Chen seemed to have some dislike for the whistling moon silver wolf. Immediately afterward, though, she wiped away her bizarre thoughts. What a joke. This was a legendary great divine beast. A powerful beast pet that countless people had begged for. How can anyone be too much? This whistling moon silver wolf. Is the cub of the provost lord's beast pet? And the provost lord said that after that, if you have any doubts in your cultivation, you can go to him for advice. Thinking of lord provost's explanation, Mu Weining said in a solemn tone at this time, the favorable opinion of an eighth turn powerhouse could not help but shock even her heart. However, then please, Mr. Mu, thank the provost Sama for me. Hearing her words Wang Dust just nodded faintly and didn't say much. On the one hand, he wasn't sure of the provost's strength, and on the other hand, it was because he had already thought of a place for the Sa Lunar Silver Wolf to go. It's not like he's indentured anyway, so this opportunity to ask for advice would be useless to him. What? Seeing this scene, Mu Weining revealed a black question mark face. Did you miss the subliminal meaning of my words? Letting you ask for advice means that the provost Sama intends to take you on as a student. A student of an eighth turn powerhouse was enough to drive countless people crazy. Why are you acting so calm? Mu Weining was greatly shaken at the moment. After Mu Weining left, Wang Dust brought the two little ones to his dormitory. It had to be said that the treatment of Yanlong University was quite good. Just the temporary dormitory. The degree of luxury were not inferior to the five-star presidential suite. Putting the luggage away and letting the two little ones go play. Wang Duan walked to the living room to call his parents to report his safety. After he left, little Ice Ching's azure-colored eyes stared at the shivering tsunami silver wolf. Puff. The strong dragon claws easily toppled the whispering moon silver wolf. And the curious big sister began to examine her little sister's body. Woohoo! The tsunami silver wolf, which looked as if it was a small milk dog spread out its four paws in a lifeless manner and curtly revealed its belly. The bloodline pressure from the ancestral divine beast caused it to not be able to muster the slightest bit of resistance at all. Wait for Wang Dust to return from his phone call. Then he saw a scene that made him hold his tongue. Bing Ching sat on the bed as if she was a big sister, while the Saya silver wolf on the side held up the fruit with its paw and carefully served. Where was the fierceness that existed before when they first met? It was almost like a little servant girl who had been wronged. Don't bully it. Wang Dust stroked Bing Cheng's head in a good-natured manner, squeezed the two little ones aside, and then tapped on the holographic screen of his wristwatch, as MS. Mu Weining said, the wristwatch is quite powerful, and the various introductions about the school in it are much more detailed, especially in the forum. Wang Dust had supplemented a lot of basic general knowledge of Yanlong University. For example, credits. For example, on ranking wars, the saying that credits are the strongest currency in the midst of a school is not just said but is deeply implemented in all aspects. More than 99% of the school services require credits. Without credits, although it was not impossible to live in Yanlong University, it was absolutely impossible to improve oneself. After all, you can't get a copy of The Secret World without credits, and you can't even afford a ticket to go to a class. And the ways to earn them are quite small compared to the importance of credits. One of the most important ways to improve your ranking, besides taking on the missions that the school fixedly releases in the mission area, is to improve your ranking, freshman, sophomore, and junior years. Each grade level has its own ranking list, and the number of places on the list will be rewarded with credits and resources corresponding to the ranking each month. As for senior year, these seniors had long since traveled to the battlefield of the heavens for training, and there was no corresponding list. In addition to the lists for their respective grades, the school has created a list of excellence for all students in all three grades. The list of excellence included a total of 20 people and students on the list would not only receive more exaggerated rewards, but also have the opportunity to be personally taught by top-tier powerhouses, and there is only one condition for being on these lists, and that is strength, strength above all else, it's nakedly putting the law of the jungle, in front of everyone, after reading the introduction, Wang Dust let out a sigh of emotion and flipped to the official website of the freshman class, this year's freshman ranking was not yet out, but the rewards from the 1st to the 50th place were labeled on the official website, the other Wang Dust swept by, unable to move their eyes when they saw the very top. First place, a monthly reward of 10, 000 points, for gold level secret copies to enter, and a copy of the S rank material cold ice marrow. S rank material cold ice marrow, the main material for ice clear's promotion to the next growth stage. I'll take the first place in this freshman ranking, 
clenching his fists, a burning battle intent rose in his eyes. Afternoon, Wang Chen, this way, just as he stepped out of the dormitory, Situ Yu's metaphysical voice rang out. This girl had changed into a casual dress and stood playfully in the pavilion, attracting the astonished gazes of many people coming and going. At this moment, Situ Yu had the appearance of a neighborly sister, causing Wang Chen to freeze for a moment. It's just a visit to the trade market. Is there a need to make it so solemn? Soon he withdrew his gaze somewhat averted and muttered breathlessly. His purpose of this trip to the trading market was twofold. One was to see the world, and the other was to fill his vacant beast pet spot. However, at this moment, looking at Situ Yu's appearance, Wang Chen felt that the purpose of seeing the world was better scratched. Regardless of age, the horror of women shopping is devastating. Cut. Noticing Wang Chen's somewhat evasive line of sight, Situ Yu's face flashed with triumph as she bounced over. What do you know? Shopping is a big deal. Ugh, is this the giant beast that the school rewarded you with? So cute. Standing aside complacently, her attention was drawn to the whistling moon silver wolf that was cowering in Wang Chen's arms. The little guy was filled with aggravation as he was half exploited by Bing Ching Hua Hua. It instantly made a small heart appear in Situ Yu's eyes. Legendary grade divine beast tsunami moon silver wolf. But I'm not going to contract it, so I'll give it to you to play with. Wang Dust nodded and directly handed the little guy over. Aw, Situ Yu received the little one with a confused face. This is a legendary beast? And you gave it to me out of hand? That. This is too expensive for me. She blushed and stammered. It's too sudden. This guy isn't going to use the gift giving as an opportunity to confess his love to me. Is he? Do I agree? Or do I agree? Situ Yu was dazed. Her brain was messed up like a ball of hemp. Ten minutes later. Following the guidance of the navigation, the duo arrived at the trading market located in the northern part of Yanlong University. After arriving here, Wang Chen tugged Situ Yu with a clear goal in mind and went straight to the beast pet shop. Welcome, please, guest, do you need a life-type beast pet? Or a battle-type beast pet? Upon entering the store, a sales clerk greeted them, her eyes not moving as she swept over the duo's wrists, and a genuine smile instantly appeared on her face. I need to see all the combat beast pets in your store. Wang Dust didn't drag his feet and put forward his request in a straightforward manner. Yes sir, please come with me. The salesman turned and led the way ahead, leading the two to the second floor. Ho 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 ho. As soon as he walked into the second floor, the sound of beast roars rang out one after another, and the various kinds of beast pets locked up in the beast cages all looked over with unkind gazes. However, when a blue-colored figure appeared in their gaze, these unruly little guys immediately behaved as if they were kittens each shrinking in fear deep inside the cage. The salesman watched the scene in surprise, his eyes lingering deeply on Bing Ching for a split second. To be able to make so many beast pets fearful, I'm afraid that this guest's beast pet is of an extremely high rank. Could it be a high-level source beast? With that in mind, she said with a grin, Guest, all the beast pets in the store are here. Take a look to see if there is one that suits your fancy. Aha! Wang Dust nodded and came straight to a beast cage. Then, without hesitation, he used the bloodline appraisal technique. In the second floor of the beast pet store, Wang Chen came to the first beast cage and quietly looked at the small creatures inside. Inside the cage was a coyote with fur laced with red, which was currently observing Wang Duan with fearful eyes. Red flame wolf, spirit beast, final evolutionary form, flaming divine wolf, transcendent level divine beast. Seeing the information that came back from the bloodline appraisal technique, Wang Dust shook his head, then walked towards the next one without hesitation. Moonlight Serpent, Spirit Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Heaven Swallowing Python, Legendary Divine Beast, Poisonous Toad, Spirit Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Three-Footed Golden Toad, Epic Divine Beast, Golden Armored Turtle, Source Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Aqua Divine Turtle, Cosmic Grade Divine Beast, Winged Tiger, Source Beast, Final Evolutionary Form, Starry White Tiger, Sacred Beast. After turning around, Wang Chan's brows couldn't help but furrow. The quality of the beast pets here was indeed a great deal stronger than Dongling City, but he didn't find what he wanted among them. Among the hundreds of beast pets, the strongest one, whose evolutionary limit was only a saint beast, did not meet his requirements at all. His goal was to once again contract an ancestral god beast that was the same as Bing Ching. Esteemed guest, could it be that there is no beast pet of your choice here? The salesman's tone was a bit apprehensive when he saw Wang Dust's unpleasant face. Aha, do you have any other beast pets here? Wang Dust nodded and asked bluntly. On the contrary, there are a few more special source beasts that are also quite strong. That is, the salesman sniffed and acted a little torn. Show me. Money is no object. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust directly waved his hand and let the salesman lead the way ahead. Now that he had a huge amount of 2 billion gold coins in his pocket, he was just rich. Okay, 
The salesman led him into a room on the second floor. As soon as he came in, Wang Dust knew what the salesman's odd expression just now was due to. The only thing in the empty room was a beast cage, which held three tiny, humanoid creatures about the size of a hand. These three creatures had the similar appearance and shape of human females, with a rather delicate look and a figure that could be described as forward and backward. They had animal skins covering key parts of their bodies, fluffy tails on the back of their asses, pointed ears, and a faintly seductive aura emanating from their bodies. At the sight of someone coming in, panic flashed in the pink eyes of the three creatures, and they turned straight into a furry mass of three. Little fox demon? Seeing these three creatures, a flash of surprise flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. Since the revival of the will of the heavens, all worlds were connected together, and some creatures that only existed in fantasy novels and movie and television dramas also appeared in the vision of the humans of the Blue Star. Like what dwarves, elves, angels, demons. These beings were active in the battlefields of the heavens, and occasionally the weak ones were captured in the Blue Star. But despite this, Wang Chen was also seeing this other world's creatures with his own eyes for the first time at this time, and still more special, the little fox demon, how can I put it, this little thing grew up just like most old drivers thought, extremely fitting to the image of a vixen into monster novels, it was a rare beast pet that could partially transform at the hatchling stage, of course, before adulthood, just like what Wang Chuan had just seen, the little fox demon size was basically maintained at the size of a palm, these three little fox demons are the trophies of a lord in the battlefield of the heavens, and were put up for sale in our store. 500 million gold coins apiece if the guest wants to buy it. The salesman explained at this moment, his eyes quietly glancing at Sit to you beside Wang Chen. Normally, she wouldn't bring such a small couple to the store to see a little fox demon. Nothing else, mainly because I'm afraid of the emotional impact. Hearing the salesman's words, the corners of Wang Dust's mouth twitched a little. It's so damn expensive. Although the little fox demon's rating is considered to be at the level of a source beast, her combat power. How can I put it? Basically no point in terms of normalcy. Wang Duan. Situ poked his head darkly, his eyes extremely dangerous. Don't worry, I'm a decent guy and would never have strange hobbies. Wang Chuan helplessly rolled his eyes and threw out a bloodline identification technique and prepared to retreat. The little fox demon's frontal combat power was limited, and he didn't hold much hope for it at all. However, little fox demon, source beast, final evolved form, nine-tailed sky fox, ancestral divine beast. What? This? Wang Dust's expression stiffened. Ancestral beasts? Nine-tailed fox? It sounds like it's tough as nails. Guest, although the little fox demon's frontal combat power is not as good as other source beasts, its charm ability is quite powerful. So if you need a supplementary type of beast pet, you can consider it. On the side, the salesman saw Wang Duan tangled up and had a look on his face that said I know it well. God T need assistance ah? The corners of Wang Dust's mouth twitched madly, feeling like his reputation was being tarnished. But, Ancestral beasts hey, against Situ Yu's gaze that wanted to kill, he silently took out his bank card. Three, I'll take them all, the guests are truly brave. The salesman gave Wang Dust a thumbs up in his heart and took the bank card neatly and left. After she's gone, King, Dust, Situ Yu gritted his teeth and his eyes seemed to sweep back and forth over Wang Chen like knives. That, it's really not that I have a special hobby, it's just that they're extremely high growth. Wang Dust touched his nose and explained with a sincere face. Change, pervert old color batch, however, sit to you didn't believe it at all, and his mouth even spat out icy words, you're a giant beast master who can't even contract a little fox demon, so what's all this talk about growth, just buy it, and buy three of them, ha, I poo poo it, seeing this, Wang Chen let out a bitter smile, this was a big misunderstanding, back at the dorm, because of you three little guys, my reputation is ruined, placing the cage containing the three little fox demons in the living room, Wang Dust looked at the little creatures inside with a bitter smile on his face. These three little guys maintained their original appearance. Their fur is white as snow, looking like ordinary three white foxes. At the moment, they were staring at Wang Chen with those pink eyes. I hope you guys are giving enough. Gathering his emotions, Wang Chuan held Bing Chang, who was making a mess on the side, in his arms before extending his hand to the three little fox demons. Divine Talent Beast Pet Fusion. Unleashed. Buzz off. Invisible fluctuations spread out from Wang Chen's hands, instantly wrapping the three little fox demons in the cage. At the same time, in front of Wang Chen's eyes, a virtual panel that only he himself could see appeared. The virtual panel has three grids, with a projection of the little fox demon in the middle of the grid, and a synthesis press below the grid bar. Without hesitation, Wang Chen intentionally pressed hard on the synthesize button. On a windy and beautiful afternoon, the sky above the living area of Yanlong University suddenly became windy. 
A hundred meter long terrifying creature with nine tails appeared in the sky, her peach pink eyes emitting magnificent light, her gaze sweeping proudly over the earth as if she were patrolling her territory. At this moment, the entire living area, the entire Yanlong University, everyone's movement stopped, looking into the air in disbelief. This, this, a vision of heaven and earth, a universe level divine beast, the nine tailed fox? OMG, I'm not dreaming. Incredulous sounds came out of the mouths of all those who saw this scene. However, in the next second, all these voices disappeared, an invisible fluctuation swept through, and everyone who gazed into the peach-colored eyes of the nine-tailed fox couldn't help but blush and breathe sharply. Their eyes, in particular, showed a look of infatuation. The scent of spring creeps into the crowd. Whoosh! At that moment, the sound of breaking air rang out, and a dozen figures flew in one after another above the living area of Yanlong University. These figures had different appearances but the aura on each of them had already reached more than six revolutions. A universe-level divine beast, the nine-tailed fox? This is a bloodline projection. Among the new students enrolled this year, there is actually someone who had the good fortune of contracting such a terrifying existence? A middle-aged man with a bald head and a brawny aura stared at the nine-tailed fox silhouette in the sky, his body trembling. A universe-level divine beast, as long as it grows up naturally, its strength will reach the eighth turn. It is simply a beast pet that everyone can only dream of. We'll take this student from the combat academy. I'll personally take him as a student. The bald middle-aged man's vision swept viciously around him, his face wearing an expression of recklessness. Bald Zhao you're thinking about fart eating. A woman wearing magical robes took a step forward and fought with the bald middle-aged man. She was extremely beautiful, but the words she uttered were unceremonious. Do you combat academies have muscles in your heads? This is the nine-tailed fox, a cosmic-grade divine beast of the charming department. With this kind of beast pet, this student was born to be a seedling for our magic academy. Going to your combat academy, are you going to let him go head to head with the enemy? Both of you go away. The geniuses have all let you book them. This student must be given to our auxiliary academy no matter what we say. The nine-tailed fox is naturally seductive. It's simply the best partner to take the auxiliary route. Seeing the magic academy and the combat academy begin to fight for it, the auxiliary academies in the crowd couldn't help but open their mouths to join in. For a while, a group of teachers kept shouting and arguing in the sky, their faces red and their necks thick, and they were about to turn into an all-out brawl. Enough! Right at this moment, a voice that implied anger suddenly rang out, instantly silencing the teachers who were in chaos in the sky. In the next second, a slender figure appeared before their eyes, a man with a gentle aura, Lord Provost. Seeing this person, the teachers who were fighting with red faces hurriedly saluted and greeted him. Humph! At this the Provost snorted coldly, even the identity of this student has not been determined yet, and you are here to disgrace yourselves? Don't go and deal with the chaos around us yet. The seductive aura emanating from the nine-tailed fox is not something those little guys below the third turn can resist. Shortling under his breath, he waved his palm, and an invisible force directly slapped more than a dozen sixth revolutions powerhouses to the ground. After doing so, the provost's sight turned to the nine-tailed fox silhouette in the sky. A universe-level divine beast? Where did he get a divine beast of this caliber? With his strength of eight turns, he easily locked onto the source of the vision, wine dust, and the furry little fox in his arms. That little fox's furry appearance, as well as the nine tails swaying behind its buttocks, was exactly like the nine tailed fox in the records. Looking at this little guy through his divine thoughts, even as an eighth turn powerhouse, the provost's expression shook. A monarch class divine beast, the giant dragon, and a cosmic class divine beast, the nine tailed fox, the potential that Wang Chuan, the giant imperial beast master, was now displaying was shocking to the well-informed man. But, when he sensed the tsunami moon silver wolf Sora in another place, the expression on his face instantly became odd. Straight motherfucker, this kid didn't take a liking to my tsunami moon silver wolf, he even gave her to his little girlfriend? Two days later, after Wang Dust had breakfast, he left the temporary dormitory with Bing Ching and Crispy. The school had long since sent out a notice through the wristwatch that the freshman ranking battle, would be held in the plaza of the teaching area. Walking to the square, it was already overcrowded with young men and women overflowing with youthful vigor. Among them were both the 120 new freshmen recruited by Yanlong University this year, as well as the older students who came to join in the fun in their sophomore and junior years. The new students stood in the center of the square, a burning battle intent rising from each of them. The smell of gunpowder was very strong. It was clear that they were all fully energized. Wanting to show their strength in the upcoming ranking battle and defeat the other contenders to capture the best rankings. This girl said to you, she actually hasn't lost her temper yet? Wang Dust had just arrived here when he noticed a vicious line of sight. And the girl said to you was looking at him with gritted teeth. 
That look made it seem as if he had started it all. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen felt that he needed to explain himself. Otherwise this little girl one day and mom playing video nonsense. His whole life clean name will be ruined. But, before he could take a step, he suddenly realized that the atmosphere around him had become a bit weird. Turning his head to look, the admissions teacher Mu Weining and a group of teachers with even stronger breaths had surrounded him at some point. These people had green light in their eyes, looking at him as if they had seen some rare treasure. The moment, being gazed at by this group of extremely formidable teachers, even with Wang Chen's tough nerves, he couldn't help but feel a bit of a nasty chill. It's horrible. It felt like they were going to eat people. Teacher, student Wang Chuan, on behalf of the Auxiliary Academy, I would like to extend an invitation to you. As long as you join the Auxiliary Academy, the conditions are at your disposal. Mu Weining didn't wait for Wang Chen to ask a question. She directly stepped forward and grabbed his hand and said, as she spoke, her eyes shook as she glanced at the fluffy nine-tailed sky fox on Wang Chen's shoulder. She now had some clarity as to why she felt, at that time, that Wang Chen resented the whistling moon silver wolf, and the feeling was that there was a stronger nine-tailed fox waiting. When compared to universe-level divine beasts, legend-level divine beasts did pull across somewhat. Today, the dean of the Auxiliary Academy had given him a deadly order to pull Wang Chen into the Auxiliary Academy at all costs. However, before Wang Chen could respond, Mu Weining, who had the strength of a fifth turn, was squeezed out by those teachers around her whose breath was even more formidable. Student Wang Chuan, the nine-tailed fox and the giant dragon attacking and assisting each other is simply the most perfect match. Your strength can only be fully displayed when you come to our combat academy. We can fulfill all of your requests. And in addition, we at the combat academy assure you that when you enter the third turn, we can provide you with another divine beast level gigantic beast. With his strong body squeezing to the front, the teacher of the combat academy's eyes were incomparably fiery. Hearing this teacher's conditions, Wang Dust nodded secretly in his heart. Yanlong University was divided into three colleges based on the different future career directions of the students, which were the Combat College, the Magic College, and the Auxiliary College. As a giant imperial beastmaster, Wang Dust's career system didn't have a specific point of reference, and was considered a jack-of-all-trades. Joining any of the three academies was fine. However, he was more inclined towards the Combat Academy himself. After all, he preferred rushing up and fighting his enemies in close quarters than hiding in the back and releasing skills. At this moment, seeing the expression of intent on Wang Chen's face, the surrounding teachers immediately became anxious. Fellow student Wang Duan, don't listen to Baldi Zhao paint you a big picture. The experience you'll need to level up as an imperial beast master, especially a giant beast master, will be terrifying in the future as your beast pets increase. Entering the combat academy and growing up in their cultivation style will greatly slow down the speed of your strength increase. It's better to come to our magic academy. A magic skill goes down in a second. You'll upgrade with an absolute whoosh. Teacher here promises you that the magic academy will not only provide you with all the resources you need to grow, but will also take out two S-rank skill books. The female teacher from the magic academy squeezed out Zhao Baldi, then directly took out two skill books and waved them in her hands, appearing to be sincere. After her, the teachers around her also spoke out for their respective academies, moving to the light of higher skill books and equipment. Shaking Wang Dust's head, that, teachers, why don't I decide after the ranking battle is over? Looking at the teachers around him who couldn't wait to drag themselves away immediately, a bitter smile appeared on Wang Chen's face, too enthusiastic. Well, well, there's no rush, you still have time to think about it, just remember not to choose those reckless people, no problem, it involves future planning after all, but I'm sure you'll choose our combat academy, you kid are a born warrior, how can you be with that bunch of pussies? The teachers around them nodded their heads and glared at each other in fiery anger. Seeing this scene, Wang Shen couldn't help but shake his head and smile bitterly as he said his goodbyes and headed towards the area where the new students were. Meanwhile, the freshman standing in the center of the square looked at the figure that walked out from the teacher's surroundings, and each of their faces had a very ugly expression. On what grounds, they were standing here alone, without even a teacher who took the initiative to ask, was Wang Chen that popular? Especially among the new students. The seven men and women who were outstanding and appeared to be a bit of cranes, looked at Wang Chuan, and there was even more obvious hostility on each of their faces. These seven people, the ones with the highest claim to the first ranking in this year's freshman ranking battle, were all top students from various provinces. What do you guys think? An ordinary looking, lanky youth among the seven opened his mouth and asked. His name was Zhao Li, a 60th level special profession paladin from Sulphur Moon Province. Clap trap. Even if you have two giant beasts, so what, a guy from a commoner's background, the higher he's held up now the worse he'll fall, 
A young man with a gloomy temperament on the side shook his head in disdain and said, This person's name was Zhou Wu, a Mingguang provincial scholar who came from a top-tier powerful family in Mingguang province, and his strength was comparable to Zhao Li's. Hearing Zhou Wu mention Wang Chen's origin, a girl among the seven sneered out. Indeed, the level is only 40, not even the first echelon amongst the freshmen, and the equipment skills are even farther away from us. When he's at the bottom of the ranking battle, I'll see how he still has the face to hang around at Yanlong University. That's it. Upon hearing this, another girl among the seven nodded her head and said in a conspiratorial manner, everyone is SSS rated, and with the teachers treating them so differently, I'm afraid that when the ranking battle is over, they're going to make jokes as well. There will be a ring match in the ranking battle. When the time comes, we must ruthlessly fix this Wang dust, so that these teachers will know that we are the true heavenly pride. Hearing her words, the few people on the side who hadn't intended to join the discussion couldn't help but show their faces. The girl had a good point. Everyone was SSS rated, and as a result, the difference was now so obvious that it was simply unacceptable to them. You're quite popular. Wang Dust walked to the freshman area and stood, and Situ said with a meaningful expression. At those words, Wang Chen glanced at the hostile gazes that fell on him from the surroundings and helplessly rubbed his nose. It's only been two days since enrollment, and he's almost got the freshman hating on him. This is probably unique even in Yanlong University. But for that, he had no fearful thoughts, except for some helplessness, hate or love. What's it to him? When he came to Yanlong University, he came to improve his strength, not to climb relationships. It's the bulls and sheep that come in herds, the beasts never go alone, Wang Dust said in a civilized manner. Then his gaze rested on Situ Yu's shoulder. You contracted the Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf? What is this little guy's name now? White. Situ Yu crossed Wang Chen's eyes and directly turned her head away. Unfortunately, Mastodon is a pervert. She muttered in a small voice. Hearing her words, the corners of Wang Chen's mouth twitched a little. Good lord, this is a hurdle to get over. However, at this time, he couldn't care about explaining. And while the two of them were talking, a woman in a white magical robe walked up to the high platform right in front of the square. Silence. The magic staff in her hand flicked, and invisible fluctuations instantly suppressed the clamor in the square. For a moment, everyone looked at her with expectant faces. Attention, everyone, the ranking battle is divided into two parts, the copy battle and the ring duel, and your final rankings will be decided based on the average of the highest scores of the two parts of the battle. The top 50, who will enter the freshman rankings and receive the appropriate incentive packages. The rest of you, for the next month, will receive only the basic package. I'm a mess. Sun Miao from the Academy of Magic, in charge of refereeing the part of the duplicate break-in. If you have no doubts, then the ranking battle will now officially begin. Mr. Sun Miao swept his eyes over the freshman present, and seeing that no one made a sound, he directly raised the staff in his hand. Buzz off. Berserk magical power rushed up from the staff, and the plaza was suddenly filled with wind. A giant light gate instantly landed in front of all the new students. Yanlong University Plaza. As the giant light door appeared, a message suddenly surfaced in the minds of all the new students. A copy of the Secret World, Beast Tide Impact. Grade of the Secret Realm copy, Silver Level. Minimum Entry Level for Secret Realm Replica, Level 30. Optional Difficulty of the Secret Copy, Easy, Normal, Hard, Hell. Number of people admitted to the Secret Copy, One Person. Secret Realm Copy Introduction, Endless Beast Tide is Coming. Brave professional, will you stick to the end in the beast tide, or will be swarmed by monsters torn to pieces? A silver level secret copy? After checking the information that suddenly surfaced, a flash of fire flashed in Wang Chen's eyes. He hadn't forgotten about the harvest from the Gao Gao secret realm copy, and this time he had come to a higher level secret realm copy. He couldn't wait to find out how much he could gain. Without hesitation, he directly chose the hell level difficulty at this moment with a thought. In the next second, his body disappeared into the square. And at that moment, all the freshmen around him made the same choice as him. In an instant, the square directly became empty. Immediately after, the lone giant light door, with a twist and change as the referee, Mr. Sun Miao, waved his magic staff, turned directly into a huge screen that floated above the square. This screen is divided into 120 grids, each of which corresponds to a new student respectively. Finally, any guesses as to who's going to get the top freshman spot this year? Blind guess is Zhao Li. This kid's strength definitely stands at the top amongst the freshmen. After the giant screen appeared in the sky, the old students gathered around the square were all excited at once. Every year, the freshman ranking battle could be a reserved program of the school, and many people opened the plate at this moment, intending to take advantage of the opportunity to make a fortune in credits. I'll go with Wang Dust, he has two divine beast level beast pets, 
And just now the teachers of the three major academies almost fought over him. He definitely has the strength to ascend to the top. Someone had placed a heavy bet on Wang Chen's body at this moment. That's not necessarily true. His level is too low. A gap of 20 levels is impossible to close even for a divine beast. But as soon as his words were out of his mouth, there was an objection on the side. It's still Zhao Li who has the most hope of reaching the top. A level 60 paladin who can fight and carry, and also possesses the ability to heal. A single person is comparable to a small team. It's simply too suitable for the beast tight impact. This secret realm copy. Hearing his words, many of the older students around him nodded in agreement. That's right. The paladin profession is simply a bug. With high offense and defense and the ability to milk itself. I'll put in a bet for Jolly as well. The secret realm copy beast tide impacts hell difficulty will face a total of 9 waves of beast tides. And the challengers who enter cannot use any recovery items. So Jolly simply has too much of an advantage. Ha, huh, a paladin is so strong. Then wouldn't I be at a loss? For a while. The old students who had just placed a bet on Wang Duan suddenly had some regrets at this moment. And at this moment, while their side was talking, the views of the teachers on the high platform of the plaza were strangely consistent. The teachers of the three major academies who had been madly snatching Wang dust before, each one of them sat on their chairs, their sights fixed on the area on the screen belonging to Wang dust, not looking at the others at all. Dit da da da. When Mr. Sun Miao, the referee who had presided over the first part, walked back, he saw this eerie picture of harmony. Looks like you guys have a lot of faith in this little guy. Ha! Huh? Seeing this scene, she couldn't help but ask. Of course, teacher son, you've just returned from the battlefield of the heavens. You don't know the terror of this brat Wang Chen. He's the one who set the unprecedented achievement of clearing the level in one minute amongst the secret copies of the college entrance exam. This is the future star of our combat academy. Combat academy's teacher Zhao, sniffing at this moment, said with a shocked face, saying that he hemmed and hawed, as if he had thought of some beautiful picture. One minute? Hearing his words, Sun Miao couldn't help but widen his eyes. The secret copy of the Dragon Kingdom High School examination hadn't been changed for so many years, so she was well aware of how terrifying this achievement was. You know, back then, she was also a provincial top student, but it took her 10 minutes and 20 seconds to pass through the secret realm. Wang Dust's score was more than 10 times that of hers. Am I a fake genius? Sun Miao was a bit skeptical. At this moment, as the words of the combat academy teacher fell, Get out! Do you want to be shameless? Bal Zhao? Wang Duan is clearly our Magic Academy star of tomorrow. The teacher of the Magic Academy on the side was instantly displeased, and his sight looked over viciously. The smell of gunpowder filled the air in an instant, and it was about to turn into a violent conflict. Okay, okay. Awakened by the commotion made by both sides, Sun Miao stood in the middle of the two sides with some tears and laughter as she said, You guys don't have to show such obviousness when you look favorably on this little guy. You have to consider the mood of the other freshmen as well. Cut. What business is it of mine what they're in the mood for? The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy rolled her eyes at that. That's right. Is it that hard to admit that others are better than you? This kid Wang Chen is ten times better than them. The teacher of the Combat Academy, at this time, made a rare remark in agreement with the Magic Academy. Seeing this scene, Sun Miao felt a little heartbroken. These new students grew up smoothly. And in the future, they would be at least fifth turn professionals. How come it feels like garbage coming out of your mouths? Muttering in his heart, Sun Miao's eyesight went to an upright figure on the screen. What do you guys say? How long will it take Wang Chen to clear the nine waves of beast tide? She asked with some anticipation. Nine minutes. His level is a shortcoming right now after all. And the nine-tailed fox was just contracted. So nine minutes should be the limit. Teacher Zhao of the Combat Academy said after a moment of contemplation. And the teacher of the Magic Academy on the side. Nodded along with him upon hearing this. That's not bad. Nine minutes. That's what many freshman year students can achieve. Sun Miao said with some emotion. Warm reminder, Challenger Wang Dust, you have successfully entered the silver level secret realm copy of Beast Tide Impact. The currently selected difficulty level is, hell. The current number of people challenging the secret copy, one person. Current number of monster waves in the secret copy, nine waves. Return scrolls have been issued automatically. If you encounter life-threatening situations, please use the challenger's caution. I wish you success in clearing your copy of the secret world. Time and space shifted. And when Wang Chen once again set his feet on the ground, the prompting tone of the spirit of the secret realm rang in his ears. Nine waves? Excitement appeared on Wang Dust's face. The more waves the better. And the more monsters that appear means a higher reward at the clearance settlement. Maybe, after taking care of the secret realm copy, I can raise Bing Ching's level to the edge of advancement. In the secret copy, Wang Dust scanned the surroundings with anticipation in his eyes. 
quietly waiting for the monsters to appear. Where he was at the moment was a wide space, very empty and without any obstacles. The ground was a dark red color, remaining traces of the aftermath of a violent battle. After Wang Dust looked closely, he could still smell a faint odor of blood. He guessed that these dark reds would be caused by a large amount of blood soaking through. Ho 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 ho. As he surveyed his surroundings, a brutal growl rang in his ears. Knock knock knock. In the next second, ear-shattering footsteps sounded at the same time, and a sky of dust was raised in the distance as an unknown number of monsters approached at great speed. Meanwhile, the first wave of the beast tide is about to begin. The number of monsters is 50. Please prepare for the challengers. The beep of the secret copy appeared at the same time. Finally, looking at the rapidly approaching monster army in the distance, Wang Dust size instantly became excited. Wah! The two little ones sensed his mood and chirped involuntarily. Bing Ching even directly swung his wings and flew into midair. Anon, a high dragon's roar sounded, and she directly unfolded her battle stance. As for the little guy, Crispy, he jumped to the top of Wang Dust's head, his nine tails constantly waving, in a manner that did not show any weakness. The nine-tailed sky fox was different from the extreme cold dragon. Before reaching adulthood, unless the nine-tailed extinction skill was turned on, its size would remain in this petite state. After the two little ones were ready, the fifty monsters that came rushing in also appeared clearly in front of Wang Dust's eyes. It was a group of creatures that were two meters tall and had the appearance of large cats that had been enlarged several times and walked upright. They had sharp teeth and incomparably sharp claws, and between breaths, a fishy wind surged toward Wang Chan and the two little ones. Cat demon? Seeing these monsters appear, Wang Dust casually released a scrying spell. Monster, cruel cat demon. Level, 50. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bite, charge, claw blast. Type, general. It starts with level 50 monsters? Seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. These are walking experience bonanzas. Brush it off. While Wang Chuan was excited, the cat demons running over instantly surrounded him, then attacked without hesitation. Ow. Just then, the nine-tailed heavenly fox Crispy, who was lying on her master's head, suddenly opened her mouth and growled. Charming beings, buzz off. The sound wave was tainted with pink at this moment, instantly enveloping a radius of tens of meters, encompassing all the cat demons. Roar, the cat demon that was about to launch an attack suddenly stirred and stopped its advance. Ho 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 ho. An eerie peach pink color emerged in their eyes, and they twisted their heads to look at their companions, letting out a maddening and incomparable roar. Then, brush it off, they did not hesitate to launch themselves at their companions. The first wave of monsters are all dead. The second wave of monsters will arrive in 10 seconds. Please prepare for the challengers. Hearing the system tone ringing in his ears, Wang Dust was directly confused. Crispy, can you save one for me? Carrying the nine-tailed sky fox crisp on his head into his arms, Wang Dust had a helpless look on his face. I'm all set to go on a killing spree. And you killed all these cat demons with a single skill? This is too much speed? Muttering in his heart, Wang Dust's eyes were also a bit shocked. The little guy's debut was a big surprise. This charm skill is a godsend against stragglers. Woohoo! Hearing his master's words, Crispy waved his tail with a proud face, as if to say I'm great, praise me. But her smugness didn't last a second before she was ruthlessly suppressed by her big sister. Bing Ching's dragon claws reached out and with just two fingers, he pinched her up and lifted her high. Crap! What happened? How can it be so fast? Among the old students gathered outside the square, one of them suddenly let out an incredulous gasp, his eyes nearly popping out, only to see that at the landing point of his line of sight, the number floating on a grid directly changed from one to two. Hearing his exclamation of surprise, everyone around him immediately followed his line of sight, just in time to see the grid where Wang Duan was. Hiss. Then the next second, the air around the square was nearly sucked out by the gang. Everyone's face took on an expression of disbelief as if they had seen the most incredible thing in the world. It's a lie. The first wave of monsters appeared until now. Not even 10 seconds. All seconds. How can it be so fast? 50 cat demons. Even if they were standing still for you to hack, it would take more than 10 seconds to hack them all to death. Right? One old student muttered incredulously, with an extremely complicated expression on his face. They weren't surprised that Wang Chuan was able to pass the first wave. After all, to be able to enter Yanlong University and still be the top scholar in the province, he must have a few tricks up his sleeve. Against a mere 50 level 50 monsters, it was naturally no big deal, but to have it resolved so quickly was beyond their wildest dreams. One should know that all of them, one by one, could not have reached Wang Dust's level when they entered the secret realm copy freshman year and took care of this group of level 50 cat demons. This tea is going against the grain. On the high stage, 
The teachers of the three major academies also looked dumbfounded, and the gentle temperament Sun Miao couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth. She had just stared at the grid and blinked twice, only to have Wang Duan take care of all the monsters in the first wave? Which one of you counted it? How long did he take? At this moment, she turned around with some disregard for her image and looked viciously at the combat academy's teacher Zhao, who had prepared for this. 8 seconds, ms. Zhao, who was clutching a counter in her hand, sounded a little shaky. To be honest, he was surprised too. Although he had predicted that Wang Chen would perform well in the secret copy, he had not expected it to be this outstanding. When he pressed the counter stop button just now, he felt like his heart was going to stop. 8 seconds, that was 50 cat demons, not 50 ants. Ha 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 ha, this must be the nine-tailed fox's natural skill. Look guys, with such a powerful beast pet, Wang dust it's a waste if he doesn't enter our magic academy. The beautiful teacher of the magic academy was excitedly slapping her thighs at this moment, and a flush welled up on her face. It's so beautiful. Having just signed the contract, a single skill down the line could charm 50 cat demons into killing each other. This nine-tailed fox, this one dust, was simply too close to their magic academy. However, what these teachers didn't know was that the shock Wang Chen had brought to them had only just begun. Second wave. The hideous dragon spat out a mouthful of dragon breath and the group was destroyed. Third wave. Endless ice freezes the ground. And the group is destroyed. Fourth wave. A pink glow enveloped the room and the group was destroyed. When the number above the grid where Wang Chuan was, which represented the number of waves of the beast tide he was holding onto, turned into eight. The entire square of Yanlon University had become silent. Hiss. The only sound that came out was the sound of sucking in cool air, as if it was negotiated, one wave after another. At this moment, everyone was dumbfounded, and the expressions on their faces were incomparably shocked. It was now less than three minutes before Wang Chen entered the secret realm copy, and he had broken into the eighth wave. Is this surely not a joke? What kind of demon is this? Less than three minutes to break into the eighth wave. When I was almost finished with my freshman year, I only broke into the fifth wave in three minutes. This is too terrifying isn't it? I was at level 70 of the second turn. Nima, even if I were to go in there right now, there's no way I'd be able to hit the 8th wave that fast. The older students who were spectating were beginning to doubt their lives, especially those sophomores who couldn't help but roar up to the sky. 3 minutes to break into the 8th wave. It's an accomplishment they can't even imagine. I'm afraid that among our sophomore year, only those guys ranked in the top 30 can achieve this terrifying result, right? Luckily, you can't enter a silver level secret realm copy after the third turn. Otherwise the ranking would have been trampled under the feet of a freshman who just enrolled in school. And the face would have been lost. This Wang Chen, I'm afraid he's going to break the record set by the white god back then. Amidst a murmur, the expressions of all the older students were extremely shocked. Especially when they heard the words white god, they were shocked and at the same time, their eyes were incomparably complicated. White god, by Zitting, the Dragon Kingdom's renowned 8th rotation powerhouse one of the commanders of the Dragon Kingdom's war zone in the battlefield of the heavens, and the most outstanding graduate of Yanlong University. Although he had long since graduated and left the school, he still possessed quite a few admirers in Yanlong University, especially because he had created quite a few records that were peaks that were difficult for many students to surpass. Nowadays, the record for clearing the Silver Level Secret Realm Replica Beast Tide Impact was held by Bai Zitting. Back then, he was still the second turn with 5 minutes to pass the silver level secret copy of Beast Tide Impact. This record, which had been held at Yanlong University for 20 years, had been untouchable. And today, that person showed up and was a freshman. How could this not cause the many older students to have mixed feelings? 2 minutes and 36 seconds. On the high stage, the combat academy's teacher Zhao pinched the counter in death, his lips trembling as he spoke. It was just 6 simple words, but they represented a meaning that shocked everyone the current record holder for the highest clearance in the secret realm. Boss White took 3 minutes and 6 seconds when he entered the 8th wave. Wang Chuan advanced this by 30 seconds. The 5-minute record is definitely untenable. He might be able to compress the time to less than 4 minutes. On the side, the beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy's expression was similarly no better. Compared to those older students, she could feel the horror of this achievement even more. After all, these older students knew about by zitting through deeds and the records left in the school. She. On the other hand, was in the same class as by Zitting back then, and had lived under the shadow of the other party's invincibility for the three years she was in school, plus the year she spent practicing in the battlefield of the heavens. Now that a new student was able to challenge by Zitting's record, even if that person was Wang Chen, whom she was incredibly optimistic about, it still made her feel extremely incredulous. By Zitting, that was a strong eighth turner in his prime, 
with the future ninth turner and even Godseal expected. Teacher Sun Miao thought of a certain sightless guy at this moment, and the expression on his face became extremely strange. When I came back from the battlefield of the heavens, Bai Shua even swore to me that the record he left at Yanlong University would not be broken by anyone for another 10 years in the future. And I wonder how he'll feel when this news reaches his ears? I guess the face will be swollen? While the outside world was shocked and abnormal, Wang Chen was quietly waiting for the eighth wave of the monster army to arrive. To be honest, the first seven waves of monsters didn't make him feel any pressure at all. Without even making a move, the two guys, Xiao Bingcheng and Crispy, easily took care of all of them. You too, can't you save one of you for me to move around? Thinking that he had been watching the show from the side, Wang Dust couldn't help but give his beast pet a grudging look. I'm really pissed off. You guys take care of the monsters, I'll be on the sidelines. Don't I want to lose face as the master? Woohoo! Next time for sure. The little ones glanced at him and copped an insincere grunt. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust helplessly rolled his eyes and rolled up his sleeves, ready to let these two little guys know what it meant to be the master's majesty. But, ho 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 ho! Ear-piercing roars rang out as the eighth wave of the monster army arrived at the battlefield. I'll let you two off the hook this time. Kicking Bing Ching's thighs, which were thicker than his entire body, Wang Chuan set his eyes on the army of monsters rushing up. The monsters in the eighth wave were fifty trolls. These guys who had an indeterminate blood relationship with the sinking devil were over five meters in size and so green that they glowed. Hideous fangs, as well as bone spikes surfacing on the surface of his body, the tips glittering with a sharp, cold aura. Monster, troll warrior. Level, 60. Fighting style, melee. Skills, crash. Trample madness. Wild howl. Type, general. Monster, troll warrior. Level, 60. Fighting style, melee. Skills, wild charge. Crash. Mad trample. Wild howl. Type, elite. Unlike the previous waves, 10 of the 50 trolls flickered with a faint blue light under the sweep of the detection spell. These 10 guys were the very elite monsters that the professionals often hung on to. They were different from mutations, which were similar to genetic mutations, where wild monsters would awaken special abilities, and elites were enhanced from the ordinary. Normally, at the same level, elite wild monsters were about twice as strong as normal wild monsters. In addition to these three types, there were two other special types amongst the wild monsters, which were the chiefs and lords or the big and small bosses that professionals often referred to. However, this kind of wild monster Wang Dust hadn't encountered it yet, so he put it aside for now. Ho 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 ho. After the 50 trolls surrounded them, they immediately attacked without hesitation. Knock knock. The sound of footsteps shook the ground. It's always my turn to make a move this time. Taking advantage of the fact that Bing Ching and Crispy didn't act, Wang Chuan's figure flashed and directly rushed up with an instant sword. Swish. Under the rapid blitz of the instant sword. Wang Chen appeared directly in front of a troll in the next second. Roar. Seeing the human that appeared in front of him, the troll let out a frantic roar and opened its mouth, wanting to swallow the human that was brought to its door. Yet just then, a cold light flashed before its eyes, and it suddenly felt a pain in its neck. Before it could ponder what was happening, it saw the dim sky and a headless body. Is that my body? The troll only had time for one thought to surface before his consciousness fell into a complete dimness. And at the same time, wine dust who had killed a troll with a sword, didn't stop, and with one foot on the ground, his body instantly rushed out again. Second strike, he once again stepped in front of a troll and swung his sword to decapitate its head. Ho 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 ho. It wasn't until this was done that the trolls charging up around them reacted, as they looked at the human who had instantly decapitated two of their companions. Each one of them let out a brutal roar and frantically surrounded them, wanting to tear the human into pieces. Anon but their footsteps had just moved when a high dragon roar suddenly surfaced in their ears. Before the voice fell, a coldness that seemed to be able to freeze the soul enveloped their bodies. Hoo hoo hoo! Bing Ching swung her wings and flew into midair, and without hesitation, she spat out a cold ice spit towards the trolls in her master's periphery. Rumble! The berserk power tore apart the ten trolls closest to Wang Chen in an instant. Seeing these guys turn into crumbs and scatter, a bitter smile appeared on Wang Dust's face as he dispersed the wind blade technique he had prepared in his hand. Taking monsters from him, the master? Binching this little guy is really treacherous. While his mind was wandering in his belly, Crispy, who was lying on his head, chirped defiantly. Wah! As the voice rang out, a peach pink aura instantly enveloped all the remaining trolls present. Ho 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 ho! With frantic roars, the remaining trolls aimed their scarlet eyes at their companions, then attacked without hesitation. There were even two trolls that directly held their companions down and explored life extension. That image, it's just hot. Whoosh, waving his hand and flinging out two giant wind blades, chopping those trolls into two. 
Wang Dust yanked the nine-tailed heavenly fox crispy off his head with some toothache. He hadn't paid attention during the first few waves just now, and only remembered when he saw those two trolls just now that the nine-tailed sky fox's charming being skill not only had the chaotic effect of being able to kill each other, but also lust. If this was used against someone in the middle of a battle and triggered this effect, the picture, it was simply unimaginable. Woohoo! The little guy looked at his master with a puzzled expression. After you, looking at the little guy whose eyes were full of innocence, Wang Dust opened his mouth and ultimately did not say anything more. The power of this skill is obvious to all. If you don't use it because of a little bit of special effect, it's just a brain fart. Nothing. Great job. Patting Crispy's head, Wang Chen raised his eyes to look around. With the combined efforts of Pasty and Ice Clear, there were very few trolls left in the 8th wave. Gotta. Only 4 of the 50 trolls were snagged. Sighing, Wang Chen felt that he still had a long way to go. Crap. This image is so hot. This is something we can watch without paying for it? As the image of the trolls multiplying appeared, a strangled cry rang out from the outside crowd glued to the screen. Most of the older students, especially the girls, blushed and lowered their heads, but there were some guys who had an excited expression on their faces. The nine-tailed fox's skills are too terrifying, aren't they? Undifferentiated ad hominem. Plus now this effect. Who would dare to fight against Wang Dust in the future? Even if you win the fight, I'm afraid you'll have to die socially. When those few trolls were killed, the older students looked at each other, and their faces all became incredibly strange at the same time. The impact of that scene just now was too strong. It was a little hard for them to imagine how they would cope if it fell on them. It's not about winning or losing anymore. You can't mess with anyone but Wang Duan. At this moment, all the older students couldn't help but have the same thought floating in their minds. And at this time on the high platform of the square, the teachers watching the battle each had an expression that was incomparably strange. The strength of the nine-tailed sky fox made them shudder as well. That. Are we going to change the rules for the back of the ring portion? Teacher Sun Miao blushed and tapped the ground with the magic wand in her hand to attract the crowd's attention. Wang Chuan's nine-tailed fox, if he had used that move just now on his opponent in the ring, I'm afraid that our Yanlong University's reputation would be ruined. That's right. The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy nodded with a palpitating heart. The shock of that scene just now was too great for her. If a student was caught in this trick and was also unfortunate enough to be stacked with the state of lust, I'm afraid that he or she would simply collapse. It's not just a physical blow. It's soul-destroying. Why don't we do this? We'll give Wang Dust some compensation privately. And in the second part of the ring battle, we won't let him bring the nine-tailed fox on. Anyway. With the strength he's showing right now, having one less beast pet out there won't have any effect on his ranking. On the side, the combat academy's teacher Zhao thought about it and made a proposal. Yes, as soon as his words fell, the surrounding teachers nodded their heads in agreement. Then it's decided. Seeing this, the referee, Mr. Sun Miao, followed suit and nodded. And then his gaze was somewhat shocked as he looked at the upright figure on the screen. In the freshman ranking battle, it was a unanimous decision by the faculty to limit strength. In the more than 600 years since the establishment of Yanlong University, Wang Chen was the only one to do so. At this moment, while the hearts of the people in the outside world were shocked, in the secret copy, Wang Chen had already collided with the ninth wave of monsters. Bang, bang, bang. Amidst the violent vibrations, 20 elite monsters, with 30 ordinary monsters, surrounded Wang Duan from all directions. These monsters were not as large in size as the previous trolls with, and were similar in size to normal adults. But just because they're smaller doesn't mean they're weaker. The aura on these guys was even stronger. It was those ordinary monsters whose strength was comparable to the elite trolls of the 8th wave. However, in response, the expression on Wang Chen's face remained without the slightest fluctuation. In front of the two ancestral god beasts, it made no difference if more of these miscellaneous fish-like monsters came. Boom boom boom. The two little guys kept on attacking, almost in the blink of an eye, leaving the monsters that rushed up dead or wounded by more than half. Soon. With Wang Dust following behind to fill in the gap, the 50 monsters in the ninth wave were all crushed. Ding! Congratulations to the challenger, Wang Duan, for clearing the beast tide impact secret realm copy. Settlement in progress? Please wait. The secret copy. When the last monster of the ninth wave was pierced through the heart by Wang Chuan's sword, the beeps of the secret copy's machinery sounded in his ears at the same time. Done. Shaking off the blood on his long sword, Wang Chen had an expectant expression on his face. This was a silver level secret copy, and there was no telling what kind of rewards it would bring him, while silently pondering in his heart, the mechanical beep of the secret realm copy sounded once again, ding, settlement complete, congratulations to the challenger, Wang Duan, for perfectly clearing the secret realm copy of beast tide impact, current secret copy difficulty, hell level, 
Time to pass, 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Overall rating, SSS, highest. Congratulations to the challenger Wang Dust. Your result has successfully broken the record of Beast Tide Impact in the Silver Level Secret Realm replica. And the settlement reward has been upgraded by one level. Broken record? After listening to the beeping in his ears, a flash of surprise appeared in Wang Chen's eyes. He expected his results to be good, but he didn't expect that he would be able to set a new record for breaking through the Secret Realm copy. But soon the surprise in his heart disappeared and an excited expression appeared on his face. Settlement incentives are upgraded by one level. It looks like this time, he's going to get something extra for himself. Ice Ching Crisp you two come over here. Let me suck the OU Chi from you. Greeting the little ones and reaching out to rub his hands on them. Wang Dust then looked with anticipation in his eyes at the treasure chest that floated in front of him. It's still the same colorful treasure chest as it was during the secret copy of the high school exam. However, the luster that shrouded the outside of the treasure chest was a few shades denser than that of the secret realm of the college entrance exam, which seemed to be an omen that the rewards inside would be even more generous. Without hesitation, after sucking up the ooze, Wang Chen directly chose to open the colorful treasure chest. In an instant, dazzling light filled the field of vision, and one item emerged one by one. As the scrying technique swept through, the attribute information of these things appeared in front of Wang Chen's eyes. 10 million experience points. 200 points of free attributes, 200 free skill points, platinum level equipment, sawtooth longsword, platinum level equipment, enchanted ring, greater magical material, sharp horns of blade demons. After checking the properties of these things, Wang Dust subconsciously held his breath. Abundance. It's simply too rich. 10 million experience points, split into three equal parts to be absorbed, directly allowed his level to pop up to 45 at this point, and Bing Ching's level, too, was directly raised to level 40 the limit of the current growth cycle. As for the nine-tailed sky fox crispy, because of its low level, it even directly rose 15 levels in a row. In just an instant, Wang Chen could feel a stronger power surging up amongst his body. It was a feeling that almost intoxicated him. Without hesitation, he directly opened the attribute panel of himself and the little ones. Ice clear, four-dimensional attributes, strength 2200, wisdom 2200, physique 2200, agility 2200. No buffs. Equipment or props to add. Crispy, 4-dimensional attributes, strength 1050, wisdom 1750, physique 1050, agility 1150. No buffs, equipment, or props to enhance. The two little ones had seen their 4-dimensional attributes explode, especially Crispy, who had nearly doubled all but the wisdom attribute, and driven by their 4-dimensional attributes. Wang Chen's strength also saw an increase after he evenly distributed the 200 free attribute points. Wang Dust, strength, 520 plus 260 points. Wisdom, 590 plus 10 points. Physique, 520 plus 150 points. Agility, 530 plus 5 plus 170 points. Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350. Not counting the equipment enchantment, his single attribute had now surpassed the 500 point mark. If he were to run into Hua Qin University's Zhou Zibo again at this time, he would definitely be able to chop the other party away with a single stroke of his sword when he used his instant sword. As for skill points, Wang Chen still planned to continue saving them. He still had the unused qualification to enter the school's treasury to pick out skill books, and would decide on the distribution of those skill points after picking out the skill of his choice. Waving his fist in satisfaction, Wang Dust moved his gaze and placed it on top of several other heavy rewards. Great a magic material, sharp horn of a sharp-edged demon. This does not need to be said. The value of the A-grade materials on the market are all worth more than 10 million dollars, and selling them can bring back blood to his small treasury. Putting away the materials, Wang Dust rested his gaze expectantly on the last two pieces of equipment. Platinum level equipment. This was definitely the highest grade equipment he had seen since he grew up. If it wasn't for the record breaking, I'm afraid these two platinum level equipment wouldn't have appeared at all. The value of these two pieces of equipment was estimated to exceed hundreds of millions of gold coins when placed on the market. And there was also a price for it. Because this equipment was produced by the secret realm copy and was completely affixed to Wang Dust's level. In today's day and age, it's nearly impossible to find low-grade platinum equipment on the market. Treasures of this grade had long been pocketed by the major powers, ready to be used by their respective descendants. Without hesitation, Wang Chen directly performed the scrying technique and landed on the two platinum artifact equipment. Equipment, Sawtooth Longsword. Type, Weapon. Grade, Platinum. Level Limit, 45. Attributes, Strength plus 200. Physique plus 100. Speed plus 100. Enchanted effects, 1, increases attack damage by 10%, 2, bleeding effect, wounds inflicted by the serrated longsword are weakened by 50% when healed, equipment, enchanted ring, 
Type, the jewelry. Grade, platinum. Level limit, 45. Attributes, strength plus 100. Physique plus 100. Agility plus 100. Wisdom plus 100. Enchanting effects. 1. Increase the speed of physical strength recovery by 20%. Weapon enchantment. Temporarily attach an enchantment effect to the weapon to increase the attack range, duration, 10 minutes. Once per day. Not bad not bad. After reading the attributes of the two pieces of equipment, Wang Dust was filled with joy. Both pieces of equipment were quite strong, and the shape was very much in line with his aesthetic. In particular, the serrated long sword was 2 meters long, and its blade was covered with sharp serrated teeth, making it look regal. And although the enchantment ring was low profile, the enchantment effects it came with made Wang Chen overjoyed, increasing the range of his weapon attacks, which greatly enhances his means of combat. Putting the two pieces of equipment on, his attributes once again increased and became power, 520 plus 530 points, wisdom, 590 plus 100 points, physique, 520 plus 350 points, agility, 530 plus 5 plus 250 points. Just after checking his own attributes that had once again skyrocketed, a spatial force landed on his body. Next, he and the two little ones directly disappeared in the middle of the secret realm copy. 3 minutes and 46 seconds, the square of the Yanlong Academy was silent. Everyone, looking at the time displayed on that already darkened grid of the giant screen, all fell into silence. It was an incomparably horrifying achievement, so horrifying that it made their worldview shatter at the first sight of it. A freshman who had just enrolled in school, it took less than 4 minutes to clear the silver level secret realm copy. Before today, no one had ever thought that someone could produce such a horrible result. The sophomores and juniors who were there to see the fun felt a little hard to breathe at this moment, when they were freshmen. Even at the end of their freshman year, the time it took them to clear the silver level secret realm copy of Beast Tide Impact was twice as long as Wang Chen's time at this point. This eerie silence lasted for an unknown period of time, and it wasn't until Wang Chen's figure was teleported out of the secret realm copy and stood in the center of the plaza that someone came back to their senses and made a trembling sound. Fake, right? Am I dreaming? How could this Wang Chen have such terrifying strength? Even if you are contracting two divine beast level beast pets, it shouldn't be like this? That's a record the white god once set, and he broke it so easily? Could it be that Yanlong University is going to have another, terrifying genius who dominates the school in the lower grades? What a demon! Looking at that upright figure, the crowd of onlookers let out a raging tidal wave of murmurs. The expressions on everyone's faces were extremely unbelievable. It was all, simply beyond their imagination. And at this time on the viewing platform, the teachers of the three major colleges of Yanlong University had the same expression. Although they had expected it, they were still extremely shocked when Wang Chen's achievement actually broke the record. This kind of terrifying potential was something they had only seen in their lives, even if they had taught numerous geniuses over the years. This kid, his future achievements will definitely be higher than Bai Shui. The referee, Mr. Sun Miao, said with some shock, at this time, Wang Chen was already standing in the center of the square. While those students who entered the secret realm copy at the same time as him, the fastest progressing Jolly as well as the other provincial top students such as Zhou Wu, had only proceeded to the fifth wave. The gap between the two sides is simply self-evident. The surrounding crowd, hearing this, could not help but nod their heads, while their gazes shook as they looked toward the center of the square, the upright young man with a calm face. At this moment, they were not only shocked by the strength displayed by Wang Chen, but they were also surprised by the youngster's calm state of mind. To do such an astounding feat and still be so calm, this heart, I'm afraid that many of them would not be able to do it. I'll go talk to him about the ring, and you guys figure out what kind of compensation you should make to him first. Sun Miao looked back at the crowd on the viewing platform. Then with a single movement of his feet, he directly appeared in the square. Hello teacher. Seeing Mr. Sun Miao who suddenly appeared in front of him, Wang Duan politely greeted him. Aha. Sun Miao nodded at his words, then said in a complicated tone. Mr. Wang Chuan, because of the Nine-Tailed Fox's special ability, the teachers of the school hope that in the next ring match, you will be able to go on without her. Upon hearing Mr. Sun Miao's words, Wang Duan froze slightly and his expression became a bit odd. It seems that Crispy's big performance in the secret copy has scared these teachers. Don't worry teacher, I know how to take it easy. After thinking about it, he nodded his head directly and said, for the next ring match, Crispy won't be in the ring. Crispy? At those words, Sun Miao froze, then his eyes looked at the nine-tailed fox on Wang Chen's shoulder. Is that her name? It's rather catchy. With that in mind, Sun Miao nodded, satisfied with Wang Chen's answer. Don't worry, the school will compensate you and will never let you suffer. Upon hearing this, a smile appeared on Wang Chen's face. 
and there's a bonus? That's good. In fact, there was no need for Mr. Sun Miao to say that he didn't intend to let Crispy get into the ring for the next ring match. And it wasn't just Crispy. Even Bing Cheng he planned to stay in the viewing gallery. These two little guys pushed all the way across in the middle of the secret realm copy. The ring, it's better to leave it to him, the master. Otherwise, wouldn't the two little ones steal all the limelight? Well then, we'll make a list of compensatory things for you to pick from later. Now that you're the first to clear the secret realm copy, go to the side to rest and wait first. After explaining to Wang Chen, Sun Miao turned around and returned to the high platform. After she left, Wang Chen stepped aside, his eyes on the giant screen in the sky, looking up for the girl Situyu. Soon, he saw a familiar figure in the grid against the bottom. Only Situyu was seen wearing a splendid leather armor, holding a longbow and continuously shooting arrows. On her side, there was also a large silver white wolf the size of a calf constantly roaming around, biting off the throats of one of the approaching monsters. It was none other than the legendary great divine beast, the whistling moon silver wolf. With this guy joining the battle, Sityu's performance in the secret realm copy was not bad at this point, having broken through to the fifth wave, and was in the same first echelon as the other province's top students. It seems like this girl should have no problem clearing the secret realm copy. After checking on Sityu's condition, Wang Chen didn't bother checking on the others and found a place to tease the two little ones without worry. Five minutes later, there was a flash of light in the square, and a burly figure appeared in the light. It's none other than Zhao Li. At this moment, he was covered in blood, and there was still a rushing battle spirit left in his body, so it was obvious that he had experienced a bitter battle. Nine minutes to pass. This is definitely the best score I've had out of all the freshmen. The teachers will be blown away. After landing, Zhao Li thought silently in his mind and a smile appeared on his face as he prepared to meet the crowd's awe-inspiring gazes. He had long inquired about it, and most of the best scores in the previous freshman ranking battles for clearing the silver-level secret realm replicas were in the range of 9 to 10 minutes. He's basically in the top 20 amongst past results with this score. However, when he was complacent, he realized that the eyes of those older students were all extremely strange, and not a single one of them showed any admiration for his achievement at all. Humph. Seeing this scene, Zhao Li snorted in dissatisfaction with a somewhat disdainful expression. In his opinion, it must be that his own clearance score was too good, drawing the jealousy of these older students. Bunch of small-minded guys, is it so hard to admit that someone else is better than you? With a silent thought in his mind, he shook his head disdainfully, and then prepared to check the other's clearance. However, right at this moment, his pupils suddenly shrunk, and his eyes looked towards a figure by the square with some disbelief. Wang Duan? Why is he here now? Zhao Li was filled with disbelief. He thought that he was the first one to pass the secret realm copy, and he simply didn't expect to see other people at this time after he came out. Therefore, at the sight of the square's edge, the upright figure that was fighting with the two beast pets, he directly froze. But soon, a cold smile appeared on Zhao Li's face. Ha ha ha, this guy must have failed to challenge the secret realm copy. A guest came to him and he couldn't help but be in a cheerful mood. No wonder the teachers are all looking so strange. They must have seen Wang Chuan fail the challenge and felt ashamed of their previous behavior. With that in mind, Zhao Li walked towards Wang Chen with a condescending expression. Failing once is no big deal. Geniuses gather in Yanlong University. It's acceptable that you can dominate in other places and die out here. Zhao Li looked at Wang Chen in a condescending and didactic manner. At those words, Wang Chen directly froze. What's the situation? He looked up with odd eyes at Zhao Li. The guy held his chin up as if he were a peacock showing off his feathers. Did you get something wrong with that? In the spirit of basic politeness, Wang Dust asked somewhat breathlessly. I understand. Hearing his words, Zhao Li nodded with a proud face, a look of seeing through everything on his face. I'm not comforting you, but telling you the truth. Coming to Yanlong University where geniuses gather, it's nothing for you to be ordinary. There's no need to act so formal in front of me. I'm a nice person to talk to, Zhao Li said in a light tone. The corners of Wang Dust's mouth twitched a little as he looked at this feel-good guy with odd eyes. Constrained? I'm in a bind. Ha ha ha, this is the first time I've seen a feel-good guy like this. Not bad for a paladin with a brain full of muscle. Is he here to be funny? Can you look at your own segment before lecturing others? However, before Wang Chen could retort, the surrounding older students who heard Zhao Li's words directly burst out laughing, with a very contemptuous expression on their faces. That's funny, don't you know what level you're at? What qualifications did it have to stand with the record-breaking Wang Duan when it took 9 minutes to clear the secret copy? Hearing the laughter around him, Zhao Li's face swelled red and he looked over viciously. However, these old students were all old farts, having polished themselves for at least a year in the middle of the school. None of them were afraid of him, and all of them glared back fiercely. A bunch of small-minded guys, 
just know how to be jealous of my excellence. Sooner or later, I'll beat you all down. Jolly thought silently in his heart and turned around to pat Wang Chen's shoulder. Student Wang Chen, you shouldn't hang out with these mentally twisted guys who are only jealous, or you won't achieve much in the future. Pust. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen directly did not hold back his laughter. That's a lot of smarts. Where does he get his confidence? Seeing this scene, Zhao Li had a somewhat unpleasant expression on his face. But he didn't say much and shook his head to look at the giant screen in the sky. He had wanted to recruit Wang Chen to his staff through this contact. After all, for a commoner to be able to win the top prize in Far River Province, there was something outstanding about his own talent. But unfortunately, Wang Chen, like everyone else, couldn't honestly accept that others were better than him. Alas, there are so few people as broad-minded as me these days. Jolly sighed and scanned his eyes over the giant screen, ready to see if there were any outstanding guys. The son of a powerful family like him, who entered Yanlong University, in addition to seeking his own advancement, would also focus on expanding his network to absorb talent for his family. However, when his gaze swept over the giant screen, his expression directly froze. Crap, I can't believe someone got through faster than me? What god did this tea? The line of sight fell on a grid in the upper left corner of the giant screen, and Jolly directly exclaimed in shock, his eyes incomparably shocked. Although the pastime was not visible, the SSS pass score displayed on the grid was incredibly blinding, and this grid, still being next to his one, the 9-minute score on it hadn't dissipated yet. What other god could it be? He's not standing right next to you, you don't even look at what level you are, and you're worthy of standing with this great god? Right at this moment. Someone among the older students who were watching kindly reminded Zhao Li. The voice fell, directly causing a burst of laughter in the crowd. What? You did? Hearing this voice, Zhao Li turned his head sluggishly and looked at the calm-faced teenager beside him. Aha! Looking at Zhao Li, who had a skeptical look on his face, Wang Dust nodded flatly. Swish! In an instant, Zhao Li's face directly filled with blood and became red, only feeling that his face was on fire. He himself, just now, was actually showing off in front of Wang Chen because of his 9-minute clearance score? At this moment, thinking about his previous actions, Zhao Li only felt incomparably humiliated and could not wait to immediately find a place to drill into. Motherfucker! It's so humiliating! A strong sense of frustration overwhelmed Zhao Li at this moment, and the sight of the people around him made him feel like he had been abandoned by the entire world. Seeing Zhao Li standing frozen in place, Wang Chen sighed and went up and patted his shoulder to comfort him. Don't be discouraged! you're already good. Nine minutes is better than any of the other freshmen. So as long as you work hard in the future, you might have hope of seeing my back. Hearing his words, Zhao Li's body trembled. I'm good? Just try hard enough to see the back of you? Are you being comforting? Or is it a blow? Zhao Li is self-absorbed. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust nodded with satisfaction, pleased with the effect of his words of persuasion. Look, this guy's body is trembling with excitement. As time passed, the freshmen who had entered the secret realm copies all cleared the level one after another, and their figures appeared in the square. Of all the people, other than Wang Duan, the demon, there were a total of eight people whose scores had successfully entered the ten minutes and received a SSS pass evaluation, including Zhao Li Zhou Wu, several provincial scholars, as well as Si Yu, who had obtained a divine beast's beast pet. And it had to be said that these new students were worthy of being geniuses selected from all over the Dragon Kingdom. The others were not as good as the first echelon, but they had gotten a minimum of an S-rank rating in the hellish difficulty replica. After everyone had finished their secret copy, teacher Sun Miao, who was the referee, stood directly in front of all the new students after waving his wand to dispel the giant screen in the sky. The first part of the replica clearance is over for all, and everyone's grades have been recorded separately in the school's database. The rankings will now be announced, as well as the opening of the second part of the ring, Yanlong University Plaza. After Mr. Sun Miao's words fell, a magic power rose from his body, and a light screen displaying the initial freshman rankings appeared in front of everyone's eyes. First place, Wang Dust, clearance time, 3 minutes and 46 seconds, overall performance score, SSS level. Second place, Zhao Li, clearance time, 9 minutes, overall performance score, SSS. Tenth place, Si to you, clearance time, 9 minutes and 56 seconds, overall performance score, SSS. Eleventh place, Zheng Tai. Clearance time, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Overall performance rating, SS. 50th place, Wu Suzaku. Clearance time, 13 minutes and 25 seconds. Overall performance score, S rank. Hiss. After all the freshmen's expectant gazes landed on the list, the air around the entire square was nearly sucked out. What the hell? Firstly, Wang Chen. The time it took to clear the secret realm copy was only 3 minutes and 46 seconds? Just kidding. 
This was sufficiently more than twice as compressed as the second rank Jowli. For a while, all the freshmen's expressions were filled with shock and disbelief. What's the situation? Standing at the forefront of the crowd, Zhou Wu and a few others were all in the wind as well. Zhao Li's rankings and grades were better than theirs, and they were prepared for it. After all, as a paladin, Zhao Li has a greater advantage than them in the secret copy of Beast Tide Impact. However, how could they not expect that Zhao Li would not get first place? And the one who got first place was actually Wang Chen. Teacher, I'm not convinced. This grade is not normal at all. Zhou Wu couldn't help but stand out and said loudly towards Sun Miao, for Wang Chen to get first place, and with such a horrible score, he simply couldn't accept it. After his words fell, a few other provincial scholars around him followed and spoke in agreement. That's right, Mr. Sun Miao, did Wang Chen cheat in the secret realm copy? 3 minutes and 46 seconds to pass. Yanlong University hasn't had such a horrifying result since it was founded. I demand to see the video footage of him in the secret copy. The scene, in an instant, became chaotic. Silence, before Sun Miao could say anything when he heard Zhou Wu and the others. A roar that seemed like a lion's roar overpowered all the clamor. Combat Academy's teacher Zhao took a big step forward and stood directly in front of teacher Sun Miao. Rumble. A berserk aura rose up from his body, and a terrifying oppressive force fell on all the new students. In an instant, the few people who were clamoring seemed like ducks that had been strangled, the words in their mouths coming to a screeching halt. You guys are such a disappointment to me. Teacher Zhao's eyes swept over everyone present like electricity, raging anger rising in his gaze, under the watchful eyes of all of our teachers. In the middle of a dangerous copy of the secret realm, you would even think that someone could cheat? Mr. Zhao's roar was like thunder, shaking the air in the square. You could tell he was really angry. The performance of these freshmen was simply too disappointing for him, especially Zhou Wu, the provincial scholar of each province, which made him feel unbearable. It was even if their strength was not as good as others, but they even had such a fragile state of mind that they would only question and clamor in the face of those who were stronger than them. How can such a guy hold up the spine of Yanlong University in the future? I can responsibly say that Mr. Wang Chuan's grades are entirely based on his strength punch by punch. If any of you are not convinced, you can challenge him in the next ring battle and tell him that you are better than him. If you can't do that, then keep your mouths shut. Teacher Zhao heavily stamped his foot on the ground, and the power drumming from his body instantly condensed an ancient ring covering an area of a hundred square feet in front of him. From now on, each and every one of you can take the initiative to challenge a student who holds a ranking on the list, and the person being challenged has no right to refuse. The winning side will directly gain the ranking of the other side. There are no rules in the ring. As long as you're strong, you can even kill your opponent outright. The school's medical team is always on standby to get you back, even if your brains are shot out. Since you guys don't agree with the rankings, it's up to you to see if you have the courage to fight for the rankings to the best of your ability. I declare that the second part of the ring battle of the freshman ranking battle will now begin. Teacher Zhao swept his gaze over the crowd with a grim look and announced the rules of the ring battle in an incomparably cold tone. Boom! When his words fell, the atmosphere between the new students and the square instantly became tense. All of these proud sons of heaven from the various provinces of the Dragon Kingdom had their bloodlust stirred up in their hearts by Mr. Zhao's words, and each of them looked around with sharp eyes, searching for their challenging targets, and standing in front of the freshmen. Zhou Wu and the others were also the first to place their gazes on Wang Chen. Zhao Li, will you go in the first battle or me? Zhou Wu had a sardonic smile on his face as he asked Zhao Li to the side. The teacher's words just now made him feel that he had been greatly insulted, and he wanted to wash away the humiliation with a victory. Feel free, I'm not going to get into this mess. Hearing his words, Zhao Li took a step back with a strange expression, looking as if he intended to stand by and watch. He wasn't stupid. Wang Chen was able to hit a terrifying score of 3 minutes and 46 seconds in the secret copy. His strength was definitely beyond imagination. The anger of the combat academy teacher just now was also good proof of this. It's nice to be second. With that in mind, Zhao Li couldn't help but give Zhou Wu a sympathetic look. He had a feeling that this guy was likely to be miserable in a few moments. Yes, since you're not going up, I'll be rude about the number one ranking. Upon hearing this, Zhou Wu glanced disdainfully at Zhao Li, turned around and popped straight into the ring. Teacher, I want to challenge the number one ranked Wang Duan. As the words fell, in an instant, the sights of everyone present were all placed on the upright figure in the middle of the crowd. Wang Chen acted calmly in response to the gawking of the people around him. You wait. He faintly spoke towards Zhou Wu before turning around and walking over to sit to you. You keep an eye on these two little ones for a while. Aren't you going to take Bing Qing and the girls on? Sit to you, who hadn't yet reacted from Wang Chen's horrifying achievement, received the two beast pets with a dumbfounded expression. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen smiled and turned toward the ring. No need. 
These two little guys have made enough of a splash. It's my solo show time next. Keep an eye on them. There's a reward for you when I'm done with the ring battle. Wow. When Wang Duan jumped onto the ring alone, the atmosphere in the square was instantly detonated. Crazy, right? He's a giant imperial beast master. And he doesn't even bring a beast pet to the ring solo? This is too arrogant. He doesn't think that. With his own strength, he can beat the 60th rank Zhou Wu. Does he? There was a lot of talk amongst the new students. And the expressions on everyone's faces were extremely dismayed. And they were very puzzled by Wang Chen's actions. As we all know, no matter if it's an ordinary imperial beast master or a special profession mega imperial beast master, at low levels, all their strength lies in their beast pets, especially before the beast pet enters the second growth cycle. The same level of the imperial beast master touching other professions of the same level is completely like eggs touching stones. Without a beast pet, you will be directly hung by your opponent. All the freshmen couldn't figure out why Wang Chen had made such a choice. The expressions on the faces of the veteran students who were onlookers at the moment were also filled with shock and incredulity. Wang Chen, he's too confident here, isn't he? Even though he put up a terrifying clearance in the secret realm copy, the ones who did it were pretty much the giant dragon and the nine-tailed fox, and he didn't contribute much output at all. There's a good show to watch in this next battle. I thought it would be this Zhou Wu being unilaterally hanged by the giant dragon, but I didn't realize that Wang Dust shows such a surprising way of appearing. I'll offer 500 credits and bet that Wang Dust will fall on his ass this time because of his arrogance. In the eyes of all the older students, Wang Chen's choice at this moment was simply like losing his mind. When facing an Imperial Beast Master, the optimal way to fight was to take care of the Imperial Beast Master's beast pet before taking care of its owner. This was a common knowledge shared by almost all the professionals in Blue Star. Wang Dust, on the other hand, as a giant Imperial Beast Master, gave up his greatest advantage and chose to face the challenge with his own strength. It's no different than eggs on a rock. One must know that Zhou Wu was now level 60, and Wang Chen was a full 15 levels away from him. With an attribute gap of 15 levels, even if Wang Chen had two divine beast level beast pets, the feedback attributes could not be brought closer. This kid, and at this time on the viewing platform, the expressions on the faces of the teachers of the three major academies on the viewing platform were also somewhat crying and laughing. They negotiated for Wang Chen not to bring the nine-tailed fox onto the field, but it turned out that this kid was good. Not only did he not bring the nine-tailed fox, but even the giant dragon stayed off the field. What confidence! This brat is actually planning to deal with Zhou Wu without relying on his beast pet and using his own strength alone? What do you guys say? Can he beat Zhou Wu? At this moment, Mr. Sun Miao sat in his chair and couldn't help but open his mouth to ask the others. The chances of winning aren't very high. After all, Wang Chen is just level 45 now, and there's a 15-level difference between him and Zhou Wu, the combat academy's teacher Zhao who was on the side, opened his mouth with a somewhat sullen expression. He now somewhat regretted that he had previously agreed to the proposal of letting Wang Chen not bring the nine-tailed fox to the arena. Zhou Wu, although he was previously evaluated as not being able to do anything with his heart, his strength was still noteworthy. Level reached the second turn of 60 levels, but also a special occupation called Swordsman. Attack with control. Touching the attribute is not as good as their own opponents, and can even control the opponent directly to death. Mr. Suanmyo, are you conveying our meaning wrongly? We told him not to bring the nine-tailed fox. We didn't tell him not to bring the dragon? The beautiful teacher of the magic academy couldn't help but look at Sun Miao and ask. She had a feeling that something hadn't gone wrong. I was very clear with him. Upon hearing this, Sun Miao shook his head with a bitter smile. He understood at the time, and I didn't expect him to make such a choice in the end. Now I just hope that Wang Dust recognizes his shortcomings after losing and brings his beast pet onto the field next. While there was a lot of discussion outside the arena, and an extreme lack of understanding of Wang Chen's choice, the ring had a similarly stunned expression on his face as he watched his peers slowly walk up the aisle. I can't believe you're not going to bring a beast pet into the arena? He felt insulted. A royal beast master fighting against people without using a beast pet. This was as ridiculous as a warrior going into battle without a gun. Against you. I'm enough on my own. It would be bullying to have two little ones out there. Hearing Zhou Wu's words, Wang Chen indifferently spread his hands and said truthfully, I never bully people. You, Zhou Wu's eyes instantly reddened, bursting out with anger that was like substance. It's so arrogant. I'd like to see what you, a royal beast master who doesn't use a beast pet, has the nerve to be so arrogant and cocky? After this battle, I will replace your number one ranking and stomp your arrogant ass into the mud. Speaking icily under his breath, Zhou Wu slowly took out an azure-colored long sword. As soon as this long sword appeared, the temperature in the ring instantly had a significant drop. Obviously, it was a magic equipment of a decent grade. Teacher, I'm ready. 
He stared at Wang Chen with icy eyes, ready to attack at any time. On the opposite side, Wang Chen's eyes lit up when he saw the longsword in Zhou Wu's hand, an opponent with a sword, which was quite to his liking. He then nodded to Teacher Zhao, who was in charge of the ring battle, and waved his hand to take out the exaggeratedly shaped sawtooth longsword. Both sides take their positions, countdown in five seconds. Seeing that both sides were ready, Mr. Zhao, who had some helplessness in his heart, opened his mouth to read the seconds. Meanwhile, buzz off, bright magical light flickered around the ancient ring, and in an instant, four curtains of light rose up and met in the sky, an incomparably strong magical barrier just enveloped the ring. This magic barrier, on the one hand, was to prevent the aftershocks of the sparring students' attacks from falling outside the arena and injuring people, and on the other hand, it was to prevent the outside from affecting the play of the students in the ring, as the magical barrier was completed. Mr. Zhao's voice reading the seconds came to an end. 3, 2, 1, the sparring begins. As teacher Zhao's words fell, Zhou Wu, who was holding a long sword in the ring, instantly moved, only to see him swing his long sword and make a distant chop towards Wang Chen, and in an instant an extreme cold aura spread out with his movements. When this cold air touched the ground of the ring, it directly formed a layer of solid ice toward Wang Chen. Frost Fighting Arena, an exclusive skill of the ice swordsman. It can form a smooth and unbelievable layer of ice on the ground in a certain range. This ice layer can both freeze opponents to affect their movements, while fighting on the ice layer is also able to provide the cold swordsman with a 10% movement bonus and attack bonus. Beautiful. After Zhou Wu's attack began, the mouths of the people watching the battle couldn't help but let out a sigh of admiration, especially those older students. A number of their faces were a bit gloomy. As the saying goes, outsiders look at what's going on, but insiders look at what's going on. Zhou Wu's hand is worthy of his ranking as the top scholar in the province. What a fast skill release speed. In the ring, seeing Zhou Wu's sword chopping out a cold wave, with layers of solid ice surging towards him, Wang Chen's eyes could not help but move. This guy, the level of the skill, cold fighting arena, had definitely been raised to a rather high degree. And, I'm afraid that in private, Zhou Wu had practiced thousands of times. It would make me a little more serious. With a silent thought in his mind, Wang Chen waved his hand and took out his newly acquired weapon, the serrated longsword. Once this big guy appeared in his hands, it instantly attracted everyone's attention. Crap, a longsword the size of a door panel? Wang Chen wouldn't be trying to go head to head with Zhou Wu, a cold ice swordsman. Would he? Is he crazy? Cold ice swordsman is also ranked at the top of the list of special professions in terms of melee ability and he's a royal beast master who doesn't think about distancing himself from the other side and harassing them remotely, but even wants to go head to head? All the freshmen and old students who saw the scene couldn't help but murmur, with expressions of disbelief on their faces. It's well known, the beast master, strong in that he can contract beast pets to fight in concert. Because of the heart-to-heart -heart connection with the beast pet, when the imperial beast master developed, one person was basically equivalent to a squad. However, even if the strength of the Imperial Beast Master had reached a certain level, in battle, he was still acting as an aid to the Beast Pet, casting spells remotely to assist the Beast Pet in attacking. Wang Chen was now actually taking out his longsword and going head to head with a melee profession whose level was higher than his own? Isn't this purely and simply looking for death? Wait, you guys, look at. Just as the crowd was shaken in their hearts, someone suddenly reached out and pointed at the ring. Wang Chuan, he, facing the cold ice fighting arena doesn't even dodge? Is he planning to get controlled by the ice-cold arena and just give up? The man mouthed in shock, a look as if he had seen a ghost on his face. Upon hearing his words, the murmuring crowd looked in the direction of his finger, and the expressions on their faces were all the same. That's crazy. Originally, they thought that Wine Dust was alone on the field and would have some amazing performance, but it turned out, that's it? He's expanding his confidence after contracting two divine beasts, right? Does he really think that he, himself, will be as powerful as the two divine beasts? Once the ice fighting arena is fully deployed, it applies a slowdown status to all enemies within the area of the cage. If we count the boost to the cold ice swordsman, Zhou Wu's current movement speed is equivalent to a 40% increase. There's no way, Zhou Wu will definitely crush Wang Chen in this battle. Seeing Wang Chen not move under the attack of the ice cold fighting arena, the students watching the battle had expressions of disdain on their faces. It was Zhou Wu in the ring who did the same. Are you going to give up? If you just admit defeat now, I can still let you suffer less physical pain. He waved the long sword in his hand, and when he saw that Wang Chen was not moving, he did not immediately launch an attack. Anyway, the ice arena was about to fully unfold, so if he waited a little while before taking action, he would have a greater advantage then. Give up? On the opposite side, feeling the raging coldness coming at him, 
Wang Chen shook his head disdainfully. Are you kidding me? If you want me to just admit defeat, you have to have that strength too. I'm just giving you a chance, Wang Dust said in a flat tone. If you didn't raise your state to its peak and I defeated you early, wouldn't you not recognize the gap between us? At that time, wouldn't it be troublesome for you to come and challenge me when you think you have the possibility of catching up and your strength has grown? I, for one, am most afraid of trouble, or at the very beginning, to completely show you the gap between us. As he spoke, Wang Chen spread his hands in a very casual manner. You, how dare you look down on me like that? Very well, you will pay dearly for your arrogance. Upon hearing Wang Chen's words, Zhou Wu instantly became furious, with a hideous expression on his face. Die for me, with a roar under his breath. He moved his feet and his body rushed toward Wang Chen like lightning. Whoosh! On the way forward, the long sword was waved, and two icy blue sword chi shot out, one step ahead of him, shooting heavily at Wang Chen. Cold Ice Sword Chi, also an exclusive skill of the Ice Swordsman, while possessing a powerful attack. This sword energy will also explode upon contact with the enemy, attaching freezing damage to the enemy. Bang bang! In an instant, two lightning-like chili sword chi arrived in front of Wang Chen. However, in the face of these two incoming sword chi, the expression on Wang Chuan's face did not fluctuate in the slightest, as he just casually waved the sawtooth longsword in his hand. The serrated longsword was nearly 2 meters long and 30 centimeters wide. At this moment, when it moved, it immediately stood in front of Wang Chen as if it was a shield. Bang bang! In the next second, two chilling sword chi landed on the body of the serrated long sword in no particular order, exploding a sky full of frost. The moment this frost first appeared, it surged towards the body of the serrated long sword. On the opposite side, when Zhou Wu, who was following closely behind, saw this scene, a flash of joy appeared on his face. He hadn't expected the cold ice sword chi to injure Wang Chen. And the real goal of sending out this attack was to use the freezing effect caused by the explosion of the cold ice sword chi to once again superimpose a mitigating state on Wang Chen. You're dead. The goal was reached. Zhou Wu, who was on his way forward, pointed at the ice under his feet, and his body instantly circled around to Wang Chen's left side as if he were a phantom, and then without hesitation, stabbed out with his sword. In his opinion, the cold ice fighting arena had already caused Wang Chen to be slowed down by 20%. And now with the addition of the freezing damage from the cold ice sword chi, wine dust, absolutely too late to defend against this sword. You arrogant fellow, prepare to experience death. At this moment, Zhou Wu couldn't wait to see the image of his own longsword piercing into this abominable fellow's neck. Meanwhile, the surrounding freshmen and veteran students who were watching the battle, seeing this scene, looked at Wang Chen with pity in their eyes. It's hopeless, with two mitigating statuses hit on his body. Wang Dust would not be able to react in time even if he had the greatest skill in the world. One must know that under such an attack, even many of the veteran students present who had reached the third revolution in strength would have to cope with it with their hands full. Wang Chen, who had just turned 2 and had only reached level 45, definitely had no room to be spared. And on the viewing platform, quite a few teachers from the three great academies couldn't help but have gloomy expressions at this moment. Zhou Wu's attack that was so powerful left them all awestruck. Trouble. I'm afraid this little fellow Wang Chen will have to pay the price for his arrogance, not bringing a beast pet to the ring and belittling his opponent so much. Let's hope this time will teach him a lesson. The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy couldn't help but say softly at this moment. No. However, at that moment, the Combat Academy's teacher Zhao, who was sitting on the side, shook his head. This kid, he's not at the end of his rope yet. On the viewing platform, hearing the words of Combat Academy's teacher Zhao, Many of the surrounding teachers' gazes looked towards him. Baldi Zhao, you don't think there's any hope for Wang Chen to turn the tables in this situation, do you? Wang Chuan's own attributes are not as good as level 60 Zhou Wu's due to the level difference. And now that he's hit with two mitigating statuses, failure is inevitable. The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy, at this time, was even more nonchalant. Yet upon hearing her words, the expression on Mr. Zhao's face remained certain. You're underestimating this little guy. How can you brittle skins who only hide in the distance and throw skills feel the burning battle intent rising from long dust? Watch, he's going to start it. Mr. Zhao shook his head disdainfully and looked into the ring with frighteningly bright eyes. Hearing his words, the beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy couldn't be bothered to retort and hurriedly looked towards the ring. In the ring at this time, the long sword in Zhou Wu's hand stabbed out with an ear-piercing wind-breaking sound, and in the blink of an eye, it was already close to Wang Chen's body. Let's get you loaded. I'll stab you straight through the neck with the sword. Let's see if you're still pretending. At this moment, Zhou Wu could even already imagine the image of Wang Chen's blood spattering. However at this point, before his eyes, a pair of sharp eyes suddenly appeared. 
Wang Chuan waited until the blade was about to come to his body, and the hand holding the serrated longsword moved violently. Bang! In the next second, the serrated longsword was like an instantaneous movement, stopping in front of Zhou Wu's attack. There were the feedback attributes of the Dragon of Extreme Cold and the Nine-Tailed Sky Fox, plus the bonuses provided by the equipment on his body. Wang Chen's speed was far beyond Zhou Wu's at the moment. Even if he was hit with the reduced benefit status, Zhou Wu student, the sword, it's not used like this. Looking at the opposite side of Zhou Wu, whose face was livid with excitement still lingering in his eyes, Wang Chen smiled faintly as his sawtooth longsword violently turned, stabbing. In an instant, Zhou Wu's stabbing sword was deflected by him and stabbed towards his side, and along with it, his body followed. Next, before Zhou Wu could react, Wang Chen quietly stretched out one foot. Bang! Zhou Wu stumbled. His body posture was destroyed, and his entire body directly fell to the ground in a dog-eat-dog -dog stance. Bang! And because the surface of the ring was covered in solid ice, the guy slid right out and hit the magic barrier around the ring hard. Hiss! At this moment, the atmosphere around the ring was suddenly quiet, and the cold air was almost sucked out of the air. The freshmen and older students watching the battle were completely appalled. What the hell is going on here? How could Zhou Wu fall out? What the hell is going on? How did Wang Chen dodge Zhou Wu's attack? After a short silence, violent murmurs resounded around the ring. Everyone did not even see what happened. Zhou Wu inexplicably fell out, and in such a lousy position. However, on the viewing platform, the teachers of the three major academies, who were much stronger, could see the signs. Horrible reaction speed. Liking to get risky in deflecting attacks with his sword blade in a split second. This kid was simply born to be a seedling for our combat academy. Combat Academy's teacher Zhao slapped his thighs fiercely at this moment, the expression on his face incomparably excited. As he spoke, he swept his eyes over the surrounding crowd with a smug look, as if to say, look at it, it's still me who has the vision, when you all look down on Wang Duan, I'm the only one who can see how extraordinary he is. This, the teachers on the side, no one paid any attention to the complacent Mr. Zhao at all, each with shocked eyes looking at the two figures in the ring. How come? Crashing against the magical barrier in a sorry state, Zhou Wu climbed up, and his eyes vaguely trembled as he looked at Wang Chen. For a split second just now, he hadn't even been able to figure out what the hell was going on, and he'd somehow slid himself to the edge of the ring in a doggone shit stance. Granted, he wasn't injured, but, this wretched look, not much damage, insulting thief, thick humiliation exploded crazily in his heart at this time. Ah, I'll kill you. Zhou Wu's mouth let out a roar as if it was a wild beast and his body pounced on Wang Chen as if it was a cannonball with a whistling wind. Son of a bitch, it's amazing what a mess I've become, absolutely unforgivable. Rushing closer, Zhou Wu chopped out his sword fiercely, aiming straight at Wang Chen's neck. The biting winds came, Wang Chuan's face did not change, the serrated longsword in his hand picked upwards, directly picking the attacking longsword with Zhou Wu into the air. At the same time, the longsword, which he had erected as if it were a door panel, slammed down heavily again. Zhou Wu whose body was uncontrollable, hadn't reacted to what was happening when he saw the hardened sword expanding in front of his eyes. The next second, the serrated longsword slapped directly into the face. Bang! He slumped right down to the ground, the tremendous force shaking the entire ring. Hiss! Seeing this scene, the bodies of all the freshmen and old students watching the battle couldn't help but tremble. The force of it hurt them just to look at it. One could only imagine how much more damage Shou Wu in the ring would receive. You! As if his entire body was lying on the ground at Wang Chen's feet as if he had thrown himself to the ground, Zhou Wu raised his head with great difficulty, his gaze shocked and resentful as he looked at the detestable youth in front of him. I've told you that's not how to use a sword, classmate Zhou Wu, your sword is fast, but it doesn't have the slightest bit of strength. Look, your face is turning into the shape of my sword. Looking at Zhou Wu, whose face was twisted and his face was slapped into a big cake, Wang Chen spread his hands and said, You, hearing his words, Zhou Wu's expression became even more distorted, and he didn't even care to wipe the nosebleed coming out of his nose. As he climbed up from the ground with one hand on the ground and frantically swung his longsword to try to attack Wang Chen. However, bang, the serrated longsword pressed down on his shoulders as if it were a huge mountain, once again crushing him to the ground. The intense pain hit Zhou Wu's nerves, and as he lay on the ground, his eyes were red. Wang Duan, I'm going to kill you. He slumped to the ground and gripped his longsword to stab at Wang Chen's legs. Yell. So tenacious, lad? Seeing that Zhou Wu actually dared to resist, Wang Chen's expression could not help but freeze. However, his movements were not slow, and one foot kicked out, directly sending the stabbing longsword flying out. Ah! The longsword came out of his hand. 
and Zhou Wu with bloodshot eyes rushed up again as if he was a wild beast without reason. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust raised his eyebrows and directly slapped him out with a swing of his long sword. Student Zhou Wu, I think you've recognized the gap between us. Admit defeat. I'm doing you a favor. Get out. I'm going to get you killed. Zhou Wu, who had hit the magic barrier, sniffed and felt a certain string in his heartbreak. Roar. In the ring, Zhou Wu's mouth let out a roar as if it were a wild beast, the great sense of humiliation completely engulfing his sanity. Struggling to get up from the ground, he directly pounced on Wang Chen. At this moment, he was like an ordinary person fighting, without the slightest bit of discipline, and without any professional demeanor left. Arriving in front of Wang Chen, he directly swung his Wang Bao fist. So tenacious? Looking at Zhou Wu, who was charging up, Wang Chen shook his head breathlessly and casually placed his sawtooth longsword across his body. Bang! Zhou Wu's punch landed heavily on the sword. Next, ow! Oh, ghostly cries rang out, and Zhou Wu trembled in pain. Give it up! The gap between us is like a heavenly rut. Looking at Zhou Wu, Wang Chen persuaded with a sincere face. Get out! I'll tear your hateful face apart. However, Zhou Wu didn't care and charged again with the pain he was forcibly enduring. Bang! In the next second, he directly slumped to the ground again in a five-body position. You can't win. Looking down on Zhou Wu, a trace of intolerance appeared on Wang Chen's face. No way. I will never lose. This hint of intolerance was seen by Zhou Wu, causing him to growl. He struggled to get up from the ground and shakily swung his fist to slam it out. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. What a tenacious fighter. With such a huge difference in strength, this guy even dared to swing at himself? Since this was the case, one must not fail him with this intention. Wang Dust thought in his heart and put the sawtooth longsword away as he similarly swung his fist to meet him. Bang! Ah! Bang! Ow! Oh, bang! Woo! The sound of fist-to-flesh strikes continued to ring out, interspersed with Zhou Wu's miserable wails. In just a short moment of time, the somewhat slender body of Sibu in the ring became burly. He, the whole thing, was swollen. Hiss! Under the ring, seeing this scene, all the new students and old students could not help but suck in a breath of cool air, their eyes becoming incomparably shocked. This, literally, is a lopsided crush. Zhou Wu, the 60th level coal ice swordsman, was beaten as if he was a little kid in front of Wang Chuan, who didn't have a beast pet, and didn't have any power to fight back at all. Just how strong is Wang Chen? The 60th level Zhou Wu doesn't even have the qualifications to make him serious? Is this schoolmate so demonic? Unilaterally hanging Zhou Wu. I'm afraid that we, who have just turned three, won't be able to go up there as easily as Wang Chen. Crazy, could it be that Wang Chen now has a strength comparable to a third turn? There was a lot of talk among the crowd of onlookers, and the expressions on the faces of the sophomore and junior seniors were incomparably shocked. Today, they really opened their eyes. A giant imperial beast master who didn't use a beast pet, dangling an opponent whose level was 15 levels higher than theirs. This explosive scene was something they normally wouldn't dare to think about even in their dreams. And while they were shocked, those freshmen in the crowd were even more terrified as their bodies trembled. That's too mean. As they looked at Zhou Wu, who was on the verge of becoming unrecognizable in the ring, they all couldn't help but subconsciously gulp their saliva. Fear in their eyes. That was Zhou Wu, who had the strength of level 60 and was the top scholar of a province. But in front of Wang Chen, he did not even have the slightest room to fight back. It's almost like, an adult is hanging a child. Is this really a freshman like us? Everyone is obviously the same age. Why is he acting so demonic? It always feels like, this is totally not from the same world as us. The many new students thought with shock in their hearts and quietly took a few steps back, as if being farther away from the ring would give them a little more security in their hearts. It was the other few provincial scholarship winners whose faces, like those around them, were similarly unsightly. Zhao Li, did you already know that Wang Chen was so ferocious? Zhang Luyo, the top student from Yunchuan province, swallowed her saliva and asked. She felt that the crazy violent figure in the ring, she was afraid that it would become her psychological shadow in the future, or the kind that could not be dispersed for a lifetime. Hearing her words, the corner of Zhao Li's mouth on the side twitched a little. Nima, if I had known that Wang Chen was so ferocious, would I have provoked him when I came out of the secret copy before? With breathless thoughts in his mind, Zhao Li tried to make the expression on his face calm as he said lightly. Of course, from the first moment I saw fellow student Wang Chuan, I sensed that he was extraordinary. Or else why do you think that I didn't go and challenge him after the ring battle started? As he spoke, Zhao Li displayed a subdued look, as if this would set him apart from the people around him. Wang Chen is too terrifying. Zhou Wu is all out of shape, and he's still fighting? But Zhou Wu is also really persistent, suffering such a heavy injury and still not giving up. I had underestimated him before. 
I didn't expect him to be so ballsy. The freshman who was acquainted with Zhou Wu on the side had a somewhat intolerant expression and said with some emotion. Hearing his words, the few people around him were somewhat moved as they looked towards the ring, looking at the figure that was constantly being knocked down and getting up again. At this moment, they inexplicably felt a sadness. But, what do you guys say? Is Zhou Wu now delirious from the beating? And he wants to admit defeat but doesn't have a chance to say anything at all? Zhao Li, who also had some knowledge of Zhou Wu, opened his mouth at this time to offer a guess. Hearing his words, the few people around him couldn't help but feel some chills after hearing them. This, if it was really as Zhao Li said, wouldn't Zhou Wu have been killed alive in the ring? The ring. Bang. At this time, Zhou Wu was once again knocked to the ground. His entire face had swollen into a pig's head, and his pair of eyes, which were already not very big, were only left with a slit. I, but even with all this misery, he remained terse and steadfast, holding out his hand. Opposite. Wang Dust looked at Zhou Wu, who had fallen to the ground and was still swinging his fists, with a somewhat helpless expression on his face. Is this guy that tough? They have been beaten down by me dozens of times, and they still won't admit defeat? Do you really want to be beaten to death by me in the ring? In that case, I'll fulfill you. With this in mind, Wang Dust was ready to cleanly understand this fellow. However, just as he was about to make his move, a figure suddenly appeared between him and Zhou Wu. This person's figure was extremely majestic, and a bald head was even shining. Exactly. Mr. Zhao from the Combat Academy. Student Wang Dust. Can you? Let student Zhou Wu finish his sentence. Teacher Zhao looked at the handsome youth in front of him and said in a very complicated tone, The ring. The Combat Academy's teacher Zhao's eyes shook immensely as he looked at Wang Chun, a level 45 Imperial Beastmaster, without using a beast pet. Fought a crushing game against a level 60 Cole Ice Swordsman. Even though teacher Zhao was a 6th Revolution's powerhouse and had been teaching amongst Yanlong University for many years, it was still the first time he had seen such a demonic student. This kid, I'm afraid that during his freshman year, he'll be able to occupy a ranking on the school's list of excellence. For a moment, Mr. Zhao couldn't help but have a speculation emerge in his mind that shook him to his core. And on the opposite side, when Wang Chen heard teacher Zhao's words, his expression couldn't help but become a bit puzzled. Let Zhou Wu finish his sentence. What's that supposed to mean? He touched his nose suspiciously, and his line of sight crossed over teacher Zhao and landed on Zhou Wu, who was lying on the ground. At this moment, one of Zhou Wu's hands finally trembled and straightened out. I admit defeat. As the words fell, these three words seemed to have drained him of his strength, and his entire body suddenly collapsed to the ground in a helpless heap. This, seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but feel very embarrassed. Joe Wuta, he's wanted to admit defeat for a long time, but it's a pity you never gave him the chance. While Wang Chen was embarrassed, teacher Zhao spoke with a strange expression. Just now, he could already tell from under the ring that Zhou Wu no longer had the will to fight, reaching out several times to admit defeat. Results, Wang Dust would be wrong, not giving it a chance to speak at all. You get ready and wait for the next challenger to come on. Teacher Zhao opened his mouth to mention Wang Duan and reached out to lift Zhou Wu on the ground. Looking at Zhou Wu, who had a lax gaze, he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. The boy, there's no light in his eyes anymore. I'm afraid that this battle today will become a shadow in his future life. With that in mind, Mr. Zhao handed Zhou Wu over to the medical team waiting at the bottom of the ring. After doing so, he turned his head to look down at the freshman. Zhou Wu failed to challenge Wang Dust. Now whoever wants to continue the challenge, please come to the ring. As the words fell, the freshmen under the ring looked at each other in disbelief all subconsciously taking a few steps back and away from the ring. What a joke! Zhou Wu, the top strength among the freshmen, was beaten to that state. Those of them, at best, were equal to or even inferior to Zhou Wu's strength. Go to the ring and challenge Wang Dust? That's not looking for abuse. For a time, there was silence amongst the new students. None of them dared to stand out, not even raising their heads to look at Wang Chen. Seeing this scene, Teacher Zhao in the ring sighed in his heart, but didn't say anything more. In the past, he might have reprimanded these freshmen for their lack of motivation. But now, when he thought of what Wang Chen had just displayed, a strength that could be described as dominant, he had no interest in preaching. This couldn't be blamed on the freshmen being too wimpy. It was really because Wang Chen was too demonic. Since no one has challenged, then the first place in the freshman ranking list goes to Wang Chen. Below, you may begin the battle for the other rankings. Mr. Zhao announced in a tone devoid of ripples. After saying that, he looked at Wang Chen with fiery eyes. Mr. Wang Duan, now that the dust has settled for you in the freshman ranking battle, why don't you think about admission to the academy next? I saw your fighting style just now. It's simply too suitable for our combat academy. Mr. 
Zhao. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen touched his nose and did not pick up on Mr. Zhao's words but asked with some embarrassment, Can I? Can I fight for the ranking for the others? What? Hearing Wang Chen's words, Teacher Zhao was a bit puzzled, but he quickly thought of something and a promising smile appeared on his face. His vision did not move as he swept a certain figure among the freshmen, and he patted Wang Chen's shoulder and said, You boy, there are no rules about this in the ranking battle, but just this once, don't you go too far. Thank you, Mr. Cho. Wang Chen smiled somewhat embarrassedly at his words. I really envy you young people, but remember that you should still focus on your strength now. Teacher Jia shook his head and glanced at Wang Duan if he had any deep meaning before stepping down from the ring. After he left, Wang Chen turned around and beckoned to Situ Yu. What's wrong? With a shaken expression, Situ Yu walked somewhat timidly to the edge of the ring. This guy, he doesn't have a violent gene in his body, does he? Will this girl not be in danger in the future? Just now, Wang Chen's violent output in the ring had caused the big-hearted Situ Yu to be a bit startled. It's okay, didn't I tell you before that there would be a reward for taking care of the two little ones? And now I'm here to honor it. As he spoke, Wang Dust's line of sight landed on a burly figure among the new students. Student Zhao Li, I challenge you on behalf of Situ Yu, he said with a smile on his face. Hearing his words, the unresponsive Situ Yu directly stared with wide eyes. And on the opposite side, the entire person of Zhao Li who was named was as if he was struck by a shocking thunderbolt, and his face was distorted. Nima, what's the point of playing like that? His eyes trembled as he looked at Wang Chen. At the moment, he had a pee that he didn't know whether to speak or not. It was so tempting to rush up and beat up Wang Duan violently, but when he thought of Zhou Wu's miserable state, Zhao Li again held back his impractical thought. If you really want to go up there, I'm afraid that the one who is going to be brutally beaten will be yourself. What did I do to deserve this? Third is third. It's better than a good beating. With a grudging thought in his heart, Zhao Li glanced at Wang Chen, who was wearing a gentle smile in the ring, and lowered his head in a stifled manner. I concede. Buzz. As Zhao Li's words fell, on the ranking list suspended in the sky, Situ Yu's ranking directly popped from 10th directly to 2nd. Wang Dust stood in the ring and looked around. Seeing that no one had any objections to the result, he directly jumped out of the ring, giving the venue to the others. Wang Chen, aren't you being too overbearing by doing this? I'm, actually, pretty good at being 10th. Being dragged aside, Situ Yu's pretty face turned red and she stuttered her words. Bully? Upon hearing this, Wang Chen gave him a look without any good reason. Are you stupid? Tenth place is only five. Zero 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 credits. But second has a full nine. Zero zero zero. And an A-ranked material. He looked at Situyu with hatred. He he. Aha. Situyu smiled in embarrassment. The son of a bitch really does care about me after all. She felt sweet inside. As if she had eaten honey. But next. By the way. When the rewards for the rankings are handed out. Don't forget to transfer the extra 4,000 credits and the A-rank materials to me. Wang Dust looked at the pretty red-faced little girl and put on a serious expression. Ha! Huh? At those words, Situ Jadite fossilized in place. His expression somewhat frantic. Asshole. Give me back what I just touched. On the square of Yanlong University, as the dust settled on the first and second positions on the freshman ranking list, the atmosphere in the square became silent for a moment before becoming warm again. Although the many new students were deeply shocked by the terrifying strength displayed by Wang Chen, at this moment, as Wang Chen went off the field and faced the others, their hearts rose with a burning desire to fight. If I can't beat Wang Chen, I can't beat you guys? With such thoughts in mind, there were soon freshmen who took the field one after another, challenging those opponents who possessed rankings on the list. And it seemed that because of Wang Chen's previous battle, these freshmen were fighting quite fiercely amongst themselves, desperately trying to express themselves. Although the scene of the battle was not as shocking as Wang Dust's, the images of their battle were a lot more exciting compared to the crushing. For a while, magical light flickered in the ring, and the sounds of clashing weapons were endless, drawing applause from the veteran students who were onlookers. Everything, it seems, is back on track. However, these, for the time being, had nothing to do with Wang Chen. Walking down from the ring, he had just stood aside with Situ Yu when he was surrounded by teachers from the three major academies. Student Wang Chen, the ranking battle is over for you. Next is the time to choose a branch. I wonder if you have made a decision. The beautiful teacher of the Magic Academy said in a graceful manner, with an expression of anticipation on her face. If you choose our Magic Academy, all of the previous conditions are valid. And in addition to that, the dean of our Magic Academy is willing to personally accept you as a student. You must know, Lord Dean. He is a seventh turn powerhouse. Seven turns? Hearing the beautiful teacher's words. Wang Dust could not help but have a twinkle in his eye. 
that's an offer that's not too generous. A seven-turn strongman in the entire dragon country are ranked. Decentralized place is a big official. Go to the battlefield of the heavens can even become a legion leader. Becoming a student of such a powerful person could simply be said to be a step to heaven for ordinary people, with endless benefits. And on the side, when the surrounding teachers heard the words, the expressions on their faces were similarly somewhat shaken. The Magic Academy had spared no expense in order to pull Wang Chen into the fold. Mr. Wang Dust, Combat Academy's teacher Zhao, who had been observing this side and presiding over the ring battle, couldn't sit still at the words. The Dean of Magic himself came down to take in a disciple. It's just not martial. Based on your performance in the ring, your teacher could tell that you were out of step with the path of the Magic Academy, and that the Combat Academy was the best choice for you. Teacher Zhao squeezed through the crowd and grabbed Wang Duan's hand and said in a serious tone, Besides, don't listen to this bitch, the Dean of the Magic Academy is usually a god, staying in the school for an extremely short period of time, even if he accepts you as a student, he doesn't have much time to teach you personally, come to our Combat Academy, all the teachers of the Combat Academy are willing to create a customized growth plan for you, and at the same time, all the secret realm copies belonging to the Combat Academy are open to you for free, as teacher Zhao's words fell, a strange movement appeared in Wang Chen's eyes, this, too, sounded seemingly good, and a bit more realistic than the offer made by the teacher at the Magic Academy, a seventh turn powerhouse being a teacher was nothing more than a way for him to get some hidden benefits, but all the secret realm copies being open for free was a real benefit, with this promise from teacher Zhao, at the very least, for some time to come, Wang Chen felt that he didn't need to spend any effort at all to run around for the credits to enter the secret realm copy, for a while, he couldn't help but get into a tangle, and around them, Hearing the conditions put forth by the teachers from the Combat Academy and Magic Academy, the teachers from the Auxiliary Academy looked at each other with a somewhat difficult expression on their faces. These two guys, they put the conditions so high, they couldn't compete even if they spared no expense. It should be known that among the three major colleges of Yanlong University, the Auxiliary College, because of its own direction of development, although the resources under its control ranked first among the three major colleges, there was not a small gap between the teaching power in the combat college and the magic college. These two colleges, one where the dean personally takes on students, and one where all the teachers are on the same team, their auxiliary academy, right now, really didn't seem to have much to offer other than resources. What to do? The teachers of the auxiliary academy looked at each other with difficult expressions on their faces. Over the years, although the three major academies were on equal footing, because the auxiliary academies were not good at fighting, the students who chose to join them every year were of mixed quality, leaving them at the bottom of the list all the time. Now that there was a demon like Wang Chen in front of them, how could they not want to give up? But what conditions could be taken out that would attract Wang Duan? The teachers of the Auxiliary Academy were in a difficult position in their minds. But soon, they wouldn't have to be embarrassed. Buzz off! A strong force suddenly descended in the middle of the square. In the next second, the people surrounding Wang Chen's side had their bodies involuntarily pressed backward by a force. Immediately afterward, a figure appeared in front of everyone. Lord Provost? Seeing this figure appear, the teachers who were wondering hurriedly bowed and saluted, their faces filled with awe. Hearing the words of the people around him, Wang Dust, who was struggling with the situation, was also startled in his heart and hurriedly followed along. The Provost of Yanlong University was named Lin Feng, a super powerhouse whose strength had reached the eighth turn and who could cause the entire dragon kingdom to shake when he stomped his foot? How did such a great man suddenly appear? After greeting him respectfully, Wang Dust's sight quietly sized up the person. He only saw that Lin Feng had a country face, a gentle temperament, and was about 40 years old. And on the surface, he looked plain and ordinary, no different from an ordinary middle-aged uncle. While Wang Chen was observing, his line of sight suddenly met with a gaze that seemed to be smiling. Little guy, you've got a lot of guts, if you want to see it, you should see it openly and honestly. Covering it up is so petty. Provost Lin Feng looked at Wang Chen with a smile on his face, his tone somewhat playful. At those words, Wang Chen could not help but feel a little embarrassed. At this moment, he suddenly remembered that the giant beast Tsunami Moon Silver Wolf Cub rewarded by the school appeared to be the offspring of Provost Lord Lin Feng's beast pet. I gave the whistling Moon Silver Wolf to sit to you. The Provost Sama wouldn't be here to raise an offense, would he? Silently thinking in his heart. Wang Dust was embarrassed and a little apprehensive. Sure enough, in the next second, he heard Provost Lin Feng's smirking voice. To be able to give away the Divine Beast level whistling Moon Silver Wolf. Such a generous person is still the only one I've seen in my life. Provost Lin Feng looked at Wang Chen with playful eyes and said in a flat tone. Little one, would you like to worship me as your teacher? Ha, 
Upon hearing this, Wang Dust, who was about to think of some wording to put it off, couldn't help but freeze. A teacher? Something doesn't seem right about this unfolding. Below the ring, the teachers of the three major academies that had gathered couldn't help but have somewhat puzzled expressions on their faces when they saw Provost Lin Fong appear. The provost sits in the school and doesn't show up at all on weekdays when there's nothing going on. Why now? All of a sudden? Could it be that he also saw Wang Chen's talent and wanted to take him as a student? Thinking of a guess, the teachers of the three major academies all had some grudges in their hearts. An eighth turned powerhouse coming down to personally snatch someone. Which one of them could stand up to? It's over. Lord Provost himself is an eighth turn royal beast master profession. If he opens his mouth, I'm afraid that Wang Dust won't make any other choice at all. Right now. I only hope that Lord Provost will place Wang Chen in our combat academy to cultivate. Teacher Zhao was thinking grudgingly in her heart at the moment, her expression similar to that of a pissed off little daughter-in-law. But, would you like to be my teacher? Lin Fang's next words, however, were like a heavy bomb, directly causing him, as well as the teachers of the three major academies around him, to all be dumbfounded. A teacher? A strong eighth turner personally accepting a disciple? Still not a student, but a much closer mentor and disciple? The difference between accepting an apprentice and accepting a student is two words, but the meaning is a hundred thousand miles different. For a while, after teacher Zhao and everyone else was dumbfounded, an incomparable look of envy appeared in their eyes as they looked at Wang Chen. Wang Dust was, in this case, a direct step to heaven. At this moment, all he had to do was to nod his head, and he would be bound together with a strong eighth turner, sharing both honor and disgrace. And in the future, he was afraid that he would be able to walk horizontally in the dragon kingdom. While the crowd was shocked, waves of shock rose in Wang Chen's heart as well. An eighth turn powerhouse wants to take himself as a disciple? It made him feel a little dreamy. Am I that sought after? Although his mind had long been rock solid, he couldn't help but be skeptical at the moment. A strong man of the eighth turn, placed in the Dragon Kingdom, placed in the Blue Star was a top-notch battle force. Even in the battlefield of the heavens where the strongest people were rampant, it had a rather strong weight. What, you don't want to? On the opposite side. Provost Lin Fong looked at the somewhat dumbfounded Wang Chen and said with a smile, It seems that you, a giant imperial beast master, can't see me, an ordinary imperial beast master. No. At those words, Wang Chen hurriedly waved his hand to deny it. What a joke. This is an eighth turn powerhouse. Such a thick thigh. Hold it and go directly to the peak of life. Moreover, the provost was also an eighth turn powerhouse of the imperial beast master profession, and his specialty was a perfect match. Only a fool would refuse such a suitable master. Greetings, master. Wang Dust followed the good advice and respectfully gave Lin Fong a big salute as he had seen on TV. Good. Seeing this, Lin Fong smiled cheerfully and reached out to help Wang Chen up. Obviously receiving a good seedling was extremely exciting in his heart as well. Come directly to my office tomorrow. The old man is going to personally make a cultivation plan for you. Patting Wang Chen's shoulder, Lin Fong said with a smile on his face. As he spoke, he turned his head and glanced at Si Tuyu. Who was at the side, little girl? You indentured the old man's tsunami moon silver wolf. You are also considered to have a destiny with me. So come with this kid tomorrow. The words fell. The many surrounding teachers looked at Situyu with another wave of envy. Although Situyu didn't directly worship the provost like Wang Duan, even if he was just an ordinary student, he still called it a step up. And on the opposite side, Situyu was even more dumbfounded. Himself. This is becoming provost Sama's student too? Her face was full of disbelief. Thanks a lot teacher. It was only when Wang Duan kicked her that she reacted. Fine, fine. Don't forget to check in with me tomorrow. You too. Seeing this, Provost Lin Fong nodded and instructed Wang Chen to turn around and prepare to leave. However, at that moment, Combat Academy's teacher Zhao bravely stepped forward. Lord Provost, what academy do you think Wang Chen he will be attached to? Mr. Zhao asked with an expectant face. At that, before Lin Fong could say anything. The teachers from the other two major academies followed suit and came up. Just go to the auxiliary college. Your two colleges have had enough of a scene these past few years. You should always let the auxiliary college make a name for itself as well. Looking at the crowd that had gathered around him, Lin Fong said with a smile on his face, Ha, huh? going to an auxiliary college? Teacher Zhao and the others immediately wailed in their hearts at the words. Wang Chuan's talent was already superb. And now that he was personally taught by a strong man of the eighth turn, if he joined the auxiliary academy, wouldn't the Auxiliary Academy pressurize their Combat Academy and Magical Academy to not be able to raise their heads in the next three years of schooling? Thinking of what might happen in the future, Teacher Zhao from the Combat Academy and the beautiful teacher from the Magic Academy couldn't help but open their mouths to try to fight for it. However, before they could open their mouths, 
Several teachers from the Auxiliary Academy directly squeezed them to the back. Thank you, Lord Provost, several people said in unison, their faces smiling like flowers. This time, it's a real pick-me-up. All right, for the next matter of Wang Chan's entry into the Auxiliary Academy, you guys just follow the process. Seeing this, Lin Fong nodded and disappeared from the scene with a single movement of his feet. After he left, a few teachers from the Auxiliary Academy gave the surrounding competitors a smug look before directly flanking Wang Chen and sit to you as they left. The Auxiliary Academy is really trenchant. Standing in front of a luxurious villa, Wang Dust couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Before coming to Yanlon University, he had long heard that the Auxiliary College was the most financially strong among the three major branches, but he had not expected it to be as strong as this. He was directly given a single house as a dormitory in the middle of the living area where every inch of land was used. This villa had six floors and covered an area of more than a thousand square feet, with a garden in front and a fountain in the back. It was almost as if it was a small palace. How envious! As Wang Dust lamented, a sour voice sounded from the side. Situyu stood in front of her own dormitory door, her face filled with envy and jealousy. As the second on the freshman ranking list, Situyu's dormitory was right next to Wang Duan's, a small, separate two-story building. This treatment, compared to other freshmen, is naturally extremely luxurious, but, when this small building was placed next to Wang Chen's large villa, it instantly looked incredibly humble. Hey, want to come and visit my big villa? Seeing Situyu's envious face, Wang Chen couldn't help but tease her. Cut. No way. Situyu sniffed and skimmed his lips. However, she was not slow on her feet and ran to Wang Chen's side in a flash. This big villa, it looked more luxurious than her home. Looking at the mouthy Situyu, Wang Chen rolled his eyes. Today, it's going to take you a long way. As he spoke, he lowered his hand to the gate's doorstop. The next second, a mechanical beep sounded. Verification passed. Welcome home, Mr. Wang Duan. Upon entering the villa, Wang Dust realized that compared to the outside, the inside was even more luxurious to the extreme. A six-story villa with all the equipment for entertainment, rest and exercise. Even in the basement of the villa, a training ground was purposely expanded, which utilized space-folding technology, with an area sufficiently equivalent to a large soccer field. Even if Bing Ching manifested a fighting stance, he could still splash and roll around inside. Of course, besides these, what surprised Wang Chen the most was that a small concealment spell formation was arranged around the entire villa. As long as it was activated, the situation in the villa would be completely isolated from the outside world. Even if a seventh turn powerhouse wanted to probe, they would not be able to do so. And most importantly, this concealment spell formation did not require him to spend any resources at all, and would autonomously absorb the free magic power between heaven and earth to replenish its energy. That's convenient. In the future, with this concealment spell formation around, I won't have to worry about making too much noise. After testing the effect of the concealment spell formation, Wang Chen's eyes lit up and a satisfied smile appeared on his face. In the past two days, he also learned how noticeable the commotion he had made when he contracted the nine-tailed sky fox earlier was. After having this concealment spell formation in the future, the next time he contracted a beast pet, he wouldn't need to worry about causing any repercussions. Wang Chen, it always feels like you and I don't go to the same school. After strolling around the villa and re-entering, Situ Yu's expression was very ghostly. Compared to Wang Dust's large villa, her small two-story building was simply a small, broken house, complete defeat. If you're envious, you can move here. Anyway, it's not like we didn't live together when we were in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range. There are plenty of rooms here. Hearing Situ Yu's words, Wang Chen said in a somewhat casual tone. At those words, Situ Yu's face flushed red in a flash. This, this is not good. Can the beast mountain range be the same as in school? I, I'm going to head back and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Situyu stammered and turned to flee. Seeing this girl's figure disappear outside the door, Wang Chen shook his head. This girl, in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range all crammed into a treehouse. She's shy now? With some unexpected thoughts in his mind, he ordered the intelligent butler at the side to turn on the villa's concealment spell formation, and then brought Bing Ching and Crispy to the training ground in the basement, pushing the door open. Between spatial transitions, he arrived in a very wide field. The ground of the entire training ground was paved with extremely hard, highly magic-resistant lapis lazuli, and a millstone-sized white ball of light floated in the sky, providing illumination for the entire space. With this white ball of light in place, the entire space was as bright as day. Sweeping the surroundings, Wang Dust let the two little ones go to play and silently sat down on the ground, counting up his harvest. After going through the admission procedures of the Auxiliary Academy today, he received his reward for being the first-ranked freshman. Moreover, 
in order to reward him for joining. The Auxiliary Academy even directly doubled the rewarded credits and Secret Realm copy entry qualifications as well as materials. Right now, in his hands, excluding the credits he had spent in the past few days, the number of credits remaining was as high as 28,000. If this number of credits were known, I'm afraid they would be read with envy. Most of those seniors who had just entered their sophomore year had been busy in school for a year, and the credits they earned added up to less than a fraction of Wang Chen's. After briefly taking stock of his harvest, he took out two fist-sized crystals that emitted an extremely cold aura. This was none other than the S-ranked material in the first-ranked reward for freshmen, the cold ice marrow. At this moment, as this cold ice marrow appeared in the training ground, the temperature in the entire training ground began to plummet. Almost in the blink of an eye, the temperature dropped below zero. Seeing the commotion caused by these two pieces of cold ice marrow, Wang Chen's eyes shook a little. Worthy of being an S-class material, just the power overflowing from it has such a great impact on the surroundings. I really don't know how much of a boost Ice Qing will be able to get when she eats the cold ice marrow and completely absorbs the power inside. For a moment, he couldn't help but look forward in his heart. Woohoo! At the same time, attracted by the origin breath, little Ice Qing, who was spreading joy all over the field with Crispy, came up blearily. A pair of azure-colored beautiful eyes were filled with desire for the cold ice marrow. Obviously this little guy also knew that eating this cold ice marrow would give him a great boost. Eat up eat up. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen smiled and stroked the little guy's head before pushing the cold ice marrow over with an expectant face. Woohoo! The little guy politely said thank you, and with two little dragon claws grasping and gently throwing it, he dropped the cold ice marrow into his mouth. After eating, the little guy even barred his mouth with a look of reminiscence. Seeing this, Wang Dust couldn't help but chuckle a bit. What a greedy little guy. With that in mind, he held the nine-tailed sky fox crispy to the side and began to wait for Bing Ching to advance. At this moment, after eating the cold ice marrow, the azure color on the surface of Bing Ching's body became more and more intense, emitting a faint spiritual light. Just by looking at the azure colored light, Wang Chen could feel a dignified and vast aura. Obviously, the power deep within the bloodline was beginning to be stimulated by Bing Ching, and the ancestral divine beast extreme cold dragon was about to enter its next stage. Buzz off! Violent magic power began to surge, then converged towards the convergence on Bing Ching's body. In an instant, the tiny Bing Chung began to involuntarily display a fighting stance, and the five meter long behemoth appeared in the middle of the training ground. At the same time, the magical power that had gathered together formed an azure colored shroud of light on the surface of her body, wrapping her entire body. Above this light shield, a mysterious inscription loomed, emitting a mysterious and profound aura. Soon, under the watchful eyes of Wang Dust and the nine tailed heavenly fox Crispy, Bing Chung, who was surrounded by azure colored light and caught up in the advancement, had a new change, an ineffable and mysterious fluctuation slowly spread, and the azure-colored magic power that enveloped the surface of his body was little by little absorbed by Ice Qing's ponderous body. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen knew that Bing Qing's promotion this time would soon be over, only to see that at this moment, as the azure-colored magic dissipated, Bing Chang streamlined, beauty-filled body surfaced in front of him, the size of the body has become one meter larger than before, the claws and wings of the dragon have become even more hideous, and the horns hovering on the forehead are even thicker and bigger, just like a sword that wants to cut through the sky. What attracted the most attention was Bing Ching's brand new scales, which seemed to have azure-colored water waves flowing on its surface, flashing with a mysterious luster. Seeing this, while Ice Ching had not yet finished absorbing the gains from his advancement, Wang Chen's mind moved, and Ice Ching's brand new attribute information surfaced in front of his eyes. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold, the Ancient Overlord, nickname, Bing Chung. Sex, female, age, one month, juvenile, level, 40, rank, ancestral divine beast, talent, infinite growth, SSS, four dimensional attributes, strength 2200, wisdom 2200, physique 2200, agility 2200, without any buffs, equipment, props to enhance, skills, frost body, SSS, extreme cold breath, SSS, ice inferno, SSS, dragon might, SSS, frost fury, SSS, loyalty, 100. Equipment, none. Introduction, omitted. Ice Ching's four-dimensional attributes did not change compared to before, but this did not disappoint Wang Chen in the slightest. Instead, at this moment, his sight fell firmly on Ice Ching's skill block, and his eyes glowed slightly. New SSS rank skill, Frost Fury. Without any hesitation, Wang Dust directly tapped on Frost Fury's introduction. Frost Fury, SSS active attack skill, summoning a blizzard to attack the enemy, inflicting powerful ice damage as well as an additional freezing effect, note, the range of the Frost Fury's coverage is affected by the level of the Dragon of Extreme Cold, 
and the coverage is increased by 10 meters per level. Hiss. Seeing the introduction of this skill, Wang Dust couldn't help but suck in a breath. A large range attack skill with a cage range that was now 400 meters. This was definitely a godly skill for brushing monsters. When I see my master tomorrow, I must go amongst the secret copies to try out the power of this skill. Thinking expectantly in his heart, Wang Dust immediately checked his harvest. Bing Ching entered the youth stage at this moment. To say that the one who benefited the most was still him. The master. This is because the percentage of attributes that are fed back to the beast master grows with each increase in the growth stage of the beast pet. In youth, it goes straight up to 20%. The moment. As Wang Chen's mind moved, his attribute information surfaced before his eyes. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 40. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Identification Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Technique, C. Bloodthirsty Frenzy, B. Beast Pet Increase Technique, B. Power, 740 plus 530 points. Wisdom, 810 plus 100 points. Physique, 740 plus 350 points. Agility, 750 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350. At this moment, under the 20% attribute feedback of Bing Qing, not counting the equipment enhancement, Wang Dust's 4 dimensional attributes have all exceeded the 700 point mark and the highest wisdom is more than 800 points, with such a terrifying attribute, he now truly had the strength to compete with a third turn professional, I'm afraid that I don't need Bing Qing to make a move right now, I can directly defeat any level 73rd turn professional, once this little guy makes his move, it's estimated that only a 90 or even a 100 level 3 turn professional can resist, Wang Chen silently clenched his fists and felt the power among his body, his eyes shining, this wave of enhancement is not insignificant, it was important to realize that after a professional entered the third turn, they were already considered to have entered a new realm. In today's Blue Star, first and second turn professionals, collectively known as low-rank professionals, carried badges in the colors of black iron and bronze, and by the third and fourth turns, the professionals were considered to have ascended the ranks, and the badges on their bodies were replaced with silver badges. Just like how equipment's attribute information would be much stronger after entering the silver level. The strength of a professional entering the third turn had also changed drastically from before. This was because at this stage of the third turn, the professional would coalesce a silver body after the transfer. With each level, the attributes and skill points gained would be twice as much as before, and the increase in strength would be even greater. It was precisely because of this that when he was in the first middle school at that time, Wang Chen's unexpected sword slash that sent Zhou Zebo flying had caused such a big shock. It could be said that after the third turn, the professional would begin to officially transform into a transcendent being. From the third and fourth turn of the silver body, to the fifth and sixth turn of the heart of gold, to the seventh turn of the diamond will. At each stage, the strength gains were quite huge. Oh, Lord Kinky? While Wang Chen was excited about his elevation in his heart, a timid lowly voice suddenly rang in his ears. At those words his body stiffened and he looked up to lock horns with a pair of massive dragons. Bing Ching, you learned to talk so quickly? He said with some disbelief. When? Then, the Lord Ludli I brought seemed to be hard to putty. As her body returned to its usual state, little Bing Cheng flew onto Wang Chen's shoulder, her cute face carrying an expression of excitement. At first she stumbled over her words a bit, but eventually became more fluent. I am the dragon of extreme cold, and the dragon's peak is proud of the world. With ice clear before heaven, the little guy was bullishly bouncing around on his shoulder in an unbeatable manner. Upon seeing this scene, Wang Dust, who was rejoicing in his heart, couldn't help but have his expression freeze. Nice guy. What's all this? Feeling like this is still a problematic dragon lowly. If I had known, I wouldn't have let this little guy watch TV when he's not doing anything and learn some nonsense. Woohoo. Seeing her sister waving her hand there, the nine-tailed sky fox Crispy, who was lying in Wang Chen's arms, chirped enviously. Don't worry, don't worry. Soon it will be Crispy's turn for you to advance. Noticing the aggravation coming from the middle of the deed, Wang Chuan hastily soothed it. He he. Lord Kinky Lord Kinky, I'm going to go check my sister's body. After Little Ice Ching finished showing off, he swung his wings and grabbed Crispy and ran away in a puff of smoke. Soon the two little ones stopped at the corner of the training ground. Bing Ching ghostly stretched out his wings to keep Crisp out of the way. Quickly, quickly turn into human form so that my sister can have a good kangaroo. The little guy had an excited expression on his face, and his beautiful azure eyes were filled with anticipation amongst them. Not far. When Wine Dust heard the commotion coming from the corner, 
He couldn't help but hold his forehead and let out a long sigh. It always felt like, Bingqing the little guy grew crooked. Early the next morning, after Wang Chuan was called up by Sitiu to have breakfast, the two of them came to the middle of Yanlong University in company, in front of the teaching building that seemed to cut through the sky. Watching this teaching building from a close distance, both of them felt a rustic and heavy momentum, and the traces of knives and axes all over the surface made them feel as if they had smelled the flavor of blood and fire. It's magnificent. Standing underneath the school building, Wang Chen looked extremely hard to see the spiky top of the building, and at this moment, he couldn't help but feel how small he was. King Dust, I've heard that this building is not only the teaching building of our Yanlong University, but it's also one of our Dragon Kingdom's nine great artifacts of the state. The Yanlong Fortress, on the side, Sitiu said with an incomparably emotional expression on her face, her eyes filled with longing and yearning. Inferno Dragon Fortress, one of the Dragon Kingdom's nine national artifacts, it was a national weapon that had been created by gathering the blood of thousands of people during the dark era of the revival of the will of the heavens. It had stood in the battlefield of the heavens for hundreds of years, experiencing countless unimaginable battles. Its power was enough to easily kill any eighth turn professional, and it had a great power that was difficult to speculate. Until the Dragon Kingdom and Blue Star opened up in the battlefield of the heavens and gained a firm foothold amongst the 10,000 races, the Yanlong Fortress had been used as an underpinning, residing in the Yanlong University. While Wang Chen and Situ Yu were lamenting the grandeur of the Yanlong Fortress, a figure suddenly leaned over. You two students, you're here to see the Provost Sama, aren't you? The visitor was a man in his thirties, dressed in a straightened Zhongshan suit, and although his appearance was mediocre, his body exuded a strong aura if nothing else. Seeing this person, Wang Chen could not help but stare. Although it was only a little bit of breath, it gave him an extremely powerful sense of oppression. Even though sixth turn teachers from the three major academies that he had encountered in the square yesterday had not made him feel such a strong oppression, this was definitely a seventh turn, or even a terrifying eighth turn powerhouse. Good day, teacher. Wang Chen and Situ Yu hurriedly greeted him at his words, then looked curiously at the visitor. I wouldn't dare to be a teacher. You guys can just call me senior by. The man who called himself Senior White smiled and said, The provost's office is at the very top of the school building. Let me take you there. If it wasn't for me, you two wouldn't be able to get up there with the access you have. Senior White had a smile on his face, but after hearing his words Wang Chen couldn't help but have his body tighten. A seventh, or even eighth rotation powerhouse leading the way for himself? Your own master. So rehearsed? With that in mind, he hurriedly tugged Sit to you to thank Senior Bai. Thank you, Senior. That would be a pleasure. It's okay, I happen to be on my way. Hearing his words, Senior White waved his hand before turning around and signaling for them to follow. Soon. Wang Chen and Situ Yu were then led by Senior Bai to the outside of Provost Lin Feng's office. The door to the office was wide open, and Lin Feng was buried behind a wide desk, correcting mountains of documents. Arriving here, Senior White didn't even knock on the door and directly led the duo inside. Mr. Lin, I brought the people up for you by the way. Entering the office, Senior White extremely familiarly dragged a chair and sat down, and incidentally also took the teapot on the table and poured himself a cup of tea. Behind him, Wang Dust couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth when he saw the scene. It always feels like I, again, seem to have run into the big boys. By zitting, you kid is getting more and more licentious now. Seeing this, Lin Feng, who had heard the commotion and put down the papers in his hands, opened his mouth and cursed with a laugh. It's all because you taught me well, teacher. Senior White sat comfortably in his chair and sipped his tea, the expression on his face not at all amused. As he spoke, he pointed at Wang Chen and said to you. My being here doesn't affect your ability to talk about things with them, right? Never mind. Lin Feng waved his hand and turned his head to look at Wang Chen and said to you, This kid is the first student I took in my early years. He's considered to be your senior brother. In the future, you guys need to be closer. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen and said to you politely greeted each other, and the eyes that looked at senior by to the side brought with them vibrations. How could the duo not expect that the one who showed them the way would be the legendary figure in Yanlong University? By zitting? This was the youngest eight-turn powerhouse ever in the Dragon Kingdom, the idol that countless people had grown up worshipping. You didn't mention your identity to them before? Seeing Wang Chen in Situ Yu's appearance, Provost Lin Feng skimmed by Zitting. Hey, what's the point of saying such things myself? Bai Zitting smiled, enjoying the adoring eyes of both Wang Chen and Situ Yu. You boy. Hearing this, Lin Feng shook his head helplessly. Bai Zitting was his most outstanding student. Whether it was his talent or growth rate, it was superb. It's just this hangdog look that's a bit of a bummer. As he shook his head inside, Bai Zitting's eyes glanced curiously over Wang Chen. As teacher's second student, 
Are you interested in hanging out with me in the future, junior brother? As long as you follow me, I'll give you the best resources and countless enemies to fight. With the talent your brat showed before, staying at Yanlong University for three years is simply a waste. It's still the battlefield of the heavens that's more suitable for your advancement. Only through blood and fire can you shine brighter. I believe that in the midst of the war with the 10,000 races, your strength will increase by leaps and bounds, and perhaps in less than three years, you'll be able to step into the sixth turn. Bai Ziting dragged his chin and said with a sincere face, Ha, huh? to the battlefield of the heavens? Hearing Bai Ziting's words, Wang Chen touched his nose. The battlefield of the heavens was a place that countless young professionals aspired to in their hearts, and he was no exception. Seeing the extraterrestrial beings in battling with the 10,000 races of the heavens, each one of them is enough to make people less blood boil when they say it. But, isn't it a little early to go? Now that it was the 700 years since the revival of the will of the heavens, Blue Star had long since stabilized itself on the battlefield of the heavens, and the situation on the battlefield wasn't as scorching as it once was. Now entering the battlefield of the heavens, the countries of the blue planet had basically made restrictions to prevent some hot-blooded professionals from running to find death. Basically, any professional below the fourth turn was expressly forbidden from traveling to the battlefield of the heavens. He is only at the second turn now, and going to the battlefield of the heavens at this time, how do you look at it all seems like a suspicion of looking for death. For a while, Wang Chen could not help but hesitate in his heart. However, before he could think of anything, the provost, Lin Feng, who was sitting behind the desk, slapped the desk without any good humor. Bastard, you just came back and you're digging for me? I think you have itchy skin again. He glared at Bai Ziting, then his eyes fell on Wang Chen. You kid too, you just worshipped me yesterday, and today you're thinking of running away? The battlefield of the heavens is not something you can go to right now. Any monster you come across there has the strength of a fourth turn professional. If you go over there now, aren't you looking for death? Lin Feng smiled and cursed. Teacher can't say that. With me here, who can hurt senior brother Wang Chen? Hearing his words from the side, Bai Ziting said with some disbelief. Get out. I'm still planning to have Wang Chuan take back our Yanlong University's lost honor in the national freshman competition this year. So don't even think about poaching him from me. You kid. Lin Feng said without any good humor and waved his hand. A vast force appeared in the office, which instantly landed on by Zitting's body. Teacher you don't talk about martial arts. I can't believe I'm using the Inferno Dragon Fortress. In the next second, by Zitting's body disappeared in the office before he could finish his sentence. This, feeling the power that suddenly appeared in the office. A flash of shock instantly appeared on Wang Chen's face. This power was as vast as the sea, and feeling it up close, he felt as if he was a flatboat in the sea, in danger of capsizing at any moment. But the power came and went quickly. The next moment, the office was calm, as if nothing had happened. This is the power of the Inferno Dragon Fortress? Seeing that Bai Ziting had disappeared from the office, Wang Chen's eyes couldn't help but vibrate. A strong eighth turner, in front of this force, unexpectedly did not even have the slightest power to resist. There, you two remember this for me. It's forbidden to fool around with this Bai Ziting guy before the fifth turn. After doing this, Lin Feng, who had a breezy expression on his face, turned his head to look at Wang Chen and said to you, this kid is born to be a killing star, don't look at what he's telling you right now, if you really run with him to the battlefield of the heavens, you'll definitely fall into endless dangers, and don't believe his bullshit, what resources can he provide, if this kid wasn't so poor that he was about to pawn his pants, he wouldn't have suddenly returned from the battlefield of the heavens today, Lin Feng said with a somewhat helpless expression, at those words, the corner of Wang Chen's mouth twitched, hearing his master say that, he always felt that Senior White had a look of not being very trustworthy. Hiss, childhood idols, it seems, are broken. Remember, stay away from your senior brother until the fifth turn. Seeing Wang Chen and Situ Yu standing in place a bit dumbfounded, Lin Feng gave another uneasy command. Then, he waved his hand and took out two boxes and set them on the table. This is the meat and greed gift I prepared for you guys. So don't be like that asshole and say I'm petty behind my back every day in the future. Don't dare. Hearing Lin Feng's words, Wang Duan and Situ Yu hurriedly shook their heads. What a joke. Talking about an eighth turn powerhouse behind their backs, they didn't have the same strength as Bai Ziting. Seeing the two of them, Lin Feng couldn't help but let out a laugh. Ha ha, don't be so formal in my place you two. Take a look. Do these two things fit your fancy? Thank you teacher. Thank you, master. Upon hearing this Wang Chan and Situ Yu respectfully thanked him and went forward to pick up their respective gifts from the desk. The box in Wang Chan's hand contained a full body armor which was dark yellow in color and emitted a strong power fluctuation. The full body armor had long been appraised, and Wang Dust saw its attributes at a glance. Equipment, Earth War Armor. Type, 
Defense. Grade. Diamond. Level limit. 40. Attributes. Strength plus 200. Physique plus 200. Enchanted effects. I. 30% damage reduction each time you take an attack. 2. The power of all of your own skills is increased by 10%. 3. Comes with the skill immovable as a mountain. Doubles defense when activated. Immune to knockback and stiffness. While standing with both feet on the earth. Increasing one's recovery speed by 50%. Diamond equipment? Seeing the information about the earth battle armor. Wang Dust's hand trembled and he almost threw the box out. This, a meet and greet, is simply too expensive. In today's blue star, the price of a diamond grade equipment was at least 5 billion gold coins or more. And most importantly, the earth battle armor's wearing restriction was only level 40. And based on that alone, its price would at least double again. Master, this, for a moment, his hands clutched the box tightly as Wang Chen's eyes shook as he looked at Lin Feng, giving away tens of billions of dollars worth of equipment out of the blue. This master is hard to get. And on the side, the expression on Situ Yu's face was the same. The meet and greet gift she received was a longbow, which was emerald green in color and exuded the aura of life. Even if he didn't see the attributes, Wang Dust knew that this was definitely a diamond grade equipment as well. This was because the material of this longbow was most likely an extremely precious branch of the tree of life. No harm done. This much is but a drop in the bucket for me. Seeing Wang Chan in Situ Yu's appearance, Lin Feng waved his hand, looking unconcerned. As he spoke, he suddenly reached out and pointed at Sit to you. My own profession is a royal beast master, and I don't have much dabbling in the blast archer profession, so I can usually only rely on my own experience to point you in the right direction. Earlier, a teacher of the sixth turn archer profession from the auxiliary academy and I made a plan for your cultivation, so in a moment you'll report to that teacher, and he'll arrange your cultivation for the next period of time. Yes, teacher, hearing Lin Feng's words, Sit to you respectfully thanked him. Then she gave Wang Chen a reluctant glance before opening her mouth to leave. When Si Tuyu left, Lin Fang's gaze resettled on Wang Chen. Kid, about your cultivation plan, it made the old man lose a lot of hair. Looking at Wang Chen, Lin Fang said smilingly, Thank you, master. Knowing that the meat of the show was coming, Wang Dust's eyes couldn't help but light up. I haven't even talked to you about the specifics of the cultivation program yet, and you kids are saying thank you first? And a little slick, too. At those words, Lin Feng was a bit dumbfounded, and next he didn't dawdle. He directly flung his hand and threw a document to Wang Chen, because the national freshman competition is just around the corner. So for now, I've only formulated a cultivation plan for you for the next month, so you'll start training from tomorrow onwards, following the programs on the plan, catching the document. Wang Duan nodded. However, at this moment, he didn't check it out. Instead, his eyes burned as he looked towards his master, Lin Feng. He was interested in the National Freshman Scramble. Seeing this, Lin Feng smiled and then spoke. The National Freshman Competition is an annual event between our major schools and the Dragon Kingdom competing on the same stage. Those who are able to compete in the National Freshman Scramble are the top geniuses in the freshman year of each major school, representing not only themselves, but also the school's ability to nurture them during the month of enrollment behind them. That's why every year after the National Freshman Scramble, the state ranks each year's colleges and universities based on where the major schools placed in the tournament and puts in different resources based on the rankings. In last year's freshman competition, our Yanlong University was defeated by Hua Cheng and was taken away from the top spot for five consecutive years. For this year's tournament, the playing roster hasn't been finalized yet, but you definitely have a spot on it. After a pause, Lin Feng continued, I don't expect much from you, just casually blow away the participants from Hua Cheng University and win a championship back. Ha! Huh? At those words, Wang Chen was a bit confused, and the corners of his mouth twitched a bit. Winning the championship? That's not too much to ask? Master, how casual are you talking about this? What? You have no confidence? Seeing Wang Chen's appearance, Lin Feng raised his eyebrows. Yes, in the office, when he heard Lin Feng's words, Wang Chen stood up straight, and a steaming battle intent rose in his eyes. Good. At those words Lin Feng nodded in satisfaction. It's good that you have this confidence then don't slack off for the next month. Because of this year's expansion, the format of the National Freshman Scrimmage has been changed, and there will be a larger number of students competing in more competition. Aha! Uh -huh. Wang Dust nodded, then a touch of doubt appeared on his face. Master, this year's expansion of the major schools, is there some hidden agenda in it? Enrollment in major schools has fluctuated within a fixed range every year since the previous high school entrance exams. An expansion, in the 600 years since the high school entrance exams were restarted, can be counted on one hand for the number of times it has occurred. Now on the internet, a lot of netizens are thinking about this expansion as a harbinger of the war to come. 
After all, the last expansion was 150 years ago, and that year, the Blood Race, which ranked in the top 100 amongst the 10,000 races, led its vassal races and declared war on Blue Star in the battlefield of the heavens. The grueling war lasted for 10 years, and tens of millions of Blue Star's professionals died before the Blood Clan and its vassal races were repelled. It was also because of this battle that the Blue Star rankings entered the top 100 amongst the 10,000 races for the first time, ushering in the peace that followed for these hundred years. Could this expansion really be a sign of the rise of the Great War? H.M. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Lin Fong nodded. The situation on the battlefield of the heavens has been a bit uneventful these past few years. At those words, Wang Chen's expression couldn't help but become serious. His master's words confirmed his suspicions, which made his mood a little heavy. Regardless of the world in which it is placed, wars are cruel and are accompanied by the loss of countless lives and the shattering of countless families. Although he had not lived in the war-torn era, what he learned from books from textbooks was enough to make Wang Dust feel shocked. Come on, this kind of thing is not for a little guy like you to care about. Seeing Wang Chen's heavy expression, Lin Feng smiled and said, It's just a rainy day now, and the situation isn't like it was over a hundred years ago, and the war won't burn on our soil. Hmm. At those words Wang Dust couldn't help but have his pupils shrink. The war won't burn on home soil? Is it, say, a foreign war? Among the 10,000 races of the heavens, the number of races hostile to the Blue Star human race was quite large, and it was unknown which race would be the one that Blue Star declared war on this time? With that in mind, Wang Chen looked at his master with searching eyes. However, Lin Feng didn't continue this topic. These things are still too far away from you. Knowing too much won't do you any good. You'd better work on improving your strength for the rest of your time. After all, the National Freshman Competition is your most pressing goal at the moment. These are the three a rank skills I picked for you in the school's treasure trove. Take them back and comprehend them. Okay, master. Wang Dust nodded as he took the skill book. Indeed, just as Lin Feng had said, this kind of war that would take place in the battlefield of the heavens was indeed very far away from him. In the midst of a war of this intensity, a fourth turned professional would only have the qualifications to join in and become a pawn. The real main battle force was still those 7th, 8th, or even 9th turn powerhouses. He was now a little munchkin who had just turned 2, and caring about these things was just too far away. Next, seeing that Master had nothing else to explain, Wang Dust wisely opened his mouth to leave. After all, as the provost of Yanlong University, Lin Foam had a ridiculously large number of affairs to manage every day, and just by looking at the piles of documents on his desk, one could tell how heavy his daily workload was. If it wasn't for the transcendent achievements of the eight-turn strong body, this amount of work would have exhausted people to death. Back at the dorm, Wang Dust placed the three skill books selected by Master on the table. Full Moon Slash, a consumes magic to slash a sharp sword aura with its own armor-breaking effect, dealing massive damage to the enemy. Electric Light Steps, it increases movement speed by 50%, and a layer of streaming light envelopes the surface of the body when used, confusing the enemy's vision. Stored Power Strike, a after a short period of storing up power a more powerful attack erupts. Seeing these three skills, Wang Dust couldn't help but shake his head, his expression a little tearful. Master, is this an attempt to make me walk down the path of melee combat? The three skills were all of the melee profession type, and Lin Feng's intention was obvious. That was to let Wang Chen develop towards melee combat. After all, the two beast pets currently contracted by Wang Chen, whether it was the extreme cold dragon ice chain or the nine-tailed sky fox crispy, in the eyes of outsiders, both possessed extremely powerful magical powers with strong long-range attacks. Lin Feng had arranged it this way because he intended to make up for Wang Chen's current shortcomings, so that he would have a stronger ability to defend himself when he encountered an enemy's close quarters attack. Have to say, Master's arrangement was just what Wang Chen wanted. He preferred rushing to the front and fighting side by side with his beast pet than standing behind it and releasing skills. Sure enough, Master understands me. Wang Dust shook his head and smiled, directly choosing to learn the three skill books. In an instant, three streams of light did not enter his body, and arcane knowledge began to be grasped by him. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 40. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Technique, C, Bloodthirsty Frenzy, B, Beast Favorite Increase Technique, B, Circular Moon Chop, A, Electric Light Steps, A, Stored Power Strike, A, Power, 740 plus 630 points, Wisdom, 810 plus 100 points, Physique, 740 plus 450 points, Agility, 750 plus 5 plus 250 points, 
Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 350. Looking at his brand new skill bar, Wang Xuan thought for a moment and then placed his unallocated skill points on the round moon slash and electric lightning steps respectively. The total level of A-class skills was 10. And each level up required the consumption of 50 skill points. With 350 skill points invested, the round moon slash and electric lightning steps were upgraded to level 5 and level 4 respectively. There aren't nearly enough skill points to go around. Looking at the skill points that he then revert to zero eggs, Wang Dust scratched his head. Just by upgrading two skills, the skill points he had saved up for so long were depleted. Looking at the skill bar, there were still numerous skills waiting to be owed. Wang Dust rubbed his nose and thought, the way to obtain skill points, in addition to each upgrade of the professional, is to pass through the secret copies. It seems that in the next period of time, in addition to completing the cultivation plan set by my master, I'm afraid I'll have to stay in the middle of the secret realm copy for a long time. If anything, rate a list of the most lively locations in Yanlong University. The secret copy hall, then, is definitely high on the list. Secret realm copies, as a special product since the revival of the will of the heavens, had always been the first choice for professionals to improve their strength. Passing through the secret copies will not only reward you with equipment materials, but also a large amount of experience value, as well as free skill points and free attribute points. Equipment and materials, for professionals who are not poor, may cost money to buy, but experience value, and free attribute points and free skill points, that's something that money can't even buy. Every aspiring professional who wanted to strike stronger would do their best, to clear the secret realm copies, in the hope of giving themselves more attributes, and more powerful skills than other professionals at the same level. The moment, the secret copy hall of Yanlong University was abuzz with people, the sophomores and juniors who stayed in school, and the freshmen who obtained the qualification to enter the secret copy almost crowded the wide hall. Even now, when the time has just reached 8 o'clock, there are already several long lines in front of the service counter in the lobby. This year's freshmen are crazy. It's only the second day of the freshman ranking battle, and all of them have swarmed to the secret realm replica hall? Don't they know that there are a lot of interesting places in our Yanlong University? Shouldn't they be the ones to go and punch in first? In the middle of the long queue, many sophomore veterans, looking at those still somewhat youthful faces in the queue, had a somewhat speechless expression on their faces. Ugh, it's not that they're feeling the pressure. Among the freshmen this year, there is a demon like Wang Chen. If they don't put in some effort, I'm afraid that before their freshman year is over, they won't even be able to catch up with others' backs. Among the crowd, some of the older students who knew the details couldn't help but open their mouths and explain to the people around them. Wang Duan? That's the little guy who broke the white god's clearance record? I heard that he easily crushed the other provincial scholars in the ring afterward, and got first place without dispute? Upon hearing this, some of the older students who weren't at the school on the day of the freshman ranking battle asked curiously, that's right that's right, it's that demon, originally, I used to think that the clearance record set down by the white god was impressive enough, but it turns out that this kid, directly compressed the clearance time to within 4 minutes, now, I'm afraid that future freshmen will be in despair when they enroll, who can break the score? I feel that I'm afraid Wang Chen will have the strength to enter the ranking of excellence before the end of his freshman year. Those veteran students who had watched the freshman ranking battle from beginning to end couldn't help but be a good teacher at this moment, recounting the scene of that day to their confused peers around them. Cut. Making the list of excellence during your freshman year? When they heard someone say that Wang Chen was able to enter the ranking of excellence during his freshman year, a few people among the queue immediately skimmed their mouths in disbelief. You guys are really daring. Those who can enter the list of excellence. Those are the 20 strongest among the students who stay in our Yanlong University. Even if he, Wang Chuan, behaves in a demonic manner now, it's impossible during his freshman year. Someone shook his head disdainfully and said in a sarcastic tone. His words caused a part of the crowd to follow him. That's right, even as strong as the white god. It was only when he entered his sophomore year that he hit the middle of the list of excellence. He, Wang Chen, has only broken a small record of the white god, and he's on the verge of being blown sky high by you guys. Believe it or not, if he stands in front of me right now, I can teach him to be a man with one hand, a stout body as if a tyrannical bear-like sophomore, at this moment spoke out to agree, between words he rolled up his sleeves, revealing as if granite-like muscles, many of the old students who had been chasing Wang Chen earlier all closed their mouths at the words and did not retort, this person's name was Yen Liang, a sophomore veteran, although he was still quite far away from the list of excellence, his strength was also ranked at the top of the sophomore ranks, reaching the third turn of the 80th level, seeing that no one around him spoke, Yen Liang sneered, satisfied, stretching his sleeves flat and standing back in the middle of the queue, a tiny freshman, even if he was strong, 
at best he was just two turns out, not even in his eyes. At that moment, a sudden commotion came from the back of the long line. Wang Chen is here? This is Wang Duan. It's really as handsome as among the rumors. I really don't know how he grew this face. I want to go up and touch it. A figure stepped into the secret hall. His slender body coupled with his handsome face drew the eyes of many girls in the secret hall to glow and whisper. Hearing these voices, Yen Liang frowned and looked toward the back, a flash of envy in his eyes. What a bunch of shallow women. What's the use of being handsome? Can I eat it? It's the age of the professional. And it's only useful to be strong. Just after walking into the secret realm replica hall, Wang Dust was almost toppled by the hustle and bustle inside. No wonder Master specifically mentioned in his cultivation plan that the earlier you come to the secret realm replica hall every day, the better. Sweeping over the long queue around him, he felt some emotion in his heart. Originally, today, he had even gotten up early enough to leave his dormitory before 8 o'clock. As a result, the line to get here so early was out the door. This would have been a little later. He felt that it was questionable whether or not he would be able to enter the secret copy before noon. As expected of a top university, the atmosphere of the school is different. With that in mind, he silently walked behind a queue. Wang Duan? Just then, a petite schoolmate at the front of the group suddenly waved her hand at him and greeted him warmly. Come to school sister's place. I happen to have something to do, and I won't be able to enter the mystic realm copy for a while. Hmm. Upon hearing this, looking at his schoolmate with glowing eyes, Wang Chen touched his nose somewhat awkwardly. What era is this? Sister, you seem to be a bit outdated in your way of hitting on people. However, to be able to enter the secret realm copy earlier, Wang Dust wouldn't refuse. Thank you, sister. He walked over and politely thanked his schoolmate. It's okay. Schoolboy can we add a friend? After changing places with Wang Dust, the petite girl boldly asked. Yes. Nodding, Wang Dust opened his data wristwatch. As the high-tech equipment equipped by Yanlong University, the data wristwatch was extremely powerful, and chatting and adding friends and whatnot did not matter at all. Then, I wish you a good grade in the secret realm copy. Schoolmate, with her purpose accomplished, the girl contentedly waved her hand at Wang Chen and bounced away. Instead, as the school teacher left, it was as if her behavior had flipped some kind of switch. For a while, many of the girls in the queue had all extended invitations to Wang Chen. Soon, he then came from the back of the line, to the very front, in the hall of the secret replica of Yanlong University. The many freshmen who were quietly lining up, as well as the older sophomores and juniors, watched as Wang Duan overtook himself lightning fast from the very back end of the line, having been attentively given a spot by a girl. Mentally, it's like a day in the life. What's the use of being handsome? Strength is king among professionals. I don't know how many people, in their hearts, sourly belabored it. In the crowd, the tall Yen Liang, looking at the surrounding girls whose faces were slightly red and whose eyes couldn't wait to be glued to Wang Chuan, even more so, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. Usually these girls put on a high and mighty air. An old man loves to talk to them when he takes the initiative to talk to them. Now when they see a white boy, they all become like nymphomaniacs. He couldn't help but be sour. Beside him, a fellow sophomore senior couldn't help but glance at him before silently taking a step backward. Don't you have any idea why they don't care about you with that square face of yours? Ha! Huh? The man sneered. Then his eyes looked enviously at the slender figure at the front of the crowd. How nice it would be for me to be half as handsome as this guy. After adding more than 10 schoolmates friends and waiting for more than 2 minutes, Wang Duan finally stood in front of the service counter in the hall. Senior brother Wang Chen, which secret realm copy are you planning to enter? Behind the service counter, a sophomore sister asked with a warm smile on her face. Hmm, seeing this schoolmate, Wang Chen could not help but stare. What? The person in charge of registration isn't a school teacher? It seems like you don't pay much attention to the school's quest hall. Doing quests in the middle of the school is also a way for us to earn credits. As if sensing his doubts, the schoolmate smiled and explained. Then her eyes fixedly looked at Wang Chen. Oh, I'm going into the dark wilderness. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded and handed over his data wristwatch. Before he came, he had made preparations in advance. And the total number of silver level secret copies that Yen Long University had opened to students was 20. Among them, Dark Wilderness is the easiest one, which is extremely suitable for freshmen. Wang Dust intended to take the secret copy first and test the waters. Taking over the wristwatch, the sophomore schoolmate operated the instrument at hand while opening her mouth to remind her. Senior Wang Chen, pay attention. The Secret Realm's pass reward is based on a combination of the length of your pass and your performance score. If you're not happy with your final score, you can quit and re-enter. This way, it doesn't affect the rewards you'll get for the final pass. Hearing his senior sister's words, Wang Duan politely nodded his head and said thank you. 
The rewards for clearing the secret realm copy were only the most generous for the first time, and after that, every time you cleared the secret realm copy, you would only be able to obtain the most basic rewards. So many people, when they enter the secret copy, they make a lot of preparations in advance to maximize their benefits in the secret copy. Alright, schoolmate Wang Chuan, the dark wilderness is a silver level copy, and you can enter for free with your permission. So far, in addition to the silver level copies, there are still 15 gold level secret world copy entry opportunities left among your permissions. After the sophomore sister had operated it, she handed the data wristwatch to Wang Duan with an envious face. Free access to silver level copies, a privilege only available to the top rankers of each grade. Like them, if they wanted to enter a silver level copy once, they would have to spend a hundred credits each time. Thank you, sister. Receiving the data wristwatch, Wang Chen nodded gently. Then without hesitation, he directly walked towards the spatial teleportation portal next to the service desk. You have successfully entered the secret world dark wasteland. Level of the secret realm copy, silver level. Difficulty of the secret realm copy, hell level. Access level, level 40 or above can enter. Number of persons admitted, single. The return scroll has been issued automatically. If you encounter danger, tear open the scroll and you will be immediately teleported out of the secret copy. In the midst of the heavenly rotation, when Wang Chen's feet stepped on the ground again, the prompt of the secret copy sounded in his ears. After listening to the introduction, Wang Dust did not immediately choose to act, but instead turned his head and looked around. The place where he was at the moment was a wilderness covered in night. Under the dim moonlight, one could see a crisscrossing gully remaining on the wasteland ground, as well as fragmented armor and blades. While Wang Dust was observing his surroundings, eroded by the dark breath, the challenger's full attributes dropped by 10%. Eroded by the darkness, the challenger's ability to recover is weakened by 10%. The beeps of the secret copy sounded one after another again. Two diminished states? Noticing that his body had become a bit heavy, Wang Dust muttered. Not surprised by this. Starting from the silver level secret copy, the challenger has to face opponents that are not only the monsters in the secret copy itself, but also the special environment in the copy. Bing Ching, Crispy, get ready to come out and work. After moving his arms and legs a few times, he summoned the two little ones out of the beast pet space. My foolish Lord Kinky, begging for my power again? Just after flying out of the beast pet space, Bing Chang landed on Wang Chuan's shoulder, her little head held high with an unbeatable look. Woohoo! On the other shoulder, the nine-tailed sky fox, Crispy, followed suit and danced her tail. Air, at those words, Wang Chen sighed. It's master, not master Kinky, patting Bing Ching's little head, he said with a serious face. Bing Ching was eloquent when she said other things, but every time she called him by his name, she always called him the wrong way. It wouldn't hurt if it was just the two of them, but if others heard, Wang Dust felt that he was afraid that he was going to die socially. Just as he was lecturing Bing Ching, roar, a hoarse growl suddenly rang out across the wasteland. Click, 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 immediately following the sound of bones rubbing together, a skeleton burrowed out of the gully-covered ground. Skeleton Warrior Monsters that are unique to the Dark Wasteland Secret World Replica. Wang Dust chose the Secret Realm copy, in addition to wanting to test the waters, he also had the intention to grow long. After all, in the real world, while wild monsters were rampant in the area outside the city, there was not a single creature of the undead clan, because these guys, being dependent on the dead air, would cause irreparable damage to the real world once they gathered a considerable number. So any undead one monsters appearing in the real world are immediately swept clean. In the meantime, the appearance of the skeleton warrior instantly attracted Bing Ching's attention. Ace Flying Dragon requests battle. She waved her little dragon claw excitedly. Click, click, click. The sound of bones rubbing together resounded continuously in the eerie wasteland. In the middle of Wang Dust and the two little one's vision, one skeleton warrior after another burrowed out of the dirt. They righted their skeletons a little, moving the morose white war blades in their hands, their empty eyes gazing lifelessly at the humans who had intruded into the wasteland. Within the range of vision, the number of these skeleton warriors was so densely packed that no borders could be seen at all. And in addition to the skeletal warriors, eight even more hideous monsters surfaced amongst the darkness. They were shrouded in black battle armor, their morose white hand bones gripping two meter long lances, and riding on their hips were bloodied and mutilated warhorses. Death Knight, seeing these guys appear, Wang Dust's eyes grew brighter. Among the undead, Death Knights were in existence that ranked higher than skeleton warriors. Each of these guys was a once powerful professional transformed after death, and after resurrection, they not only gained the favor of the power of death, but also retained a certain amount of pre-birth fighting instincts, strength, to be quite a bit stronger than monsters of the same level. Finally a few opponents who can look good, 
Wang Chuan looked at the densely packed skeleton army around him, and a flash of excitement appeared in his eyes, then without hesitation, he released a scrying technique, monster, skeleton warrior, level, 40, fighting style, melee attack, skills, death infestation, decapitation, type, undead, monster, death knight, level, 50, fighting style, melee, skills, death charge, lance strike, war horse trample, undead battle cry, type, undead, seeing the information that came back from the scrying technique, Wang Chan's eyes grew brighter and brighter, it had to be said that the dark wasteland was worthy of being a silver level secret copy, and the first wave of monsters that appeared in hell difficulty was quite strong, especially those eight death knights, with all their strength, I'm afraid that they are not weaker than professionals of the same level, while Wang Chuan was observing these monsters, the skeleton warriors that were thoroughly arrayed in formation had morose white flames rising from amongst their empty eye sockets. A cold and evil line of sight instantly landed on Wang Chen's body. Outsiders, die. Immediately after that, the eight death knights located behind the skeleton warriors let out horse growls from their mouths at this moment, and the lances in their hands swung forward without hesitation. Knock knock. In an instant, the densely packed skeleton warriors, numbering more than a thousand, were like a tidal wave as they charged towards Wang Dust. Seeing this scene, a flash of excitement rose on Wang Chen's face. Little ones, it's on. Greeting Bing Ching and Crispy, he stepped out in large strides without hesitation and directly launched a counter charge towards the charging skeleton warriors. Whoosh. With a strong burst of power, his body rushed out as if it was a cannonball, instantly colliding with the skeleton warrior. Wow. The first skeleton warrior didn't even react and was directly smashed into the sky by Wang Dust's combined body. In the next second, the sawtooth longsword was swung sharply and the surrounding skeleton warriors that surrounded up were cut down at the waist. In just the blink of an eye, Wang Dust had killed six skeleton warriors. However this battle record, which was enough to cause a tremor, at the moment looked somewhat powerless under the performance of the two little ones. Only on the side, Bing Chang, who was displaying a fighting state, was seen flying in midair with his six meter long dragon body. The two powerful wings swung, and the gusts of wind they brought up then shook the charging up skeleton warriors. At the same time, a blue-colored magical blow lit up in her mouth. Whoosh! An azure-colored energy mass shot out, instantly striking the ground below, only to see the skeleton warriors swarming below. Their movements came to a standstill in an instant, and a layer of azure-colored cold ice surfaced on the ground covered with gullies. Click! 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 The cold ice spread rapidly and soon enveloped the ground in a 30-meter radius, turning the place into a world of ice and snow. Wow! In the next second, the skeletal warriors that were situated on the cold ice ground turned into the tiniest crumbs of disintegration as if they were piled up with grains of sand. With just one strike, the number of skeleton warriors killed by Bing Ching was over a hundred. On the other side, Crispy was equally unwilling to show any weakness, as her peach pink aura enveloped tens of meters in a radius, and hundreds of skeleton warriors began to frantically fight amongst themselves. Soon, the number of the thousands of charging skeleton warriors began to plummet. Seeing this scene, a flash of helplessness flashed across Wang Chen's eyes. The beast pet was so powerful that it appeared that he, the master, was somewhat dispensable. You two little fellows, you don't give master me a chance to show off at all. With that in mind, Wang Dust twisted his head and his sight locked onto a death knight in the rear. Without the slightest hesitation, he ran quickly, chopping up a skeleton warrior that stood in front of him and running wildly towards the death knight. Whoosh! When there was no longer an obstacle between him and the death knight, he moved his feet and his body flew out like a cannonball. Instant sword. In the next second, he arrived directly in front of the death knight, and the sawtooth longsword in his hand chopped heavily downwards. Humans, die. Looking at the human who rushed in front of him, a horse growl came out of the death knight's mouth, and the lance in his hand stabbed out with the same lack of hesitation. When, the two weapons instantly collided together, emitting the sound of gold and iron striking each other and the intersection of the collision was even more visible to the naked eye as waves of air surged. After the collision, Wang Chen's body that was in mid-air lurched, while the opposite Death Knight's figure was significantly shorter. The warhorse at its crotch hissed, and its two front legs directly snapped, and it wasn't just that, only to see the Death Knight's arm that was holding the lance, the morose white bones crumbling by inches. Bang! In the next second, the two-meter-long lance fell to the ground along with the bone fragments. With a single strike, it revealed Wang Chen's terrifying power at this moment. Even a monster whose level was 10 levels higher than his could not resist in a head-on collision. Humans, die. Mori white flames danced in the hollow eyes of the Death Knight, and a sound wave-like substance spread between the opening and closing of his mouth. The undead war cry. However, Wang Chen's speed was indeed faster. Before the Death Knight's skill could be issued, 
He stopped his foot in the air and his body shot out violently against the norm. Instant sword effect. Two strikes. Swish. The longsword slashed across the Death Knight's neck and shin, and a head shot up into the sky. Puff. As the Death Knight's head fell to the ground, the morose white flames in his empty eye sockets were extinguished, then casually finishing off the warhorse with a sword. Wine Dust looked around with a face full of wariness. Just get ready to go to the remaining Death Knights and have a good fight. But, just as he turned his head, he was dumbfounded. No, the wilderness that appeared in Wang Chuan's eyes at the moment was empty, and the earth was full of broken bone fragments. As far as the eye could see, there wasn't even a single vertical thing except for the two guys, ice clear and crisp. You too, can't you save one for me? Looking at the wretched scene around him, Wang Dust opened his mouth and sighed helplessly. Master, you'll be the pendant on my thigh from now on. I'll be in charge of charging and fighting, and you'll be in charge of waving my flag at the back. Bing Ching swung his wings to come in front of Wang Chuan, and his azure dragon eyes were filled with excitement among them. Master, in your words, isn't your behavior like this called eating soft food? As he spoke, the little guy probed his head and rubbed against it, almost rubbing Wang Duan on his heels. Blah blah blah, don't be ridiculous. Reaching out to press down on the quirky Bing Chang, Wang Chen's expression was extremely speechless. Your master I have a good stomach. Besides, you can't even transform right now, and Crispy is more qualified to say that than you are. Patting Ice Clear's head in a no-nonsense manner, he scooped up Crisp, who had jumped up on the side, in his arms. Yada yada yada. Master I'm angry. How dare you discriminate against my perfect dragon body. Bing Ching instantly quit upon hearing this, and with a head shake, she got rid of Wang Chen's restraints. I won't leave a single monster for you in the next fight. The little guy grunted in exasperation, and with a wave of his wings, he flew towards the depths of the wasteland. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust shook his head helplessly and hurriedly took a step to follow. Outside, the secret copy hall. School brother Wang Chuan is entering the silver level secret realm copy dark wasteland this time. In this copy, the enemies faced are all undead creatures. Those oozing looking skeletons. Hokage is really brave. The first secret copy of the challenge is of such a netherworldly type. It's eerie and super creepy in there. The last time I entered. I was so scared I slept with the lights on at night for days. A burst of crisp voices rang out in the hall, and many of the girls could not help but discuss the information about the copy that Wang Duan had challenged. Especially, when they heard that Wang Chen's challenge was Dark Wasteland, a few girls' faces turned white. The second wave of monsters in the replica, are walkers, they appear in random locations. The old, the last time this girl entered, there was another walker that came straight out from the side of my foot and grabbed my leg. I hope that schoolmate Wang Chen won't be subjected to such a nightmarish experience, if he's frightened. I can only comfort him with my broad chest. Che, how could schoolboy be intimidated by a mere undead monster? He'll definitely be able to set another new clearance record this time. The girls in the hall were talking, and some were even in favor of Wang Chen. Being able to set a new clearance record, hearing the surrounding discussion, the male comrades waiting here, one of them had an incomparable taste in their hearts. Two, enviable. Bah. It's simply impossible for him, a freshman who just leveled up at 40, to break the Dark Wasteland's clearance record. Yan Liang, who was a little red-eyed with envy, couldn't help but raise his voice as he listened to the chatter around him. The record for clearing the Dark Wasteland is 9 minutes and 60 seconds, set by a senior at level 65 back then. His profession is a holy light mage, which naturally restrains undead creatures, and that's why he was able to create such a terrifying score that hasn't been broken for decades. It was even when the white god was in his freshman year that he didn't manage to set a new record for clearing the dark wasteland. Wang Chen He, it's simply impossible. Yen Liang swept around and said in a decisive tone. Hearing his words, many of the people around him nodded their heads with expressions of approval on their faces. Indeed, holy light mages skyrocketed the undead, and at the same level, holy light mages dealt almost 50% more damage to the undead than other professions. Placed in the dark wasteland, a level 65 holy light mage. I'm afraid that the battle power displayed by a level 65 holy light mage could be equivalent to a level 70, or even a level 70 or higher level 3 turned professional. Although Wang Dust had performed demonically before, his level was a shortcoming, and having just turned 2, it was simply impossible to break the record. That's right that's right, breaking the record is definitely unrealistic. With the battle power that Wang Chuan displayed in the secret realm copy before, his clearance time should be around 15 minutes. 15 minutes is not bad. When I cleared the Dark Wasteland at level 60, it still took me 17 minutes. On the side, a few older sophomore students followed after Yen Liang's words fell and opened their mouths to echo a few words. Hearing their words, the eyes of many of the girls in the middle of the hall suddenly became dangerous. These guys, it's just too much. Brother Wang Chen is so handsome. 
so talented and so hardworking, and you guys only know how to sneer and mock? Is it so hard to recognize that others are good? It took 17 minutes to clear the dark wasteland at level 60? You still have the face to say that? Schoolmate Wang Chen just turned 2, and he was able to do what you can only do at level 60. So what qualifications do you have to yell here? And Yu Yan Liang, I remember your best score for clearing the dark wasteland. It seemed like it took you 15 minutes. One of the girls couldn't hold back the anger in her heart and looked at the outgoing Yan Liang few and said loudly. Yan Liang and the others were told to look at each other with a somewhat embarrassed expression on their faces. You, Yan Liang opened his mouth and couldn't help but want to retort a sentence, while one of the people next to him directly pulled on his clothes. You can't win a fight with a woman. Let's just go with the facts when the time comes. The man opened his mouth and warned. At those words, Yan Liang closed his mouth with a somewhat ugly expression and turned his head to stop looking at the girl. Just wait. When Wang Chuan comes out of the secret copy in a mess, let's see what you, the nymphomaniac girl, have to say. With an exasperated thought in his mind, his eyes were on the teleportation door in the hall, anticipating the image of Wang Chen coming out of it in a sorry state. However, his pupils couldn't help but shrink just as his sight landed on the portal, and an expression as if he had seen a ghost appeared on his face. Boom! A massive object over 10 meters collapsed to the ground with a loud bang, smashing up smoke and dust in the sky. Hoo hoo hoo! Waving his hand to disperse the dust beside him, Wang Dust looked at the fragmented corpses in front of him, and a touch of pleasure appeared on his face. The last monster of the Dark Wasteland secret copy was the zombie leader who had reached level 65. The strength was quite strong, shaking off the Zhou Wu he had encountered in the ring earlier by a block. The two little ones emptied the stragglers, leaving the zombie leader to him. It was a battle that he fought freely. Phew, I wonder, what rewards can I get for passing this wave? Taking a long breath, Wang Chuan put away the sawtooth longsword and quietly waited for the secret copy to settle. Ding! Congratulations to the challenger, Wang Duan, for clearing the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy. Settlement in progress? Please wait. The secret copy. As the zombie leader's corpse turned into ash and dissipated, Wang Chuan's ears simultaneously rang with the beep of the secret copy machinery. Finally, holding the two little ones, Bing Ching and Crispy, in his arms, Wang Duan had an expectant expression on his face. This was the second time he had cleared a silver level secret copy, and there was no telling what kind of rewards it would bring him, while silently pondering in his heart, the mechanical beep of the secret realm copy sounded once again, ding, settlement complete, congratulations to the challenger, Wang Duan, for perfectly clearing the secret copy of Dark Wasteland, current secret copy difficulty, hell level, time to pass, 8 minutes, overall rating, SSS, highest, congratulations to the challenger Wang Dust, your achievement has successfully broken the record of clearing the silver level secret realm replica dark wasteland, and the settlement reward has been upgraded by one level. Broken record? After listening to the tone in his ears, a flash of joy flashed in Wang Dust's eyes. Settlement incentives are upgraded by one level. It looks like this time, he's going to get something extra for himself. Thinking expectantly in his heart, his gaze went to the colorful treasure chest floating in front of him. Without hesitation, Wang Chen directly chose to open the colorful treasure chest. In an instant, dazzling light filled the field of vision, and one item emerged one by one. As the scrying technique swept through, the attribute information of these things surfaced before his eyes one by one. 10 million experience points, 200 points of free attributes, 200 free skill points, platinum equipment, death dagger, platinum level equipment, dark war armor, great a magic material, zombie chief's phone. Seeing what was opened in the treasure chest, Wan Dust's eyes instantly radiated light. Abundance. It's simply too rich. 10 million experience points. After splitting it into three, allowed him and Bing Ching to increase their levels by two levels, reaching level 47 and 42. The lower ranked Crispy, on the other hand, was raised by 10 levels. Ice clear, four dimensional attributes, strength 2300, wisdom 2300, physique 2300, agility 2300. Without any buffs, equipment or props. Crispy, four dimensional attributes, strength 1550, wisdom 2250. Physique 1550, Agility 1650, no buffs, equipment, or props to add. Skill points continue to be retained. Free attribute points were evenly distributed to the four-dimensional attributes, and with the attributes fed back from the two little ones, Wang Dust's four dimensions once again saw a surge. Power, 820 plus 630 points. Wisdom, 890 plus 100 points. Physique, 820 plus 450 points. Agility, 830 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unallocated attribute points, 0 points. Unassigned skill points, 200. After checking the increase in his strength, Wang Chen placed his gaze on the other three items. 
It goes without saying that the two pieces of equipment are considered fine among the platinum level. The fangs of a great a material zombie leader are also a valuable material for crafting equipment. However, after scanning the attributes of these three items, Wang Chen put them into his spatial ring. The dagger of death didn't fit his fighting style, and the dark battle armor was clearly no match for his newly acquired earth battle armor. So he was going to take these two pieces of equipment, along with the ones he had eliminated, and sell them in the trading house. The secret realm copy is settled. The challenger is being transmitted to leave. Please wait. After checking the harvest, the mechanical beep of the secret copy sounded. In the next second, the figures of Wang Chen and the two little ones disappeared in the copy space amidst a spatial fluctuation. Secret copy hall. Yen Liang's sight was dead set on the portal to enter the secret copy, and the expression on his face was as if he had seen a ghost. Only in the middle of his vision, light flashed on the portal and a slender figure emerged from it, and at the same time, a golden sheen flashed across the frame of the portal. As a veteran student who had furthered his studies in Yanlong University for a year, Yen Liang knew very well what this golden luster represented. Wine dust. He had successfully cleared the secret copy. Crap. How long has this been going on? It was only after a full moment that Yen Liang came back to his senses, and a voice of disbelief came out of his mouth, and at the same time, his voice likewise awakened the others in the middle of the hall. Hiss. Everyone looked at the upright figure that walked out of the teleportation portal and sucked in a breath of cool air in unison, with expressions of incredulity on their faces. Am I reading this right? It's Wang Chen. He managed to pass the Dark Wasteland secret copy? Jesus. It's only just eight minutes now. He broke the secret realm copy clearance record once again? A shocked voice rang out, and everyone looked at Wang Chen with faces full of incredulity. Just kidding. That is a very difficult silver level secret copy. That is, the holy light mage with professional advantage. In the 65 level pass also used more than 9 minutes nearly 10 minutes. Wang Chen he, not only did he pass, but the time to pass also took only 8 minutes? Fake it? This is really something a freshman can do. Looking at the bland figure that walked out of the teleportation portal, everyone's eyes were incomparably shaken. Ha ha. What did I say? School brother Wang Chuan can definitely set a new record for clearing the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy. Let's see what you people have to say now. Schoolmate Wang Chen is a genius. Always able to create miracles. You guys, you have no idea how good he is. Among the crowd, those girls who had previously supported Wang Chen could not help but cheer at this moment. Especially the one who was up against Yen Liang was looking at him with a smug expression. His eyes incomparably sneering. However, at this moment, Yen Liang couldn't care less about being angry with this girl. His sight landed dead center on Wang Chen. His gaze incomparably shaken. Eight minutes to clear a copy of the Dark Wasteland secret. This, at the moment, was an achievement he couldn't even reach. Is this guy, saying that he is now stronger than me? How is this possible? Yen Liang thought with shock in his heart, feeling like his worldview was about to shatter. A second turn level 45 Imperial Beast Master was even stronger than him. A third turn level 75 Warrior. This, I'm afraid, is not a pipe dream. Meanwhile, outside the portal, Wang Chen glanced at the shocked crowd around him and ignored it, directly then stepped towards the service counter. Senior sister, please register me. I want to continue challenging the next secret realm copy. What? Upon hearing Wang Chen's words, the shocked schoolmate at the front desk couldn't help but open her mouth wide. Wang Duan schoolmate, don't you want to take a break? She looked at Wang Chen and had a nagging question. It's well known. Every time one enters a secret realm copy, it would be extremely burdensome to the professional themselves because of the spatial transition. Therefore, after every challenge of a secret realm copy, regardless of the outcome, the vast majority of professionals would choose to recuperate for a period of time before taking on the next challenge. This was so that they could get better results and rewards as they continued to challenge the secret copies. The moment, behind the service desk in the secret hall, the sophomore sister looked at Wang Chen with a face full of surprise and opened her mouth to persuade him. Senior Wang Chuan, I'm afraid that you've already expended a great deal of energy in setting the Dark Wasteland clearance record, so there's no need to continue. Thanks. Upon hearing this Wang Dust politely nodded his head and thanked him, but still stood by his decision. Just now, in the middle of the Dark Wasteland, he hadn't expended much energy at all. On the contrary, because of the upgrades and the rewards he had gained, his entire body was now refreshed and he didn't feel tired at all. Okay. Seeing Wang Dust's insistence, the sophomore sister scratched her head and took the wristwatch to register the information. Soon, Wang Chen put away his wristwatch and stepped into the portal again. And as he entered the portal, the atmosphere in the hall clamored once more. The second secret copy is up. I wonder if Wang Duan can still maintain this kind of performance. It's really surprising. The way I look at him, he obviously didn't consume much among the secret realm copies just now. Maybe, 
He can break the record of the number of times he cleared the secret realm copies in a single day today. This time, no one would ever sneer at Wang Chen again. And even those such as Yen Lian shut their mouths under Wang Chen's terrifying clearance speed. In the meantime, when all the students in the secret hall lost their voices, the entire forum of Yanlon University became lively because of Wang Chen. Inferno University Forum. A post titled Strongest Freshman. Passed the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy in only 8 minutes. S post quickly made its way to the front page of the forum. As soon as it appeared, it directly caused a large number of people to gather around. A freshman. Passed the Dark Wasteland secret copy. Setting a horrifying record of 8 minutes to pass. This shocked all the students who clicked into the post. Are you kidding me? It's only been a few days since the new students enrolled? They're all still spinning around in the second turn. And someone managed to break the Dark Wasteland clearance record? I know about this Wang Dust. The provincial scholar of Far River Province. Seems to be a special occupation giant beast master. And has contracted a divine beast dragon. But even with the help of a divine beast. It's not possible for him to reach such a horrifying result. Right? The forums were in an uproar. And all the students who clicked into the thread scoffed at the news. Thinking that the person who posted it was a headline grabber. However. Dark Wasteland secret copy. Best pass record holder, Wang Dust, time, 8 minutes JPG. When a photo of a secret hall copy clearance score appeared amongst the posts, everyone lost their voices. Surprisingly, it's true, they looked at the freshly minted photo and were shaken to their core. That's a silver level secret copy. The last record holder of the clearance was still a level 65 holy light mage. Wang Duan actually broke his record? And most importantly, Wang Chen's level when he entered the secret realm copy was only 45. Crazy. In the 600 years since Yanlong University was founded, there had never been such a demon. The forum post continued to fester, drawing more and more people to the table. And if anything, it was shock in the minds of the students who saw the post. Then at this moment in the middle of the secret realm copy hall, all the students present were going to be skeptical. Since the Dark Wasteland secret realm copy, Wang Dust had broken their worldview time and time again with lightning speed. Silver level secret copy of the sunken camp. 7 minutes. Broken record. Silver level secret copy of Evil Cave. 9 minutes. Broken record. Silver level secret copy of Dark Town. 6 minutes. Broken record. In less than an hour's time, Wang Chuan went down 6 secret realm copies in a row, breaking the record with horrifying scores each time, literally shaking everyone's jaws off. This achievement. It's just not normal. All of the students present were staring blankly at the portal. Their faces filled with shock. Every time they entered a secret realm copy, which one of them didn't prepare a day or two in advance to get their status to be perfect before entering. As for Wang Dust, it was as if he was eating and drinking, hoofing it non-stop, fighting his way through one secret realm copy after another. In just an hour, Wang Chen's frequency of descending into the secret realm copies was almost enough to catch up with them for half a month. And on top of that, his grades are beyond horrible. Each copy of the secret world broke records and set a new record to look up to. What kind of monster is this T? Demonic. It's so demonic. Staying in a school with this kind of demon. I feel like my college life is going to be shrouded in his shadow. The older students in the hall had a shattered worldview. While those freshmen who were enrolled in the same batch as Wang Chen were already feeling despair. We're all geniuses. What makes you so good? At this point, the light on the portal flickered again. And Wang Chen dragged his tired body out. Fighting through six silver level secret realm copies in a row. Even with his body created by his strong attributes. He felt a bit overwhelmed. But, compared to the exhaustion. His gains were amazing enough. Although after entering the second turn, the experience value needed to upgrade skyrocketed twice as much as in the first turn. However, six consecutive secret realm copies down the line, coupled with the increase of one level up from passing the record-breaking level, had also allowed him to raise his level to 55 nowadays. One hour, ten levels in a row. This terrifying rate of promotion would probably shatter countless people's three views. However, this was normal. The first time a secret copy was cleared would itself gain a large amount of experience value. Not to mention that every secret copy had also had its record broken by Wang Dust. But it was only this once. And after clearing the rest of the secret realm copies, it wouldn't be so easy for him to get such a quick boost again. In addition to Wang Chen's own promotion, Bing Chang, the little guy, had also leveled up to level 50. As for Crispy, the little guy's level had reached 40 early, stuck on the edge of advancement. Just waiting for Wang Chen to find the materials for advancement, the little guy would be able to cross over into a new growth cycle. For this promotion, Wang Chen was very satisfied. Phew, the promotion material needed for this little one, Crispy, to enter the next growth cycle is Foxheart Grass. And I wonder if the trading house sells it? Taking a long breath, Wang Chen looked at the dumbfounded crowd around him and smiled. 
Taking a step and then walked towards the outside of the secret hall, Yanlong University trading area. No, Wang Dust sat on the sofa and couldn't help but sit up straight when he heard the reply given to him by the manager of the trading house. After leaving from the secret realm copy hall, he hoofed it to the trading area, wanting to purchase the advancement material Foxheart grass for crisp. Results available. After asking several in a row, all the answers I got were no. And even if Wang Chen bought it at a premium and took out double the price of the S-ranked materials, the people at the trading house said that they couldn't do anything about it. Manager Li, even though Foxheart grass is an S-ranked material, it's not that bad, right? Looking at the respectful trading house manager in front of him, Wang Dust scratched his head and asked somewhat helplessly, You're the biggest trading house in Yanlong University, don't you really have any access? Mr. Wang, I'm so sorry. Hearing his words, the trading baggage manager shook his head with a bitter smile. If it's any other S-rank material, even if it's SS-rank material, the small store has a way to get it. But this fox heart grass is just too special, and it doesn't have the slightest use for professionals, so we really can't do anything about it. Manager Li looked at Wang Chen with an incomparable helplessness in his heart. As early as when Wang Chen entered the store, he had already recognized the popular freshman number one from Yanlong University. To be honest, a s piece of material, not to mention Wang Chen taking out twice the price, even if it was not a dime, and he gave it away with his hand, he would still be willing to do so. But Foxheart Grass, he really, really couldn't do anything about it. Oh, Manager Li, what is so special about this Foxheart Grass? At those words, Wang Chen could not help but sit up straight, his gaze fixedly looking across the room. Foxheart Grass was a key material for Crispy to enter the next stage of growth, so he had to get his hands on it no matter what. Mr. Wang, this fox heart grass comes from the Qingxiao clan. It's a precious holy relic of their clan. It's said to have a miraculous effect on the fox clan to open up the persistent wisdom, and it's always been very strictly controlled by the Qingxiao clan. Nowadays, the relationship between our blue star human race and the Qingxiao clan is strained, and coupled with the fact that fox heart grass isn't the slightest bit useful to occupiers, there's no fox heart grass circulating on the market at all. Looking at Wang Dust, Manager Li said with a bitter smile. In the battlefield of the heavens, the Qingxiao Fox Clan and the Blue Star Human Clan were in a hostile relationship, and although there were no great wars between the two sides, there was usually quite a lot of small friction and tension. Sure, this is for Manager Li and other businessmen these are not a problem, there is a 100% benefit they dare to take risks. The main reason was still because Foxheart Grass was useless to professionals. Even if one sneaks in and gets Foxheart Grass from among the Qingxiao Clan, there is simply no outlet for it. Therefore, Apart from being included in the Encyclopedia of Magical Materials, it was difficult to find a single foxheart grass in the market. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen could not help but feel a major headache. This result was something he hadn't expected. There's no other way? If Manager Li knows where there is information about foxheart grass, I can also buy it at a high price. Looking at Manager Li, Wang Dust asked somewhat undeterred. Mr. Wang, there's really no way. Hearing his words, Manager Li spread his hands helplessly this kind of thing that didn't have any benefits, they, businessmen, wouldn't pay attention to it at all, why don't you ask that lord, manager Li thought of the news that had spread like wildfire in Yanlong University in the past few days and carefully suggested, your honor, Wang Dust naturally knew who manager Li was talking about, however, having just received a whole bunch of benefits from the master, he hadn't even accomplished anything in his own cultivation yet, and then he had to go and trouble the master again, Wang Dust thought to himself that his skin was not that thick, but Fox Heartgrass was the key material for Crispy to advance. If we couldn't find it, would we let Crispy stay stuck at level 40? With this thought in his mind, he twisted his head to look at the nine-tailed Sky Fox who was staring wide-eyed at Bing Chung. This little guy is really giving himself a hard time. Ugh, there doesn't seem to be any other way. With a thought in his mind, he got up and was about to say goodbye to Manager Li. But at that moment, a familiar voice suddenly came. Wang Duan. Wang Dust twisted his head to look over and found the girl Situ playfully walking into the trading house. What a coincidence. You're here to purchase something too? Wang Dust looked at Situ curiously. Buy anything, I'm here for you. Upon hearing this, Situ sent a blank stare and said in a somewhat sour tone, You're a busy man. I saw the post on the forums and ran to the secret copy hall, only to pounce. Messaged you and didn't reply. Wouldn't have known you'd run here if someone hadn't warned me. Post? Upon hearing this, Wang Dust was dumbfounded. After coming out of the secret copy hall, he went straight to the trading house all the way and didn't even notice the information on his data wristwatch. Looks like you don't realize how hot you are right now? Seeing Wang Dust's appearance, Situ said without any good humor. As she spoke, 
She opened her data appearance and clicked on the top thread on the forum. Seeing this post, Wang Dust scratched his head, not realizing that he had become famous again in this way. No wonder. On the way to the trading area, the schoolmates that I ran into all had a strange expression on their faces. By the way, what did you want to see me about? He briefly scanned a few glances before turning his head to look at Situyu. Someone sends a message and doesn't respond. The auxiliary college instructor calls, and I, a tool, have to run an errand. Situyu rolled her eyes and said somewhat breathlessly, Can't you turn the bell on? At those words, Wang Chen was a bit embarrassed. In the past few days, there were too many people who had added him as a friend, and he was so annoyed by the daily hush-hush that he simply put his data wristwatch on mute. What did the mentor want to see me about? Touching his nose, he asked with some embarrassment. I'm not sure about the specifics. Situyu shook her head and said, It says it's related to your nine-tailed fox. Whom? As soon as he heard this, Wang Chuan immediately came into the spirit and dragged Situyu towards the auxiliary academy. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up! Soon, Wang Chen then arrived at the auxiliary academy with Situyu and found the nominal mentor of the two, Mu Weining. Hello teacher. As soon as they met, Wang Chen looked at Mu Weining with anticipation in his eyes. Having just returned empty-handed from the trading area, he was now very keen to get good news from his mentor. That came pretty fast. Seeing Wang Chen's appearance, Mu Weining smiled her eyes looking playfully at the teenager in front of her. I called you here, and I'm sure you've guessed my intentions. However, there's no way for me to give you what you want directly. It's up to you to earn it. Mu Weining said, waving her hand and took out an invitation from the table. Ha! Huh? Upon hearing this Wang Chen was a little disappointed. But when he read the contents of the invitation, his eyes suddenly lit up. In Mu Wanying's office, a glint flashed in Wang Dust's eyes after he read the invitation. The information on the invitation was very simple. A few universities that had a relatively good relationship with Yanlong University invited the new students of Yanlong University to participate in an exchange meeting in Xingqiu City. Of course, it doesn't matter. Importantly, this exchange would take place in the middle of a soon-to-be-open secret realm in Xingqiu City. And this secret realm, which had exactly what Wang Chen needed. Foxheart Grass. I'm sure you guessed that. Looking at Wang Dust who had a happy face, Mu Weining said smilingly, The purpose of calling you over this time, Aside from the fact that materials related to the advancement of the nine-tailed fox will be produced in the middle of the secret realm this time, there is also another point, which is for you to give a good lesson to the other freshmen of the university who will be attending the exchange meeting. Aha! Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded. This wave of assists from his mentor came at a really good time, and Foxheart Grass was exactly what he desperately needed at this time. However, the national freshman competition was less than a month away, and to hold an exchange at this time? Mentor! Is there some other reason for this exchange? After thinking about it, Wang Dust asked his doubts directly. Mu Weining explained, This is probably considered a tradition every year after the freshman enroll, to test the strength of the freshman from other universities before the national freshman competition begins. It's not just a couple of our schools, but other schools will be looking for locations to hold these exchanges. But, as she spoke, Mu Weining paused and swept Wang Chen with an odd look in her eyes. Originally, in previous years, this kind of exchange meeting would usually send freshmen outside of the top 10 rankings to participate, but you had just the need for it, so the provost ordered it straight down to you to go alone. After listening to Mu Weining's words, Wang Chen nodded in his heart. He, the number one freshman, is considered the ace of Yanlon University. This kind of small exchange meeting should not have personally come out, and let those underlings to deal with it can be. As a result, his nine-tailed sky fox was at the juncture of entering the next growth cycle and lacked the appropriate materials for advancement. The matter, then, fell directly on his head. Wang Chen thought for a moment and asked Mu Weining, Mentor, then should I let my hair down in the exchange, hide part of my strength? At those words, Mu Weining, however, directly shook her head. It doesn't matter, just act as you see fit when the time comes. Just remember one thing, don't crash my Yanlong University's reputation. Anyway. The exchange students sent out by these universities are not expected to be able to fight a single one in front of you. Speaking under her breath, she looked at Wang Chen with somewhat complicated eyes. This student who was recruited by himself from a small city. Once he joined the school, he showed a talent that crushed his peers, and after that, he was unstoppable, creating seven new records in the secret world copy hall. Even those sophomore students who had studied at Yenlong University for a year, there were not many who could be stronger than the current Wang Chen. This terrifying growth speed, even though Mu Weining, as a fifth turn powerhouse and a genius that everyone used to praise, couldn't help but feel her heart shaking immensely. When she went to college, she was nothing but mediocre compared to the current Wang Dust. Hearing Mu Weining's words, 
Wang Chen's heart was clear, and then he said with some impatience, Good, if Mentor has nothing else to explain, then I'll go back and pack up, and head directly to Qingqiu City tomorrow. Go on. At that Mu Weining nodded. After leaving the office, Wang Duan accompanied Situyu around the school for a while before returning to their respective dormitories. Day 2. The sun had just risen when he took the two little ones with him and stepped onto the teleportation array to Qingqiu City. Green Hills, located in the northwestern region of the Dragon Kingdom, compared to Dongling City, Qingqiu City was an uncompromisingly first-class city that not only covered a wider area and had a larger resident population, but also possessed resources that Dongling City simply did not possess. Wild and Secret The so-called Wild Secret Realm is an unconsolidated copy of the Secret Realm, similar to the Cave of Heaven in the books, which produces a lot of precious magic materials. Qingqiu City's Wild Secret Realm, called Black Fox Country, is a large secret realm rated at the silver level, which opens once a year and lasts for three days. During these three days, any professional below the third turn could enter it to hunt wild monsters and find resources. Because of the existence of this wild secret realm, Qingqiu City's tourism industry is extremely developed, especially during the period of time when the secret realm copy was opened. There was a huge number of professionals gathering, greatly driving the development of Qingqiu City. Wang Dust walked out of the teleportation hall and saw this bustling scene. A large number of professionals came and went on the streets, many of them calling out their friends and striding towards the outskirts of the city, expecting to make a fortune in the wild secret realm. As he followed the crowd outside the city, Wang Dust listened to the conversations of the others and gained some more understanding of the secret realm of the Black Fox Country. The monsters in the secret realm were mainly Fox Clan wild monsters, mostly specializing in mind control system skills, and the boss was the Black Fox leader who had reached level 80. The materials produced by the secret realm were also mostly magical materials related to the spirit system. As for the fox heart grass that Wang Chen was concerned about, it grew in the black fox chief's lair. However, even though fox heart grass was an S-ranked material, no professionals in the crowd saw it as a target. After all, the black fox leader, who was equivalent to the strength of a third turn professional, was not something an ordinary professional could deal with. Moreover, the fox heart grass had the empty name of an S-ranked material but its own value was not even close to a D-rank magical material for a blue star professional. That's not something to worry about. There will be someone to steal the lake heart grass from me. Noticing this, Wang Chen smiled in his heart. Soon, he then followed the crowd to the outskirts of the city. At this moment, the area around the entrance of the secret realm had long been crowded with people, and a large number of professionals had crowded the vast area. At a cursory glance, the number of professionals present was at least a thousand, and it was as noisy as a food market. However, outside the entrance to the secret realm, there was an area that appeared a bit out of place with the surroundings. Gathered here was a group of teenagers with proud colors on their faces, and the equipment on their bodies was so fine that the surrounding professionals could not help but show envy in their eyes every time their sight swept by. These people were the freshmen from the several universities that participated in the exchange. After arriving outside the city, Wang Chen spotted them at a glance. There was no way around it. These tawdry fellows, directly turning on the special effects of their equipment, with a bright silver luster on their bodies, which was incredibly conspicuous between a kind of mottled black iron and bronze. This is, running in front of ordinary professionals to find presence? Seeing this scene, Wang Chen felt some amusement in his heart, then directly stepped over. Look, the people from Yanlong University have arrived. No way, they actually sent only one person? Really not putting us in their eyes. The level is only 55. I'm afraid he didn't even go up the freshman ranking list of Yanlong University, right? When Wang Chen walked towards the exchange gathering area, he immediately attracted the attention of many people. Especially the Yanlong University uniform he was wearing directly caused many of the people present to have a grave expression on their faces. However, level, 55, second turn, when they checked Wang Chen's rank through their probing techniques, each of them could not help but show anger in their eyes. Although the people present were not considered top-notch among the freshmen of the major schools, they were still ranked at the top, with the worst level of strength reaching level 55 and the strongest few being around level 60. Yanlong University sent a 55-level freshman to participate in the exchange meeting. This was clearly not putting them in their eyes. Rampant. Yanlong University has been pulled down from the number one position in the academy rankings by Huaqing University, and they still have this high and mighty stance. Do you really think that a 55-level freshman can sweep us? So naive. There was a lot of discussion among the crowd, and many of the students who participated in the exchange meeting had their eyes fixed on Wang Chuan secretly deciding that after entering the secret realm, they would definitely teach him a good lesson. In the meantime, the lead teachers from several universities were dumbfounded when they saw the lone Wang Duan, classmate, 
your Yanlong University sent you by yourself? The host of this exchange meeting, the leading teacher of Qingzhou University greeted him with a somewhat ugly expression. Other universities have as many as 10 or as few as 3 or 4 students participating in the exchange. And Yanlong University, surprisingly, sent only one person, and not even a lead teacher. Is this, in fact, something against our Qingzhou University? Aha! Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded and said sincerely, Teacher said that I'm enough on my own. You, hearing his words, the corner of Qingzhou University's leading teacher's mouth twitched, and his face grimaced. It's so arrogant. What do you mean one is enough? This is not taking our talented students from other universities seriously at all. Okay, classmate you come with me and register. The teacher of Qingzhou University said dryly, turned around and headed towards the registration office. Following behind this teacher, Wang Chen swept his eyes flatly over the surrounding crowd. He could already feel the anger spewing from the eyes of those around him. If the gaze could kill, he would probably have been torn to pieces by now. However, in response to this, the expression on Wang Chen's face was unperturbed. His goal in coming here, apart from the fox heart grass, the rest is to smash the scene. Hostility and all that, doesn't matter, it's all just a task for the mentor. As for fear, it doesn't exist, just as Tudor Mu Weining had said before he came. There was not a single capable fighter amongst these people. This guy, looks so familiar. At the back of the angry rising crowd, a girl in Yenshan University's group had a somewhat hesitant expression on her face. Her line of sight, constantly glanced at Wang Chen and the two little ones on his shoulders. What's wrong Fong Yin? You know this cocky guy? Beside the girl, a taller boy asked with some curiosity at the sight of his companion. Lu Yun Zheng, this guy seems to be the top scholar of our far river province. Wang Duan, upon hearing this, Fong Yen said with some hesitation. Oh, Wang Duan, that giant royal beast master who contracted a giant dragon? Hearing her words, the anger on Lu Yun Zhang's face disappeared, and his gaze was somewhat grave as he looked towards the figure that was registering. A provincial scholar, and also having a divine beast level dragon as a beast pet, even if the level was only 55, it was enough to attract attention. Right. After confirming a few more times, Fong Yen nodded. Ha! At this moment, Another student amongst the Yenshan University team heard his companion's discussion and said with a disdainful sneer, a province's top scholar, running to attend an exchange meeting? It seems that his reputation as a top scholar is also in vain. I'm afraid he's not doing well in Yanlong University. Zhu Jiangming, you'd better not underestimate him, to get the provincial first prize, he must have something to offer. Lu Yunzhang, who was on the side, couldn't help but remind his companion when he heard his words. Humph, hearing his words, Zhu Jiangming snorted coldly. Far River Province ranks at the bottom of dozens of provinces in our Dragon Kingdom. The moisture in his provincial top prize can be imagined. If we meet in the middle of the secret realm, I'll easily be able to eliminate this wine dust. Zhu Jiangming shook his head in disdain. At those words, Fang Yan's face had a somewhat annoyed expression. The blow was too broad. She is also from Yuanjiang Province. The first prize has water. She is not more water? However, despite the annoyance in her heart, Fang Yan's lips moved at this time, but she didn't dare to speak the retort out. Zhu Jiangming came from a powerful family. His rank reached 59, and his strength could be ranked in the top 10 among the freshmen of Yenshan University. She can't afford to mess with it. Once Wang Chen had registered his information, the universities participating in the exchange meeting all arrived, and the teacher from the host Qingxiu University began to announce the rules of this exchange meeting. For this exchange meeting, a point system ranking is adopted. And every wild monster you hunt and kill in the middle of the secret realm will accumulate corresponding points for you. After the secret realm closes, the top 10 among you in terms of the number of points will be rewarded accordingly. For the first place, you can even get a special reward prepared by our Qingxiu University. Standing in front of the crowd, the lead teacher of Qingxiu University said with a smile. As he spoke, he asked his accompanying colleagues to give each student present a jade token. Students, the wild mysteries are different from the copies of the mysteries you have entered before. This is actual combat. Danger is everywhere when you enter the wild mysteries. So don't let your guard down. You're up against more than just other competitors and wild monsters. The jade token has the function of breaking away from the secret realm. If you encounter a life and death crisis, please crush the jade token immediately. But note that the jade card will lose its qualification for the exchange ranking once it is pinched. After all the students had collected their jade tags, the teacher of Qingxiu University said with a serious expression on his face. As the words fell, an expression of disbelief appeared on the faces of the many students below. They didn't even take the reminder to heart. However, Wine Dust, who was playing with the jade cards, raised his eyebrows and glanced at the ordinary occupiers gathered around him. 
With any disengagement prop, it takes time to use it. With that in mind, he stepped aside and waited when the rules were announced. Soon, a faint fluctuation of magic power appeared from the entrance of the secret realm, instantly attracting everyone's attention. Outside the city of Qingqiu, there was a sea of people. The moment, as a weak magic power fluctuation swept across the entire field, all eyes immediately fell on the entrance to the secret realm of the Black Fox Country, only to see that the space at the entrance rippled in circles as the magical fluctuations appeared, as if the water had been thrown into a stone. Next, this ripple surged even more violently, and in the end, it formed a 3 meter diameter, constantly rotating spatial vortex. Through the spatial vortex, one could see that behind it, there was an unknown space. It's finally turned on. It's not in vain that I've waited here for three days. I hope I can find precious magical materials in the middle of the secret realm. I've heard that all the wild monsters in there have a pretty high burst rate, and I'm not greedy, as long as I can pop out a handful of silver level equipment. When the spatial vortex appeared, the eyes of the crowd gathered outside the city went straight, and an excited expression appeared on each face. However, although the many ordinary occupiers couldn't wait to enter the secret realm, at this moment, none of them acted first and instead set their eyes on the area closest to the spatial vortex. There, teachers and students from several universities stood at attention. The secret realm is open. Everyone enter immediately. The teacher from the host Qingqiu University, seeing the space vortex appear, gave the order to enter. In an instant, the students participating in the exchange meeting, one by one, stepped into the middle of the spatial vortex in an orderly manner. Wine dust, naturally, stepped among them along with the crowd. Buzz off, between the rotation of the sky and the earth. When Wang Chen once again set his feet on the ground, he had already arrived at another space. As far as the eye can see, the scenery is beautiful. The vegetation is luxuriant. The air is filled with freshness, and green trees and red flowers dot the landscape. If it wasn't clear that this was a dangerous secret realm, anyone who saw it for the first time would think that it was a scenic landscape. It seems that it is randomized teleportation when entering the secret realm. While observing his surroundings, Wang Chen also realized that those students who entered at the same time as himself did not appear in the same place as himself, and there was no one present around him in his field of vision. However, Wang Chen was not much surprised by this. Every large secret realm had an inner space equivalent to a large city at the very least. A few thousand people can be considered a drop in the ocean in the middle of such a vast space. The chances of being able to bump into each other when you first enter are quite small unless you are congregating towards the center area. Master Master, let's go find the fox heart grass. It's so tiring to ohu and not communicate with this crispy guy every day. While Wang Chen was observing his surroundings, Bing Chang waved her wings and flew around him, her small face filled with an expression of anticipation. Woohoo! On his shoulder, the nine-tailed sky fox, crispy, did the same. Yes, hearing the words of the two little guys, Wang Dust smiled and nodded, his sight looking far away and landing on a mountain peak in the middle of a forest in the extreme distance. According to the information he had heard from other professionals before, the final boss of the secret realm, the Black Fox leader, had his lair built on that mountain peak. Before entering the secret realm, Wang Chen had a perfect plan in his mind. Get the fox heart grass first to get crisp into a new growth cycle, then hunt the wilds for points. After all, the current pasty level reached level 40, the limit of the first growth cycle, and there was no way to upgrade even if he gained more experience. At this distance, I'm afraid we'll have to walk for a long time if we just rely on our two legs to catch up. After eyeballing the distance between himself and the mountain peak, Wang Chen looked at Bing Cheng with an expectant expression. Noticing her master's gaze, Bing Cheng couldn't help but feel a bad feeling rise in her heart. Hoo hoo hoo. She waved her wings to keep herself away from her master, then eyed him warily. Master, what do you want? Good girl, let me ride. Looking at Bing Cheng, Wang Duan rubbed his hands together and said expectantly. Ever since he had contracted the dragon of extreme cold, he had been looking forward to being a dragon rider. However, when he was in the middle of the 10,000 beasts mountain range before, it was too dangerous to fly up into the sky, and he had never been able to find an opportunity. This time, Wang Duan felt like his dream was coming true. No, I'm only so small. Master you have one foot bigger than me. You'll crush me. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Bing Ching's little head shook like a rattle drum, and her two little paws were even protected in front of her body. Very reluctant. How could the dragon of extreme cold? the honorable and incomparable ancestral divine beast, be ridden on by someone, even if it was its master? Seeing the little guy's look of resistance, Wang Chen touched his nose and a wry smile appeared on his face. Good girl, did you enjoy the snacks you bought last time? Do you want some more? Looking at Bing Cheng, he said compulsively, yummy. Hearing his words, Bing Ching subconsciously nodded, 
feeling her mouth watering. No, master it's useless for you to tempt me. Even if you buy me a bunch of snacks, there's no way I'm going to fly on your back. You're all abusive to young dragons. But as the dragon of extreme cold, Ding Qing was still very principled and swallowed to hold back the temptation of the food. See this space ring? However, in response to this, Wang Chen had already thought of a response, as he turned towards Bing Qing and shook the space ring on his finger. I'll fill this space ring with snacks as soon as you fly me to that peak. Loaded? Hearing his master's words, little Ice Qing's face showed intent. That space ring was 5 cubic meters in size. If it was all filled up, wouldn't it be possible to swim in a pile of snacks? With that in mind, Bing Qing swung her wings and flew in front of Wang Chen. Master let's pull the hook. You can't lie to me. Seeing the little guy with a wary look, Wang Dust let out a secret smile in his heart. G-R-R-R-R-R. You can guess star as a dragon rider later. Of course, I'm a man of honor. Wang Dust said sincerely, extending his finger to hook the little dragon claw. Then, let's go. With the agreement reached, Bing Qing hesitated for a moment, and with a wave of her wings, she was ready to turn on her battle status. But just then, whoosh, several violent windbreaking sounds rang out, and three black shadows instantly surrounded Wang Chen. These were three human standing, blackfurred foxes that exuded a bloodthirsty aura. At this moment, they looked at Wang Chuan, a cruel look surging through their scarlet eyes, a look of seeing food. But, after these three wild monsters surrounded Wang Duan, they did not attack at the first opportunity, but stood in place somewhat hesitantly. Their gazes, after sweeping over the nine-tailed heavenly fox crisp on Wang Chuan's shoulder, flashed with doubt and scorn among their scarlet eyes. Even if they were just witless wild monsters, they felt that noble bloodline aura from the nine-tailed heavenly fox. Is this the wild monster in the middle of black fox country? It's a little different than I thought. Looking at the three hesitant wild monsters around him, Wang Dust's eyes were somewhat disappointed. He had thought that the wild monsters inside the secret realm would be the kind of vixens he had imagined. As it turned out, the foxes retained their original appearance, only enlarged many times over. With his heart lost, he casually threw out a scrying spell. Monster, Black Fox Warrior. Level, 45. Fighting Style, Melee. Skills, Bite, Charge, Charm. Type, General. Seeing the information about these three wild monsters, Wang Dust lost even more interest. At level 45, there was no difference between him and a straggler. You're unlucky to run into me. With a movement of his feet, he rushed towards the three black fox warriors in a lightning fast manner. Brush. In a flash of cold light, before the three hesitant black fox warriors could react, their heads shot straight up into the sky. At the same time, three points of light surged out from their corpses and disappeared into the jade plate that Wang Chen hung on his waist. In an instant, the numbers 1, 3, and 5 appeared on the blank jade plate. 135 points? It seems that the points are tied to the monster level. Glancing at the jade tablet, Wang Chen silently nodded. Then, he didn't clean up the battlefield either, and turned his gaze expectantly towards Bing Cheng. A mere level 45 wild monster material was simply unappealing to him nowadays. Still, hurry up and be your own dragon rider. Humph. Noticing his master's line of sight, Bing Cheng hummed a little embarrassedly before waving his wings and flying a little farther away. I'm going to transform. As soon as the words fell, the little guy's figure expanded rapidly, and in the blink of an eye, a six-meter-long, azure-colored beautiful creature appeared in the middle of the secret realm. Hey, hey, hey! Seeing Ice Ching manifest a fighting stance, Wang Chen didn't hesitate and jumped directly onto Ice Ching's back with Crispy in his arms. The six-meter-long dragon's body had an extremely wide back, more than enough to sit him down alone. Is this what it feels like to ride a dragon? Sitting down at Bing Ching's neck. Wang Chen curiously touched the azure-colored scales, his heart filled with excitement. Don't you move, master. Feeling itchy, Bing Ching embarrassingly twisted his neck. Fine, fine, I won't move. Wang Dust realized that the little guy was a bit shy and put away his hands that were doing weird things. Let's go. Reaching out and pointing toward the distant peaks, he shouted out in excitement. Master you sit tight. At those words, the little guy gave a reminder. And with a wave of his two powerful dragon wings, he instantly flew into the sky. Hoo hoo hoo. The gusts of wind that came to his face almost threw Wang Chen out. This little guy is definitely doing it on purpose. With that in mind, he hurriedly hugged Bing Ching's neck to stabilize his body. Outside, after all the students entered the secret realm, the teacher from Qingqiu University set up a screen in the open space and then greeted the others as they gathered together. Well, for the next three days, let's stay here and wait for the final results to be revealed. This teacher smiled under his breath and greeted the staff to bring in tables and chairs. When everyone was seated, he turned on the screen. Buzz off. In an instant, a bright white light appeared on the screen. 
followed by the names of the students who participated in the exchange meeting when the light converged, floating on the screen. This time, there were a total of six universities participating in this exchange meeting, and the total number of students entering the secret realm of the Black Fox Country was 50. As time passed, the names of these 50 students on the screen began to bounce up and down continuously. It may be noted that each time the names of these students rose or fell, it was accompanied by an increase in the number following their names. An hour later, 1. Yenshan University, Zhu Jiangming, No. Of points, 1060. 2. Qingxiu University, Wu Zixian, Number of points, 980. 3. Icewind University, Liang Changyong, Number of points, 920. 4. Ningyuan University, Wu Xianwen, Number of points, 850. Teacher Li, your student Zhu Jiangming from Yenshan University is good. It's only been an hour since the start and his points have already broken a thousand. Among the several teachers who were chatting, the lead teacher of Qingxiu University glanced at the screen and said to one of the people beside him with a smile, It's just starting now, Zhu Jiangming is just lucky, maybe he just happened to run into a large number of wild monsters. Mr. Li of Yinshan University, a rough-looking middle-aged man, smiled and said, Your Qingxiu University's Wu Zixing is also not bad, he has now accumulated more than 900 points and will soon be able to catch up. I heard that Wu Zixing is quite outstanding among the freshmen of your Qingxiu University this year. He is a special profession himself, and his level has even reached level 60. So I guess the first place in this exchange meeting is not his. Hearing his words, the teachers of Castle Peak University had smiles on their faces, although he had the same thought in his mind. At this time, he still waved his hand in a hurry and said, Dare not, dare not. This year, Yanlong University has sent a province's top student to participate in the exchange and there are also strong players among the students from other universities. I'll be satisfied if he can get the top 10. As the Green Mountain University teacher's words fell, the eyes of the few surrounding teachers with smiling faces became slightly annoyed. What exactly does Yanlong University mean? Sending just one person to participate in an exchange meeting is something that has never happened before. Mr. Li from Yenshan University frowned at the lone name of Yanlong University on the screen, his tone somewhat puzzled. So who knows? Maybe they lost the number one spot in the academy rankings last year and now they're giving up on themselves. On the side, the teacher from Ningyuan University sniffed and said, A provincial scholar, he's been in the secret realm for an hour, and he's only just gained 135 points, at the bottom of the list amongst everyone else. At this level, I'm afraid that not only will Yanlong University not be able to reclaim the number one spot this year, but perhaps the ranking will have to drop even further. Hearing his words, the few teachers around him looked at the somewhat eye-catching name at the very bottom of the screen with somewhat playful eyes. Even though this was only an exchange meeting, if they could overpower Yanlong University among the rankings, it would be an extremely honorable thing to do. And at the same time, in the secret realm of the Black Fox Country, who who who, a behemoth landed on top of the mountain peak in the center of the secret realm with a violent wind sound. Bing Ching, you're flying too fast. Don't you know that it's cold in the sky? Wang Dust jumped off Bing Ching's back and rubbed his hands together somewhat grumblingly. God see the pity. He had always thought that being a dragon knight was an imposing thing, but it turned out that Bing Ching had vividly taught him a lesson today. Sitting on the dragon's back not only pinched his butt, but the cold wind brought up by the rapid flight was a bit too much even for him. A second turned professional. At the top of the mountain peaks of the Black Fox's country secret realm was an extremely wide flat area that was the size of a soccer field. At the very center of the flatlands loomed a palace built of rock and guarded by a single tall wild monster. When Wang Chen and Bing Chang landed on the top of the mountain, the arrival of the three uninvited guests instantly attracted the attention of the wild monsters outside the palace. Roar! A mournful roar rang out, and ten black foxes that were three meters tall and the size of a doormat waved their weapons and surrounded them from all sides. Seeing these wild monsters appear, Wang Chen gave up his intention to teach Bing Ching a lesson and turned his head towards those wild monsters. It's ugly. At the first sight he saw, he couldn't help but skim. Those black fox warriors that he saw the first time he entered the secret realm were barely fox-like. These, the living devil's muscle foxes. It seems that the idea of running into a vixen in the middle of the black fox country is going to fall through. With this in mind, Wang Xuan threw a scrying spell at the wild monsters that surrounded him and quickly grasped their information. Monster, black fox guard. Level, 60. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bite, charge, charm. Type, General. Seeing the information about these black fox guards, Wang Dust nodded in satisfaction. A level 60 wild monster. It was not in vain that he had suffered the cold wind all the way to the peak. You two don't snatch from me. Let master me move my arms and legs first. Without waiting for these black fox guards to attack, 
Wan Dust instructed the two little ones and took a step to instantly charge towards the black fox guards. Instant sword. In an instant, his entire body shot out as if he were a cannonball, and he arrived directly in front of a black fox guard. Roar. With the extremely fast speed, the huge-sized black fox guard didn't react at all and only had time to let out a roar. Next, swish. With a flash of cold light, the serrated longsword then directly chopped off its head. One hit. After killing one of the black fox guards, Wang Chuan did not stop for a moment, pointing his toes on the ground and continuing to rush towards the other black fox guards. Instant sword. Two strikes. Wind blade jutsu. Two skills came out in a row. And in just the blink of an eye, all ten black fox guards died under Wang Dust's furious attacks. Master is great. Seeing this scene, Ding Chang, who was watching the battle from afar, very actively gave out praise. However, looking at the excitement that kept flashing in her eyes, it was clear that she couldn't wait to join the battle. Be a good cheerleader for me. Wang Dust was not the least bit pleased by the praise, and his eyes glared at Bing Ching with a vicious look. This little guy was going to make a move, and his own intentions of trying to move his arms and legs today were going to be in vain. Okay. Hearing his words, Bing Ching pretended to be lost and skimmed her head, but her eyes were secretly staring at a short distance away. At this point, the black fox guards guarding the outside of the palace, after realizing that their companions had been easily disposed of, a tyrannical look surged out of their scarlet eyes. Ho 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 ho. A brutal roar rang out, and in the blink of an eye, the remaining twenty or so black fox guards came running wildly. They were extremely fast, stamping out a drum-like sound on the ground between their runs, with great vigor. However, seeing this scene, Wang Chen did not have the slightest bit of fear in his eyes. At this moment, he took a step back. His sawtooth longsword held diagonally in his hand, and raging magic power began to surge through his body. In the next second, he swung his sawtooth longsword and chopped out in front of him. Whoosh! From the blade of the sawtooth longsword, a three meter long, incomparably solid, giant gas blade shot out. Round moon chop. In an instant, the giant air blade collided with the charging black fox guards. Bang! Rip! The incomparably sharp giant air blade directly severed the bodies of the three black fox guards at the front and then the aftermath fell on the several at the back. Bang! Amidst the violent collision sound, these few black fox guards that were hit by the giant air blades were like being hit by a siege hammer. Their bodies involuntarily flew backwards. Still in mid-air, blood continued to spurt out of their mouths, and the parts that were hit by the giant air blades were even more obviously dented, and it looked like they would not survive. Not bad for an A-rank skill. Kill 60 level 60 wild monsters in one hit. Seeing the power of the round moon slash, Wang Chen nodded with satisfaction. Then without hesitation, he took a step and rushed towards the remaining black fox guards once again. Soon, under his crazy slaughter, the black fox guards at the top of the mountain peak did not have a single enemy, and they were all turned into experience value that he laughed away. Phew! After it was done, Wang Chuan shook off the blood from the serrated longsword and let out a long breath, only feeling refreshed. The body that had been stiffened by the cold wind a moment ago was now without the slightest delay. Let's go! We'll take care of the black fox leader next, and half of the goal of coming here will be accomplished. After greeting Bing Cheng and Crispy, he took a step towards the palace, but at this point, Master Master, look, Bing Cheng greeted excitedly, offering his huge dragon claws as if he were a treasure. Hmm, at those words Wine Dust stopped in his tracks in confusion, twisting his head to look. He couldn't help but stare when he saw what was on the claws of the ice-clearing dragon. On the dragon's claws, it held a small, delicate box that emitted a bronze luster. Bronze treasure chest? Seeing this, Wang Dust couldn't help but be a little surprised. Not expecting to ship out this time. It's worthy of being a wild secret realm. The chances of popping out treasure chests really aren't comparable to those outside. With that in mind, he took the treasure chest and opened it without hesitation. In an instant, the treasure chest disappeared as a point of light, and a ball of light hovered alone in front of him. Seeing this scene, the corner of Wang Chen's mouth twitched. Sure enough, one only opens the treasure chest for a guaranteed haul. I can't believe you only opened one. Master you have no one else's luck. On the side, little Ice Ching said in disgust, frantically filling in on her master. Upon hearing this, Wang Dust rolled his eyes in dismay and tore open an appraisal scroll and aimed it at the light mass. Equipment, Black Fox Boots. Type, Defense. Grade, Bronze. Level Limit, 60. Attribute, Agility plus 30. Enchanted Effect, Increases Movement Speed by 5%. Rubbish. Seeing the attributes of this piece of equipment, Wang Dust glanced at his mouth in disdain. The increased attributes of the Dang level 60 equipment were not as high as the level 20 silver equipment he had eliminated before. I'll just have to, uh, keep it and sell it on the trading floor for scrap metal. Go. 
casually putting away the black fox's boots, he greeted Bing Ching and Crispy and took a step towards the palace in the center of the mountaintop. Soon, without the black fox guards stopping him, Wang Chen directly arrived outside the palace's main door. Looking at the gate of the palace, which was seven or eight meters tall, he kicked it open without hesitation. Bang! The palace gates opened. Wang Dust brought Bing Ching and Crispy and stepped inside. At this moment, inside the giant palace, an oil lamp hanging on the wall. As the uninvited guest stepped in the fire flames skyrocketed, making the light inside the palace become incomparably bright. Ho ho ho! The moment he entered the palace, Wang Chen heard a hiss of suppressed anger in his ears. Eight devil muscle foxes of even larger size came up from the surrounding surroundings with unkind eyes. The size of these guys was more than a circle larger than their counterparts outside the palace, their bodies bulging with muscles. Even when compared to the Minotaur warriors, monster, black fox guard, level, 70. Fighting style, melee, skills, bite, charge, power increase, type, general. However, after skimming the information of these black fox prohibited guards using the scrying technique, Wang Chuan directly swept his eyes away from them. Just 10 levels stronger than the black fox guards. These guys weren't strong enough. His gaze landed on the most central part of the palace. Sitting on a stone chair, a figure filled with a sense of oppression. It was a behemoth that was a full 6 meters tall and its size was no different compared to Bing Cheng, who had turned on her battle state. The resemblance was the same as the Black Fox Forbidden Guards, but it was even more hideous. The outturned fangs were half a meter long, with the tips flashing with sharp chills, and a pair of scarlet eyes that seemed to be the size of a millstone constantly flashed with a cruel and tyrannical red light. Moreover, beside the stone chair, there was a huge nail head hammer, and the grip of this nail head hammer alone was thicker than Wang Chen's waist. Black Fox Chief, without hesitation, at the first sight of the Black Fox Chief, Wang Chuan directly released his scrying technique. Monster, Black Fox Chief. Level, 80. Fighting style, melee. Skills, bite, charge. Strength increase, heavy hammer dance. Mental charm. Type, Chief. Taking the Black Fox Chief's message in his eyes, Wang Dust nodded with satisfaction. As expected of an alpha wild monster, it was quite strong. Today, you can have a good fight. With that in mind, the blade of the sawtooth long sword in his hand, pointed straight at the black fox leader in front of him. Roar! Damn humans! How dare you disturb my rest! The crime deserves death! Looking at the tiny human in front of him, aiming his weapon at himself, the black fox leader let out a brutal hiss, and a ferocious light soared among his scarlet eyes. The violent sound shook the entire palace, causing an unknown amount of dust to fall. Hearing the black fox chief spit out human words, Wang Dust did not have any surprises. Apart from the low-level monsters, the higher the level of the monsters, the higher the intelligence, and even those strong monsters, the intelligence was comparable to that of human beings. As an 80-level leader, it was completely normal for the Black Fox leader to be able to speak. Loud is a big deal? Before he could say anything, Bing Cheng on the side heard the Black Fox chief's growl at this time, and was instantly annoyed, directly opening the combat state and squeezing him to the side. Anon, a high dragon's roar resounded in the palace and the violent waves of sound instantly enveloped the Black Fox chiefs and Black Fox guards present. In an instant, the pupils of the Black Fox leader with a ferocious light in his eyes couldn't help but shrink, inexplicably feeling fear in his heart. A sense of oppression from the food chain made it seem as if it was shackled all over at the moment, and its strength weakened quite a bit compared to usual. Roar! Damn big lizards! I'm going to roast you! In the next second, the Black Fox chief, who felt that he had been insulted, directly stood up from his seat, carrying the huge nail head hammer next to him, and let out a frantic roar. Icy cold to the extreme killing intent was instantly locked onto Bing Ching's body. Asshole. How dare you call me a big lizard. You're dead. Locked by this icy killing intent, Bing Ching did not have the slightest fear. Instead, a monstrous rage surged amongst the gem-like vertical pupils. Bang. Bing Ching's thick hind limbs stomped heavily on the ground, and his ponderous body transformed into azure-colored residual shadows as he rushed towards the black fox chief. She. 4-1, was going to tear this scumbag who dared to provoke the dragon of extreme cold into pieces. Ah, uh, seeing this scene, Wang Chen shook his head helplessly. Nice guy, the black fox chief is really brave. It's not good to provoke anyone, but to provoke Bing Ching. It seems that there is no need for me to make a move. Muttering under his breath, Wang Dust took a second of silence for the black fox chief, then turned his head to look at the eight black fox forbidden guards in the palace. I didn't get any of the big ones and it was excellent to hit a few of the smaller ones. With that in mind, he flashed a nuclear goodness smile at the Black Fox guards. However, the Black Fox Forbidden Guards, however, didn't take care of him at all. At this time, their sights were dead on. 
suddenly appearing in front of a nine-tailed white fox. One by one, the peach pink color flushed up among their bright red eyes. Ho ho ho! In the next second, the guys didn't hesitate to swing their weapons at their companions. Seeing this scene, the expression on Wang Chen's face froze. Good lord, you guys are not going to leave any of them for me? He looked at Crisp, who was in the middle of the black fox's forbidden guards, and couldn't help but grumble under his breath. Woohoo! Hearing his words, the nine-tailed sky fox Crispy twisted her head and wagged her tail in a smug manner, as if to say, you've left all the wildlife outside, these inside are all ours. Noticing the emotions transmitted from the middle of the contract, Wang Dust rubbed his nose in chagrin. If I had known, I would have made the first move. With this in mind, he had nothing better to do, and silently stepped aside and began to watch the battle. In the meantime, knock, seeing Bing Ching charging in, the black fox chief pulsed his two thick legs to meet him without hesitation. Whoosh! It swung the nailed hammer in its hand and heaved it at the creature that dared to provoke its majesty. Buzz off! Berserk fluctuations of magic power surged, and as the black fox leader's nailhead hammer fell, the huge nailhead hammer split into two and two into four. For attacks that seemed like substance smashed into Bing Ching with a violent whistling sound, heavy hammers flail about. In order to wash away his humiliation, the black fox chief did not hesitate to use the skill at this moment. Boom! In the next second, it was as if a thunderbolt exploded in the middle of the palace, and the violent air waves spread in all directions, blowing everything in contact to the east and west. After the attack, the black fox chief let out a wild laugh, his ugly face filled with excitement. However, Anon, in the next second as the high dragon roar sounded, the expression on its face directly transformed into disbelief, only to see that as the rolling smoke dispersed, Bing Ching's azure-colored dragon body appeared unharmed in front of its eyes. The heavy hammer chaos skill did not cause any damage to Ice Clear, and could not even leave a mark on its body surface. How is this? Possible? How is that possible? The Black Fox Chief was filled with disbelief. Under its heavy hammer flurry skill, a creature that was only level 50 was unharmed. This seemed to it like a pipe dream. GGG, stupid mole cricket, you have no idea what kind of existence you're facing. Today, let me show you what power is. Bing Ching's azure-colored dragon pupils locked onto the Black Fox leader and a strange laugh escaped his mouth. I don't know where the little guy picked up this villainous look. As the words fell, her huge dragon claws lashed out, and the grabbed nailhead hammer was directly snatched from the black fox chief's hands. This, with his hands empty, the shock on the black fox chief's face intensified. How could it not have imagined that in just one head-to-head -head encounter, its own weapon would be seized by the creature on the opposite side of the room? However, before it could think much, Bing Ching grabbed the nailhead hammer and directly opened the dragon's mouth. Buzz off! Berserk ice attribute magic power converged, and in an instant, a ball of azure-colored energy was formed in her mouth. In the next second, the azure-colored energy ball was spat out by Bing Ching in one gulp. The moment, feeling the terrifying power fluctuations in the energy ball, fear surged amongst the scarlet eyes of the black fox chief. Being hit by this energy ball would definitely result in serious injuries. A flash of realization surfaced in his heart. The black fox chief did not hesitate to move his thick legs and dodge to the side. However, it completely underestimated the speed of the energy ball's flight. Whoosh! In the violent sound of breaking wind, the black fox leader's footsteps had just moved when the energy ball hit its body heavily. Boom! The energy ball instantly exploded. The azure-colored energy continuously flickered on the black fox leader's body, exploding the thick fur of the black fox leader into a bloody mess. Moreover, at the same time the extreme coldness caused the black fox chief's body surface to be wrapped in a thick layer of ice. Opposite. After the extreme cold exhalation, Bing Ching did not hesitate for a second and immediately took a step to charge at the black fox leader once again. Brush! The hideous dragon's claws swung, and the snatched spike hammer was swung high, and in the next second, it heavily smashed into the black fox leader's body. Bang! In a dull collision sound, the nail head hammer smashed the black fox leader's head without any surprise, and incidentally smashed half of the black fox leader's body into pieces as well. Che! Mole! This is what you get for provoking the great extreme cold dragon casually throwing the nail hammer away. Bing Ching held his dragon's head in an unbeatable manner. Ugh. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but sigh. This little guy, it seems, has been poisoned by the TV show. You can get away with it, but what are you doing throwing away your trophies? Walking aside to pick up the nail hammer, he kicked Bing Ching's thighs, which were taller than his entire body, without any good grace. Master, I'm good, right? In the next second, Bing Chang, who maintained a condescending expression, broke in a second, and her huge head directly rubbed against Wang Chen. Awesome awesome. Wang Dust, who had been arched backwards, 
hurriedly let Bing Ching return to his usual state, dispelling this little guy's urge to take another lick. After all, he didn't want to take a shower right now. Humph, mouth full. Noticing Wang Chen's perfunctory behavior, the little guy disgruntledly disengaged himself from the battle and waved his wings to go to Crispy's place to watch the battle. At this point, the black fox forbidden guards who were charmed, killed each other extremely gruesomely, and soon they all died together. When all the wild monsters died, fluctuations of upgrades flashed up on Wang Dust and Bing Ching's bodies. Name, Wang Dust. Occupation, Giant Beast Master. Level, 56. Talent, All Beasts Attachment, SSS. Beast Pet Fusion, God. Skills, Imperial Beast Technique, S. Imperial Beast Rejuvenation Technique, B. Bloodline Appraisal Technique, God. Contract Summoning, B. Instant Sword, D. Wind Blade Technique, C. Bloodthirsty Frenzy, B. Beast Favorite Increase Technique, B. Circular Moon Chop, A. Electric Light Steps, A. Stored Power Strike, A. Power, 880 plus 630 points. Wisdom, 950 plus 100 points. Physique, 880 plus 450 points. Agility, 890 plus 5 plus 250 points. Unallocated Attribute Points, 0 points. Unassigned Skill Points, 290. Beast Pet, the Dragon of Extreme Cold. The Ancient Overlord. Nickname, Bing Chung. Sex, Female. Age, 1 Month, Juvenile. Level, 51. Rank, Ancestral Divine Beast. Talent, Infinite Growth, SSS. 4-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 2700, Wisdom 2700, Physique 2700, Agility 2700. Without any buffs. Equipment, Props to Enhance. Skills, Frost Body, SSS. Extreme Cold Breath, SSS. Ice Inferno, SSS. Dragon Might, SSS, Frost Fury, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Equipment, None. Introduction, Omitted. After taking a look at the current attributes, Wang Dust took the two little ones and began to scavenge amongst the palace. Soon, they then found two plants that shimmered with a mysterious luster at the back of the black fox leader's huge chair. Fox Glove. Woohoo! Seeing the fox heart grass, Crispy chirped with excitement, a pair of adorable eyes staring excitedly at Wang Dust. Just now, Master and Sister Bing Ching upgraded, which made her envious. Okay, okay, hurry up and eat it. Seeing this look of impatience on the little one's face, Wang Chen smiled and rubbed her head. Then he plucked off the fox heart grass and took out the other advancement aid materials and placed them on the ground. Woohoo! Upon hearing this, Crispy wagged his tail happily, and directly jumped into the midst of the materials on the ground, his two little paws opening left and right, stuffing the materials into his mouth. In the blink of an eye, the materials for advancement on the ground were swept away by her. After eating the materials for advancement, Crispy swayed dizzily and slumped right down to the ground, arcane fluctuations rising from her body. At the same time, a dazzling pink light lit up from the surface of Crispy's body, wrapping her completely in it and turning her into a pink ball of light. Bing Ching, you stay here and watch your sister advance. After taking a look and knowing that Crispy had already begun to undergo evolution, Wang Dust had Bing Ching stand guard and turned around to clean up the battlefield in the middle of the palace. The materials on a level 70 wild monster could not be ignored even with his current stature. And, the materials on the Black Fox Chieftain, as an 80th level Chieftain rank wild monster were of even greater value. Soon, after harvesting the materials from the Black Fox Prohibitor, Wang Dust came to the side of the Black Fox Chief's corpse. At this point, the broken body of the Black Fox Chief was dissipating into points of light little by little. With the Secret Realm's ultra-high burst rate and its own Alpha Wild Monsters bonus, these points of light that emerged, little by little, converged in mid-air. Eventually, it coalesced into a golden treasure chest that emitted a magnificent luster. Ships, when the golden treasure chest completely solidified, Wang Dust rubbed his hands together and touched towards the treasure chest, in the palace of the Black Fox Chief. As Wang Chen opened the golden treasure chest, three rays of light leapt out from it and lined up side by side in front of him. Three? Looks like I'm in luck. Seeing this scene, Wang Chen could not help but have a smile on his face, compared to the items that could be opened amongst the golden treasure chests. This luck of pulling a full stop straight away made him feel happier. Let's see. What goodies opened up? Without hesitation, he directly tore open the prepared appraisal scroll in his hand. Brush. The light flashed, and the information of the three items surfaced in front of him. Equipment, Black Fox Armor. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, 80. Attributes, Strength plus 150. Physique plus 150. Enchanted Effects, I, each time you take an attack, reduce damage by 10% and increase abnormal resistance by 10%. 2. Increase the power of all your own skills by 5%. Equipment, Black Fox Belt. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, 80. 
Attributes, Strength plus 100, Physique plus 100, Agility plus 50. Enchanted Special Effect, Increases Strike Speed by 10%, Comes with 5 cubic meters of storage space. Equipment, Black Fox Gators. Type, Defense. Grade, Gold. Level Limit, 80. Attributes, Strength plus 100, Agility plus 150. Enchanted Effect, Increases Movement Speed by 10% and Reduces Damage Taken when Falling from a Height by 10%. Three pieces of gold level equipment, paired together, happen to be the gold set called the Black Fox set. Three pieces of equipment worn at the same time can additionally provide the wearer of the equipment, reducing damage by 10% and increasing strength by 10%. Sloppy, after looking at the attributes of the three pieces of equipment, Wang Dust rubbed his nose, somewhat dissatisfied. It felt like, the Black Fox Chief was a little too out of line. Anyways, it was also the highest leveled boss that he had killed nowadays. As a result, only three pieces of gold level equipment were popped out, and even if it was a set, it fell short of his previous expectations. Moreover, the 80 level wearing condition made him only be able to look at the ocean at this time. It seems that it can only be taken to the trading house to be sold. With that in mind, Wang Chen waved his hand and received the three pieces of gold level equipment into his spatial ring. The last time he went to the trading house, he had dealt with some inventory and had a rough idea of the current selling price of equipment, an 80 level gold suit, which could be sold for almost 200 million gold coins in the trading house could make his deflated wallet bulge a little more. After storing these three pieces of equipment, Wang Dust turned around and yanked the Black Fox leader's huge spike hammer over. As the weapon of an 80 level leader boss, this, was the most important thing he had gained from this battle. Swish, as the light of the appraisal scroll fell, the attribute information of this equipment appeared before his eyes. Equipment, Bloodstained Spike Hammer. Type, Weapon. Grade, Platinum. Level Limit, 80. Attributes, Strength plus 300. Physique plus 200. Enchanted effects. 1. Increase attack power by 20%. 2. Crushing effect. When equipped with this weapon, it will activate the crushing effect when facing an enemy less powerful than yourself. 2. Special effect crushing. When equipped with this weapon, when facing an enemy whose strength is not as strong as your own, the crushing effect will be activated, increasing your strength by an additional 20% during battle. Seeing the attribute information of this weapon, Wang Chen's face revealed a touch of satisfaction. Although the Bloodstained Spiked Hammer had the same level restriction flaw as the previous Black Fox 3-piece set, its own Platinum Grade and two enchantment effects increased its value tremendously. This piece of equipment alone was worth at least 300 million gold coins. Not bad. A boss fight with 500 million gold coins in hand. Maybe, during the three days in the secret realm of the Black Fox's country, I can make up for all the losses I made when I purchased the Beast Pets before. With excitement in his heart, Wang Chen turned his head to look behind the stone chair. At this moment, a marvelous power fluctuation slowly surged, and a brilliant light seeped the entire palace into a pink color. Crispy's promotion is coming to an end. Seeing this scene, his heart was delighted, and he hurriedly took a step to the back of the stone chair and waited quietly with Bing Cheng. At this moment, under his gaze, the blooming pink-colored light mass was beating like a heart. With every beat, mysterious inscriptions emerged from it, and then a little bit of it disappeared into the depths of the light mass. Even though there was a contractual connection between Wang Chen and the Nine-Tailed Sky Fox, and even though his wisdom attribute was now approaching the 1,000-point mark, he could not help but feel lustful in his heart when his eyes fell on this mysterious inscription. It only felt that before his eyes, there were countless pretty figures floating around, and his hands and feet were waving in a way that took his heart. This little guy, I'm afraid that the newly awakened natural skill is again about the charm aspect. Wang Chuan hastily moved his gaze away and silently speculated in his heart. Soon. When he felt the light in the palace dim, the nine-tailed sky fox's advancement entered its end. The pink light tightened a little and disappeared into one of the luscious little ones. Brush. When the light completely dissipated, a small figure jumped directly into his arms. Master, master. Listen, I can talk too. In the next second, a clear and pleasant voice sounded in Wang Chen's ears, lowering his head. He then met with a pair of magnificent pink eyes. The nine-tailed sky fox, crispy, was writhing in his arms with a face of excitement. Compared to before, Crispy had grown a few sizes. If it was the size of a palm before, it's probably grown another two knuckles taller now. The looks were exquisite and absolutely beautiful. The country's color was heavenly, and that petite and delicate body became even more full of charm. However, after carefully checking it out, Wang Chen rubbed his nose and moved his eyes away. It's too hot. It's a little hot. Crispy, hurry up and change back to what you were before. He instructed the little guy and silently checked the brand new attribute information of the Nine-Tailed Sky Fox after its promotion. Beast Pet, Nine-Tailed Fox. Nickname, Crispy. 
sex, female, age, under one month, adolescence, level, 40, rank, ancestral divine beast, talent, infinite growth, SSS, four-dimensional attributes, strength 2000, wisdom 2700, physique 2000, agility 2100, without any buffs, equipment, props, skills, body of delusion, SSS, crimson eyes, SSS, charming beings, SSS, nine tails of destruction, SSS, seal of enslavement, SSS, loyalty, 100, equipment, none, introduction, omitted, the four-dimensional attributes are unchanged from before the advancement, but from now on, the barrier restricting Crispy's upgrades had been lifted, and the little guy could happily boost his strength again, Wine Dust's line of sight swept past the attribute information and landed directly on the skill bar, above the newly appeared talent skill, in the palace, as Wang Chen landed his thoughts on Crispy's skill bar, a subtle message surfaced in his mind, seal of enslavement, SSS active skill, charm skill, after the launch of the skill, can be in any wisdom attribute lower than the nine-tailed fox creature soul, implanted a seal of enslavement, was implanted in the seal of enslavement of the creatures, everything will be subject to the control of the nine-tailed fox, the seal of enslavement exists during the period of resistance, until death, or the nine-tailed fox lifted the seal of enslavement, remarks, at the current growth stage, creatures controlled by nine-tailed fox using seal of enslavement are, zero two, hiss, seeing crispy's newly awakened natural skill, Wine Dust couldn't help but suck in a breath. Any creature with an intelligence attribute lower than that of the nine-tailed sky fox will be controlled by the seal of enslavement without any limitations. It's too bossy. With Crispy's wisdom attribute of up to 2,700 points, I'm afraid that an ordinary third-turn professional wouldn't be able to resist the seal of enslavement at all. This meant that he could have two third-turn hitmen who were completely under his control and were loyal and unafraid of life and death at any time. The little guy is getting scary. Holding Crispy who had returned to her usual state. In his arms, Wang Dust stroked her head with some emotion in his heart, and also secretly warned himself that this skill should not be shown easily. This was only because he was a decent person. If it were anyone else, I'm afraid that a professional below the third turn would be played out. Master Master, what are you thinking? Letting out a purr from being stroked. Crispy rubbed against Wang Dust's palm and asked curiously, It's fine. In the future, this seal of enslavement skill, you can't use it indiscriminately without my permission. Wang Dust met the little one's pink eyes and admonished in a grave tone. Yes master. Hearing his words, Crispy was unsure, but nodded obediently. Master, shouldn't we go bully the wild monsters? Just then, little Bingqing squeezed into the embrace and asked excitedly with a warlike look on her face. Aha. Uh -huh. Upon hearing this, Wang Chen nodded. Now that we've taken care of Crispy's promotion, it's time to move on to the exchange. There's still more than two days left. Let's strive to sweep the Black Fox Country secret realm. Patting the two little ones on the head, Wang Chen took a step toward the outside of the palace. At this moment, he took the time to check the jade plate hanging on his body, and the number of points on it currently came to 500. It didn't take much thought to realize that he was definitely at the bottom of all the students participating in the exchange right now. GRRRRR, the hunt hour has begun. Walking out of the palace, the excited Bing Ching didn't wait for orders, and after giving a strange laugh, he directly turned on the battle state, carrying Wang Chen and Crispy as they flew rapidly toward the bottom of the mountain. At this point, in the middle of the secret realm of the Black Fox Country, the students who participated in the exchange meeting were like locusts moving through the countryside, killing every wild monster they saw. The students who were able to participate in the exchange meeting, although they weren't the top freshmen of their respective universities, each one of them also came from a not-so-ordinary background, and the deadly wild monster material was not even on their radar. Many of the ordinary professionals who entered the secret realm hung behind these students from afar, helping them cut the materials of those wild monsters, 